Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome. I'm a knight of EFAP or objectivity. My wisdom echoes through the ages. Hello, hello, hi, hello. Before we begin this, I want to say thank you. I feel like this family gets like my lightning rod. Boom. Thank to Hassan. All aboard the Nuggy Express. Mom isn't there to cook the chicken for me. What am I supposed to do? Die? Pay them? Pay for the closure? I'm confused by what you're saying. Touch your fucking angus, dude. <laughs> Just shut the down! Oh man, how is that so fucking hard? I'm literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I wanna do, bitch. See, everyone is muted. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, here we are. Everyone's, everyone's right with the world. Sweet. Cock and balls. Wow. What an amazing oh. intro. I know. No, really? Wow. I'm in awe of the editing of that. That's great. legitimately incredibly impressive. I, I love yes. the part where I tried to kill myself. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead, we saved you by taking you to a bar. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good, good move. Like, no metal, so don't drink yourself. Through. Drown your sorrows. Drown yourself. Yes. If you're gonna die, at least support the economy while doing so. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to tip your bartender. Uh, the part oh. was very selfish, I, I, I admit. Yeah, hello everybody, welcome. It's a good welcome. thing that I was muted, because I laughed my ass off during a lot of that. <laughs> that was yeah, extremely but... impressive. I had to mute yeah, myself. I always awesome. almost forget to do it, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, if I say anything, it's on the fucking permanent recording of the anniversary. <laughs> Just like me going... <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, what, that's fringy noises. It, well, I mean, we all like to go... Blah, blah, blah. Do we yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah, they don't belong to me. Oh, Just me. Frags. I sometimes That's... lease them out. Um, for a fee, of course. So for phase, <laughs> the the EFAP universe phase two. You may notice we've switched out our cast almost entirely. Uh, familiar mm -hmm. faces as well as returning faces. Um, how's everyone? How you all doing? Hello. I'm good. doing pretty doing good. Really doing good. okay. We got um we got plenty Excellent. for you guys to enjoy. Um, uh, but first when we have. Such a varied and, and, and invested in life cast. I, I feel like this is a good selection of people to probably maybe try and get us a, a gothic game, gothic phone game going, all right? So, oh, ooh, that's, that's an idea. I still don't know wow. what that is. You don't need to know what that is. That's all right. I'm not even sure what you're saying. Gothic 
gothic phone yes gartic 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 oh garlic foam garlic Garlic foam foam. yum Ah. all right Garlic. Did you um, guys, when you were younger, did you guys just used to take garlic and just eat it? No. Really? What? No. I didn't either. I was just <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay. I, didn't, I never did nice that. Nice test. Uh-uh. No, I didn't do that either. <laughs> that would be really weird. I don't know. It would be very strange if you did that as a child. That would Crans. be Yeah. If she did garlic, that. No. No. Yeah, no, none of us are fucking weirdos with all. So, um, for those who have all... Like, wait, Gary, you've played this before, right? On the other anniversary? Did you? I know Az did. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'll be bad at it. Whatever it is. Well, You'll so be, you're, there's no way to be bad at it unless you're main repository. Yeah. 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 The only one that's really, really bad at it. But he, let's just say his talents lie elsewhere. Clearly. Steam <laughs> Blender. Um, how, how dare you? So uh, less than many skills. Drawing was not one of them. The way it works. <laughs> And I'll do it anyway. Is that the game asks you <laughs> to write a prompt for like an image? So, for example, they give you an example. For example, man walking down street, or fish in pond, or something like that. And then the person draws it, who was given that, was given to draw it. And then the next round, someone else has to describe the picture in the, that format. And so eventually, we get to see how everything unraveled when we get the I end call results. Unicorn. Uh, Rags is calling the unicorn. For anybody who did not know that. Well, like uh, the uni come. Because there's not a dog. They don't have a dog. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I got Very the strange. Goose, which is the best Very one, strange. obviously. Um, but yeah, I guess there's no reason not to just start immediately. But is anybody unclear on these amazing rules? Don't worry, we'll be doing other things today in case someone here hates drawing. Or hates life. I see we all like drawing That's here. Fun. I that. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, one. Yeah. But, Let's do it. Um, what do we have to do here? How do we get started? Well, we got Let's 9 go. out of 14, so is someone here not here? Who are we missing? Oh. We got me, Meme, J Longbone, Totally Not Hitler, Metal, Sitch, <laughs> Adam, Fringy, Rags. Who Who's the missing one? Is it, oh, is it Gary? It's always going to be me. Tally Not Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it's always going to be me. <laughs> Uh, the link's in the uh, Discord group. Click that. God damn it! What the oh, fuck? Please, no. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was that's, that? Uh, that's... The ad, man. So was ad? Oh shit! I guess I got ad blocked. It sounded like a blender, <laughs> like some, some kind of meme ad. blender. Oh my it did. god! It was an ad. Thank God it wasn't my porn. Um, crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just. Let anyone know if any of you are confused, but I'll just start up normal game. Do I do I ever put on any settings other than normal? We just have it on normal, right? I think we start with normal. Remember. Yeah, we yeah. just start normal. Okay. Extra easy. Vanilla. Maybe I would re- do. Maybe would have remembered if we wouldn't have played the last one without me. Wait, who are you? Super duper. Uh, I'm easy. this metal guy. Like Who's the? Alrighty. He's the one in the video who tried to kill himself, and then we <laughs> took him to the bar. With yeah. The yeah, I don't remember that guy. <laughs> so I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna start us <laughs> off. Here we go. Oh shit, I think it's echoing, is it? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Could be alright for now, I guess. Um, I, I muted mine, I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Well, yeah, can you do that? That's probably me, because it's coming through my sound system. Where do you mute it, man? Um. Oh shit, well... Can you just mute we your need browser? need reference for this one. <laughs> well, just make up anything that someone's got to draw. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go. Yes. You, you write something. You, you just write write, write a it. sentence. Yeah. You might have to draw it, or you may have to draw someone else's. That's the thing. So. Who knows what other people will provide for you? Yeah, it's 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 just sort of what you get, what you get. You oh, give what God. you give. I'm certain. New radical song. Oh, there you go. Oh God, who's? Oh, this is. Not... Okay. Oh, who sent me this? Wait a minute. Man. This is a G-rated Christian broadcast. Wait, what? Did someone send me 016? Uh, we... <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Did someone you just know. write 106? Yeah, 007016. Just draw something, Maul or Dude, shit. I am. <laughs> you got an old in here. It's going to take time. This stuff is... I don't know why me. anyone would have concluded to draw 016. <laughs> or write it, but hey, you know what? Not judging. Oh my god, okay. Do I have a time limit here? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, top, top right. right. You have three-fourths of a pizza left. Oh boy, okay. Got this. Oh shit, right. there's lots of time. Holy cow. God. I'm like done already. How okay. do you undo? Oh, well, so even... oh, if you are finishing early, you can ready hey. up. You might even finish early. Oh god, that was terrible. 
This is an amazing drawing. No one can mistake this at this point. I think... Uh... Nah, I feel like I've already screwed this up. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough time. I have done the challenge. Oh, wow, that was fast. Mm. I'm like, close. Dude. You gave me too oh much God. detail. It's just like, uh... Different tips and stuff. That's kinky. How do you, you like your you... tips, Adam? Yeah. Uh, very big. That's fair, <laughs> That's fair enough to have a big tip. Shit. I always leave a big tip for my delivery drivers and you know, at restaurants, you know, people like that. Of course. So, yeah, everyone wants to be a big tipper. Yeah, everyone wants to be a big tipper. Unfortunately, not all of us are. So, collectively, so, of course. That's so I'm disappointing, right? Well, it makes you appreciate the big tips. Ah. <laughs> Oh shit, man. No, we're running out of Don't time. No. You're about Make to it. run out of time. Better draw. This I'm gonna trying. Be I think I uh... I'm drawing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is, gonna, this is a disaster already. Are you already blending? Yeah, because this is the first time I've used this tablet on just the, um, I guess, the Blend. mouse pad mode. Um, I, yeah, no. I just outlined, dude. It's going to be so bad. Why am I doing this? Okay. Do do we have the same scenes we're supposed to describe here? Or... No. You're everyone now, describing you're, different you'll now been given draw. someone's drawing of someone's oh, prompt, and, and you now you to have to... It. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't even know. Oh, I guess I could have made it easier on... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody knows what I <laughs> Someone already knows Mahler's. Thanks, Mahler. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus. What the... <laughs> my my own. Oh. I don't. Uh, all right. Well. Oh. Oh, Damn this it. is nice and simple. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell? Okay. All right. Those are not easy things to draw. What are you guys Wait, doing? What Holy fuck? fuck. I, I, I'm reading this prompt and I feel like I'm having a stroke. Already? Oh my. Yeah, yeah, it's um, like it seems simple when you read the first two words and then it continues. Wow, they always do that. Carrying on part. Yeah. Is there. Oh, there is. Um, okay, oh, wow. this is, well, I guess straight line. That's bigoted. No, you. It couldn't be a gay hey. line? All right. The fill bucket is kind of janky, guys. I really... What? This is the greatest <laughs> art-making fucking thing. I don't know what you mean. If, uh, if only we got a little better fill action going, but that's okay. I won't use it again. I'm curious what your drawing... Your drawing's gonna be really good. What happened? You like rags? Rags is one. Are you using a tablet, Adam, or just a mouse? No, I'm just using my mouse, of course. Why? Using a tablet would be cheating. <laughs> okay. What are you guys talking about? A tablet? Tablets are allowed? Oh my god. Wait a minute. If you happen yeah. to have one. That would make it so much That's easier. That's no fair. Jesus. It's perfectly fair. No, it's, it's do you want him to do that? So can be it's like, unfair to deny me the use of bad. my tablet. You, you, you can use it for excuses. Those looks better because you have a tablet. Mine would look way better than yours. But... True, okay. And that's exactly what I will do. I mean, mine would look like <laughs> autistic stick figures regardless, so. That's fine. That's fine. Mine, just, mine are incredible, I would say, I, I guess. I'd... Be well, I mean, you are an artist, so... Oh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> Not if you talk to Twitter. <laughs> oh, my blood chaser. boiled a little bit with some of those uh, things. Oh, fuck, I gotta draw Lisa Simpson still. <laughs> oh, damn it. Time is always against us. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, mine's a beaut. No, Dude, you. I'm not... No, no you. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even going to get finished with this. It's all right. If you oh. don't finish it, I'm sure people can interpret. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. You interpret that this. So ugly, it's amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what? Why? Is one say <laughs> SpongeBob is gay or what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm supposed to describe this scene. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I think it's, oh, it's, it's Nerdrotic. It's coming through his thing. It is, but luckily it's not that bad because it's only repeating the bell. Oh. No. Giant. This, this is mm. not, this is not, what? This is difficult, but I accept the challenge. I don't even understand these words. <sighs> Must be wombo words or something then. They don't come together into anything coherent. Perfect. Mm. The written That's supposed to work. Yeah, oh. Potentially. Okay. All right, I'll try my goddamn best. That's all you know we can what? ask for. Yeah. Now for the stream. Where's the uh, the resize? Resize? <laughs> Wait, you can resize? <laughs> no. What is this fancy program you're using? What is? Oh, it's got a line feature. That's it. Oh, interesting. I hope this is brown. I'm kind of rolling with whatever's brownish myself. <laughs> I'm to draw Linda. Uh, hmm. Fuck. I have to interpret this shit. <laughs> oh, no. the greatest artwork. Okay. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I had <laughs> such a boomer, dude. Can't do this. <laughs> Answer that. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Uh <laughs> Yeah, you're out of time. Element I forgot, I gotta get it right. Oh no! Uh, uh, can't have blue dick in here. Bullshit. You can't? I got half my drawing done. Uh oh, uh oh. This I like I just like, finished uh, my drawing. We, we gotta watch like, one. Is, uh... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man, one of you had fun drawing Luigi, huh? <laughs> Speed Luigi. Oh boy. There's the I think first I just penis you I have from to draw. Long. Awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to envision this hmm. in my head, and I'm having trouble. It's, uh, should, it, from the prompt, it feels like it shouldn't be that hard to figure this out, you yeah? know? It's always the way, isn't it? That's how they get you. It's the ones you don't think are easy that really end up being the hard ones, which is sort of what yeah. you'd expect, but... <laughs> Playlist of Kevin McLeod Cloyd songs, and it's like a very like CSI investigative one playing right now. What Suitable is this? considering what I'm drawing. Mm. 
Which, uh, what are what are people watching right now? When... Oh, they're watching me draw, so they get they get yeah. a little bit of the spoilers. Good. Oh, I gotcha. I don't even... I, I can't even figure this one out. Sixteen? Gary? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you guys still fucking around with that number? <laughs> like... <laughs> Gary's like... I'm just, just looking at it. Get it. I yeah. Actually, quite glad I got this prompt because I just finished my rewatch of Breaking Bad. You're right, guys. It isn't massive enough. Failed you. They can't get too big, contrary to popular opinion. Oh shit, oh well. Damn. <laughs> what is this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems as if Michelangelo has entered the chat. Someone <laughs> did not even try. I just got a blank blank screen. Oh no. Oh, no. That's that's legitimately not cool. Well. That was me. I'm not gonna I didn't know of my life. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, you didn't draw anything? I couldn't. I didn't know. I'm like, what does this even say? Uh, Probably. <laughs> oh, if you have a situation like that, that, you just draw a hamburger. Just draw or whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you don't know what to draw, then I, I left it blank. It's gotcha. modern art. It's your there you interpretation. Go. I see. Oh, they're gonna have to interpret. All right. It actually, peed on the screen, but you couldn't tell. So it's true modern art. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Sorry about your screen. <laughs> I went all in. It's all good. Um, Hmm. Very difficult. I do not condone this prompt. No such oh. thing as difficult. Unless you're terrible. What do Yoda say? Um, always do. Always try. Uh, those who try the most fail the most. <laughs> Damn, Yoda. What do, you, what do you mean, man? Jeez. Means I failed a lot. I have. I made myself feel better about it, that's all. <laughs> Demon, but uh, okay. I don't know what to Shizen. Uh, I think I got Gary's last prompt. I'm very confused. Well, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> Thought about that? Yeah, okay. Is this... Rags, is this your prompt? Is that what you did to us? I wouldn't do anything tried, to you that to I wouldn't mind having done to myself. Tried to confuse us? Is that what you're trying to do? I wouldn't confuse you. Trying to make it very I'm not confusing the author of confusion. for all of us? I'm trying to... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set you up for success. Oh. Yeah, I don't... Somehow I don't feel I'm giving. Like I'm giving you your moment. This is your time to shine. Successful. I'm like Tabe. I'm going to set you up to do something you've always wanted to do. There's a Even there's a verb. There's a verb in this sentence that has no, like there's no there's no pictogram for it. You need to, <laughs> you need to what, the hell? what does that even mean? Well, how do you, you need do, to you know, believe. there's very, like run. I know how to draw run. There's oh, a no. verb in here that is just like how do you draw that? <laughs> like what? If you were a true artist what is that? Oh, I, I got well, you. Well, you should bring your own interpretation to the command. Then. Motherfucker. Someone oh, I can't wait all the time. Oh, yeah. shit, we're done. Oh, oh boy. Is that yeah. it? That's it's over. Quick. I was having Lame. so much fun. I was so Lame. Gross. More prompts, please. Oh, don't worry. Oh, we'll, we'll play another game. We'll don't, you don't you worry. We can play this all fucking night. Alrighty, here we go. Now the Adam 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 show. show. Oh, oh, that's the show that you guys run. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait. Gary, can you mute? Oh, my God. Gary, to top right of your screen in the, the browser. Sitchin Adam Sitchin Adam Show. Sitch comes, Sitch comes first. first. I, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who drew that debate. one. <laughs> typical YouTube debate. Oh, what God. the fuck is oh, that? No. I don't know. A peen hovers over a ball in the ocean. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs>
<laughs> a universe where bones good, have right? penis bar. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> How? Tally, not to How? Look. Adam and Sid show down to that. I mean, that's about accurate. Oh. Mm. I look at it. I mean, that's fair enough. Magic cum shot. It's my own design. Oh, Meme, you've drawn one penis. You've mentioned oh, come on, cum shot. What am I supposed to do for this? This is a classy <laughs> production. I mean, I like the drawing. Gay wee. Gay wee. Gay wee. Ah, gay wee. Less than three, a proud homosexual <laughs> woman, oh. so less than three. Less than three. <laughs> what am I? A pretty Xbox gave sultry. It's an Xbox months. now. Uh, I, l I thought someone fucked up writing an X, which is totally within the bounds of possibility. White power. <laughs> <laughs> no! Is this the ultimate pipeline on Cold Oogie Boogie, man. It's Oogie Boogie, yeah. <laughs> He's full of bugs. <laughs> or is it candy? Bugs. Mouse signing uh, a bill. Oh. That's cute. That's basically Disney. It's just, it's a mouse that signs bills, apparently. Much? Rat writing a shopping list. <laughs> Alright. <Rat laughs> Close enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my shop. The cheese like festo there. completes. <laughs> yeah, this this freaking frog. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is, is I couldn't tell you. She's holding a massive dildo. <laughs> yeah? She's yeah. holding a massive dildo. <laughs> He's gonna commit seppuku with it. Cheesy right Spongebob looking at a weird. <laughs> looking at a weird. Looking at a weird. It was, it was oh, supposed to be candle, oh, but I was... Ooh, that is weird. <laughs> they kept the purple. That's weird. weird. That's very weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Mario Luigi making out. Oh no. no. Now see I, no. I, I I denied your prompt. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, Almost for another solo game oh. was denied. Oh no. So sad. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, hey, that's pretty good. Luigi going insane from the mold infecting his brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Luigi discovers meth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's literally just a scene from one of the games. <laughs> Luigi tries to sell some blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Money. Close enough. Blue sky, money. Jimmy is holding a box. Ooh. Give an example. Seems you know. straightforward. I don't recognize it though, so that scares me. That looks like a oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no. Okay. A box. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm Jimmy. Oh, okay. <laughs> his Jimmy, arms are very long. Holding his medium-sized package. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Clearly, insecurity. <laughs> the ongoing struggle. <laughs> oh, instead of humility, it's insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. A bong with a tiny pipe. <laughs> so to speak. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my god. Bong. Part that 2 of our anniversary yeah, stream is off. Level of creativity <laughs> there. <laughs> the revolution of Husan's chariotary. Husan. Husan. Chariot. Hmm. There's something of it. Oh, it was a chair. Bunch of two halfmen sees abstract Lisa Simpson. <laughs> That's a prompt that gave me a stroke. <laughs> oh, that oh. is abstract. <laughs> you halved him in the other <laughs> way. He's <laughs> being cracked. Egg boy. It's <laughs> 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 crowded in there. Yeah. as well. <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Sentient egg eats other eggs. Sentient egg eats other eggs. <laughs> egg oh no! Horrifying image. I must consume you, my brothers. Oh one six. It was oh, you. Oh one six. Okay. I was. I thought it was supposed to be secret. Thank goodness you didn't type anything embarrassing then. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, Neck Moore is saying he prints Donkey Kong. Oh. <laughs> DK, yeah. 
I definitely misread Prince. Oh, nice. Go, <laughs> Rolling with his go. dick on the photocopy machine. What? Why? Uh, Prince Donkey Long? <laughs> Did you think that said long? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I read Prince's Yellow penis. Yellow-haired Fred let his pet snake into the box. Alright. Because he's got a little eye up front. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, we brought it back to oh, yeah, G levels. Wholesome. Nice, wholesome. Yeah. That one didn't end up too foul. A happy duck lived a happy live atop a happy, a happy bomb. Oh, it happy was not happy. Live lived a happy live. Happy happy live. <laughs> Diseased bird watching. <laughs> oh, Diseased oh, bird watching. Well, <laughs> well, at least it's still a bird. <laughs> Here on EFAP, we make no medical claims. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> Duck McQuack has been spiked. Dark. Oh, I didn't want to draw. I mm. <laughs> uh, Chicken brutal. dying on a hill. This was supposed to be a happy duck. Chicken dying it's not on a happy hill. Anymore. Well, so he got screwed. Oh it was a giant <laughs> chicken. Okay. Okay. He got oh, sick and then he got screwed. The poor thing, and it duck. changed species several times. <laughs> <laughs> Three colorful birds ate a normal Three sized meal. Birds ate a normal sized meal. Oh, look, it's one bird. Movie Bob. Oh. <laughs> Phoenix resurrecting oh. the movie Bob's career. Phoenix resurrecting the movie Bob's Look at that career. one bird. What is happening? <laughs> a flaming Something. chicken and Coke a fat camps. man fight over a burger. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I don't recognize I like the little flash. Yeah, the flash yeah. is good. Flaming cock takes on a burnt <laughs> McChicken sandwich. <laughs> 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 okay. Look, it's trying okay. to make me draw Firebird a dick. Firebird knife's a burger. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you could call that a burger. <laughs> you could call that a knife. Hey, yeah. This thing yeah. is happening in that image. It's a knife. <laughs> Cinderella dying at a funeral. Oh, oh no. At a funeral. Oh, nice. At least they're ready for it. I got the little mouse. I had a oh, jogger just oh, crying sad. in a corner. Good rat mourning the death of Linda. <laughs> Good rat mourning the death of Linda. <laughs> Wait a minute. Linda. How do you... Oh, I know. Aren't you already was. dead at a funeral? <laughs> There's someone else is yeah. dead. Holy oh, rat she, cried tears upon Linda's death. No! <laughs> He's got a cross in the halo. That's a, a rat. over the death of I his really human like boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yeah, why did you say like boyfriend? <laughs> the mouse mourns his the narrator secretly playing. against gay marriage? So, Maybe it's the rat's funeral. What? <laughs> how, do you, yeah, how do you know the rat's back? Uh, it was really dark. That was something at some point, and then... <laughs> It's, it's that damn fill, I'm life. telling you. I'm gonna ruin it. I'm gonna ruin you it. You can undo. All right, now, because no everyone's right? Yeah, there is. Control-Z. Control-Z oh, really? is undo. Yeah. There's a little oh, okay. arrow that you can click. Is that too? Yeah. Um, now that everyone's yeah, very clear on how it works, prime. everyone on board with, uh, with another round. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, now, now sure. that I know actually how it works. It's yeah. Pretty... What do we do? I need more humiliation in my life. Let's do it. Yes. How do we get more time? That's what I want to know. No, you can do that, but no fucking way we're uh, getting you. Exercise, <laughs> eat well. Oh. Severe level of intensity with the sounds. Oil the runeed. Of course not. Of course. I want it to all wash over me at yeah. the end. <laughs> oh my god. Do I I I don't think I am I, I should be so privileged just to draw such a thing. Oh my god, Jesus. You do sometimes feel that way when you see these prompts. You're like, wow, you chose me? So lucky. Especially applicable considering what I'm drawing. Mine's more like, I'm so sorry. I will never apologize. For... 
for being privileged enough to witness this art. Magic come shot. It's my own design. How does it feel, meme, to be yeah. told by Movie Bob that you're not interested? You know, that's um <laughs> There are dimensions to that. There are dimensions to to having been been told that. The timelines, like, universes, and realms. Yeah. As there are whole timelines worth of thoughts, whole dimensions of examination. It was the one video of all of mine that I've had like the most people work on to say that everyone sucks on it. Just like, wow, you... What a dick. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah, I think Bob, I was more pissed no. off. Movie Bob's real nice. No. I think I was more him. pissed off by the person who said like, oh, that's such low effort. And it's just like, motherfucker, <laughs> do you know <laughs> what? that much? <laughs> oh yeah, I like that you posted like the fucking... <laughs> Genuinely, dude, the uh, the work on Blank's face, it's it's, it's movie quality. Uh, oh, thank you. It, it, the idea is like, put in more effort next time. Like me, person who like I don't even know, puts the poster on screen <laughs> and talks about the movie. Like, yeah, I go. Yep. All right. Just like, image hey, you haven't watched the video without uh, saying you yeah. have watched the video. <laughs> well, they're proud of that. That's the weird part. We say like I would never watch something like that. My gleams, not my painting was full beef. Uh, I'm actually not going to be. Yeah, you said you used like new some some new plugin or whatever, was it? Yeah, I used um this is plugin called Lockdown for After Effects, which um basically it, it it's it helps you to like, um, say you want to put a a logo on a t-shirt, but obviously like it's folding, it's doing all this stuff that makes it very obvious that even if you track it properly, it's not going to move with the shirt. So what this plugin does is you can draw around that area, it'll track it for you, and you can even set up custom markers and all that to get as um, detailed as you want. And then you can just um, drag and drop a um, like an image onto that uh, thing, and it will actually like contort and deform with the surface that it's on um it still requires like fine tuning and everything but it's it's uh such a game changer uh, as far as my workflow is concerned well i mean for those who don't know he, he did that without a request i was like well what the fuck <laughs> it's like really <laughs> impressive and i had yeah, to like, like uh, fix it continuity wise because there had to be an ending to it you know because other elements going on and stuff but i think I tried to replace all the relevant visuals in your section with it, but I don't know if I got them all. Yeah, well, I think um, I, I didn't notice any any gaffes with that. I, like, I I legit almost rec I almost suggested like you know if you want like the rest of the blank shots um, uh, blankified, um, I can I can probably do that like, if you oh, want. And the, and I then think I would have gone for that if like... we had a bigger timeline. <laughs> Yeah, like, because um, I was just figuring, like, it's probably a better use of time to just get more um, overall footage done by that point. But, oh, it was, I think there were, there were people in chat going like, oh, no, change it back, change it back. I know. Well, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know how many people here have seen it, but uh managed to edit it so that um, Captain Marvel's face disappears and it's kind of, like, scary. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right, pizza has to be involved with this. I just can't believe they're, they're, this prompt is having me draw an outright insane fiction. Never happened. A Captain Marvel in any universe not being smug gunned? That was that was just <laughs> amazing that they did that. Someone in Disney has a soul, you know. They had to make sure. Wait, what happened? They made her one not piece of continuity a... they cared no, she about. is a cunt. <laughs> like, well, yeah, absolutely. The alternate universe one. Oh, of course. Fuck, no, no, no. That was the deleted Doctor Strange scene. Ah. Ah. I needed, like, an extra... Oh, that looks I terrible, know. but I'll go with it. How do you get <laughs> extra oh, boy. time? <clears throat> Oh, 
fuck? <laughs> what? I don't even know. Nothing. I'll figure it out. Wrong. He was trying to find a way to save the universe. He didn't find one, but he kept looking. How fucking dare he? What a stupid man. Why not dare she, you fucking bigot? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the finish. You, you just have to write. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You're going to see an unfinished answer. Great. Uh, it's me. Well, my name will be on it. So, all right. <laughs> they will shame me. Whatever. They will shame me. So I think the hardest part of that blank effect, well, outside of just figuring out how to do it, was um, when Black Bolt does his uh, big, big yell. I had to uh, manually, like, correct the the mask over the face so that it would also be changing with the uh um with with the um the shock wave i guess um oh, otherwise yeah, yeah. it would look really off i don't know if i got enough time to render this masterpiece render it oh, my god yeah it's gonna be an intense piece i imagine um, I was, I was hoping to make it pretty cool, but I don't know if I've got the time to realize my artistic vision. Which is really the curse of being an artist, yeah. It really I'll is. switch back to um, the mouse and keyboard after this, because, uh, this current method I'm using... Not working. Why, did you find a fancy plug-in yeah, to do you... drawings for you? Now, I'm using the tablet, and normally it's a screen tablet, so I can see what I'm doing, but I couldn't find my HDMI cord, so I'm using it as, like, a, um, a mouse tablet. Um, so, but it, I'm finding it really awkward, uh, so I might just switch back to the mouse after this. Well, I, I don't have one. My, mine is just, uh, when I plug in, it doesn't have a screen built into it. I have to look at my monitor like a plebeian. Yeah, it's what I'm doing, and my, I think I could get the hang of it if I practice, but this is like, this is the first time I'm doing it this way, and it's, uh, Compromising my artistic integrity. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Allegedly. That's true. Tell you that, free. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. I have drawn here. Oh no! 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 Ah oh, man! Nope. Yeah. Still time. Him. Fuck Damn up. it! That's creepy enough. Creepy enough. Oh no. Oh no, 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 oh, oh shit. I'm really looking forward to oh. seeing what that is. Oh god. Oh. oh, it just went blackface, and I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see what happens. Accidentally. It happens, man. We've all been there. We've all been there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone who tells you they haven't is lying. A little bit of an accidental blackface here and there, yeah. I know prime ministers who've done that. Yeah, don't let blackface get in the way of your dreams. I get ready, I got you. I saved you. Oh, what? What even? What am I? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Oh, I know. They need a resize. They really do. That would make it just amazing. I have the exact thing you were talking about, Frankie. I I got so much to draw. I just don't know if I can do it in time. Yeah, it's really yeah. is a horrible blight. The passage of time. They're like, the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, did he only have one minute to make all this? I think not. <laughs> I'm not I like sure, I think he, he might have. I have. I'd have to check the wiki. All right. Ah, piss. I have time for some cool shading. Fucker. 
some extra um, fold lines on some texture on the clothing. <coughs> Thick and thin lines, guys. Make sure you... Uh... Well, what? What are you going to do? Happy, yeah. best happy trees. Work here. Happy trees. Happy accidents. That was his Pay way of saying it's okay to be an accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh. da, 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 da. Really a cruel amount of time. Yeah. Oh, it is. Bit. I know. Just when things are getting good, you're like <laughs> denied. Denied. Sit down. That is that is the best I can do. Good enough. <sighs> Scale tail uh, tool would really just kick this up to the next level. <laughs> Someone didn't like their prompt. Oh, they liked it a lot. <laughs> I don't know. That seems about right. Why does it have legs? Oh, shit, I should probably add that. Oh my <laughs> good god. Oh, I don't have enough time to... Oh, man. Well, we do the basic what? outline first. This is one that I have complete confidence I can do it. Famous last words. Uh -uh. Fuck. Yeah. Done. Oh no. Oh no, wait, I can draw teeth on it. I'm gonna give him a background. Ah, oh, shit. Just trying to figure out, you know, how do you make this thing rabid? And that's the answer. I find myself asking that all the time. <laughs> Some weird sounds. Yeah. yeah. What? What's going? On? What? Yeah. You're like static. Oh, good. I can. I have time for veins. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. With it. Can we show that on YouTube? You've got veins. <laughs> I, hope, I hope so. <laughs> oh, shit. All righty. All right, there we go. Oh wow. Go. That's the last. Uh, can oh. you, can you time goes so second? fast. What happened? Wait, what was that, Rex? Hey, wait, can I, can I get a drink while uh, Go, go get a drink, yeah. How do you we know, pause it? We don't pause it. it There's no pausing pause here. Yeah. Run, Rex, and the... run. No, no, oh, wait. go ahead and play oh, okay. it, and then I'll just get my drink after we watch the No, thing. just let him go. Let him go. Who no, cares? no, this is what my second suggestion. I've decided. Uh -oh. A friendly <laughs> already game of backgammon. Mm. A friendly <laughs> game of backgammon. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Very deep. <laughs> well, already. Oh, yeah, so Ron, just attack them out of nowhere. Oh, no. So da -da -da just attack them from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
It's a needle Black breaker. Smash. Nice, nice <laughs> touch with the. the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Syringe man punched a regular Syringe. man to death. <laughs> regular man, man. A regular man to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice, Rags. That's yeah, very good. That's, that's Steven pretty good. Steven punches Joe Steven for indecent Steven exposure. Joe for Steven indecent Steven. exposure. I trust you. Oh, oh, no. I like that. We just, that was your veins. <laughs> Those were the veins. Yeah. Um, I'll never tell. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll never tell. <laughs> I like how the oh dick my is God. at a different level of. I like how the dick is at a different level of detail to the rest of the image. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. lot of attention on that dick. That's the important <laughs> part. Like it looks like Harry Potter's dick. It's like do? Harvey Weinstein's dick. <laughs> oh, no. My Johnson Rings juice is on the loose. Look at it for a year. Oh no, not Johnson. My Johnson juice. No, not Johnson. <laughs> juice. On the loose. <laughs> <laughs> the creation of man. <laughs> The creation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a larger dick. <laughs> Touching tips, the finger tips. I swear. Touching. <laughs> now that is abstract. This is how our species says hello. How our species says hello. True. Okay. Oh, that's Prostate great, stimulator. Oh. Oh. Prostate <laughs> stimulator. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a simulator. Simulator. Nice. Nice. Very, oh, very, very, very good. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. Like, Mahler removing his gas mask for the Mahler very first his time. Gas mask for yeah. the very first time. Uh oh, face reveal here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mahler with his adopted happy <laughs> face. Just like him. Adopted happy face. <laughs> uh, wait a second. That's a fake happy wait, face. Wait. Oh God. What is this? Oh, oh my oh, god. Mauler is happy and it's creepy. Well, there should you be happy, Mauler. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your gas mask is your mustache. Mauler after a six hour wank. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Six hour wank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mauler looking good. up SMTH as lengthy as him. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, well, there's oh, like awesome. your next four profile pictures right there. Yeah, yeah. this is a free way to get on. I'm just saying. Uh, Mario absolutely makes out with uh, Luigi without his consent. Oh no! Without his consent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Give me a sugar lady. See, a lot of things have to line up for that prompt. Give me some sugar. No. No. No sugar. Mean bitch with hogging sugar. Wow. Now it's her fault. Adam is such a misogynist, he assumes it's the woman's so good. Sugar. <laughs> Mama drinking the bleach again. <laughs> she <laughs> She's obviously hiding the sugar. She's nice boots. after multiverse of magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He <laughs> chased that algorithm, he gets all the money. He chased the algorithm. Oh. Nice touch with the mm. green dollar signs. Yeah. Yeah. Humphrey Thank seems you. all over Bond. Humphrey oh, yeah. Schlem's. I wasn't <laughs> quite Bond. sure what Schleming was, so he's doing <laughs> no, that's it. Right. That's it. That's it. Oh, Humphrey cried. Humphrey, Humphrey oh, cried. Oh, Humphrey! He wore a red shirt. He wore Wait, a red how the shirt. fuck did we both? You, you both got Humphrey? <laughs> oh, it says Humphrey. What? Okay. Uh, Bill oh, right. Overdose no, is now gone from lose. this world. Everything. Oh, no. Oh. That is a very strange Japanese Yahweh was displeased with your. Japanese Yahweh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone is very unhappy with their bra. Someone is very unhappy with their top. Oh. <laughs> oh I like it's like a text now. box with the words on. <laughs> Look at that time to color, even. Wow. Yeah. Rags you zip smaller. Oh, Rags no. usurp smaller. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, damn. Rags betrays on Malware. Rags betrays, betrays on. on. Why are you uh -oh. betraying on me? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's my... Uh-oh. A sunglass I... wearing cat chases Malware. <laughs> <laughs> I assume oh, that's who that was, of course. Yeah. Oh, wait, yep. no, I didn't. Look at that. Pussy chase Mauler. Pussy oh, chase Now Mauler. I know how I got to mine. I switched it around. <laughs> Come <Later>. here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mauler runs from a Mauler rabid pussy. Mauler runs from a rabid pussy. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. I, would, I wouldn't have known what that was if you didn't draw the urethra in. Yeah. That's important. Urethra? <laughs> The universe that, full of ducks eating pizza. Oh, that's nice. What? The universe full of ducks eating pizza. Oh, look at that. Six. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, ducklings oh, at the it. pizza party. Ducklings at a pizza tins. party. Oh, here goes oh, mine. Yeah, uh, close the enough. Yeah. Chicklets versus A. Chicklets versus A. <laughs> I didn't that's get to finish it. <laughs> Oh, man, this... <laughs> oh, it's wow. It's really got a hand. Confetti versus the letter A. Confetti versus the letter A. That is a great... That is a great... That is a great... The letter A shoots a confetti gun. The letter A shoots a confetti gun. It's like a shoot the bats moment from... Shoot the bats! That's like one of the best conversions. Man, I haven't had chicklets in ages. Superman <laughs> buying chicle. some groceries. Superman buying some Ugh. groceries. How many people died during that adventure, <laughs> <laughs> wonder? Only ten. Super Adam goes to the grocery store. His baguette was Super yum. Adam goes to the grocery store. <laughs> His, baguette? His baguette was yum. Oh, that's a very mm. yummy baguette. Oh, Rad. A breadstick. Oh, Rad. A breadstick. Oh, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That damn Phil! No! My phone exploded in my house. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Ronald was horrifically burned on half his face oh, by the fire. Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, nice. McDonald. Ronald McDonald! Look at that! <laughs> oh, he had an accident with the belt. With the, with the <laughs> yeah. grill. His employees revolt. You know how I got these scars? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I used to be a McDonald's Finally, clown. We've done it. Finally, the we've cure done. for cringe. The oh, cure, the cure for, for cringe. cringe. Oh, wow. The anti cringe. Another syringe. The anti cringe. Fauci world dom. Yeah. Fauci yeah. world dom. With the anti cringe. <laughs> My autism spread. Gosh, she's got such a big nose. <laughs> Not the two. I had to get a realistic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh, Mongo fan runs like the wind. Mongo fan runs like the wind. <laughs> I like how whenever you draw something remotely similar to that kid, it always ends up being named Mongo independently. Mongo's very veiny. <laughs> Video's too long, please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Three men and a dead baby fish. Three men oh, and I might have misinterpreted fish. this. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, holy okay. shit. And soon, sleeping with fishing the fishes. Soon, sleeping right. with the fishes. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Invisible man fishes for Invisible depressed horses. For <laughs> what the f- um, <laughs> yeah, this was hard. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that a whale, whale fucking water? <laughs> oh, it sort of looks like a whale, yeah. yeah. Oh. He brought the, the water with him out of the water. Man. The leg land whale spots a drowned man. That's actually pretty close. Well, Someone, should Someone should do something. <laughs> 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 I like the whole legs one out. Very nice. Look at that. Oh my yeah. goodness. Oh boy. Is she yeah, on when they all say, Look at the legs sixes from that or fine lady? It's like, yeah, because she's got like eight. <laughs> oh yeah, Adam, you don't need to read these out. I got text to speech on. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, everybody, how you feeling? What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna get a. You do whatever. I'm gonna get a drink real quick during the break. Uh, um, there's this new one. <laughs> there's a new I'm one. Down. Oh, compliment. New one. I was trying to do the meme. I know the meme. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, out of curiosity, how long? Like, who here? You know, what's what's the first person here is probably gonna have to leave. That's that's maybe we should base around that. Uh, probably me because I'm getting really tired. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Um, yeah, the tables have turned, Mauler. You always come on our stream after I've streamed for like 10 hours. And now I'm fresh and you're like 8 hours in. I'm actually about 10 hours in. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Let's debate something. Quick. Alright, let's oh, do it. No. 
Well, what uh, do you want to debate? Do we, uh, just out of curiosity then, would everybody be alright maybe with one more normal and then we'll go and uh, we'll check out a video? I'm down, let's do another one. Yeah. Right? Yep. Sure. yeah this is good. a lot of fun. Let's do it. Great. How are you, uh, Having a blast. How much time do I get to kidnap you, Gary, out of curiosity? Oh, a couple hours, at least. Wait. Oh, look at yeah. you. Oh, I'll steal all what? of you. That's right. Family's in bed. Oh, I'm free. <laughs> I like how, how, how Gary's PvP looks uh, like it's judging me and I'm crying about it. It's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I look like I'm wearing it Jay Long. Judging. I'm like, what's up? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Meme just looks really, like, epic. Tragic or something. Something really bad happened. Yep. Not, not blended at all. Rags is really far away. <laughs> Getting his drink. Hydrate, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, hydrating's good for you. We, uh, we are pro hydrating on the stream. Yes. Let everyone know. Yes. That, that makes you right wing, though. Oh, fuck. Uh, hydrating. <laughs> God damn it, they got me again. Yep. I like chicken wings. Oh, dear, me too. Yeah. I like right and left chicken wings, personally. Hmm. <laughs> what about center? I see. Do you uh, like the center wing? <laughs> no, I'm not a, into the center fence sitting wing. Wow. <laughs> He's those three wings. winged uh -oh. chickens. He just eats the that. wings, he throws the body away. What kind of <laughs> fucking mutant are you describing? Three winged chicken? They, oh, they, they do them at KFC, I think. It's great. Uh, they did. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Does it like come as the whole bird with the wing right in the center and the collarbone? Well, it's yeah. apparently they're from Chernobyl. I, I don't know. Uh, they taste great. Yeah. That's all I know. Or chicken. It might yeah, not be a wing, but we're we're not asking too many questions. Naturally spicy. When it tastes that good, I'm, you don't ask questions. Of naturally spicy. Yeah. I have returned. <laughs> tastes like chicken. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. I'm just glad. Another the Chernobyl economy is thriving. Write a sentence. Oh. Hmm. Man, joke's on you guys. I've already written mine. I was done before you. Hey, you should have given us a heads up. We could have thought about this ahead of time. But oh, heads up. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, it gave you a heads up when it gave you the prompt thing. Like, hey, heads up. Yeah, it was like, three, four, th two, one, uh, five. And then write a sentence. The writing is commencing right now. My house. Oh no, the music stopped. I don't click done. I let the thing do it for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is all right. Uh... Eh? Mm -hmm. This is. Who wrote this? This is undrawable. <laughs> Man, you keep encountering those. No one else is complaining about undrawable. Well, some people <laughs> I, think I mean, what the hell? There's no way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a 25 percent in, and I've drawn nothing. <laughs> this sucks. I'm quite satisfied with the expression I've already <laughs> drawn here. It's fun. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe this is the first thing in memory. The fridge is a very important <clears throat> aspect of a man's life. Yeah. Friedenberg. Friedenberg. It was this, like, uh, fat guy character I'd like to draw in, like, in early years of school, and I would always draw him with a big red shirt and the yellow M on it. It felt like he would be a fan, you know? Like a have merch from McDonald's. Oh, I'm gonna make this really dark. Well, as long as you don't go the blackface route, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Well, not literally dark. Just, you know. Fuck me. How is it that I managed to draw the guy pretty easily, but the fridge is like... <laughs> I can't draw I the fridge, I mean. apparently. <laughs> I draw like a broken one. I don't know.
the best I did the best I could. Is that on my tombstone? <laughs> Leave me alone, chat. This is smoke. I'm gonna draw some fire. Oh, Mahler, I gave you a layup there, dude. Oh. Oh, dude, yeah, well, I, I'm happy with the drawing. <laughs> for the most part. Okay, good. <laughs> what the? Mm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I went artistically literal on this one. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Wait. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, oh, man. My God. What, does, what am I even... <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Oh, that is good. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with this one. How are you guys' prompts? Rags for any of the good? You know, they're pretty good. How are yours, Mahler? Yeah. Mine are okay. All right. This is a good one. It's just going to take me a little bit. This one is something. I don't really know. Mm. I like that I haven't forgotten my something. ability to draw little poops. <clears throat> Could you ever forget? There are some things that you that are just important enough to really commit you know, in your brain to always knowing how to do like swimming, yeah. riding a bike, drawing poo. Yeah. Well, can you really forget it? You're right. I, I wonder about that. Do, 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 do. Hey chat. Do, did you enjoy the Batwoman episode while we were gone? I watched some of it. And was boy, it downright nostalgic? It's good to get some Batwoman. It kind of was. We're going to see... I hope you guys liked Black Mask, because you're going to be seeing him a few times. <laughs> oh, well, I imagine no, they haven't done Black Mask, have they? Oh, no. The ones watching it must have seen, like, As and Jay Longbow's coverage, so they'll, they'll know. They'll know us good. Maybe, maybe. But we don't... Well, we didn't. Do not didn't. post Batwoman spoilers, please. Some <clears throat> things have to be said. Well, to be fair, we've seen up to what, like... I think episode... I want to say two don't of even, season three, something like that. I don't even know. I don't know. It's been anymore. that long. So <laughs> the black mask moment. <laughs> well, um, we'll eventually get all the Batwoman episodes out because eventually the anniversaries will keep coming out. So <laughs> It'll be that's fine. true. By the time like, Wolf is back on the one thousandth episode, we will have finished <laughs> we'll Batwoman. Batwoman's. Yay! Okay, I don't, I don't know. Good enough, right? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Yeah, have fun with this one, whoever gets this. As long as you finish Batwoman before the inevitable Batwoman revival in 10 years. That's all what is this? All right, good enough. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, hey, 6 a.m. Let's go. I think this is a fringy drawing. Racism. Because it has a green person in it? <coughs> he has a trademarked style <laughs> that I am. Oh, I thought we were drawing a fringy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wish I could do this. <laughs> I know. Have courage. Hmm. I get genuinely though. I don't have the talent to draw this. <laughs> I wish I did. I need to be able to make it gross.
You just have to believe in yourself. Yeah. Wait, but what do I do if I don't? Just wing it. You have um, to start. Pretend. Fake it till you make it, baby. Yeah. How do I fake it when I can't do it? <laughs> well, you know, Pretend just... Pretend you um, can. Yeah, that. Do we have to provide all the answers? Holy shit. Well, one of them would be right. <laughs> if the way we're made clear, it would not be the way. I figured it out myself, I wouldn't be asking. We had a whole conversation about video games and difficulty. And the conclusion was... Gardaxone is too hard for Mahler. It is. Uh -huh. Give me the cheat codes. I'll Google. Don't make me. Google. If only I could draw the one reborn. Oh my god. You know, I had a concept for this response, but I just feel like it's going to get lost in translation. I think that's a very safe bet. Yeah. I mean, it, it will be blended. I mean, I was good at drawing yeah. Galifar. This is kind of similar. <laughs> you know what, chat? I think it worked out well enough. <laughs> 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 there we go. Someone will get something out of that, I'm sure. If you've seen the movie, I think you can agree that was fine. Hmm. This is very strange. <clears throat> well, that was straightforward. Oh. The coloring helped a lot. I agree. You're coloring. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You're a color. <gasps> oh. Brown like poo. But also brown like chocolate, so hey. guys laughing at this is a very serious <laughs> serious game lives are at stake oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Because you guys are so quiet over there, you must be... I am concentrating, I think very... everyone is. Taking all I, of our yeah, I'm effort. focusing so... Are you doing like a masterpiece yeah, the over thing. there? It's, just... like... it's, a, it's a piece of something. If the drawing doesn't follow Jeez. the rules, then everyone laughs at you and you can't... It's true. I didn't come here to be embarrassed. There, ooh, there ooh, are ooh. rules yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, be good. I'll be breaking that rule. I wish I could do transparent stuff. Work. <clears throat> hmm. Probably taking the inspiration from Simpsons, what your tongue does when you yell or wiggle. <laughs> yeah, I the same here often. This might just be my masterpiece. I hang this on my wall. <laughs> my brain kind of gave, gave up now. <laughs> I just, it's fine. Whatever this is I drew is fine. <laughs> oh, that looks bad. Oh, no! No! Alright, we'll leave that. <clears throat> he would be wearing white. Oh, that doesn't look... His hair. No, not that. Fuck. <laughs> the oh, worst God, image of God I've ever drawn. <laughs> the worst image of God. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone I offend. <laughs> no! Well, I did get an image of God.
<laughs> Alrighty, one more drawing, huh? Yeah, baby. All right, make this, this is a good it. one, Here guys. we go. Yeah. This is what you'll be remembered for. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that one's gonna come off really bad. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I got an easy one to be honest. Oh. <laughs> I need that one back, dude. <laughs> I need to finish what I was right. I need a refund. <laughs> oh, I really need that one back. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta remember that images are but a series of shapes enduring to become whole. Dude, is that Nietzsche? Probably. But probably not. <laughs> Even the right color? That's skin color, that can't be it. Fuck that. Uh... That is it. Whatever, we'll go with that. You know, sometimes if you increase the absurdity of what you're drawing, it will actually make it easier to draw. You're full of shit and you know it. <gasps> sometimes. <laughs> totally. Sometimes the shit is full of you. Yeah. Gross. Have you ever considered that? Increase the absurdity. Wow. That's a yes. Oh, I really needed more time. I feel uh depressed. One. Oh no. No. Not finished. Oh, I may have made a mistake. Uh oh. It wasn't as big as mine, I promise you. <laughs> I don't even know. I say that often. Oh, uh, actually, I do. That was yeah, it. That's one I didn't even know what the fuck. Oh was. no! All righty, folks. Set. Let's do it. Oh, All right. A large go. man with a gun. All right. This oh, was easy. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. yeah. I can't screw this one up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> man who jerks off too much robs his son with a gun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then I'll play big right arm. Angry cloud screaming at a robot. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can go with that. Go with that. Oh, that's, that's good. That's pretty good, yeah. That's good. Angry meatball angry at Russian bot. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a Russian flag, yes. <laughs> Mega hat turned out to be a poop summoning device. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is excellent. It was Beautiful. I was thinking, how could you do summoning? <laughs> that's pretty good. Good stuff, man. The miracle of birth. Oh no. A fresh baby emerges oh, from the womb. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's exactly how Woman it happens. gives birth to hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's technically true, yes. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> oh, no. The thing lives. Oh, this is what I was having trouble with, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah! What the oh, fuck yeah. is that? Oh, I guess uh, this is where the inside uh, out. Inside it's a chimera out. running from the bopo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh no! The Catholic the... Church revisited no child oh, no. left behind policy. <laughs> 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 Like you know, that's, right. that's, right. that's, right. that's a fitting <laughs> final image from the prompt, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Vegan dingo stripper hates cell phone service. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, nice. so Goblin whore unsatisfied with new network package. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Clarissa wears a red dress. She has bad internet. <laughs> Twitch disconnected. Oh no. The chair's live stream disconnected. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Comrade. <laughs> Hassan Tommy working hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Malur praises oh. Captain Marvel as a lovely, level headed lad. <laughs> it's not bad. Malur gives Captain Marvel a pep talk. He lies. Wow! <laughs> oh. We kept Captain You're Marvel. You're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller consoles, Captain Marvel. Wow, we Ooh, yeah, we keep wow. it the nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now learn his master yeah, is yeah. a very shy on screen. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 you're so excited! Oh my god! <laughs> He's more eyes than man now. It went from, oh, that's my actually pretty god. good, to, oh my god. on the edge of a cliff. Oh, oh shit, god. this is it. Oh no. That's what I would have thought. <laughs> oh, man. Man oh, chewing shit. on lettuce. Grinsley. <laughs> oh no. All right, that's fine. Okay, oh, I get it. Wow, we have a movie Bob Diet. <laughs> Ain't no way. That, Ain't no that's way the he's in there. Yeah. <laughs> there we <laughs> go. Like a vortex. Movie Bob sucks in a normal size to <laughs> law. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really know what that it's is. It's abstract. Mm. It's a, yeah, it's a face. It's an upside down face. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Got it. Want to know how I got these artists? Oh, that, that's the prompt that was like, what? Um. <laughs> the man questions the existence of artists. YouTuber. Man questions the existence. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Oh, man tries to understand the unfeeling machine. <laughs> Don't try. Don't try. Oh, oh feel? feel? I thought it said feed. Great Cube refuses to feed Angry Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one um, makes sense. Nice. I gotta Perfect. explain this one. Pedo oh, shit. lettuce hust. Oh, <laughs> no. You were supposed to be a pedo lettuce hustler fail. Sorry. <laughs> My little boy. That, that is how you tell if someone's a pedo. They just go around and say, whether they're a cabbage or not, you know? Or lettuce. I guess as a mentor, right? His friend? Like, oh. A beautiful communist girl. She's easy to. Oh my. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so happy. That's, yeah. Frida loves communism. It's like a communism. lot of work, though. Frida loves communism. Oh my god, we haven't uh, gotten a single. Oh, I read that as Florida. Why the fuck did I Florida? I thought I said Florida. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. America's wearing suit seat. Florida. There are a few things more patriotic than a bald eagle's <laughs> Guy standing on the surface of the moon. Oh, Interesting. Right. 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 This is pretty good. Look at this stuff, there. man. It's good. Astronaut on the moon on the realizes planet, the Earth is sus. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the fuck? Matt Arthur discovers world is his final destination. No, no items. <laughs> God throws a quarter at her. Ah, this is where the force push weird things. God comes. force pushes grey potato lemon into unsuspecting <laughs> ear. <laughs> 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 
Grape potato lemon, and then. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, well, obviously it's a grape potato lemon. Yeah, yeah, no, I got that. Everyone, you know. Yeah, that that's obvious. A church full of worms, actual worms, full <laughs> to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> House of God, but with Dookie in it. Dookie, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> Dookie, right. Big Dookie. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy Jesus! <laughs> Holy shit in a church. <laughs> I think this becomes more whole. Good character sense to heaven for forsaking <laughs> his orange skin. Yes. <laughs> uh. God of carrots tired of carrots bullshit. <laughs> the god of carrots. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wild carrots, man. There are something else. Those are definitely <laughs> carrots. Barrel, barrel Movie carrots. Bob's fridge quits on him. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no. Have to store all of his food by the window. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's man crying over burning Jenga tower. I'm glad Close it wasn't enough. a 9 reference. <laughs> Got the solar eyes. Ronald McDonald burns down McDonald's for the insurance money. <laughs> 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 Ronald yeah, McDonald oh was sick of being underpaid. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Shit. Ronald watching oh, for no. cops as he dispels his mustard. <laughs> 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 uh, no! Oh my god! Uh, <sighs> That's it, folks. Good well three done. Tunes. Well done. <laughs> I like Arctic Phone. It's good. It's yeah, good it's stuff. pretty great. It's fantabulous. All right. Yeah, that was fun. That was Where a skill lot of is fun. not only re not required, it's not encouraged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh man. <laughs> it's just when you can follow it along, there's some level of <laughs> like. Oh yeah, yeah, sense. yeah. Poor oh, movie Bob watching this Fred explode became like an insurance scam. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense somehow. Um so an elaborate plan. Well alright then. Let us go to phase two. We'll go back to video watching, all right? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. All right. Maybe oh, you do you will you do your video phone. watching. I'm gonna leave you for now because I'm getting very tired. Very well. Oh. Now I'm really judging you. Oh. Sleep Wait, well. I am sure time. I'll be back for phase three episode three whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Phase three, four. yes. <laughs> You, you'll never get rid of me cool. forever. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bye. We here. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Good good sleep. See ya. Bye, Chad. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Cheerio. Bye. Cheerio. Off he goes. All right. Yeah, bikini. Go. Go. So we here today, if you all jump into that <coughs> watch together, are lucky enough to witness. Oh. I've told you about this video, Gary. I told you about it. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. you did. Oh. Uh, oh my. I think I mentioned what it are we in for? on Real BBC mainly, but yeah, so there's this theory, okay? Well, so funnily enough, the reason this was found, and I saw it in the Discord, was, um, you know how everyone hates what they've done with Hulk? It was yeah. like, yeah. people are making videos yeah. about it now, because like, it's like, oh, I'll explain to you guys what's wrong, as if any of us don't know, but I'm not blaming them, you know, make your videos, go ahead. Um, but like, there was a couple of them that came out, and one of them did pretty well, it was like, you know, how the MCU killed the Hulk, and it went through like all the different movies and stuff. I think someone in the Discord watched that and was like, oh, this is pretty good. Let's see what else this guy's done. And he made another video. And then they shared it and they were like, does anyone know if this is any good? And I saw the title and I was like, what the fuck? The title of this video is Joss Whedon Hates Captain America. What? Hmm. And I was like, huh. what? I've mm, never heard that theory. And of course, it must be referring to either Avengers or Age of Ultron because what else could it be? And I mean, I've seen those films. I assume some of you guys have. I never would have described... Yeah. Cap is being like shot on in those films. He's quite awesome. So, you know, like what, 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 what is the argument? And I, and I checked the video out. Um, it's not great. It's not, it's not fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I figured maybe we could yeah. check it out and see what you guys think. If you're yeah, let's give it a look. Alrighty, let's I do it. Trust me with an open mind. Is everybody in? We got one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that is everybody. Captain America. Here I think I made twice, it. So just. 
I don't know if um, I can trust someone who can't be in the center of their own profile picture. Yeah. What he said. Um, What's he hiding over there? Actually, out of curiosity, over there. anyone here not seen Avengers? Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> this is just curious so you'll know the context of these arguments. Right. Even I've seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. Uh, it's been a while, but I've seen, seen it once it. or twice, yeah. Yeah, I saw it that one time, yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Joss Whedon hates Captain America. Please allow me to All explain. Right. Right into it. Right out the gate, gate. Hey, you know what? With everything, Theo was losing his fucking mind with videos <laughs> that don't get into it, so we're lucky. This one's going right in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, re before we start, gone. I mean, Joss Whedon has said publicly many times that he hates the Punisher, but he doesn't like. Uh, but he's never said anything about Captain America. He hates the why Punisher. Does he not, why does, uh, he, hate why does he hate the Punisher? Yeah. He said if he had a chance to take over the Marvel universe, he would get rid of the Punisher because he's so violent, you know, and his oh. methods. I mean, <laughs> just so okay. Fascist. That's curious yeah. considering some of the characters violence. Joss has written. Wait, is he annoyed yeah. that people like like the Punisher? Is that the idea? He, he's, he's probably too edgy. Yeah. I, I would guess, I, I would just say it's it's his Hollywood ideology. Well, because he's got that weird thing where he's like, when characters are quote-unquote evil, he doesn't like it when the audience like them. Um, even though, like, yeah. most of, you know, like, when, when everyone's like, oh, I fucking love Darth Vader. It's not like we're fucking, yay, more mm -hmm. planets, woohoo. <laughs> Re remember, J Joss is a male feminist, so he doesn't like the old school 80s action, Ooh. brutal, yeah, yeah, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger types. That's yeah. He said that like a, over a decade. Oh God, maybe fifteen years ago. Well, yeah, because that's the weird thing. Like I, I've never known him to say anything publicly about Cap. But if you had just told me, like he said a lot about Cap or something, I'd be like, oh shit, I didn't know. But funny thing is, this guy is going strictly off the movie. No quotes, nothing else. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Well, interesting. Mm. In America, Good luck, buddy. please allow me to explain. When the film starts, he gets an okay introduction, but it's ultimately quite shallow. We go from him learning that he's in the future, straight to him getting new missions from S.H.I.E.L.D. The film would greatly benefit from learning more about his perspective on the new world, what his thoughts are on the technology and culture. So that so happens in the film. Is, do, do we not get, hmm? yeah, I was about to say, do we not get that? Like, that is <laughs> throughout the film, I would argue. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, most importantly, the first line he has tells you a shit ton about what he thinks. Maybe this guy will address that. Maybe, maybe, because... Yeah, it's, it's odd. Um, I think that that's a reasonable assumption that you should spend your time from Cap 1 into Avengers, probably talking, like, how does he deal with the transition? It's like, to be fair, it's an ensemble movie, but they totally have loads of examples. I would say most, if not all, of his dialogue relates to him being a man out of time, um, yeah. which is how he feels. And there's, and there's deleted scenes where he's um, even more, like, acclimating to um, the... To the to the whole modern world, which are cut, but it showed that Joss Whedon was thinking about that and was putting scenes in there to give him the option to go even more detail into that, more detailed into that. So I don't, I, it's not a good start when I know those scenes exist, and your whole yeah. prospect here is that he hates him, and this is one of your arguments. Also, Sargon is in chat saying, uh, "It sucks that I missed this because I got prior engagements." Everyone shame him, bad person. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's up? Shame. Oh, shame. Oh, 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 shame. Oh, oh, get a job. Yeah. <laughs> Boo, get a job. <laughs> Yeah, How he feels yeah, about losing his old life and other things of that nature. This eventually gets addressed in Winter Soldier, but that doesn't retroactively save this film from lacking content. A severely missed opportunity is giving us Captain America's first impressions of Tony Stark. Yeah, that's in there. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of impressions of Tony Stark, but mm. arguably it's just strange. All right. Did you not I, watch the movie? You'll be asking yourself that a lot. Steve and Howard Stark were once very close, and Tony could serve as the gateway that would connect Steve from the old world to this new one. Um, it's funny, isn't there a line from Tony in Avengers where he's like, my dad never shut up about you? Or something like that? Or is that in Civil War? Uh, that's in Avengers, yeah. I or, or, it was Avengers. Yeah, I think he was, yeah, I think he's talking to someone else going like, I just don't understand why my dad wouldn't shut up about this guy. That's it, yeah, because the, they sew it as though, they don't make it hyper over it, which I kind of prefer. But it's that Tony didn't have a fantastic relationship with his dad, and of course he has a lot of guilt that he never got to say how he felt about him before he died, right? So there's a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of issues there. Iron Man 2 goes over this. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that he, he had in front of him is this guy, who his dad really respected, and they had a really good relationship. 
But, like, Tony's got this really awkward tension with Cap. Like, you may have known my dad better than I did, sort of thing. There's, there's a lot of neat stuff going on there. <clears throat> uh, it's, not, it's not like it's empty or anything. Instead, their introductions are relatively glossed over, with their first conversations being largely about their mission. It would be nice to see Cap's reaction to just how far Stark Industries progressed, and how he views Tony when compared to Howard. But no. Instead of all that, we get constant references to the idea that he's dumb because he's old. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, who's dumb, Captain what? America? Cap is dumb because he's old. Uh... 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 This guy should what? talk to the not-so-great debate guy. Literally not. Yeah. You almost want to be like, I, I, do, can you explain? And, uh, you know what, we can, we can give him some time for that. It seems to run on some form of electricity. But he's not that thing, though. Guy's like a Stephen Hawking. He's like a smart person. He may be mad. Just Maybe. Mm. He meant to, uh, sorry, maybe he meant to say he's dumb because he's out of time. Dumb because he's old. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's, he's, he's just ignorant of things that happened while he was dead. Or, yeah, just yeah. No references. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm total old. asshole. Why don't you know things that yeah, you were like, dead for? The guy from the 1940s is looking at this and says, it runs on electricity. Oh, I mean, stupid. someone from today looks at that and they're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I actually agree. I don't know what the I don't fuck know, that is. That sounds like something I might say. He's like, oh, it runs on electricity, I think. <clears throat> and it's a Look, fun moment. I know... I know you've been in the present for like five minutes, but why the f fuck don't you know who Stephen Hawking is? That's a, yeah, that's Dick. another thing. It's just, if anything, it's just good consistency in terms of like, yeah, he probably hasn't read up on Stephen fucking Hawking. And <clears throat> wasn't famous when he was around, so yeah, he's just like, who is that? Uh, but that yeah. doesn't make him stupid, jeez. When he's not that thing, though, guy's like a Stephen Hawking. He's like a smart person. It may be magical, but it works an awful lot like a hydro weapon. I don't know about that. Wait, what? Why, what? what? Why, that's that's not... not stupid. <laughs> so it just says I don't know about that. What's interesting about that line is Fury wants to uh, get away from talking about hydro weapons because if you remember, Shield yeah. at this point have utilized hydro weapons, which is a plot point. Uh, they've been lying to everybody about what they did with the hydro weapons. So that, mm -hmm. That's not. That's not even. That's not any. That's just a good line in terms of giving you a setup. It's not ignorance on uh, Cap's part. And even without the Hydra connection, that's well, fair. It's like, this looks like a Hydra weapon. I don't <clears throat> know about that. Also, can someone remind me what the him giving him the money was for? I don't know about that. It was him being he, loud he, about the carrier flying or something. Yeah, yeah, he made it bad. It, it was actually, and, um, it was, is he's mocking him. He's like, here's 15 cents. Why don't you buy a burger and fries? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the present. <laughs> You can't yeah. buy a burger and fries with 15 cents, you fuck! No, it's because Steve is from the 1940s, and he's really racist. Dumbass. He thought oh, Fury yeah. was like the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, when a black man gives you money. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's, he's tipping him. <laughs> yeah. We invented uh, equality since the 40s. Oh, it was... <laughs> I guess, it was... ooh, look, we're putting black people in movies now, ooh. It was that nothing would surprise him after all he's seen, and then he's like, he did, because... Thing is flying, yeah. Why does that make someone stupid? I'm not really Doesn't. sure. Yeah. I, yeah, okay. I <laughs> have no, Ignorance have is no clue. clue. Polarity long enough to disengage Maglev and that Speak should... English! Steve. Polarity and Maglev. You all know exactly what Tony Stark means when he says all that shit? Yeah. If you oh, don't, totally, you're stupid. Yeah. I don't know what reversing the polarity means like, in the context of the thing. Doesn't he end up just saying pull the lever? And it's like, ah, okay. Wrong lever! I don't know why that <laughs> makes him stupid that he doesn't... Yeah. Also, that's a good reference. Tell me none of this smells a little funky to you. Funkies. Oh, Wait, now, what this what is... Was, so, uh, what what? That, in what was that the clip, problem with that one? In that clip, the context is Cap believes that S.H.I.E.L.D. is a force for good, and that those two are saying something's up here. Why does that make Cap stupid? Why wouldn't he trust S.H.I.E.L.D.? What is going on with this video? I don't understand. Well then, doesn't he immediately <laughs> go, like, break into the files and he look does. Himself? He's the one that finds the... the yeah, he takes charge. Wow. That's not stupid. Wow. No, he's stupid, apparently. You don't understand. I do. I, I understood that reference. 
He's glad that he knows a reference because he's probably used to not knowing things about the modern world. Which is fun because the Which alien doesn't know human culture, but the guy from the 40s knows it well enough to be able to point that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny because this moment was uh, one of people's favorites when this movie first came out. Everyone loved this yeah. shit. Yeah. Does this make him stupid again? Like, he's just happy that he finally got a pop culture reference in the sea of alien fucking Kim Kardashian shit he probably got bombarded with coming out of the ice. Yeah. I don't even... Why? And this is just an aside, but does anyone know what Captain America means when he says this line? Which I one? went under. Oh, right. The world was at war. I wake up, they say we won. They didn't say what we lost. I've seen this film about 800 times, and I could never figure it out. I'm sorry, I, could, do you mind replaying really? that? I had to fiddle with the volume oh. of my video, and I didn't really hear I know hear exactly what he meant. Oh, well, we're going to talk about this line for a while, because it's a fucking great line. Yeah. But we'll, we'll replay it, no problem. Please, uh, yes, thank you. Anyone know what Captain America means when he says this line? I went under. The world was at war. I wake up, they say we won. They didn't say what we lost. I've seen... So he has no idea what he means by that line, and he's seen the movie 800 really? times. Are you serious? Do you I know mean, what happened after World War II? Does he know what happened after World War II? A <laughs> lot of shit happened. Are you saying after. Steve is a shit trad happened. con, and he's very Amer upset that, hey, uh, maybe, that we're in the modern world now? Maybe Captain yeah. America doesn't like paying taxes, which he didn't have to do a lot of back when he was alive, and now everything gets taxed, and the... Uh, post-communism and everything Every, destab uh, the destabilized Europe the United Nations China now yeah I, it's all fine after yeah, World War II everything's, everything's cool Vietnam is great I was yeah. about to say can anybody from the 1940s getting a full update up to 2012 be happy with all the world events can you Probably think none. of any world events that would make you think like holy fuck what happened what did we do um, obviously he's referring to Trump and the return of the Nazis <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't. Well, Trump, it wasn't yeah. until 2016. He's predicting it. So he predicted it. Yeah. Uh, the gotcha. the primary interpretation I think I would get from this is the World War back where he's from is very much uh, clear cut. Bad guys, good guys. Right. And that yep. and he would have been War updated on, on. Yeah, all the wars he would have been updated on. He would have been like, "What the fuck are these? What is this? What is everyone right. doing? And why?" And then of the course, war on poverty. He went into into the ice before the uh, before the the nukes were made, right? Uh, sure. What year is Captain America? Uh, uh, yes. So I assume that this it was like it would be easy to it was, brown, it was like forty five. Can't totally remember. I'm pretty sure it was yes. before the nukes. And so, point being that I think you might have some concerns over the well, creation the of the retcon. The retcon. Cap fought commies. They changed oh, right, that. Right. Um, so basically, what, what we're trying to point out here, there's a laundry list of what he may very well be referring to, but uh, I would go as far as saying it's just that things, we've, uh, we as a country, should I say, that? or the, I think he's referring to government powers, they're, um, they've lost a lot of humanity, I think is kind of what he's getting at. Uh, which is a huge thing for his arc, if you remember, this film's gonna set it up, but Winter Soldier's gonna take it forward, that, uh, Cap loses faith in institutions. Mm -hmm. So this is like about the Patriot Act. Well, I wouldn't want to claim it's about any one thing. That's kind of right. the genius of the line, right? You as an individual can yeah. think about what you believe he's talking about. Um, right. I would just take it literally the amount of human lives that have been sacrificed after World War II. That, well, yeah, sorry. That's actually a very important one as well. It's just that the, yep. we, did, we did not come out of that you know, without bruises that way. Yeah. Um, the reason I think it's a fantastic line is one of the quickest ways to have translated a shit ton about his POV uh, moving from 1940s to 2012, which is what you have to do. Not everything is well in the world from his perspective. Yes. Yeah, I just thought it, like he meant it personally because, you know, he's woken up in this world that's so different to him that he's probably, you know, he's, he's, he's upset that he's lost all these things that kind of attached him to Pers his yeah. civilian life and now they're all gone. That's the genius of the line. It can mean both things. You know, his, yeah, his personal loss, what America has lost, because it, I mean, it was clear. I mean, like, imagine his view on uh, massive corporatism uh, coming from the 40s. It, it would have been nice if they'd have spent like an entire movie uh, on him 
yeah. going over that, but uh, they, I think they did a really good job in Avengers covering what they needed to. I've seen this film about 800 times, and I could never figure it out. I assume he's referring to World War II. Are you blind to subtext? You, you, I gotta be honest, you guys have to just let him speak here. This is one of the funniest <laughs> fucking interpretations of the line I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Oh, okay. This is, this is okay, what he got okay. from it, okay? I've seen film about 800 times, and I could never figure it out. I assume he's referring to World War II, but we did win that. By we lost, does he mean that there are still problems in the world? Later on, we find out that Hydra still exists. Mm, but at this nah. point in the MCU, for all we know, they've been defeated. Been that. In any case, this line comes off as a pretty glass-half-empty response towards winning World War II. That whole event was kind of a big deal, and it was very hard, and he should know Holy this. Event? It's understandable if he's depressed about getting frozen, but if he should find levity anywhere, it should be in learning that his and everyone else's sacrifices during the war were not in vain. You would think that he would be a little bit more grateful and relieved. This is just an odd line in general. Okay. Uh, so, it's actually kind of baffling. Right? His, his I'm, interpretation I'm like, well, is... Sunshine and roses, man. He, his literal what? interpretation is that he's being like disrespectful to those who died in the war. He should be a little bit more positive about the fact that we won. It's like, are you a child? Like, what, do you, what are you suggesting? That you can't have any thoughts about how we came out of that war or what happened next that are negative? What are you talking about? Oh, Motherfucker, during the time he was frozen, the World Trade Center got built and then it got knocked yeah, down no, again by terrorists. Exactly. A lot happened. I, 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 I could, like, he's like, I couldn't possibly figure out what he's trying to say, but you know what? He's not being very nice about the war. <laughs> like, what? That would have been really awkward if he was looking at pictures from like the 90s and he's like, wow, those two, those two big towers right there. That's really cool. Can, can we go visit that? I'd really <laughs> yeah, like to, exactly. I really like to see these. That looks really awesome. Can we go? <laughs> and they're like, oh, Ugh. oh, lost. They were, oh, uh, they were knocked down by people we trained. What? Oh, mm. sad. Joss, why did you write this? Captain America's first fight scene is a good writer. Of... I mean, yeah, it's a really, really, really efficient line. Loki, and I'll address the elephant in the room right away. Okay. This costume is atrocious. The way it conforms to Chris Evans' body makes him look small. It doesn't help that he has large, uh, puffy. It's all right. I don't know about the making him look small. Uh, the helmet is is eh to me, but the rest of it's I don't fine. Like, yeah, I don't like the helmet. The rest I like, but the helmet is definitely. I wouldn't have the helmet. I like it when it doesn't cover the ears. I way prefer um, his look oh. in his first movie in Winter Soldier and every, basically everything mm -hmm. that I like more right. than this. But I don't hate this. Just, yeah, I don't hate yeah. it. Definitely. Well, not. Got a very small needs problem. wings. Yeah, I wondered if things the out. color makes it look like extra corny, but I was thinking maybe that's on purpose because he's supposed to be like out of time. So I yeah. think yeah, they I tried like to the colors. I think there's lines about that in the movie in relation to how is they made yeah, up this costume. Yeah, Tony says makes fun of the costume. I think at some point. I think I'd so. take that costume over anything they come up with now. So. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Do it. Gloves and boots, plus this oversized rubber helmet that connects to a cloth costume. And why didn't they include a backside? Did they not think he would turn around? <laughs> Tangent aside, Loki and Cap have a fight, and it's a bit of a struggle. It accents That's America's a... ass. <laughs> <laughs> well and good, but then Iron Man suddenly appears, and Loki surrenders after taking just one hit from him. Granted, oh Loki's plan. God, it's a remember trap. when Loki was cool? Wait, how can, wait, wait, wait. Uh, how can he say Loki surrenders after taking one hit? Granted, it was his fucking plan. missile. Like, well, then why did you end your video? <laughs> So he, he's annoyed uh, that Cap went toe to toe with Loki and didn't defeat him, but Iron Man did. Somehow this makes Cap less of a person. I, I, so I'm breaking news: Iron Man's power level is higher than Cap's. Yeah, yeah. And Loki, Loki has a pretty high power level too, being Asgardian. Well, he's you know, gone God. as well. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. Like, also, just FYI, Loki's surrendering is part of his plan too. So I don't know why you would ignore that, but oh, and also, he acknowledges it in the sky. Tense. Well, yeah, let him go again. Loki and Cap have a fight, and it's a bit of a struggle for him. That's all well and good, but then Iron Man suddenly appears, and Loki surrenders after taking just one hit from him. Granted, it was Loki's plan to surrender, but that's beside the point. Okay, so... Uh, that's that's beside the point. He says it's beside the point. He says beside the point. That's the point. <laughs> that is the point. <laughs> what? The way the fight is oriented yeah, makes Cap seem like a small fish in a large pond. He is literally a small fish in a large pond. Compared to Loki, yes. Compared to Loki, yeah. He's, he's the whole point of him compared to the rest of the team, is he's just a guy. Uh, yeah, he's obviously super... Uh, he's not the Hulk. He is not a man in a high-tech suit that's immune to damage and has, like, fucking missiles. He's not a god of thunder. Uh, granted, you got Hawkeye and Black Widow, but of the main set, 
he's the guy. He can get killed mm -hmm. by like one bullet to his head. Uh, well, to be honest, one couple bullets to his uh, his stomach would probably get. Does him. that not say a lot about the yeah. fact that he would go into that fight anyway? Even though, yeah, he even goes though first, he is outpowered, out you know, literally out find an alien god, and he and he yeah. manages to stand up to him. This is this is a cool cap moment, not a negative one because he doesn't perform as well as Tony. But that we... seems like a very shallow way to, to view it, isn't it? Like, what does it say about him that he made the choice to fight him, even he though was, he probably like, knew that he couldn't win? I mean, between, you know, not to put Iron Man down at all, but between Cap and Iron Man, who would who is the braver person in a sense? Exactly. Cap. Yeah. yeah. Far. And let's look at um, the, the setup of this scene, right? Because Loki is trying to sell the illusion that he is surrendering. So Cap shows up. He's the only guy still there. Uh, he's the only guy there at that point. Um, so Loki is selling the fight with Cap at that point. And then Iron Man shows up with a jet, also with guns pointing down, shoots Loki down. Loki is now surrounded. He pinpoints that as the moment he should surrender to sell it as not being a trap. Yeah. And so of course he goes down to one shot to Iron Man. That's the perfect time in the fucking fight to sell the surrender. What the and, um... fuck's wrong with you? Doesn't Iron Man say something like good call? So, like, the, the whole idea there being that Iron Man's convinced that this was a genuine surrender when it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, same, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and the same for Cap. And fucking Cap gets to be awesome here. He saves uh, the old dude's life, and he deflects uh, Loki's blast back into him. Why, like, yeah. why are we treating this like Cap just gets owned? Like, it's a little bit... I don't know about that. And like in the implication around. that the old guy is like either a Holocaust survivor or he was in World War II during the, that, right? um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So him being saved by Cap, another World War II person, again another layer on top of that. What do you? This is so shallow. This is such a shallow read. Oh. And there's so Finish. much to pick through. When there's so much to pick through in Marvel, you pick this. Okay. <laughs> This is what I mean. When I was at this point, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, why did you get so angry at this? This is pretty good. Struggle so much seems kind of lame when compared to Iron Man, who just shows up and wins. Yeah, it's so lame that Cap couldn't just easily take out a god. Because that would make me more annoyed. I'd be like, what the fuck? Isn't he supposed to be like a dude with heightened reflexes and muscles? Not like... He should have thrown his shield and punched Loki square in the jaw and planted an American flag on his body. Impaled <laughs> <laughs> him with the flag. Yes. Yes. You bastard. Ends like it's nothing. This issue is made doubly apparent in the next fight scene that follows. Okay. Thor arrives to capture Loki, and Iron Man pursues him to do battle. When Cap tries to follow, Black Widow recommends that he stays behind because she thinks that he's too weak to help. I'd sit this one out, Cap. I don't see how I can. These guys come from legend. They're basically gods. This scene is also repeated. He's correct. That I, I she's yep. correct. Mm -hmm. And Cap's Cap response is great. Feels, yeah, he he still feels like he has to go down there and do something about it. If you think this is, di you have a bizarre <laughs> lens on how to to judge a character's you know traits and attributes. If you think that this is in any way denigrating him, that that's just outright well, bizarre. What like? If this was a comic, like, I don't know, what does he want Captain America to do in this situation? Like, is he going to, like, just jump down and land in the ground like Hulk? And, like, I don't, what, what is he supposed to do in this situation that would make him stronger? Uh, sorry, I guess it I... would be better for his character if Cap said, yeah, they do look pretty strong. I'll stay in here. Yeah, I'm just going to kick out. here is... with a martini. We're talking about a good script. So, like, every line is deliberate. When he says, I don't, uh, don't know how I can, what he's referring to is... His fucking principles. He's like, they've just exactly. stolen our prisoner. Yes. I don't care if it's a god. Uh, I'm getting him back. Maybe that's what he doesn't recognize. That's right. And it's like, what a fucking great line. And then she says that. And what does he say back? Isn't it, um, uh, there's, there's only, only one, one god, god and he doesn't wear a cape or something like that? Something like he that. Does, yeah. He doesn't dress like that, I think. Yeah, it's a fucking great line. He just jumps yeah, but... out because he's like, this is where, the, I'm very confused because these are moments that make you go, man, Captain America's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> like he's just, you're not supposed to go. Oh, I don't like this one. <laughs> he's, he's pretty lame. Apparently, he's not as good as a god, so that's pretty. Well, Sorry. And also, from Black Widow's perspective, it's not like you know she doesn't know him very well. So from oh, her really? perspective, he's just like some guy. I think yeah. that's, that's part of it in this film is none of them really know what Cap's capable of. They're not really sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, and let's think about what happens after he jumps down. He's not even necessarily going down the other fight. He's trying to defuse the situation because, remember, Cap's strengths were never the superpowers. The superpowers were an enhancement of his... Um, the, of his strengths, uh, of the strengths of his character um, to begin with. Mm -hmm. So he's going down there to play negotiator to try and get it. Also helps him punch hard though. So. Yes, that is true. Real that power. Is true. Is <laughs> Guys come from legend. They're basically gods. This scene is also repeated in Age of Ultron. Do you think the pilot in that scene was going like, "Oh my God, I'm sitting right next to this famous actress"? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, I thought you meant like in God. universe. He's like, "This Iron Man." Oh, yeah. I mean, in universe, he's probably saying, "Oh my God, Black Widow's right next to me, Captain America." And, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! The God of Thunder just took our prisoner. Oh my <laughs> this God! So cool. This is actually so amazing. This, they're not gonna blame me for this. I know, but still. Well, he's definitely unhappy. I'm gonna try and keep him that way. You're not a match for him, Cap. Thanks, Barton. One Captain America. So, if anybody doesn't remember, he's referring to Ultron, a, a, a robot that has telekinesis and lasers. The Cap is also not a match for Ultron, and yet he fights him and goes toe to toe. Does Ultron have telekinesis? Yeah, it's really fucking weird. He has like a yeah. it's like magnets or he, he's more than just magnets because he pulls up like concrete with it. It's really weird. It's really? It's like he's got, I, I like, like he's got tractor beam well, fingers. Yeah. Um, okay, all right. Basically, Ultron is fucking broken. Uh, he should never lose <laughs> any fight. And, you know, Cap is trying to keep at him because they got to in that scene. And it's a fucking good moment that Hawkeye is like, don't, you're never going to beat him. And he's like, I've, <laughs> like Cap, Cap's POV is, I have no choice. I've got to fucking try and stop him. So thanks for the encouragement, dude. Um, <laughs> Someone just someone put this in the chat, and I need to post it. <laughs> Everyone in the room is like character rolling a four. <laughs> yeah, we're just eating garlic. <laughs> Hey, it's a strategy to, to meet out the fucking vampire. Uh, oh my hey, God. you! Walk into that house uninvited. Huh? Wouldn't it be cool if you could you did that? That's <laughs> him. Uh. America finally <laughs> enters the fight. He uses his signature shield throw straight to the faces of Thor and Iron Man, and it literally has no effect on either of them. It gets it stops them. Okay, and it it gets maybe <laughs> maybe because one is wearing a fucking iron helmet. You dingus! And the other one's a god. <laughs> a god. <laughs> What the fuck are you expecting the shield to do? Their attention. Yeah, he broke up the fight. What are you talking about? It had the desired effect, and yes, it doesn't. But it didn't decapitate them both, <laughs> so fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why did why Cap did Cap fucking maim Iron Man in this <laughs> scene? What a pussy! Like, oh, you're both still alive. I shouldn't have even fucking bothered. My mistake. <laughs> I'll just leave. They just seem mildly annoyed. <laughs> And stop fighting. Yeah, that's the point. They're not fighting anymore. They, they're they currently stopping their fight yep. to pay attention to him. He tells them to stop fighting, and Thor tries to kill him for it. When we get to the scenes in the hell... Well, um, wait, they, he cuts wait. away from him stopping you, the blow. Yeah, you cut away from the fact that he deflected Thor's <laughs> hammer. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> impressive. Yes. I, feel like, I feel like we're being biased here, just a little bit. This is a troll. This is a troll video. No, it's real. He really, what? really does not... He's got plenty like, more he's... arguments, Sitch. You're, you have no wow. idea. Carrier, He's just being the Captain dad America in that scene. Like, <laughs> you just don't understand. Joss hates Cap, and it's become very clear already, has it not? They just seem mildly annoyed. He tells them to yeah, stop fighting, and Thor clearly. tries to kill him for it. When we get to the scenes in the Helicarrier, Captain America and Tony Stark are constantly arguing with each other. You would think that they'd have some semblance of respect for one another due to Cap's history with Howard Stark, but no. Tony is constantly Ooh. making jokes at Cap's expense, and... Hmm. It's Tony. complicated, dude. Tony, Tony making it's jokes at people's expense. Definitely only Cap that he's doing that. Thing. Um, not yeah, to mention, Scott... there's a very important key detail. I don't know if any of you guys remember. Why is everybody a bit catty in this in this environment? Why is everyone mm. that way? Does anyone remember? Mm. I don't know. Maybe there's someone mm. on the ship casting a some sort of a spell, yeah. spell or that the camera zooms in on and turns yeah. upside yeah. down. It's the Mind Stone. It's fucking with everybody's brains. It's making them all assholes. So well, it's, it's I mean, like a very Tony's wow. default character is to be an asshole. Exactly. Yeah, so. but he's be, a super you know, asshole. Like to be fair, this is how I talk to all my friends all the time. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, so um, I think it becomes clear pretty quickly that uh, so the idea here is that Tony's still in Iron Man 1 and 2 mode, where he's just like, fuck authority, I'll do what I want. And right. Cap has just come from uh, the 1940s, where following orders was leading to the best results. He's unsure of what's going on, and he's annoyed that Tony's making loads of decisions without being told what to do. So they're clashing already. Like, you well, shouldn't be doing this, that, and the other without being told. And Because and Tony explains to him he's hacking into their whole system, and Cap's like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. and they're both used to being like the alpha leader of their per their you know groups, yeah. and so they have to you know butt heads there. Well, and as I just explained, Tony's already got a bit of a couple of issues with Cap. He's jealous of his relationship with his dad. This is right. already in a subtext for like a lot of what Tony says. Um, but then, of course, like I said, you throw on the variable that everybody here is being fucked with. Everyone's on edge, um, and it's a stressful environment. We are. Uh, is it a world ending? Well, it's an army invasion threat, I guess, but. It's not good, you know, the Tesseract. They need the Tesseract back. Oh, and the Hulk is around, which is another stress, mm -hmm. I'd say. And Cap backfires at him like an insecure child. I get that we want to foreshadow Civil War, what? but isn't the... No, they're not, not foreshadowing. Like firing they're not <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> in front of you is not. Is like, you're an insecure child if someone makes fun of you and you snap back at them? Apparently, if you... Def if like, because Cap's comebacks and Tony's are all pretty on point. They're pretty good. Uh... They're rude, but they're <laughs> pretty good. That's the that's the point, yeah, is that they're rude. Um, also, Civil War, as it existed when it came out, wasn't even in the fucking, like, horizon no. when they were making Avengers. They actually, it was a last-minute decision. Yeah, uh, Iron Man wasn't it, supposed to be it, in it, right? No, no, the movie had, I forgot what the title was, it had a totally different title when they announced it. Exactly. Um, wasn't it, didn't they try to shove Iron Man in it specifically to try and combat Batman vs. Superman because it was coming out so quick that yes. we, we got to have our own? Yeah. Like They'll never admit to it, but yes. Yeah, I, I could totally believe that. So the idea that Joss is trying to set up Civil War is fucking hilarious because Joss didn't even get to have his own Age of Ultron. Like, so he's, no, he's not setting this up. Don't worry about that. It's his own thing in his own movie. Point of Civil War, that they were friends before they were enemies. Furthermore... Okay, so well, their friendship were. becomes very strong after this film. This is when they met, they were at odds, and then Tony proves to Cap that he's not selfish, or at least not exclusively selfish. Well, I mean, of course it's better it's like that way. like how Mahler and I met. You'd I rather, like... out of time. <laughs> he woke you up. <laughs> well, I mean, time. wouldn't you rather have characters who are, like, having massive problems with each other, they're fighting, and then they grow and change, and they become friends, kind of like Luke and Han Solo, you know, they're snarky with each other, and then yeah. they go through something traumatic and an adventure, and they become good friends. Well, what was interesting about uh, the what uh, Cap is saying to Tony is that he's he's kept an eye on him. He's read files, he's checked the things, it's like, he's, he's interpreted the events of Iron Man 1 and 2 as Tony just doing whatever the fuck he wants, which, by the way, there are plenty right. of clips that support that. If you watch those movies, it looks a little bit like Tony's just fucking around. Um, and that's what Cap believes. He doesn't take him for like a selfless soldier. He takes him for a guy who just wants to blow shit up. Which kind of matches his whole history as well. Which is something Tony hates. That that would be considered his personality, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. And so, like, I don't think Tony actually thinks that Cap is a worthless person. And that all that's good about him is the what's in the, the vial that he would have taken. Like, the everything that came out of a bottle. You know, that line. But he knows that saying that is... Probably pretty, pretty good against someone like Cap in terms of an insult. Like, well, all I'm getting at is that these two have good reason to use the insults they do, and uh, it, uh, sorry, this was in the context of trying to make Cap look bad. How doesn't this make both of them look bad by this logic then? Because, because if we ignore um, one of them, it makes one of them look bad. Because he's like, oh, Cap yeah. shouldn't be saying this. He should be nice. <laughs> well, I guess he thinks Cap should be like above everything. Well, so Mindstone. That's, like, that's honestly what it sounds like that he really th thinks that Captain America is the the top dog in this whole shindig. Yeah, like he should have had more moments yeah. of being ultra badass. He should have been almost infallible. He should have beaten Loki. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't <laughs> ever get like angry. Yeah. Um, he should. He should be more grateful, I guess, as well. Because Steve... um. <laughs> Steve. Oh my! When Steve oh came my, out my, of that my. ice, Tony should have got down on his knees and blew him for America. <laughs> this a really said, this a warm you up, Cap. There you go. Really shows the patriot that deserves it. <laughs> Tony's going in for a cold one. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Here's cracking a cold pop. one open with the boys, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, are we much forgetting always... that fucking Tony by the end of the film is following Cap's orders unquestioningly? Oh, um, don't we'll get there. Worry. We'll get there, don't babe. Worry. <laughs> See, he's going oh, chronological. God. We're at like Act Two right now. Don't you worry. But isn't the oh, point boy. of Civil War that they were friends before they were enemies? Furthermore, Stark pretty much always comes out on top in these arguments. Wait, so what do you what he... do you think contradicts that? He, so he's trying to. I guess he's trying to say they should have been friends in this film, but they totally are when it ends. They are. Yeah. By the end. Oh, well, even even arguably by the third act, they're friends. Yeah, they're working together. Also, hi, Shad. Hi, hi how up, Shad? are you guys? Hey, we're good. Hey. We're doing Speaking things. of blowing someone in an ice cube. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, was, I was thinking of someone else. I was thinking of someone else. Rags, Rags how do you find out about that? That was supposed to be secret. I told you. I, I know. I, I promised I wouldn't tell anyone, but I did. Holy crap. Yeah, that was like the opposite of what you were supposed to do. Yeah, I, yeah. I fucked up, man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. Dude. Gosh, such a gossip. Yeah, <laughs> terrible. It was, that was really cold. Uh, <laughs> Shad, we're talking currently about some of them superhero movies that Marvel make. Have you seen any of those? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Are, are they the Have you seen movies? Like, that they wear capes, don't they? They like, fly they around, capes. they shoot lasers. It's so childish. I, I was yeah, just like, yeah, I don't even, you know, I'm not even sure they're cinema, guys. Well, I'm waiting for the, the movie where they have just like a block of cheese on a chair that the camera spins around on. Like, when we get to that, I'll let you know because I know that's what you're yeah. looking for in your superhero movies. But I haven't tried reaching. It's it just yet. called Chidel. Chidel. Do you know anything about the video we're covering, Shan? Uh, I've been watching, guys. I, you know, oh. I've been, you know, have you? Oh, good. I've been paying you, attention. I'm you, up to date. Uh, oh. Do you agree with this video's ideas so far? That Captain America's a dumb, dumb head. I think that's a dumb, dumb uh, uh, opinion. Oh. Got him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so Dude, you absolutely oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right now we're up to when they're on the helicarrier. So let's see what else you got for arguments about how Cap sucks. Friends before they were enemies. Furthermore, Stark pretty much always comes out on top in these arguments. He and Cap argue about shield hiding secrets, and Stark is right. Cappy Hughes is talking. So stop. Okay, so, <laughs> so Tony, Tony I, got it right, but Steve also went out on his own to figure it out. And uh, Tony's yeah. hacking them. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not something they, Steve is yeah. in a position to do. But the it's kind of breaking Steve the chain of command. Out, yeah, Cap can't hack the problem them. That... He's also... One, yeah, one of the issues of this video is... This video relies on you remembering specifically the conversations. And if you just... If, like, if you're like me and you just can't remember Avengers as much because you haven't seen it in a long time, you just have no actual information to go with. Oh, you're this right. Is this is one of them videos you absolutely should watch the film first because yeah, this, this is video a is lying video. to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, as, as someone just said as well, I couldn't catch who, but respecting Chain of Command. So Cap still respects the Chain of Command. He wouldn't, he wouldn't just go, my general's clearly lying to me. Like that's not a thing. Well, you gotta him. remember where he's at in his arc. He he ain't there yet, but he's get. This is the beginning yeah. of him going on off on his own and uh, essentially giving the orders himself. Yeah, I think that's what opposite trajectories. You know, Tony is starting to not quite yet, but after Age of Ultron, shift towards no. Some power needs to be out of my hands because I've made mistakes and screwed up. Um, meanwhile, Steve is on the opposite one, which is. He can't. I mean, we. You talk about that quote. Um, the quote that the the guy who made this video doesn't understand. Like that quote foreshadows directly this moment when he finds out that Shield is using the Tesseract to make weapons just like Hydra did. Exactly. That's like the whole point is it's like the lines are blurred. Like the good guys are using the tactics of the bad guys, and it's disconcerting. And it's the beginning of him essentially going on that arc where he starts to feel that he needs to make the decisions. He can trust himself to do the right thing. So, he, so you know, he should rely on himself more so than relying on people beyond him. And if you remember... It's not that complicated. His, um, his realization that they've got the Hydra weapons is during a montage where Loki is explaining how humanity is pathetic. Uh, oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Montage! Because he combos that up with the... Uh, the, the hacking is discovered as well from on Fury's side. That mm. that well, all leads yeah. into the big breakup or the big argument scene. Argue about shield yes, hiding secrets right. and start. Wait, that's Cap's arm. He's putting the weapon down. <laughs> yeah, I know. He yeah. Took... Because he's saying he's saying that Stark figured it out. But I mean, Stark was the first. Tony is is the kind of person who distrusts like other people. 
And so he immediately yeah, yeah. decides to go rooting around for information, whereas it oh, takes Steve a little yeah. bit longer to come around to the position that he ought to do that. Yeah, Tony was in that world. It, he knows it. Yeah, that's right. Tony, Absolutely. Yeah, whereas so. Steve is not in this world. Steve has to learn a lot of things for himself. That's the point. That's why when he's saying yep. like that he feels that the world has changed, it's reflective of the fact that he doesn't really understand it anymore. It doesn't feel the same anymore. It doesn't look the same. But it's only when like those suspicions get high enough that he's propelled. This is just character. Like I don't, you know what I mean? This is just character writing. That's what I mean. When you when you open your video saying, "I have no idea what his first line of dialogue means," but it's like one of the most important ones of the whole film. It's not a great start, but the rest of the no, video yeah. is reflecting that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he, it's like he wanted Steve to come out of the ice like a perfect Mary Sue character. Sorry. Exactly, just, yeah. He, he could Quite sense, wrong. you know, that the government was wrong intuitively with patriotism powers and <laughs> everyone just listened to him. It seems to bug him that Tony is coming out on top and it's like, so your first example is not Tony coming out on top. It's not a competition here. No. At least at this point anyway. We'll get to the competition between them. And but, doesn't... Um, doesn't Steve even say like, "Oh, you were too slow" or something? Yeah, like, sorry, computer man. was going a little slow for me. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh just God, in yeah. the context of in in the context of this scene, uh, if I was looking at which character would have more experience in coming back with a witty kind of riposte yeah. in there, uh, just back and forth, Tony would just thrash Steve in terms of, of getting in verbal jabs and being snarky and things. And it's not a insult to Steve's intelligence; it's that he's a more wholesome guy. He's not going to be that great at just arguing it on that level, and so. Mm. Uh, I think that's ace uh, in the fact that he says you'd never uh, let a guy crawl over you with the, the barbed wire, and then he says, I would just cut it. Watch Steve's reaction. He's fucking annoyed that he just had a yeah. valid answer. That's a valid answer. He's just like, yeah, always a way out, isn't there? And then he says, you've yeah. got to stop pretending to be a hero. Which well, is... we, we, we got to, because I know what's coming up in terms of an argument. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys better one. prepare yourselves, right? Strap in. It's going to be painful. Oh, Stark pretty boy. much always comes out on top in these arguments. He and Cap argue about S.H.I.E.L.D. hiding secrets, and Stark is right. Cap accuses Tony of being too self-centered to be a hero, and Tony proves him wrong by the end of the film. Oh no, Tony has <laughs> character development! That, uh, oh. that, that is the arc! Uh, oh, yes. Tony being a hero? Hang on, hang on. Did, from memory, didn't Tony have a gap of knowledge? He's like, what is this thing? And then he pump, drops the weapon down and says, Yeah, he uh, says what he comes in true. with the answer. And so, yeah. he's the one who's actually... Uh, providing the gap of knowledge answer to uh, Tony Stark in that sense, which is, you know, not well, a, like an insult to the character. It actually shows that his smartery or his method worked better. Well, is it just me or the fact that Cap has seen all of the, the clips and read all the files and stuff and he's concluded, like, this guy is just a power-hungry crazy man who likes blowing up people. And he fucking accuses him of that. But it turns out that's not the truth. There's a lot more going on with Tony Stark at this point, which is what his first movie is all about. Proof that Tony Stark has I, a heart? What do you think that is? Well, the thing is, Cap hasn't seen that yet. He exactly, seen exactly. Yet. He's seen the, the footage of him going to Stark Expo with all of the fireworks and shit. That's what he's seen. The reason, yeah, the reason we're on Tony's and Cap's side is we've seen their movies. That's why we're like, no, yeah. guys, well, don't of, fight. Of course, because, because when Tony says everything special about you came out of a bottle, we know that isn't true. He was already a good... It's it's exactly what Ernst Gunn said. Their the criticisms... The criticisms against each other are like what their their individual films are all about. What yeah, makes Captain America special is not the so super soldier serum. It's and not, it's Tony not, Stark's yeah. motivations go well beyond selfish. He's not a selfish exactly. man. Well, and it kind of it proves Steve right, not Steve wrong, because as you said, he has that speech about you know you wouldn't crawl over the barbed wire, and you know uh, Tony says I'd cut it. But then we see that you can't always cut the barbed wire. Sometimes you do have to make the sacrifice. And I always, I assume that was the intention of that line and Tony, you know, making the sacrifice at the end was to do that. Well, so th this is a good example of subtext in, uh, in dialogue. Not only do we have what it means on its face, but we also have the underlying meaning behind it. The reasons why both of these characters are saying it to each other, as well as like just foreshadowing like f directly yeah. foreshadowing what's to come in the film. I mean, You're achieving multiple things at once with the dialogue, which is a good thing. Like that's, yep. that's just strong writing. No, this is bad writing. They should have been friends from the beginning. They should have held hands and just punched and Loki together. If they fight, Cap has to beat him. Cap has to be the one that wins the fight if they fight. 
Right, for some reason. Tony claims everything special about Cap came out of a bottle, and based on this film alone, that's kind of an overstatement. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> so, so, oh, yeah, in the case anyone's confused, he's wow. saying the only thing special about Steve in this whole film is that he's strong because of the serum. No, what makes him strong is his mind and his heart, that he's a good man, a strong leader. That's what he's makes so him special, more so than he can throw the frisbee. He fucking becomes mm. the leader of the Avengers by the end because he has so, strong fucking leadership skills. I think, the, uh, funny enough, Sitch, the, I think, I don't know if we ever called it like a law or anything, but when we first did EFAB, mm. we came up, we noticed a pattern with the people we were covering, and it was oftentimes they will use a visual that completely destroys their own argument and they won't even realize. Oh, that was in the video we covered. We are there. Yeah, it's happened already today. You can just, oh, you yeah, just I say just it's mean Mahler's the, law. Oh, I don't. Well, I, don't the I was going to say I don't think we. Because rags, exactly. this used to happen all the time in early EFA. We used to call it out like yeah. it was like a consistent thing, and um, so it's happened here. Uh, the visual here is Cap putting his life on the line to save a whole bunch of civilians that are being attacked by aliens. Mm -hmm. To say that all that's happening here is that he's strong is bizarre. He's being overpowered, so like it's not helping you. He's, he's gone into a situation that he's not really fully equipped to deal with, and he's still done anyway. <laughs> He's trying to yeah, save people. It, it's <laughs> called heroic because yeah. they're called superheroes. It's a hero. Yeah, it's hero. That's mm -hmm. heroism. So yeah. I don't know why you would use this clip to prove all that Cap's got is his strength and it's there's nothing about his personality that matters at all. Like, wouldn't wouldn't the way that would be highlighted is he would run away energy. out of fear, but he he can pick up things <laughs> that are heavy. Did well, I mishear I, him? I I thought the guy in the video was um contradicting the comment that um, Tony Stark said. He, he said, said it's an oversimplification or something? No, he said oh, Tony's right. I, I, think, he, I think he More said, if right. anything, Tony's like under... Let, let's listen to it again. Yeah. He accuses Tony of being too self-centered to be a hero, and Tony proves him wrong by the end of the film. Tony claims everything special about Cap came out of a bottle, and based on this film alone, that's kind of an overstatement, if anything. <laughs> he fuck off. Right. It's actually, yeah, totally. overstatement. actually, fuck off. Uh-uh, so he's Wait, saying on. he's not even strong. Well, yeah, uh, so he's saying he, not only... Uh, fuck me, it's even worse than I thought. Not only is... Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that great the if, first place. <laughs> everything, yeah, all the stuff before he took the serum, that wasn't anything. The, the virtue and the so, heroism uh, that he... That was, we're I, saying did, based on this and, film, and then he couldn't make He's that. even saying <laughs> his, current, his current qualities aren't that great because he's showing clips of him struggling, and it's that... With know, a seven-foot alien. Even, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is why he's so compelling. He's the lowest power out of like the main set of the hyper powerful hero, but he's got to do all the same shit. I hate to quote it, but men are brave. Fuck yeah. He, um, he he he's got like uh, because you know, no offense to to Nat, right? But she ends up with a lot of yeah. Um, well, she ends up with a lot of a lot have? of plot armor. He they, they end up usually showing Steve struggling the fuck out of anything in, in like lots of the fights that he's in. I don't know if you remember, but there's times where. Like is it in Avengers? Nat grabs the um, the chariot, the floaty chariot thing. Right. As it's like speeding by. It should have torn her arm off, but she just does that. Yep. Yep. She's in the in Civil War. She's in that car when they throw a grenade in it, and she's like, she just blows through the oh, doors. Oh yeah, the Civil War. Like, yeah, yeah it's it's, like, that's like uh, that's bullshit. Meanwhile, Steve Ooh, will be shown yeah. to be in like beaten the fuck out, punched and shot and bleeding, and he gets all kinds of shit happening to him. And just point being is he has to struggle, right? Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit more, typically, than... You're such a sexist, Mahler. No, I'm saying no. they're the sexist. They should have given us a lot more uh, Nat struggling. They still give us enough. Uh, you shouldn't... Talking about her plot armor, watch your fucking Women movie where she gets her like, movie? face plants ten times over and survives. Well, when she falls out of a, a giant, like, sky fort. Yeah. Oh, oh, what is... And then gets into a mid-air fight with Taskmaster. Remember when her car explodes? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's wow. so many good bits. Remember when she got kicked so hard by Taskmaster that she went flying off the bridge and into the water and she yeah. was so uh, Do you remember the second time her car exploded? <laughs> remember the remember time how in Daredevil, Task... like... Oh, sorry, go for it. No, I was just gonna say, remember the time Taskmaster was played by a dude and then they took the mask off and it was a girl? That was great. That was my favorite yeah. part of the movie. Then they CG'd her head on a dude's body. Well, the that shoulders just suddenly <laughs> changed shape. It was, uh... Maybe she was Mystique. Maybe. 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 
but we'll get into more detail on that later. Wait. You know we're going to get so much of this shit when Secret War stuff comes out? Wait, what? Oh, you mean just like a bunch of random shit? Retroactively, maybe it was so, 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 all along. Maybe so, Cap was a squirrel all along. Yeah, they definitely could do that. I just, yeah, we should just place bets for who it's going to be all along. <laughs> Which oh, right, because Secret Invasion's character coming out. out. Yeah, like, who's yeah. going to be the alien? <laughs> Which one was it they just all say it's along? everyone. That's what they'll do. <laughs> phase 4. Totally that would, really that would fix political. everything. They're all lady aliens. Oh, yeah, you're right. Everybody in Phase 4 was a, was a scroll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh totally yeah. save it. Ooh, nice. They could, yeah. What a fucking a Chad writer comes in. At one point, Cap starts to lose the verbal argument and resorts to physical threats, which seems like something that would be very much beneath someone like Captain America. What about I Captain America? America. Yeah, I, I just don't remember. Hang on, hang on. Captain America <laughs> comes from a time when someone insults a woman and you go and deck him and stuff. Well, like, can we, absolutely you want to take this outside the theater, the me? Do you remember one of the first <laughs> scenes we have of Cap? He gets into a fucking fist no. fight. Well, wait, isn't this isn't this isn't the scene where the mind stones fucking with them, right? Yeah, well, no. So wait, what what we're establishing yeah, yeah. first is that Cap says like "quiet down" to a guy in a cinema, and the, and then they go outside and have a fucking fist fight. Like the idea, that Cap doesn't run away; he fights him. Right. Like the the idea that this man is like averse to having a fist fight over a, a conflict, and then of course you throw on the mind stone on top of that. It's fucking with everyone's yeah. brains, making everybody angry. Put on the suit. Let's go a few rounds. You would think that someone with a strong moral compass like him would be mature enough to settle a squabble with an ally with- You should be able Literally to tell from the fucking Dutch angle right it. here that things are yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this was, genuinely, that's what Joss Whedon's doing at this point. He's Dutch angled Thor, and Thor's saying you're all puny. Why do you think he's saying that? He's losing his shit a little bit. Because Joss Whedon hates Thor. <laughs> Joss Whedon hates everyone. Yeah, Probably exactly. Violence. Plus, I don't think anyone really thinks he would win that fight. I don't think Cap gives a this fuck. Is... Dude, watch Civil War. He ain't stopping that fight just because he thinks he might not win. Uh, Jesus Christ, like man. A... <laughs> like, what a... Uh. Video's not great. It's not so far. This is one of those Could videos... Be better. ...where I almost wish I had a face cam, because just a lot of my reaction right now is just me with my, he with my head in my hands going, Why yeah. is this something someone put into the world? Why? Again, Why? Again, minions attack the helicarrier. Let's do a rundown of everyone's mission during this scene. All right. Fury and Hill defend the bridge. Thor battles the Hulk and tries to stop Loki. Black Widow escapes the Hulk and defeats Hawkeye. Iron Man repairs the helicarrier. So what is Captain America's big important Target's, mission? Yeah, hey, hang on, hang on. The hell uh, yeah. Only Iron Man repairs the helicarrier? Yeah, so. exactly. If, I, re if I recall correctly, Iron Man almost dies and Captain America saves him. Yeah, the correct statement would be Iron Man and Cap repair the helicarrier. Yeah. But there must be a reason why he's but framed he it this way. Do it on his own. Like, Tony cannot do it on his own. They yep. have to work mm -hmm. together to do it. Which you might argue is very important again for their journey. Character building and bonding. See that oh, red Lord. lever? It'll slow the rotors down long enough for me to get out. Stand by it. Wait for my word. Stand next to the red lever. Yeah, look at that jump. Iron Man tells him to Yeah, play. what a pussy. He barely even do that one. Oh my, ow. Right. Why is he, he fell? Oh, he yeah, barely even do that one. That one. Right. Oh, what a loser. Well, 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 should we, standing, like, can we even theorize how high up they are right now on a blown open helicarrier? He's like, you, you can't even move. stand on a rickety bridge <laughs> in the middle of space. <laughs> Old man. That's when the second one goes down. This, That's when the second this... one gets knocked out unexpectedly. <laughs> what a bitch. This video is almost like a case study of confirmation bias, where he has a conclusion, <laughs> totally. and it's warping, and every, he's twisting everything to reach his conclusion. And we could do it in reverse. Oh, Guys, so Joss bad. Whedon, Joss Whedon totally hates Tony Stark. In this scene, Tony Stark almost dies, and he comes off worse and more injured, essentially, than Captain America. That shows a clear bias. Yeah, that means, true. you know, he, hate, he, he hates Tony Stark. Of this fancy how, bad gadget. Faith, how bad faith do we have to be? So Steve needs to repair the helicarrier. Uh, Tony pushes a thing. Yeah, like Steve, like Steve yeah. does the real. Steve does the real work. I'm on what? He has fucking... to fight three bad guys that come and attack him. He has to try and crawl his way back onto a falling helicarrier. All Tony does is okay. push the thing. Actually, he so, freaking really hits a, a grenade back at someone. In yeah, yeah, yeah. The air, like, so yeah. to be fair, I think there's actually a better argument that Tony's the one that's screwed over by the director in this one because he's inside a turbine pushing it. You are correct about that. That is what Iron Man is doing. 
the guy with the missiles, lasers, and fucking all kinds of weaponry. Meanwhile, Cap is the one that gets to fight all of the people coming in to try and kill them. And you're right, one of them tosses a grenade, I think it's toward the turbine, isn't it? And he has to jump across the gap to hit it back, and he does. Yeah. So he can't stay next to the red lever because bad guys come in and makes it difficult for him. Why are you reviewing things this way? <laughs> it's just it's rude. <laughs> All aboard the bad faith train, choo choo. choo. Even here, but the is there fucker. nothing more important we can think of for him? Are there not hundreds? Nothing more important than keeping what? the helicarrier flying. The yeah, keeping it in the air. Arguably, keeping everyone alive. Is well, not even arguably, it does. <laughs> they yeah. save everyone. <laughs> here who can do the same like job the and stand by the crash. Oh, other people can do the same oh, job? Yeah, I fucking kind of doubt that. it. <laughs> yes, can they jump all the way over to the other side and then leap like 15 feet across the air? Yeah, and like, precisely like knock the grenade, grenade back there. and use a rifle. Yeah, like... If yeah, you can wait, imagine wait, wait, look, look, look. doing this, but it's probably harder to actually do the things I'm you think that you can do. Joss is taking care of it. Can you see something in the scene that gives away why Cap is here and no one else is? I can't breathe. They can't breathe. Cap has got so super boy lungs. Yeah. He can he can do it. <laughs> super boy lungs. <laughs> they cured his asthma. Are there not hundreds of trained grunts here who can do this same job and stand by the lever instead? They can't this breathe. Scene makes you Captain look like a complete fool. It's not. I'm sorry. Do you know what you this is? You tell me what that is. You tell me what that is, asshole. I know exactly yeah, okay. what that you is. Tell me what it is. When Steve was doing his training back in 1942, you know, like he just he just examined all kinds of crazy electric grids. And all right, boys. When you go fight the Krauts, you might have to fight them on this magic flying hovercraft team <laughs> that hasn't been invented yet. It could be power panels. They look just yeah. like this. This button I, controls the polarity module. It's a I, quantum I, polarity reverser, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yes. And the boys in the lab just cooked this up. What's funny as well is My that dude. Cap's been here for, what, a, a week? I don't even know how long it's been in, in the actual time, but Not the long. idea of what are you going to catch up on? The hyper-specific nature of the engineering surrounding the turbine and a modern helicarrier. It's like, I don't think yeah. so. <laughs> you know, they're probably going to start with basic stuff, like, yeah, like this is Star how the Wars. modern car works. This, you know, is, they, this, is, this, this is a this cell is phone. Modern, yeah, right? cell phones. <laughs> this modern is a crypto vehicles. farm. Cap, this is a banana split they did. Uh... It's a crypto server. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> this is a top secret bit of hardware. Like, no, 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 Cap, know, we don't have those restrooms anymore. The most cutting edge of technology. Even an electrical engineer would open this and probably not know what is looking at it. It's just... Mm -hmm. So, so what do you Mr. mean there's Wolf only two? What do you mean there's only one water fountain? No, 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 Cap, we don't, we don't do that anymore. That's <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, so Mr. Author of the video... If they made him hyper-racist, uh... that would have been funny, but well, I don't think they would agree Like, but Mr. he realizes the oh Avengers take orders from Fury. Why does this Fury, yeah. Yeah, why does this Fury <laughs> guy keep getting orders? <laughs> I thought he was supposed to take my coat. What the hell? So, so Mr. Author, person of this video, um, I've got a question for you. Do you know what a computer looked like in the 1940s? You don't? What are you... <laughs> oh, you know, like, maybe it's because they... Didn't exist yet. Hey, hey, they look just like this. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> he is oh, constantly fuck. being made to look stupid. For what nothing. do you mean I can't call him? He's that. not himself. It doesn't Stupid's make him look you stupid. Know, it's endearing. Know, it's honest. Know. This man does not know what this fucking shit is. But to be fair, none of the audience did either. But I mean, it's not stupidity that you don't know the what excavator. a supercomputer thing in a helicarrier is when you were born in like 1919. Well, if we like, wanted what? to be, if we wanted to be accurate, we would say he's ignorant. But like, I have a feeling the connotations of ignorant almost are unfair to this. This is something he just shouldn't know. It's not even that he just doesn't. Inexperienced. Know. It would be a there problem if he didn't know what it was. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. if someone said, yeah. "Man, you are ignorant." If I didn't know what this is, I'd be like, "Why the <laughs> fuck would I know what this is?" <laughs> Tech savvy, he struggles way too hard to fight just three nameless henchmen, and one of them almost wins. Because he's shooting at him with a gun, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they're fighting on the outside of this flying, shaking hover vehicle yeah. that's being destroyed and going down. I got news for you, pal. Cap can't survive being shot with a bullet through the heart or the head. He'd be we, dead. We saw in Winter Soldier, he got shot a couple times and died, really did yeah. some damage. Yeah. yeah, he was in a fucking coma. Well, I mean, he's knocked out, whatever. He, he's in hospital, and you know, they have to wait for him to wake back <laughs> up. Like, he's not Iron Man. He's not Thor. So, so I just got a, a little more, a tiny little tidbit for that electronics part. Um, I just looked up when the first, uh, like, digital electronic computer was invented, and then I looked up what year Cap was frozen. 
and both were in 1945. So he was frozen the year the yep. first computer. Wow. <laughs> what a, what what a big, ignorant oh. idiot that he I didn't imagine, look into that before he got frozen. Well, here's the thing, though. I would imagine that even if you showed him the first computer and then he went in the ice, it's like, man, is there anything different about these two computers? <laughs> Yeah. They used to be a lot I mean, bigger. They, they, they used to be a lot bigger. A little bit. Captain America fails to stand by the red lever because he slips off the helicarrier like a moron. Oh he, yeah, he why? slips like a oh, moron. Like why? An idiot. Yeah. If he was harder, he wouldn't have fallen off. <laughs> if he was a smarter why? person, he wouldn't have fallen off. Is you know what? If, if that was Stephen Hawking, <laughs> Stephen Hawking would have fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a brake on that thing. What are you talking about? Yeah. He would have put his Picturing parking brake on. Picturing Stephen Hawking on his whole wheelchair. Like there. <laughs> Stephen Hawking holding on to the cable. Yeah, he's, he's not a moron like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely an intelligence check, you see. I can't Smart hang on for too much longer. <laughs> he's trying to type it while he's hanging <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, uh, you just hear his uh, voice uh, go, as I can. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh <laughs> no. I was terrified. I typed my oh, fingers God. out. <laughs> Tell my wife I love her. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the hover ship, it explodes violently and the whole thing trembles like an earthquake. Roll for intelligence. <laughs> ah, I intelligently knew the earthquake was coming. Only a moron would fall off. I intelligently didn't lose my footing, all right? Yeah. Angling for his life. He is at the complete mercy of this nameless dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cap is often at the mercy of a nameless dude. <laughs> In every movie, I actually would say. Well, I mean, what, if you have an ensemble superhero movie where some characters are super powerful and some aren't, I mean, you're always going to have situations like this. Right. Like, like what does he want? Captain yeah. America to do like in the whole movie, just do nothing. Never fail. Win, win everything. There should be a super villain assigned to every character. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what? It can be one of those guys where you have to know his name, like Fred or whatever. We need to. He needs a yeah, label. Okay. Totally. Yeah. Okay. okay. Red Skull no, should have no, no, popped no. right out of that hallway <laughs> with a Uzi. Yeah, shooting. yeah. It is me, Captain Baby America. Red Skull. I am Spider -Man. back. I'm Mick. Mini Red Skull. Fury and Hill are we dropping out of their hands left That's and right. Black Widow has an easier time think. finding Hawkeye than Cap does fighting Oh, <laughs> uh, an easy uh, time. Calm down. Hey, he's not, she nearly died. She has a knife to her neck. You're a liar. He <laughs> was left dangling for his life. He is at the complete mercy of this nameless dude. Meanwhile, Fury and Hill are dropping oh, no. out of their henchmen left and right. Black Widow has an oh, easier yeah, time finding Hawkeye than Cap does fighting Oh, yeah, when they're in a really safe environment and they have a the choke guns. point yeah. that all of their people, the bad guys are funneling through. Meanwhile, Captain America has to stand right next to this exposed hole in a helicarrier that's like five kilometers in the air being shot at. Oh, oh, man, man, and randomly right? quaking. This is what I mean. Like, what a moron. It's the good faith, bad faith thing. Because, <laughs> what like, a moron Captain America is. He's like, oh, you know, Black Widow's having an easier time fighting Hawkeye than Cavs. And, and Black Widow's just on a, like, a, a straight path having a one-on-one -on -one Mortal Kombat style. Like, it, it, it's a little bit more straightforward. And she still nearly dies. So I don't know why you're saying she had an easier time. Very strange argument you're making. Dropping other henchmen left and right. Black Widow has an easier time fighting Hawkeye than Cap does fighting this random no irrelevant shit. man. Cap Look doesn't at him even get stand to win. crawling up for his life without <laughs> a weapon. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> Did you know that in a completely different scenario, things might not be the same as another scenario? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. In the end, Iron Man has to fly over and save the day. It <laughs> Why is Iron Man alive oh, in this yeah. game? The only reason yeah, yeah, yeah. how was Iron Man <laughs> able to do that is because Captain America saved Iron Man. Yeah, but if you don't think about that Here's part, the thing, I don't even remember that in the movie. That was from a clip that he played in this video. Well, yeah. It should be noted that if you watch this film in isolation, uh -huh. you would barely know that Captain America is a super soldier. There's he just beat that guy though. Oh, he did not <laughs> He did not <laughs> He did not <laughs> the did not He did not God. I mean, hardly know. He tried to say this is. Or is, is, he what, is he trying to say this is one of the only scenes that you see is which is the fucking intro? Oh, okay. What do you mean then? I mean, in the scene he just showed, you know, in the in the hole where he's trying to save Iron Man, <laughs> he literally boots a guy and he goes flying, like like you see yeah. him use that's normal. super soldier level power. 
like constantly. Well, yeah, I gotta say the re reflexes and agility for the jumping and the knocking back the grenade, the taking on aliens that, like I said, like yeah. fucking eight foot aliens one on one combat. You can't do that as a normal guy. Doing these you would crazy barely jumps. know that Captain America is a super soldier. There's the punching bag scene, which is well and good, but aside from a few acrobatics, Man, there isn't a whole lot. Man, you think most people could jump that far? Why Surviving it Loki. I was about to say, I'm yeah, he, he went toe to toe with a god. <laughs> like, yeah. Poor guy's gonna go toe to toe with Loki and survive it all. I, li I like how it's, it's just like you know, Depends two plus two. Two plus two isn't isn't four. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's like okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we're talking about Loki prior to stage four Marvel. So. That's true, yeah. So this is, you can this just is an kick actual him in the balls. scary Loki, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does that Hawkeye or Black Widow couldn't also do. You, so man. he, like, hung off the ha the helicarrier while it was in midair, while it was, like, spiraling out of control. Um, Fuck off! I, I guess this guy doesn't know. So Hawkeye has insane accuracy and sci-fi level arrows to the point where he really gets into one-on-one -on -one combat directly, at least in this film, I mean. Mm -hmm. And then Black Widow is supposed to be like the greatest assassin on Earth, basically. Why, why yeah, are you treating them like they're just randoms? She had to run away from the Hulk, though, so obviously Joss Whedon hates yeah. Black Widow. Ah. Yep. And women. Oh, yeah. Well, that I mean, that is probably true. true. Well, yeah. most people yeah. do, as fair. <laughs> in yeah. real life, yeah. In fact, there's a few situations in which those two probably would have done better. Now, this next critique. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, uh, don't tell us about them, though. Reference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, reference, which please? Situations? Yeah. No. It's entirely subjective. No but. Hey, you guys aren't authorized to be in here. Son, just don't. A guy that looks like this is not nearly imposing enough to refer to someone as son. <laughs> um, Are you fucking right. kidding me? Like. No. So, oh, he so does not. It's like bad. a video game. You're, you try to do your intimidation check. Oh, sorry. Your, your wardrobe status <laughs> your isn't wardrobe. high enough to allow this action. No, but this is the thing, right? He is a hero from World War II that everyone knows of, and it's that outfit that would make him visually yes. identified as that who it is that would help and enhance his authority in this situation. Yeah, and the context of this scene is that the Avengers have been told to stand. They're not even going to the fight, right? Like, as far as they know, there's no. They decide to do it separately. They've been through everything that's just happened. And they're like, right, we're gonna go and save the city. They get onto the ship and some guy is like, nah, you need authorization. And he's just like, motherfucker, no, go away. Like, but of course the language they use is son, which is much more of a, I'd say 1940s authentic way that you'd expect Cap to refer to somebody. Uh, he's a yeah, fucking captain. Course. Like, oh yeah, but, yeah, but your help. costume, you're not allowed. It was like, what do you even, why? Why do you make the video? Stop. Once the Chitari battle begins, Captain America enters the fight, flailing helplessly in the Quinjet until it lands. <laughs> what? You mean the one that's crashing? The What's the one that's, that's been crashing? shot down? Like... Fucking idiot. <laughs> what? what is he supposed to do? Uh, should have controlled his descent. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, dude, so the, we look strange. inside, the ship is like crumbling, spinning, falling, and he's just like a T-posing in there, just completely <laughs> unmoved, like... I'm totally Just like fine. America, I am unmovable. Yeah. <laughs> Planted himself like a Inertial tree. Inertial okay. dampeners offline. Black Widow and Hawkeye cover Cap so he can perform this super cool needle running sequence. All for the sake of talking to this rando cop who immediately disrespects oh, him. Oh, don't and you dare. Uh, so, 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 oh, really? let, let me, oh, good scene. Let, let me reframe this. this let me reframe it. Please. It's not to talk Please. to a random cop, it's to supply orders to the entire police force of New York City. And yeah. on top of this, right. this scene is to establish that he's a complete badass. Like, yeah. Yeah. if anything, it builds his character. This guy and didn't the have reaction a of the cops confirm it as well. Absolutely. Dude, uh, I don't know if anybody here has seen my video, but funnily enough, this is a scene I praised in it. <laughs> I was talking Indeed. about how... Uh, I, was, fun, my mind. I was actually doing it to praise the, um, the tonal balance they have in it. But yeah, into, I do mention, like, this is great for character building. It makes Cap look incredibly competent. It shows his fighting skills. And it shows that the police respect him at this point. Law enforcement will be aware of and respect Captain America, which is neat. It's got his fucking <laughs> shit together! Yeah. Questions his authority before some conveniently placed aliens show up. Conveniently placed On D-Day, on D-Day, when you ran into those Germans, they were just... <laughs> you ran into Germans on D-Day? <laughs> 
How the fuck? How could? Conv- I'm sorry. I've never How heard of anybody describe an alien invasion as convenient. Oh, <laughs> I don't, and like, you go to a war zone, and what? You you don't expect to run into the enemy combatants? <laughs> oh, convenient! The enemy is here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this is the opposite of fucking no man's land. Shit, that's so convenient. Why would you say that? Why would you immediately place aliens? (laughs) It was his word of the day. Uh, Aren't they trying to keep the aliens within that little section of the city? Like, that's my design. They're coming down from Stark Tower, which they're very near. This is so convenient, aliens. (laughs) <laughs> was it common knowledge in the first Avengers movie that Cap was even back? I think, yeah, this is like the first time the public are even seeing him. Since yeah, because he's probably like, who's this weird guy dressed like Captain America? Exactly. Yeah, uh, to be fair, they could have assumed he's just a fucking cosplayer. But they'd be like, right. what are you doing? Or another Cap, yeah. Yeah. It might, you know, just they pass the mantle down or something. For him to show off with. Why the hell should I take orders from you? But, like... Of all the Avengers that Your should be common knowledge to the me. people in this world, yeah. at mm. this point in the story, Captain America should be at the top of this list. No, Iron Man. No, no, no Iron Man, yeah. Actually, all of them except Cap. Cap's been gone for, what, 70 years? 70 years. Yeah, like, how many people even know that he's alive? Yeah, compared to Iron I just, Man doing massive expos where he flies in and shows off yeah, his armor. He's, he's implying that it should be automatic authority. How do you know what Cap looks like? I could just be some exactly. guy, like, dressed as yeah. Captain yeah. America. Uh, he's contradicting his own point. Previously, he was saying by his appearance, someone, no one would take him seriously. And then the next oh, scene, where someone good. doesn't take yeah. him seriously because oh, his appearance yeah. is saying, no, no, I, I should have totally known who he was and listened to him. Ah, good point. Good point. Yeah. Again, he did say it was a nitpick, so, you know, I guess that well, just the, 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 No, he said it's pretty subjective. He didn't say it was a nitpick. Meaning oh, that he okay. thinks it's a valid point, but you might not. And if he thinks ah, it's a valid point, one, he can't make this a valid point. I see. Also, also regarding the costume, like, the, has he heard the saying, it's not the uniform, it's how you wear it, or something similar to that effect? Like, it doesn't matter necessarily well, isn't that what that how scene ridiculous is? he does. <laughs> yeah, Every like, superhero goes point. through that. In the in the comic book, like Tony goes through it in Iron Man three, every superhero goes through. It's not just the costume. It's not just my powers. It's it's, it's the me, personality yeah. behind it. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I, I guess he's saying they should just. I, is he suggesting they should automatically respect him? Because that's fucked. You earn that all, shit, man. Exactly. All the Avengers that should be common well. knowledge to the people in this world at this point in the story, Captain America should be at the top of this list. As far as the people, do they, have they even told people the Cap's back? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's think public so. knowledge no. at this point. Yeah, it becomes no. public knowledge because of the fight. I, I'm going to say, I think that's where they kind of drop the ball with the whole Captain America thing, is they never have a scene where the public reacts to him coming back. Yeah, it always seemed to me that would have, we would yeah. have to assume this is his first... Because, yeah, because yeah, it seems like Fury's giving him his first mission. And I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do a big public announcement. Instead, he's just a soldier for the uh, for S.H.I.E.L.D., but yeah, then, why would they tell anyone? Yeah, but then the world becomes gradually more aware as he's doing more missions, and then we join him in Winter Soldier, and he's just doing missions for S.H.I.E.L.D. So, yeah. And uh, let's uh, think about... People think he's think dead, don't the they? Of... Yeah, well, think back to First Avenger. When he breaks... When he, when he realizes he's in the present, he breaks out of the facility, he goes into Times Square. He's not in costume. He just looks like a crazy yeah, a buff guy. man. Yeah. Just a so, New Yorker. Yeah, and there's no Except fucking way people are going to know the face of the man from 70 yeah. years ago. Off by look, I don't know, guys, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but when I see a guy rock up who's dressed like Elvis, I automatically think that this is <laughs> Elvis from the dead. Yeah, yeah Shad sees the, the Elvis cosplayer and he's like, oh my god, were you frozen in ice and you'd just been released? Yeah, he's just alive. The aliens really did take me. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I was frozen in the ice. And Elvis is like, Thank oh man, god, you're a, lot back. Of, a lot of convenient aliens around here, huh? And you're like, yeah, the man. The world needs just... you, Elvis. <laughs> Elvis is the one that everyone would recognize as a part of the Avengers. We would respect yeah. him. Also, it's really not a good time to be asking for this dude's resume. I mean, He's giving him orders. He's he's required. He's, he's like, why the fuck would I listen to you? It's the most reasonable fucking thing the police officer would ask. Why ask for his yeah. resume? Isn't that what they if literally being... do in the middle of stuff like this? It's like you have to assert what uh you know what authority you have before people will listen to you. Isn't that how it works? You should, yeah, if I was getting mugged in an alleyway, but Bruce Lee suddenly appeared. Situation. Sorry, what is this point he's making? Also, it's really yeah. not a good time to be asking for this dude's resume. 
I mean, if it's, I was being mugged in an alleyway, but Bruce Lee suddenly appeared to help me defend myself, I wouldn't be like, uh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. They don't you... know he's the real McCoy! Hello? Yeah, also, well, he's, <laughs> he's telling, this is a bad analogy. So, yeah. Captain America is telling them to do a bunch of stuff. He's giving them orders for the police. He's not there to, like, defend them from someone in a situation like a, a knife robbery, right? Where he can just, like, yeah. directly come in and help you and you don't have to do anything. Captain America well, is telling them to do things. He specifically he tells them where to put the police. He tells them who to focus on. Like this is police. You can't just nobody can just rock up and tell the police exactly what orders they have. Well, Meanwhile, course. anyone can walk, rock up and help you with a knife fight. That's true. But of course, these are two different things, my friend. Captain America then proves himself by pretty effortlessly taking on the Chitauri, and, and then they immediately issue his orders because that's all they need. It's like this also, guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. And just like the Elvis example, if someone looking like Bruce Lee came up to defend me in an alley, I wouldn't think, oh my god, it's Bruce Lee back from the dead. I would probably <laughs> yes, just be like, exactly. someone, someone probably cares to help me. You'd be like, jeez, I must be racist. That guy looks like Bruce Lee. <laughs> like, wait, wait, are you the real Bruce Lee? Just to be clear. It's almost worse than that because most of these guys will not know what the face of Captain America is. They'll they'll be aware exactly. of the guy Captain America probably from history or someone would have taught them something. But the idea that they all have that off by heart and they see Chris Evans and they're like, ah, Captain America, of course. No, like, no. Listen, when, when the Nazis come back, you, when the Nazis come back and invade New York, and the ghost of FDR rolls up on his wheelchair, all the police <laughs> officers will know who it is. <laughs> yep. Somebody make that film. It's a vibranium Ultron wheelchair. <laughs> You go away i'd be like well this is certainly surprising but i'm getting mugged right now so i better take all the help i can get uh, what okay let me Not i'll, I'll help same. you out this guy is they're talking about what orders they're gonna give cap suggests some they have no reason to think his orders are any better than orders they can give and then they see yep. what he can do and they're like okay he's probably got the best idea actually seems so legit his orders. yeah like he's not fucking around he knows what he's doing of course, think about the stakes of this. They're making a decision that could influence the lives of thousands, yep. tens of thousands of people. And themselves. Um, you in an out and themselves. You you in an alleyway. Like they're not exactly the same stakes here. No, of the course. Decision, of yeah, course they're yeah, almost yeah, one to one, yeah. just a couple differences. Nah, uh, it, yeah. it's, a, yeah. it's a false it's a false equivalent. The alleyway scene, you have someone who is, you, you know, have a convenient you in that moment, armor, right yeah. in front of you, where at this moment there's no enemies right there in their presence and so they do have the breathing room to say why should i listen to you if there were aliens right in front of them i don't think their reaction would be the same so you think well as we saw when the aliens arrived and then cap killed them all we saw what they did which is they immediately issued his orders do you think that if this guy, this guy was... seems to be quite competent and he's trying he's clearly here to help us not a bad idea yeah. to do what he you know is telling us do you think if this guy yeah. the guy who made the video i mean was in an alley and a mugger turns up and pulls a knife. Do you think the guy would be like, oh, great. How convenient. A mugger. <laughs> <laughs> and then an Asian guy walks up and goes, are you Bruce Lee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How convenient. Bruce Lee. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm, I'm with the mugger. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Bruce Lee shows up and you're like, Bruce Lee, you're here to save me. And you're like, you better do as he says. So. <laughs> Like mm. no, I'm getting mugged You're right evil now. evil, Bruce so Lee. I, I better take all the help I can get. A devil's advocate might argue that in the heat of the moment, it, oh, that's us. It's reasonable to have an adverse reaction like this, and yes, that is true. I'm not. I'm, I don't think it's an adverse reaction to just take, like, refuse to take the orders of a random guy. I, I, I don't think that's adverse. That's pretty normal, I'd say. I, that's skepticism. Uh, yeah. Very normal I think skepticism. That's true. Be fucking weird if. It, do you think this scene would be better if Cap jumped onto the car and said, "Do everything I say," and the cops go, "Okay." Yeah, that would have been lame and yeah. not funny and weird. Yeah, we would all be like, "Oh wow, that worked out, I guess." But I'm more so condemning this from a writing perspective. If oh, the goal okay. of this scene is oh, like from what? a writing perspective, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. What are the criticisms? Yeah, like I'm writing, interested. Man. Yeah, all right. Holy. Writing perspective. If the goal of this scene is to have Captain America use his leadership skills to rally the people, why would you write it like this? Why does the cop have to disrespect Because it him? effectively why? is communicated by that the scene. Oh, so, so, no, 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 interesting, interesting. Like, if the goal of the scene was that, but it's not definitively that goal. There's a lot of purposes of what you're wanting to achieve in that in this scene, and it actually does 
them pretty effectively. It's it not does just them. this pause frame's pretty good. No, it's not. Shad, Shad, you're right. Uh, like it, it provides <laughs> levity in this. It's a funny scene, right? And that's probably yeah. why he wrote it like that. So uh, that's exactly. Yeah, this guy just. Well, it, it's, it also like things, it also lifts Captain America. Literal. Yeah, but it also makes him look like a badass and it achieves mm -hmm. him, uh, you know, establishing himself as the authority on the battlefield, the commander and everything. It does multiple things, but he's going to straw man the situation and say, uh, if the goal of this scene is this, assuming that this is the definitive goal, and then trying to, you know, argue against that like it's just the right thing. So yeah, uh, it makes it feel more real and funny. And that guy has three eyes. Or is it four? <laughs> is it if four? The, if the, the argument that's being proffered is this scene damages Captain America's character. What could you possibly cite? He jumps in immediately, matter of fact, issues several good orders. Yeah, sure, they don't listen to him at first. And then he fights some Chitauri and effortlessly takes them out. And then they follow his orders. What damage has been dealt to Captain America as a character? None. What damage could the scene have possibly yeah. dealt? All that's established to us is. He knows what to do, and he's got the skills to prove it. Yeah. If any, it, yeah, it but, only, I'm not even going to say if anything. It only enhances his character. It shows that he is great. a leader. And a very Pretty great, and it's one. quick, too. It's, it's very quick. Fast. 20 seconds? Mm -hmm. 20 yeah, but guys, seconds guys, remote, guys. Maybe? Have you seen what he's wearing? Clearly damaging <laughs> that they would obey him while he wears it. Clearly that. Joss hates him. <laughs> he made him wear that outfit. <laughs> is, um, so what I think this person thinks he's saying is that the scene isn't showing he's a good leader, it's showing that he's convinced these guys with brawn, like, not leadership. Even though the reality of the scene is, he's given what they could possibly quite recognize are actually good, interesting orders, but there's no authority behind the lines. Why should we listen to this man? And then the man shows them, via his brawn, and, to be fair, fighting skills aren't just brawn, they're also in intellect, like, and then he does it as well. If you watch Cap's reaction to, like, doing it, he's not, like, going, ah, ooh, ah. He's very, like, stern, and he just fucking wipes them out. So these guys are like, Jesus. Like, this I guy is impressive. Like, respect. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Leadership is earned. Not and you, you don't do what they would do in a modern Marvel movie, where they fucking, like, cut right up to this cop's face, and he goes, I think I'm gonna listen to this guy. <laughs> Instead, he just turns around and issues the orders one-to-one -one with what Cap said, which is very funny. Because it's very relatable. Yep. Why didn't they write it yep. so the cops witness Cap in action before he talks to them? Why can't they just be grateful? Because what was that shame? Why, why is that well, better? Well, well, I mean, of course, what be we do is like a really good joke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you miss out on the humor of the scene, which works really well. Because all that's yeah, happened here is we've achieved the same thing, but we also got a joke. Nothing was damaged. Nothing was lost. We only gained... And yeah. what I like about this joke is that the, the subtext of it, where it's not spelled out, you see, it's very situational humor that you can almost relate to as well, where if you were in that situation, you would probably react the same way. And then when he kicks exactly. the crap out of the aliens, you're like, okay, yep, I'll listen to you. And so exactly. you relate to it, and there's that layer of humor to it as well. Yeah. But, but everybody seems to have forgotten that Avengers is a pretty funny movie. Everybody forgets. Like, everybody was laughing their ass off in the theater. I think... Don't mm -hmm. lie. Well, it's the <laughs> thing, right? It's, it's the thing of... I think it was... I, Joss, Joss Whedon's clones have made it so that everyone thinks the originator of, like, this style must have not been funny as well. It's like, no, some of these jokes... Yeah. Dude, well, when, when this he, when movie Hulk has been unfairly Loki, tarnished after it came out by other oh, things. Th yeah, I... You're right, when Hulk screws up Loki, but also when Hulk just punches Thor. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's, that's a brilliant setup because of the subtext where you saw these guys fighting before and now they're fighting together and you see that awkward kind of moment that doesn't need to be spelled out. You can feel like, yeah, we're fighting before, now we're fighting together, it's a bit weird. And then Hulk's like, yeah, I still don't like you. Smack. And it's, <laughs> it was brilliant. It was really good. Well, dude, I remember my audience oh. cheered when he said Hulk smash. Yeah. Another really yeah. the order to yeah. smash yeah. to the Hulk, and then him grinning before he just goes fucking wild, and then you just snap forward to Hulk going, bruh, and and yeah. dab. Oh my god! Oh jeez, <laughs> you reminded me. Yeah, guys, you you, you don't know how good we had it with Avengers, okay? Uh, you don't know how good uh, we had it. Guys, arrow, and then just looked off the camera, and just really smugly to blow up in his face. That was pretty good. And then fucking, when yeah. freaking Hulk just pounds him, just smashes him to pieces. Ah. Like, my theater was laughing so hard when Loki was just getting destroyed by the Hulk that I couldn't hear the puny god line because we were laughing so yeah, hard. I had to yeah, look it up yeah, later. Yeah. 
I, th I dude, I think I had that exact same experience. I didn't know you'd said it on my first one round. It's not this film's fault that everybody is bad at imitating the style of humor. <laughs> So what do you mean? Happened. Michael like, Waldron is a saint. Why would you say that? Because I would agree <laughs> that there is definitely like an MCU sludge humor at this point. It's like yeah. they've got to generate it, right? Any circumstance, yeah. throw the circumstance in, throw the kind of joke. Do you want it to be sarcastic, self-referential? Throw it in the blender. Here's your sludge joke. And the Aluba Dump, the Aluba Waddy. The Aluba Waddy. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Like, that's another one of those ones. Yeah, yeah. Aluba Waddy is Embarrassing. Illuma Wati is pretty embarrassing. Going? I do. I <laughs> I have almost Wadi. equal hatred <laughs> for Illuma Wati and the um. What is it? Blackagar, Boltagar, Hellagai, Jesus, it's almost hard to explain how rancid that joke is. You're just like, ugh, get out of here. This, this is a what, toddler what humor. Is the, Bad is toddler the, humor. Yeah. Hey, he's got a funny name compared to again a joke that builds character at the same time and builds off of what uh reasonable reactions from the audience to a situation. Ugh. These are like jokes that you would have like in a proper comedy film that are there to be the bad jokes. If you know what I mean? Like it comes off as it's bad so bad. jokes that are recognized as bad in the story. Yeah. Like yeah, somebody makes a joke right, and yeah. it's recognized as cringy shit jokes. Yeah. I remember I'm um, that, that, in the yeah. middle of uh Tony just like Basically bursting into the into the control room for the uh, helicarrier without giving a shit about anybody's authority, and in the middle of his speech, just randomly going, "That bad is playing Galaga." Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we know that's what we did. <laughs> he thinks or, we didn't notice, but we did. Or or him having or him complaining about the fact that he has to turn his head in order to look at the other screen. Yeah, with with, with one eye, he has to turn his head a lot. Uh, How exhausting. We had it so good. Yeah, I mean, well. another example as well. Remember the uh, when when um, Tony is talking to Bruce as they're like working in the lab, zaps him, and then it's just like squints at him to see if if he's got to turn into the Hulk. That's a funny little moment, mm -hmm. but it also builds character really strongly because True. Tony is the only person in the film who pretty consistently treats Bruce like a regular person and doesn't tiptoe around him all the time. And you can see it because Bruce is smiling. Like he probably found that really amusing, whereas of course. Steve, because he's serious, down to business, upset, is very concerned about the potential uh, danger to life on the ship. Yeah. So we've got a joke, and it's not that complicated of a joke, but it reinforces every single person's character in that room. Jokes are tools. We've They're been over it jokes before. Are a purpose. We've been over it before, but the the Avengers is Loki, Hulk, and Black Widow's best movie. Oh well. Is the Remember last... like yep. the joke yep. well in, in Avengers when um when when uh Tony's talking to Loki and then Loki does the uh the mind stone tap on on his uh his yeah. chest and it hits the um it hits the uh the arc reactor. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, it, doesn't he say but like this, really this normally issues. this usually <laughs> works? Performance issues, one out of five. <laughs> yeah, he says one, just... one out of five, and then he grabs him by the throat. It's great. It's a really good joke. And and, and, as he's, hey, as he's carrying on. him toward the, the thing to throw oh. him off, you can just hear him going, Jarvis, Jarvis! Deploy! <laughs> Deploy. Yeah. Deploy! Oh, dude, I, the last whenever, whenever that scene comes up, I can't resist praising it for the visual of the Iron Man suit reaching out and grabbing Tony and saving him from falling. That fucking yeah. shit is perfect to represent what Iron Man is. He built is, this, um, that shit to save his life, you know? Is the last Beautiful funny movie we watched him. Everything Everywhere All at Once? Um, you don't need to say the last funny movie. You just say the last good movie. <laughs> well, I, suspect, I guess specifically <laughs> last funny movie. But yeah, Thor: Love it and feels Thunder. Like you watch a lot of movies that try to be funny. Well, Thor: Love and Thunder was just a comedy black hole. It was allegedly a comedy. I don't know if they can prove that. <laughs> I guess allegedly mm. a comedy. Yeah, Joseph Anderson does not think it's a comedy. <laughs> it's and no, it's no comedy. longer a comedy. And therefore, it isn't. <laughs> they I didn't write laugh. It. it was not a comedy. So the cops witness Cap in action before he talks to them. Why can't they just be grateful to get help from someone who's qualified to handle this? It's a because fucking random clown who just turned up and just. To do <laughs> Why? Like, no, if like if we're gonna orders. okay, if we if we all agree the suit is a bit bad in this film, it is literally a fucking clown who landed on a car and said, "Do this." Like, why would you listen to him? Why would you? Like, Especially when lives are on the line, depending on what you choose to do. Like, oh, why? Why? Why are you like trying the, to make the, the film worse? Moves. The fight moves are like the equivalent of a thumbprint, an ID card. Like that is a physical representation of this is me proving that I am, 
you know, through my actions, through my clear training that I am in a position of authority, even if I am dressed like this. Like, fuck it. You're talking about expeditious writing. This is a pretty clear example of that. How much can you achieve in 20 seconds? Quite a lot. Meanwhile, yeah. they take a whole act to fucking establish and burn down a book in in Multiverse of Madness. That was worthwhile. Well, yeah, it takes longer for for Doctor Strange to slowly walk to the book that can save everything and then Wanda <laughs> destroy it. And of course, the film never touches on the fact that Wanda has destroyed the most powerful tool and instrument for good that could ever exist in all of the multiverse. It's fine. Nobody cares. It's fine. We, it didn't exist before the movie, and it certainly doesn't exist afterward, except for Wong, for some reason, to apparently cite doing things by the book that's been destroyed. In Sheol, yeah. I, dude, I can Sheol. totally imagine the conversation where he's like, so the book of Shanti got destroyed? And Doctor Strange goes, yeah. And Wong goes, oh, okay. And the writer oh, would be man, like, that's, like, that's how right the writer would write, how Michael Waldron would write it, and you'd be like, Michael, shouldn't they be, like, devastated? And he's like, no. What? Let's put it this way. Imagine if someone's like, oh, so you just had like the cure for cancer in a little vial. Yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I, I dropped it. Oh, okay. All right. It's, it's, it's that. <laughs> well, see, you say that and I think someone could envision like, oh yeah, that'd be pretty bad. It's like, well, it's that times infinity. It could do anything, that book, as many times well, as you every, want. Every universe ever. Yeah. I was talking about it. It was like, when you hold a book that can grant you any spell across the entire universe, it's like, you're holding, you could, you could convert everybody into just energy that experiences pure pleasure forever just it's like this is pretty this is pretty powerful i don't know the way um, they wrote it makes you want to laugh at captain america for even showing no, up no it doesn't no, no 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 what? no 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 you guys no, just want to no, laugh at him no. yeah no 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 negative no 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 nada no yet Oh, I don't know, guys. Did you hear him? It, it makes you want to laugh at him. He's I was going to say, yeah. I disagree! It's a, it's a pretty solid <laughs> argument. You guys seem to just be hating. Yeah. costume and awkward fight choreography doesn't help either. What's awkward about awkward it? Awkward fight choreography? What? What was, what was awkward about that? and awkward fight choreography doesn't help what? either. Okay. And before... uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, can son, you... hey, son. <laughs> Uh, son, I, I I don't think you're very good at what you do. Can you can you at least? I don't think you're very good at this YouTube thing. Maybe about other things, but maybe not this. You know. C couldn't you have said what good was awkward about and it? Bad at something. He had the clip. He mm. could have said like, "Look at this. Look at this thing here." Like, why didn't you tell me? I don't know what it, I'm. See, I'm a lowly random. I don't know what was bad about that. Help me out. Before we move forward, I want to do a quick recap of what just happened. Okay. Cap, Widow, and Hawkeye land in the Quinjet. Widow and Hawkeye cover Cap as he runs over to the cop, and then Cap just immediately returns to Black Widow. Yeah, and after issuing orders to the yeah, police. fucking oh. punching yeah. aliens, kicking them in the penis. Yeah, but ignore that. <laughs> I just uh, <laughs> uh, issuing orders true. to the police. The NYPD also, are now following Cap's orders. Do you not think exactly. that's significant? <laughs> And what were the orders? Wasn't it to section off that part of the city and yeah, and to get in the way? Like that's really keep crucial. The stuff said, off the street was yeah, the keep the civilians one. in safer environments. Get them away from the main warfare, basically, which is a really and important of order. Down to Thirty Nine Street or whatever. Uh -huh. So we're trying to establish because remember he's about to issue the order to Tony to basically keep a uh, like a three or four block perimeter. Like Anything box. gets out, you got to destroy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because he's smart and a good leader. <laughs> And something yep. that is sorely missing in a lot of current superhero films is um, uh, just saving people's lives. Yep. It's, it's, um, it's been Men. really absent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, Gary, that's been absent. <laughs> hey, we've got plenty of women coming in, and that's great. That's just wonderful. It this guy's talking, breaking down this whole thing, and we had a movie where our main titular character, Shang-Chi, got kicked in the balls and knocked out by his sister in his own movie in the first 15 minutes. But let's talk about Cap, sure. Oh, Ouch. wait, sorry, I blanked out. I thought you were talking about Loki, uh, where he was kicked by in the balls by his... Was this silly? By his... Also, didn't yeah, Lady Sif. Yeah, Lady Sif. Uh, what's it? Star Lord got kicked in the balls. It's not he that did. funny. Oh God! Like, oh God! There's a pattern. Oh no! <laughs> like, they keep kicking oh, the balls. I try to throw that in every one of my Marvel videos. Everybody get kicked in the balls. Hawkeye yeah, almost kicking gets women kicked in, in the, the balls. balls right now. We should mm -hmm. slapping them in the tit. That's the way to go. get those ovaries throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? That's all you ran over there to do? What do you mean? Yeah, he all kicked he did aliens in the all dick! All he would have saved countless <laughs> lives. Why are you saying this? Why? Why do you test me? You did this whole 
cool epic parkour sequence just to go talk to this one guy and go- <laughs> What? Just, just don't so, he just talked to him. He went over there and said, "Hey, what do you think of deviled eggs?" I'm just not sure. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know, <laughs> you know the part where he, he activates the little walkie and starts giving orders. Uh, Cap's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, what are you doing?" And he's like, oh, "I'm telling everyone." He's like, "No, no, 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 no. I came this. I just, I wanted to tell you, just you. I'm, 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 <laughs> it's like these are orders for you, sir. Like no one else. It's like what the fuck? You, you showed the clip. Why? Why? Now Cap should have just." Landed where he landed and shouted over all the aliens and explosion like, "Hey, this is what you gotta do." And the cop like, "What? What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. what? 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 Did you, you just leisurely what's that strolled over there saying? Don't say leisurely reverse. strolled while he's doing that fucking flip. Yeah. Yeah. He should have just, yeah. just, just leisurely strolled over there, you know, and <laughs> not got happening? shot at. What just, is that? Yeah. There's an alien invasion. He's just, just sauntered on over to the cop and said, hey, dude. He's getting shot at by a huge alien death laser. What do you expect him to move like? Oh, no, wait. We were in the age of the Mandalorian where people do just casually brush by gunfire all the time. I forgot. I forgot what your age well, we're in. Do you remember in. in Winter Soldier when there's a guy with a minigun who fucking unloads it but he just won't go for his feet? <laughs> he just keeps going for his shield. It's like, hey, yeah. look, okay. Mm-hmm. Remember in Mandalorian when the Mando, like, he just charged forward in a hallway, getting shot, like, 50 <laughs> times? <laughs> yeah. Down the hallway? You remember that? I remember. Remember the jetpack in the Boba Fett episode? And, uh, oh, God. Don't oh. remind oh. me. No. Harry, why would you let us remind you of that? Why would you? Yeah. Exactly. You brought up Mandalorian. I'm sorry, so I just okay. had to bring up some of my favorite so parts. Sorry. You know. I'll take the blame. It's a good show, everybody. Come on. It's hey. really... <laughs> I wonder if anybody who liked that show or said they liked it could even tell you what the plot is. Like, right now. <laughs> what? Um, baby. And baby Yoda. Bounty. Yeah. Baby Yoda, cute. There's the and, plot. Uh, Two seasons of Baby Yoda goes from called. place to place. No, I, I, even Book and Boba Fett. I would be surprised if they could even tell you what the bad guys Boba were called. Boba Fett. He was, uh, he, remember, the, oh. remember when he says, I thought I was the crime lord. That was a great line. Oh yeah. my god. There were so many great uh, lines in that. Oh, my favorite line was when he says, Laca Benta. My favorite <laughs> no, part no. was when it turned into the Mandalorian and Luke told Baby Yoda to fuck off. That was my, and like, wouldn't even drive him, fly him back himself. Set R2 I liked, with him. Oh, yeah. I liked it when he landed with his backpack and he, he landed in the street and shot all the robots and then he took off his helmet and then he said, It's Bulbin time. Oh, that's good <laughs> but, but we can't gonna, like outdo the whole the whole like oh i'm still faster than you yeah but i have armor well, well let's find out if you have armor <laughs> let's find out <laughs> <laughs> like that's the kind if i was like actually in a, about to get into a life or death fight with someone and they said that i would just i would actually just like have a puzzled look on my you just face. you, you like, tap the armor with your gun like i'm pretty sure this like, is armor dude like what <laughs> just... like, like the, what and to be fair i don't know if any of these compare to when the guy says like what do you do and he's like i'm a water merchant i grew up surrounded by water <laughs> i grew up surrounded by water <laughs> why would Me? you say that <laughs> <laughs> we'll <laughs> find out about that I grew up on a beach. I Phoenix, did that like, too. Just, he, he says strange things sometimes. Just humor him. Yeah. I saw him. There was a stream I was watching where someone was trying to illustrate how ugly a person was because of how fat they were. And they said he's almost as ugly as Boba the Fett. <laughs> wow. Boba the Fett. It was just like, wait a minute. You mean Chubb? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Boba the Fat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you highlight something important. You know, instead of going around telling every stranger, including the cook droid, for some reason, that I'm Boba Fett. I'm Boba Fett. I am Boba Fett. He should have gone. I am Boba the Fett. <laughs> like, okay, man, just let Boba me down, man. Bad. I just sliced the salami, man. I am Boba Fett. I am Boba Fett. You, I'm just the just janitor. Right I, am Boba Fett. <laughs> I am Boba Fett. I am Boba Fett. I'm really upset. He's just a Pokemon at this point. <laughs> Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Epic purple. Instead of Boba Fett, is Boba Fett? Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett. <laughs> and he just shakes back and forth. Like, huh? All right. That's all you ran over there to do? You did this whole 
cool epic parkour sequence just to go talk to this one guy and come back? No, did you do the same escape, epic yeah. stunts in reverse? <laughs> I, I don't know what he did in reverse. They didn't show it. I guess that's why Joss Whedon hates Cap. He didn't show it. We well, got you back. know, if it was Stephen Hawking on the top of that bus, he would have. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he would have done far better. <laughs> a more intelligent man. Would have done would've... a little flip off the end, and. I mean, I bet the cop would have listened to him the first yeah. time. Yeah. Like, oh shit! It's Stephen Hawking. Guys, guys, we need to cover these buildings <laughs> and make a blockade at 39th Street. <laughs> Stephen Hawking's no, here. It's we need to cover those buildings and make a blockade at 39th Street. <laughs> he he's, make he's a like kill a kill box. <laughs> he's like a Charles Xavier sort where he can just like yes. see into the building. I have detected 16 <laughs> structural weaknesses within the building. We have 6.3 minutes until they collapse. Like, I get that you're from another time, dude, but even back then they still had radio. Did you not have one of those on the Quinjet? No! No, no, he doesn't have a way to connect to the NYPD. They run on a different why frequency. What are you talking about? Yeah, why would he have an NPD? Yeah, why would he have a police radio on him? What are you talking about? Because <laughs> City Man! He only has- all they have is the little earpieces that connect to the Avengers He's team. got all those belt pockets, though. There's gotta be one in there somewhere. He just has, like, one per every well, police force across the world. <laughs> just in case he bumps <laughs> into him, like... I gotcha. No, he does not have a radio that ties into the frequency of the NYPD. No, I can- yeah, that's fine. Jet, I'm pretty sure Nick Fury could have done a more efficient job of giving orders all the way back from- Nick Fury's not even there yet. The- the- the helicar is not even within the city limits, right? Because the Avengers go out on their own. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, yeah. and also, I mean, this- this goes again with Steve's character. Like, when they're trying to hack into the mainframe to find out about hydro weapons, he's like, I'm just gonna go there in person. Yeah, he's gonna break into the locked areas. A lot of things. Yeah, um, with no radio, does does Fury have the means to get to the people he needs to issue the orders? And can he issue the same orders as Cap? Does he know exactly what to do? No. Yeah, he's not even on the well, ground floor. He doesn't even know where things are. Well, who would exactly. he know? Even if Cap had a radio, like, how does he know who that guy is? To even call that guy on the radio. Yeah, there's channels on the radio. Does this guy know how the radio works? I'm not sure if he knows how the world works. Trying to not get New York nuked by the fucking shadow bureaucracy people. Nick Fury. Ooh, <laughs> woo. At the end of the film, you pretend to have a radio in your ear when there's clearly nothing there. But no, that's the Avengers. An inner earpiece. earpiece. Yes, yes. It goes in the ear. They yeah, all talk to each other through them. Is... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what? Why? <laughs> so, uh, so is he saying that Captain America is an idiot because he's hallucinating this? That yes. and he's like he's like actually in a padded cell with his arms crossed he, over. He never really jacket, woke going, up from Tony the ice to Yeah, me. Tony it's a fever dream. Well, it's not just that, Rags. It's that he didn't hallucinate a walkie-talkie that connects to the NYPD. That was his big fuck up because he's stupid. <laughs> One idiot. Steve that's Rogers is right. hallucinating. He must be so he's stupid to do that. What an idiot. But whatever, it's fine. Let's just relax and try to think more positively because okay. his big scene is coming up. Okay. Finally, okay. a good okay. moment oh, to talk about where. He there's been loads of cool. good moments, you just didn't understand them, man. Fence. Yeah. <laughs> he does something right. The moment where Captain America finally distinguishes himself as the leader of the Avengers and gives out the orders. Except... All right. So he's not... Uh, yeah. Like he's kinda, you know what he's gonna say? Yeah. Except it's Iron Man that tells him to do it. He couldn't even take, you know, command without Iron yeah. Man. Oh, giving, please, that's what he's gonna say. <laughs> please. Well, please. Let's, anything but that. Look, Shad, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let, <laughs> let's let the guy dig his own grave, oh, okay? Oh, oh. Fuck me in the ass. I like the idea that Shad's digging the grave for him. and I'm like, I'm like Shad, come on. <laughs> like, he's come dug on. the own grave. He's, he's crawling. He's getting the there. Pocket. He's doing great. Wait. There's something wrong here. Blink and you won't right. hear it, but it's definitely there. Okay. Blink and oh, you won't hear it. Blink and you won't hear it. Oh, no! Hey. No! No! Iron no! I, I called it! <laughs> totally. All right. Uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll do our conversation before whatever the fuck he's going to end up saying. So, why does this happen? Why is it important? Cap and Tony... Yes, that's right. Cap and Tony have been fighting uh, throughout the whole movie. They're both the alphas. They both. Uh, Tony's already obviously one of the people you would expect that would have authority over this team, uh, especially because he's the established mm -hmm. hero out of the rest of them. They're all, they're all like, pretty brand new. Yeah. So, why is it that Tony's not going to give the orders? Well, Tony recognizes he's not suited for this role. Cap is, and so yep. if there was any confusion as to who the leader is, Tony's giving up his chance to do so. He's like, "No, right. you got this, Cap. Yep. You're the leader." He's literally deferring authority to Captain. If anything, you know. if you were an idiot, you could say Joss is cucking Iron Man in this scene. 
But iron. Jo yeah, Joss Whedon nah, hates nah, nah, iron. Nah, nah, nah. But like that's just not it. it Cap's talents uh, far outweigh Iron Man's when it comes to leadership. And by the way, Tony knows this. He studied Cap. So uh, how could you possibly interpret this as like? Ah, uh, you couldn't do anything without your big brother telling you it's okay. Because obviously that's going to be where we're going with this, isn't it? It's, um, it's a pretty yeah, cool moment, yes. because, yeah, it just gives us an overt yep. recognition that... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's Cap... a great character building moment. Yeah, t Tony's recognizing Cap's skill, and he's saying, like, this is a very important and everything matters scene. He's making it clear, you're in charge of me in this fight. Orders Captain America to give the orders. He can't even have that... His one thing, and he doesn't even it's get not to ordering. It. He's saying the stage is yours. Yeah, it's oh, pretty. It, it's pretty uh, interesting to call that. It, like when I when I ask for someone to put me in chains, like ah, uh, you just you're not their slave at this point. You're just you you you've enslaved them to enslave you. <laughs> or something like what? <laughs> what are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Tony has given up his uh, his agency to Cap at this point. They direct me. I'm your weapon, which is the same did, for all did of them. That... Did he say what yeah, the specific I... quote was that Tony said? I mean, did Tony said, say like, "Hey, bitch," he you know, says, "What should we do?" Yeah. Yeah. He says, <laughs> "Call it Cap,", Cap. Call... and he's okay. trying to say that that is Tony ordering um, uh, Steve to do it. If anything, the, the the structure of that sentence implies from Tony, "I have no idea what to do." Your experience yeah. at this, yeah, yep. like. Yeah. Is this how the slaves were emancipated? They were gas. The the slaves <laughs> gas lit themselves out of it by saying, "No, no, no, we want to be slaves. Like, please chain me up." And then they were just like, "Well, you're trying to enslave us. That's fucked up. We're not going to put you in chains. Fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> and then they all left, and the masters were like, "Fuck." <laughs> we just, we just, Wait a minute. Bye -bye. Clever bastards. Damn it. But uh, God. yeah, this is this is a really weird, narrow-minded interpretation. And you went the dumbass way, but fair enough. <laughs> Go right ahead. There's not much else to really even say about that. Also, at no other point in the film do they really acknowledge Captain America Ducks. as an authority figure for the team. So Cap has given general orders that they pay attention throughout the whole film. Or the rest of the fight, I should say. Like, he's... What he tells them all to do, they consistently do. Except, I get... Well, no, because even... Doesn't he... He tells Barton to call out targets. And then he does yep. that for Iron Man. Mm-hmm. That is yep. Cap's order mm -hmm. in practice. And also, when Tony flies the um, the nuke into the wormhole, it's uh, Cap who tells uh, Nat to close it. She's waiting for him no, to give no, her no, an no, order. No, 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 that doesn't happen because this this guy said they don't they, they don't listen to his orders any after this. Yeah, that's true. I think you made that up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to uh, check you the film. Well, who am I to Why believe, you, you or this guy? Happens, this guy has been pretty honest so far. Is before or after this moment. So, this just kind of comes out of nowhere. This next major wait, scene with Cap. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, what comes out of nowhere? What, 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 Even what, what, when he what, finally what? gets his moment to leave, it comes out of nowhere, so fuck it. What? Well, it America is when you ignore the rest of the film, yes. Pretty figure yeah. for the team, before or after this moment. So, this just kind of comes out of nowhere. Wow. No, it doesn't, but... So, th this film is actually technically a sequel to another film. He's probably not seen it. It's called Captain America the First Avenger. It's all about mm -hmm. him sort of training up in the military while also getting a part of the super soldier and, and program remind uh, me what his name is again i mean aside from steve rogers it's captain, captain. america and it's not america? just a uh, uh yeah, america yeah or america it's captain america, <laughs> captain uh, america. And, and captain chavez el capitan uh, and he actually earned that rank it's a actual rank in the military where he fought and led before yeah, so. that, that doesn't matter though. That shouldn't. Con it, yeah. Well, so what matter. this guy's suggesting is, how come we didn't see him leading a whole bunch of men in war before this part of the film? It's like, oh, because that was we in did. the other film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. This are next major huh? scene with Cap is probably the most offensive of all. Ooh. The scene where he tries uh -oh. to save the civilians from the bomb. <laughs> how offensive! <laughs> this, this is <laughs> offensive. Go, this is offensive. How, how perfect oh, was that statement? Man fan? The most <laughs> offensive like thing in this film is when Cap tries to save the civilians from a bomb. <laughs> Why does he say the word? He says the word bomb like he's suspicious that it's actually bomb. a bomb. <laughs> well, it clearly, it, it's clearly it's, called it's, um, bomb. it's it's bomb. clearly a cotton of blue uh, Lucasade. I, I don't know, it's not really a bomb. Yeah, no. It's a, um, a it looks like one of those stigma. things you freeze and it stays cold for a long time. Yeah, it's yeah. A, he's a got nice his drink bomb. in there. 
It's that obviously an there. old alien flip phone. How can we know that that's really a bomb? Yes. Ridiculous. All right. Uh, he was trying to call his wife and kids. What uh, What do you guys... <laughs> I'll leave this open to people who have not seen I mean, this video before. Steve Rogers just knocks the phone out of his hand. He's like, dick. What do you it's think like... <laughs> has, has offended him in this scene? If you can remember. Oh, it. I, that he From... doesn't do it quick enough? That he actually yes, has to fight he's gonna the aliens? struggle. The fact that he struggles so much to do it is going to be like, oh, look, they cut Captain America in this scene. That's he's not, not even true. perfect. <laughs> cucked in America. All right. Oh. If that's the bet, let's see what we got. And man, he is really having a hard time fighting these nameless minions. <laughs> oh, no. There you go, you're correct. No. 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 The, no. Fact, no. the fact that he's not perfect minions. is a problem. He can barely take Captain out just the three America. that are here. He can barely take out three seven foot <laughs> aliens at once. What a loser. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could do Pussy. it in no time. Again. Just three faceless minions. Why do you care yeah, whether or not they have a name? Dude. <laughs> like, yeah, I was about to say, do they have to have a name? And then it's like, okay to All right, say... It's fine well, now. apparently not, because Loki has a name, and Thor oh. has a name, and oh, Captain America right, yeah. no, 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 I'm just offended that he assumed they don't have names. I bet there's, all, there's George, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and Jeff Jack, and Godfar, and Blingleclog. Yeah, it would... Individuals. Yeah. They you, probably you have families. You gotta do it that yeah. way, where yeah. I do. Yeah, let's really it's tragedy. This movie crazy it's alien names, them. but one of them is just you know how like in war. in uh, Scarface, there's like when they're attacking his mansion, there's like the one guy with the sunglasses, and you're like, that's the guy, that's the cool guy. He wanted those aliens to have like the eighty shades on, so you yeah. knew they were the real <laughs> tough aliens. One of them has dreadlocks and shades. You're just like, yeah, all right, fine. That, that, that's the one that he's gonna have the most trouble with, and yeah, then like, he does. Oh. He's not nameless, but, but you know what? Or rather, he is, but he's he's got style. <laughs> But you I know what would have really Diesel added these... saving Private Ryan to a nameless sniper? What a fucking loser. <laughs> chat says the chat said R.I.P. Blood Gorfa. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. <laughs> what That's would have really name. added to this is if they had a scene beforehand where the aliens are like chatting and they're like trying to shoot a tin can like a meter away and they keep missing the tin can. I think that would have really added oh, something. Yeah, that was yes. great when that was in Mandalorian. Yeah, fuck yeah awesome. when Glorthnak dies, his buddy's like, oh, he was only four weeks from retirement. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. He's about to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Glothnak was about to have a baby. To have some spawn. <laughs> and someone in chat mentioned as well. Did he just show the clip of Cap being in a chokehold and then flipping back and around the aliens? Like, yes, this is that's this is all evidence. he did. That's evidence of how Cap is shit in this scene, apparently. Mm. Yeah, Interesting. I think what I they should right have back. done was you have a Glorthrak there on the you know by the <laughs> by the ledge, and then Captain America comes up to him, and Cap says. Uh, do you have in, in Glorthrak is like no please don't don't kill me I have I have kids at home and then Captain America says oh do they have a mother and then Glorthrak <laughs> says <laughs> yes and then Cap says good there'll yes. be someone to raise them and then yes. Cap turns him into spaghetti <laughs> home oh, no. and then Cap spaghettifies Glorthrak <laughs> oh, in the most horrific painful way possible. Dude, legit, if they, it, it, like he gradually tortures and kills Glothrak, and the whole audience is like, why, Cap? What the <laughs> what? fuck? Why? Like, jeez, fucking hell. I don't think I like this. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Again, he's putting everything he has into winning this fight, and he nearly died. God, yeah, I hate it when Cap does everything he can to save civilians. <laughs> that's, that's what pisses me right off. He should be more efficient. He should be better. Guys, he doesn't even really save the civilians. The bomb... Dude, I'm sorry, I didn't even appreciate what happened here. He's being strangled, someone's about to execute him with a gun, he flips over the strangulation, the gunshot goes into the alien that was strangling him. Nice. Sorry. And also, he does save the civilians. Yes. Um, I mean, yeah. They would have been blown, would have been blown up, up if not for him. Yeah, what do you mean? He just did a but, standing backflip while being choked, Mahler. Come on, this is like... Pretty fucking shit. cool! ...as into winning this fight, and he nearly dies. He doesn't even really. <laughs> what a loser! He nearly dies. <laughs> he nearly dies in this intergalactic. It would be better if that never happened. The lame hero. <laughs> never, never is in peril. You know, fucking. Do you know what was wrong with Ed Game? Fucking Tony snaps. And he fucking died. What a loser! Like what? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he couldn't even beat Thanos. Yeah, what right? an idiot. Save the Pussy. civilians. The bomb went off in the building. He was just lucky that it didn't have a large enough blast radius. It's not called luck when you save them. Like, that's, 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 that's all his actions that that happened. 
he amazing. just got blown up by a bomb yeah. out a window that was kind of thrown at him. And by the way, this is uh, the um, this, this leads into this the low point of the battle right here. This because this exactly. I think I think Joss would actually agree. The whole point of this scene is to give you a sense of he was successful, but it came at a cost. This was not as successful as you would like to be in this fight. Well, they're getting tired, they're getting overrun, outnumbered, outgunned. Because, yes. yeah, this is right before the montage where everybody's losing. Yeah. And things have gone bad. He used to hurt anyone. He gets blown the hell out of the window and then he gets all sad. <laughs> oh, he gets sad. Oh, he gets sad. If he was a real Chad, he'd just be, he'd just be chipper as can be. He doesn't just get sad, he gets all sad. It's all even sad. Oh, all sad? Oh, it's even worse. It's even sadder than that. 100% not partially sad. sad. Oh, he's probably Fuck just off. embarrassed because of what just happened. What's even worse? Yeah, yeah I would feel really embarrassed. If they lives you just <laughs> yeah. Listen, guys, if you ever see me kill three alien invaders by myself, I promise you, I will not be embarrassed. I will put that on my goddamn tombstone that I'm an interstellar mm -hmm. defender, right? I killed Glothnag, Felgeleon, and Tim. <laughs> all right, I got all three of them. <laughs> aliens, aliens came across the fucking galaxy so that I could kill them. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Though I will agree with this guy. This scene offended me. In general. It offended me because I knew what Marvel would become. No, and then mm. he gets all sad. He's probably just embarrassed because of what just happened. What's <laughs> even worse is that this is his most significant scene in the entire battle. Thor, Hulk, uh, and Iron Man wipe the floor with the Chitauri. So let me tell you about Man, Thor, Hulk, and Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What's the difference here? <laughs> mm. I don't even know. The footage you show here of Tony, like, right after he blows up the alien eel, he, um, whale, actually. He, he, eel, um, whale, whatever. He gets, he gets blasted by a bunch of aliens. Like, that's his um, moment where things go badly for him. Yep. He's vulnerable. And the aliens start shooting at him. But as for the other two, yeah, one of them is a god of thunder, and the other one is a giant, like, unstoppable monster. So I, I'm, I'm literally wondering what this guy expected Captain America to do, that he would jump on one of those giant <laughs> eel things, throw his yeah. shield, <laughs> chop off its head, and then he just suddenly moves at the speed of light. Like, does he understand power scaling and that okay. all the people, all the heroes in this fight scene are doing things that's appropriate to their strength? Let's set the scene, all right? The, they do the thing with all the Avengers that stand next to each other, and this guy, he's actually there. He's in the universe. He's standing next to the Avengers. And then the, the, the eel whale thing is coming right at them, and Hulk does his thing, where he turns into Hulk, smashes the thing's head into the ground, fucking stuns it, it gets annihilated, and then everything calms down. And the guy just turns to Cap and goes, Why can't you do that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that he's the... Cuck. He's the kid cuck. in the... <laughs> The episode yeah, totally. of One Punch Man where like they're hiding in the arena and the and Saitama kills the sea king and the and the kid's like Yeah, well that guy must have been that must have been really weak if Saitama like one punched back. it. After yeah, it, it like kills all the other heroes. It would be it, it, that's that's what this guy would presume. If this video was about how much Hulk sucks, he'd be like Yeah, okay, Hulk kills one of those things in one punch, but like they're not that strong. Like, whatever. They're just, like, random weird monsters. I don't know. I could have done that. Yeah. I mean, no name. if you think about it, Thor, Hulk, and Iron Man killed all these faceless, nameless seals yeah. from space. So. <laughs> space they whales. Names, like... It's true. Exactly. Black Widow gets to hijack a chariot and close the portal. Okay. He hijacks a chariot yeah. and closes the portal. Couldn't I just use your same logic? Anybody could have closed the portal. Right. Yeah, Tony could have closed it. He could have flown up there himself, just with his suit. Yeah, should have punched the Hulk could have jumped face. up there. Thor could have flown up there. I guess it means that that sucks now. Nobody likes it. Even Hawkeye gets to fly the Quinjet. He takes out Loki's chariot, and he also acts as an eye in the sky, directing the flow of the battle. Oh yeah, who ordered him to and do who that? who enabled wow. him? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like this pause screen. It looks like his bow is firing fire. Like... <laughs> it does. The power Captain of the America. sun and the palm of my bow. Gets ordered to order and barely takes out this random trio. It's easy to imagine. Does just uh, I guess he shouldn't have even a... done it and let those civilians fucking die. Well, yeah. this guy would have been less offended mm. if Cap had just sat at home, I guess, watching TV. Yep. <laughs> like, I'm strong, okay? I wouldn't want to prove it. I just know it. Dozens of other trios and dozens of other buildings doing the exact same thing. Yeah, doesn't that suck that we couldn't save everybody, but they're doing everything they can.
Maybe they could have if uh, Captain America didn't suck so much. Yeah, well. Yep. Yeah. Couldn't they at least give him some kind of alien general for him to fight? <laughs> like with a oh, magic wow. hammer, maybe? <laughs> oh, no, is there actually... He wants Glothnag. Oh, no. He wants him to be this yeah, big old... Oh, no. Is he really like this bearded, hammer-wielding guy who's like, I'm in charge of this sector of aliens. I really don't <laughs> like you, Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> no, like like because Captain America loses to the 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 mini boss guy. Remember, Vision saves him. Yeah. Right. Well, no, no, no. Captain I'm sure Space. Captain, well, Captain you see, Space Fringy. should have flown down and fought Captain America barehanded in a punching contest. I'm sure he's really, be, you know, called the Russos hate Captain America, and it's going to be all about oh, yeah. how he loses to Corvus Blaine. <laughs> yes. Maybe they could utilize his leadership skills to continue to rally the military and police. He gave them orders. Am, they are following them. He tried to do that, and you bitched and you about, complained it. about it. Yeah. <laughs> you complained <laughs> about it. He literally did that. <laughs> what the fuck he, am I... He dismissed it to the point at just have a casual conversation. Why would it even go over there? Does this man have retrograde amnesia, where he just forgets I, I think the, so. like, the last three things he said? Um, like every... Or can only no, remember he's the an last ostrich. He said. I don't know if that uh, you'd have to have a brain for that to be possible, right? Every Avenger. Oh, that's theme. true. That's true. Maybe all the other Avengers get worn out and consider giving up, but then Cap gets like what happens? Oh, like the scenes you just showed them getting hit. And gives an inspiring speech to. Oh, he wants an inspiring speech from Cap. Okay. Uh, you would have just said, "Oh, Captain America, all he gives is a speech while the others are kicking ass." Yeah. <laughs> you would have. I wish this. No matter what. Kind of cuck puts all their points into charisma. <laughs> fucking fight you! You fucking fight you, cuck! I mean, he's complaining <laughs> that this isn't cliched enough for him. Oh yeah, well no, I think the biggest shock I'm having here is that this guy really wants Cap to be perfect, which is really odd. Seems I mean, he's like a it. hyper Cap fanboy. Look at this look. But like, uh... no, a hyper Cap fanboy shouldn't want Cap to be perfect. They should want Cap to be like awesome in the face of. Listen, overwhelming I love odds, Steve right? Rogers. Okay, with all my heart and soul. How dare you? He's say these real things. to me. <laughs> yes, like he should be a morally, a really fucking morally good person with great leadership skills, but that does not preclude like being knocked on your ass by an alien or struggling to do things or God forbid giving orders to people. It's just, mm -hmm. what the fuck do you oh, actually want? It's time. All right. I saw someone in chat. I was waiting for someone in chat to say it. I think you guys are being trolled. I'm so sorry. This guy's for real. He's, this is a full-on no genuine way. channel. This is sincere. He believes Positive. all of these points to be true. Absolutely, yeah. He's this guy is very sincere. I this, mean, this could be mm, Andy Kaufman-esque, you, know? you know. Put on. I mean, it could be the whole channel, yeah. Yeah. You know, well, so, well, never, some of his other videos sound like there's more reasonable videos. I think the the problem is I think he really likes Captain America and he wanted oh, Cap he he wanted Cap to fight Thor, Hulk and Iron Man and beat them. <laughs> he wanted mm -hmm. the Cap to beat them with a one punch. Like he's looking for some weird payoffs. That he wanted this to be Cap's movie, I think. So he's gone a little upset. You know, it happens. I, All right, I we call, we call this a myth. On, I've never wanted someone on EFAP so badly than this guy because I just want I just want questions to be asked from this of this person. Yeah. Like when you said Why did this. You lie? <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! It hurt lord, you. Lord, lord. Why do you hate America, freedom, <laughs> democracy? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 Revitalize them and boost morale. It look at that look. Hang on, go back a little bit. Go back. Look at that look Black Widow gives Captain America Let's right get worn there. Out like, and I think everybody up, wants But her. then Cap gives an inspiring speech to revitalize them and boost morale. Mm. It oh, yeah. yeah he wins with that. <laughs> like the sex look. <laughs> yeah. That's what we call the look at me, the way that Black Widow looks at Captain America. Oh, yeah. He's like, like look at that. Thor's like, what do you want me to here. do? Give me I some I thought orders. I was America's ass. <laughs> yep. Didn't um, I, I I'll, think there was a I'll quote. I'll do anything to be an Avenger. There was yeah. a quote from uh, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson about how when they were filming all the disparate pieces uh -huh. of, if you will, of like Avengers, and the, especially this part, that things were... Things of this other than she was like, she said she was she was worrying this was going to be camp and gay and stupid and lame and it wasn't going to work out and that there was there's all these other examples in history of like superhero movies that just fall flat. But she said as soon as they filmed the scene where they were all together and everyone cheers and stuff, she was like, oh shit, this is going to be huge. Uh, which I think oh, is really? neat as a sort of like when you because like Avengers was they love huge. Me. They really love me. It changed everything, unfortunately. 
Yeah, unfortunately, little did we know, little did we know that all of us clapping in that theater that day were spelling the doom of so much. Right. If only that we was knew. A high point. Well, I'm serious, man. Like, like I think all of us would have happily, like, when this film came out, broken it down and given like criticism and praise here and there. But at this point, when you go back to this after everything that's come out, you're just like, Gee, give, give oh, it back. Let me have. I should have cherished like this you. Again. Yeah, exactly. Just... Perhaps I treated you too harshly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even perhaps. <laughs> it's just absolutely. Oh, for all of Phase One. Yep. Yeah. Boost morale. It would give him a chance to show off his unyielding endurance. They could even do a nice callback and have him say something like, We could do this all day. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. 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 Why doesn't I he just, say the thing? I just, just broke felt my, my skeleton cringe. implode. I could, dude, if he had said that to Joss, I could picture him being like, Can I see your ID? How are you here? What, it's weird. That? I think I, I think for a moment there, I left my body and watched myself <laughs> cringe in third person. You did the Doctor Strange thing where you went astral for a moment. I went, went, yeah, my astral form left my body and watched myself cringe at this we chair. We could do this all day. Uh, uh, my bones cringe. Dude, you know what? Bones. That should have been the name of our EFAP today. We could do yeah. this all day. It's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, you know what the biggest <laughs> we talk about missed opportunities in Endgame all the time. I think the biggest one was when Tony before he snapped, he should have said we are Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> he should have said it's it's more than <laughs> Why would you make such an imba okay, yeah, chat, maybe you're right. Maybe this is a troll. <laughs> like, yeah. No, he, he should have said it's ironing time. <laughs> Why would you say this? Or maybe Avengers Assemble, just e e something. Hammer. Oh, you know, he. You know what e would have made this better? Hammer. Yeah. Is is the hammer should have been picked up by everybody? Also, Thor should have uh, said, "Cap, you're really cool and awesome, and I look up to you." And Iron Man should have said, a "Gosh darn, making out. I just don't think we would have made it without you, Cap. You're the best of us." And then oh, the ancient one could have been like, "Doctor Strange isn't the best of us. It's Steve. Steve Rogers, right there. He's the best of us." If, <laughs> if we had more characters saying that Steve was really awesome, I think that would have really added to this film. Oh, yeah. When Yoda said there was another, he was really <laughs> referring to Captain <laughs> so America. Captain America. Was. To justify you know, him you, being... Bruce Banner, should have, Bruce Banner should have been all like, oh, you know, when I, get, when I become the Hulk, every part of me grows, except my <laughs> penis will never be as big as Steve Rogers. <laughs> 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 you want to see why they call me the Jolly Green Giant? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Someone in chat just said, like, a big pale for the Hulk. He just says, as a group, we all hug and just go, we smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And they, they misconstrue no. that and they're like, no, no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> and then I'll look like at Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> smash. Like, if she's into it, I'm into it. But... <laughs> you told only me I didn't have to have sex with anyone happens, to be though. in this movie. Not on camera. I can just picture, my like, it's like, it's like, oh my god. It's like Joss Whedon's son suggests it to him, and he's just like, "Oh man, that's an idea." Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you have you met Gal Gadot? <laughs> you know what? She We're gonna put that in the too. in the idea pile. I'm gonna look right through that at some point. <laughs> like, huh, that's, yeah. that's an interesting uh, idea, huh? Let's see. Hmm, maybe I'm I can put work it right that at the into bottom? the movie. Have him say something like, "We could do this all day," <laughs> or maybe Avengers <gasps> Assemble. Just something to justify him being there. Since there's nothing to justify him to justify being there, justify him being, being there. there. Yeah, <sighs> I am so harsh. Oh, it looks like he's Naruto running in this frame. <laughs> <laughs> Thing he does in this battle that any other adventure could also do just as well. Oh, uh, that's all the time, pretty much. Anything that's not related to leadership, yeah. Uh, most Avengers can do what he can do because he's not as strong as most of them. He's not as fast yeah. as most of them. He's not as agile as most of them. I don't know why I have to explain this. Thor, God, okay. He like he can like yeah. he can like summon lightning and shit. Cap can't do that. Well, uh -huh. Cap to an end game for a little bit. You know. you know, I also, remember, um, but if we're getting really sorry. literal, like normal people can't do what Cap can do, uh, and no, that no. goes for this scene too. I don't I don't know why we. Go ahead. What were we gonna say, Adam? Me. 
Awesome. Or, or me Go ahead. Somebody oh, no, uh, uh, that, was, that was me. Um, I just remember because um, there was a there was a there was a comic that came out in the 2004. I think it was called JLA Avengers, which was the I think today yes. the only canon crossover between the DC and Marvel universes. And uh, when they mm. were having their big fight scene towards the beginning, where like all the people were all the Avengers and Justice League people, they're all fighting. Um, who do they decide to pair up against each other? Um, Batman and Captain America. Yep. Because on both teams, even though Cap does technically have enhancements, he is still like the regular guy. And thus, they put him up against the Justice yeah, League regular guy. Well, and no, what just... happens? They don't fight. They match move for move. And they're like, okay, we're obviously evenly matched. We should talk. Yep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, there's... There's two awesome. crossovers. There's one where they, yeah, they say they uh, all talk it over, but there's another one where Cap actually wins. Um, hmm. I, I have it on my shelf over there. It's, it's a good Yeah, game. there's DC versus Marvel. JLA versus yeah. Avengers was uh, like technically the last one to come out, but it was done, or it came out many years later because it was rights issues. Great George Perez drew it, by the way. It's fucking fantastic if you haven't read it. And yeah, yeah there's been multiple crossovers. <laughs> If not better, maybe. Then Bruce says, we're on. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we are vengeance. <laughs> we are vengeance. This battle that any other adventure could also do just as well, if not better. Seriously, I don't understand how much that's a horrible idea that we can do this all day. <laughs> Why oh, would that? Yeah. Oh, we everyone in the audience would be like, oh, ew, that's the, the Ulumawati oh. line. Like, don't do that. It's the, we had this when Carter said I could do this all day. It's like, no, 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 no. Is he make, uh, like, no. yeah, it's, it's, he was thinking we are Groot. I mean, dude. <laughs> which, <laughs> we are Groot. Which wow. is, this is, what, this is what I mean, give it to anybody. It, it just works. I don't understand this with a lot of, because I'm not saying he's a writer. I don't know if he is. But like that approach with writing when writers are just like, Man, I like that thing you did, other writer. I'm gonna just put it in my thing. And it's like, do you know, do you know anything about the context for that? And you're like, I don't care. I want it. It's mine now. Oh. Uh, that's modern writing. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, yeah. it's tiring. Yeah. Uh, it like, is. like with Michael Waldron being like, I want evil Scarlet Witch. Because uh, a lot of people were telling me like, you do know Scarlet Witch goes evil in the comics, and I'm like. Yeah, but I'm assuming it's built up. It has, like, reasoning. It doesn't just go nuts. He literally has argued he just wanted it to be evil from the get-go. That's his logic. Yeah, why let another movie get to have the greatest villain, is what he said. Literally, pretty, uh... he picked up his Wanda what? toy and was like, she's not as fun as the evil Wanda toy. I'm, I'm using this one. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Regardless oh my of, yeah. god. Oh, I just saw this in the meme channel. Oh, and think, thinking about the connotation of Smash with this image as well. You guys didn't tell me this got posted. No. <laughs> the Stephen Hawking one. <laughs> I love this art style, it's so good. It's so good. Shit, I didn't tell. You know what's so good about this image is if uh, anybody Cap and Iron Man looking at each other, if anybody what's about to happen. Oh no! If anybody no. saw this, Stephen Hawking one, the like, Stephen Hawking no. one. If anybody saw this out of context, they'd be like, "What the fuck were they talking about?" Nothing <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. sacred. No, no, it's not. Okay, so what was he talking about? What's happening? Maybe. Since they skipped over the Hulk learning to become a team player, they could have a scene of Cap being the one to figure out how to make the Hulk. They skipped over the Hulk learning to be a team player. No, 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 no. You missed the. You missed the point. Hulk at this point is so rage filled and fucking ready to go. He doesn't really mind who he's punching. However, the people he's hanging out with are like, "You mind punching the fucking aliens?" Which, by the way, is really fun in the context of this war because we want to win it. Civil War <laughs> tells you. Could you have aimed those punches a little bit better? Did you have to destroy buildings when you were doing it? Because that's the thing. The Hulk is a rage monster. He's just running around destroying shit. Right. So there's accountability after this because, yeah, the Hulk is a dangerous, basically, nuke that you were trying to aim properly. Ties into a lot of different stuff. Trying to suggest that the Hulk skipped an arc where he decided to work with them instead of against them. You've once again forgotten the reason he's so willing to attack everybody on the helicarrier is a fucking Mind Stone. He's going nuts. Even yep. picks up the and fucking scepter. 
and let's remember a little film that came out before this. I think it was the same year as Iron Man. It was called The Incredible Hulk. And I think there was a line in that where he went, um, what was it? Oh, I don't think I can control him, but I can direct him or point him in the right direction or something like that. So I don't they remember kind of, that was, film. Uh, Nobody does. I, Sorry. Yeah, but I do because I'm a nerd. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the, they establish you point him in the right direction. He will smash what you want him to smash. Like, this is not new. Hulk finally cooperate. There are countless possibilities, but no. Instead, we get scenes like this, where Cap and Thor fight side by side. Only Cap gets wrecked, and Thor makes it look easy. Thor is a god. But what are we about to see here? We need. To, I need to know what we are about to see and what you're about to say. Well, do you want to do? Why don't you? Why don't you tell us what we're seeing first, and then we'll see what he says about it. So what we're seeing here is that Thor. A god respects Captain America, a man, so much that he's going to lend him his hand to get him back on his feet. How endearing is that? Well, okay, but Very did awesome. you see the part where Cap got shot and he went down? Meanwhile, Thor, like, he can get shot and he's fine. I saw the part where Cap got hit, and we're about to see the part where he gets back up. Isn't that one of the, one of the most endearing sort of lessons about what it means to be a hero? That when you get knocked down, you get back up again? We'll be I've always hated that about Cap. I prefer it when he just never has any problems. I, I like it when, well, yeah. I mean, how how many times have we? You know, I've never seen in any other Captain America story him getting knocked down and then getting back up, and I've never seen him do that and then say the line, "We can do this all day." I've never we seen are, we can do that. this. <laughs> Thor's like, what, what's what's what of my life? We, we are Thor. Is that? Am I doing it right? Uh, <laughs> we are. We are Thor. Yeah. Thor just yeah, turns around and says, "I am Iron Man." No, like, no, that's the other one. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, what, is, guys, what is our uh, what is our dear chap about to say about what, what we're about see. to see? Thor has to check in on him like he's a child and. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Imagine checking up on a friend Baby. like you would check up on a child. Who's just been shot with an alien gun? What do you mean? Like... Fucking hell. Oh my Fuck god. Get off, jeez. Likewise has to ignore what? him when he gets defensive. Everything's- He has to ignore him when he gets defensive? <laughs> what? Only Cap gets wrecked and Thor makes it look easy. <laughs> Thor has to check in on him like he's a child, and likewise has to ignore him oh, when he gets uh, defensive. Uh, what? Wait, he's, he's okay, he's how's he get the fence? All right, hang on. Could you show us the, the, shot. the context? Hey, wait, wait, I'm, like... I'm grabbing us the context. I don't believe this man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is the context you know what this, here. This is really missing. It's missing Hulk saying, yes, Hulk will smash for you. It's horrible. Oh, that's time. right. Oral. He's thinking about how much of a virgin he is right now. Gosh, yeah, he just yeah. got laid before this <laughs> battle. Like that's <laughs> literally the panel he got up was just Hulk saying Hulk yes Hulk will smash to you to cap for you to Captain America so, and he's just like yeah we're missing that arc directly from the script which is what happens in the movie in slow mo uh -oh. Cap and Thor catch their respective hammer and shield Cap and Thor turn and fight off Chitauri warriors Cap is shot in the ribs drops to the ground Thor sends a car rolling towards some of them and throws Mjolnir the other way he helps Cap to his feet Thor says are you ready for another bout and Steve says what are you getting sleepy. Oh wow! How is that so, defensive? So he's like a child. So he's interpreted that as Cap being like, "Shut up! I know I suck, but you suck too." And then Thor was like, "Wow, you're a very bitter old man." I'm, I'm gonna. When that's you. actually when, that's actually the I can do this all day. Yes, that's yeah, like I can that's do this all day. Right. So. Yeah, basically, yeah, it's him telling Thor, and plus Thor is asking if you're ready for another bout. That means like, are you ready to do right. even more? Like you're not done. Like you, you're gonna, right. you're, you're gonna keep fighting, right? Like, this is. This is a primary example of what we call text and subtext. Text, interpreted literally, you come away with what this guy thinks. Subtext, Thor isn't saying, are you ready for another bout? Thor is saying, you've just been shot with an alien weapon, maybe you should sit out. And Cap's response is, you getting sleepy? When what that actually means is, yeah, I can do this. That means he needs a nappy. He's like, I'm, I'm tired. Like a child. <laughs> it's an old man. Let's maybe he added your red, white, movie. and blue blankie. Oh Maybe man! You said something different in the movie. You, you read the script. It's, it could be different. I get uh, oh. everybody on Twitter pulls the media literacy card on me. They're like, Mola has no idea how to read into anything," and I'm just like, "This is why I don't like pulling it on other people." But like, how can I not interpret this as this man doesn't know how to 
you know. Under well, that's the way you should things. interpret it. Yeah. Don't say it's funny you say that because I just found this thread. Let the hate on flow Twitter. through you. Let it make you stronger. Wait, what's the thread? What's, what's, the, what's the thread? Like, yeah. So it's just uh, so so someone um, posted uh, like EFAP posting their L's and just posted the thumbnail to the nice. um, Doctor Strange one, and this is like a series of this is like a reply. Someone asking what is a what is a genuine criticism you have for Mauler, and then some people had some responses. Got besides it being long, what isn't which isn't a criticism? What's the problem? He sucks and doesn't make real criticism. All right, fair enough. He mentions a lot of instances of plot armor, plot holes, dumb character decisions have drastic effects on the plot. Are those not real criticisms? Yeah, they're not. Okay. So, what are real criticisms? I'm not going to go into what's being told. It's just more or less. Oh, art there it pure is. Escapism. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell me what you what? mean? I'm do, not going to do that. Do you mean deflection? <laughs> it's this. It's like this Twitter <laughs> refusal to just just ex just basic explanation of what you're saying or what you mean. They just you never have time for it. They actually have time to bitch and bitch and what I'm saying. Like, there's logic. No, I'm not going to do that. Behind my comment. Thought, surely it's got to get inconvenient, you know, not having a spine when in your day to day life. Like, you're just flippy flopping all over the place when you're trying to grab things. Like, how how mm -hmm. do you how do you do it? I don't know. It's amazing. Well, apparently he had time to bitch all all there, but he, I guess he just didn't. Ugh. I have the time to Man. say a lot of bitchy things, but none of them are going to have substance. All right, that's you. That you have to pay for that part. <laughs> When they someone asks me to shit. explain what I mean, I will refuse and instead go do something else. Everything special mm -hmm. about you came out of a bottle. What is special about Captain America in this movie? He oh fuck! Yeah, I can help you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fucking. He's a smart guy. He's a leader. This, this dominating all the scenes in which he requires that skill. He's someone who cares immensely about innocent yeah. lives being protected. He has a moral brave, backbone. He'll principle. go against institutions mm -hmm. that he thinks are giving him wonky orders. He's uh, he's assertive. Cool, He'll man, jump man. into fight. He's super courageous. And we get all of this from this movie, not even including his movie. I mean, when you add that yeah. on, you got a full fucking profile. But he gets out punched by the Hulk, though, so none oh, of that matters. Shit. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit! Well, now that you bring so that up, mean. yeah. Well, he little up. He never brings powers up in this whole video. Oh man, I remember that never, part of the script, yeah. He never mentions. Yeah. <laughs> Time well, to win like battle. <laughs> Come on, virgin boy. Time to win the battle. Special about Captain America in this movie. He isn't powerful, he isn't smart, he can barely win any of his fights, oh and he gets continually disrespected by both his peers and the general public. Well, so this is the part of the video where it's like... How did they disrespect him? They respect him by doing exactly what he says. Why are you cutting that out? Oh, dude, that's how you get him. Right, when someone's like, <laughs> just an idea. really fucking with Why you. Why are you saying that he's stupid because he doesn't know what the reverse polarity and like everything is? That's your clip of him being stupid. He doesn't know technology. That this is guy well, does not think very highly of him. Oh, come on, Fring, to be fair, Fring, all of us here knew exactly what reversing the polarity was, so it's kind of embarrassing, I will say. Well, you just take the polarity and you reverse it. Yeah, you, I mean, yeah. you put it the other <laughs> way. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Turn the battery around. <laughs> you bump him the fuck out of it. We yep. all have internet routers, okay? You unplug it yeah. and plug it back in. Exactly. That's it. I'm very much a bottle of tachyons. He says Captain America isn't smart, whereas obviously ignoring all the parts in the film where it establishes him doing really smart things, like, you know, ordering the guys of how to, you know, uh, handle this battle and stuff. Uh, cherry picking is very real. Very Every sure. time I call is that even cherry picking? Because cherry picking is usually when... Does cherry picking require a lack of content? Because I was going to say, like, all of his examples are just not even fair. Like, the, the um, misrepresentations. Yeah, totally. Yeah, there's false <sighs> equivalences, there's uh, confirmation bias massively, like, this is just everywhere. Oh yeah, he had the um, idea before he looked through the film again. Yeah. He never says disrespect cowardly. Did by both his come peers. Come You're right, he hasn't got any reference for him being cowardly, cowardly, but he doesn't use it yeah. as uh, courageous as a positive. Yeah, good good shout. Why. Yeah, because that's an obvious, even with his retarded fucking assessment, you'd have to admit that he's courageous. Of I course. mean, he saw he showed scenes of him being courageous on multiple occasions. So just, if we just would not recognize it, we just don't mention it. It'll be fine. <laughs> People will understand that I am right. And the general public, I am very much a fan of classic Marvel comics, and I am very much a fan of Captain Why America did you say it as like a that? character.
Because he's saying more than oh, this wait. shit. He's he's bitter. He's bitter. Well, so I I think that's I mean in, to be, be maybe, fair, I'm pretty yeah. sure he's modern just referring Marvel to the fact that suck. yeah I think he's just saying that modern Marvel sucks in the comics as well as the, he probably means the movies too. Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but he, I think he's talking about modern comics suck. Character. This character represents what it means to be a true leader. What he lacks in power, he makes up for in resolve and endurance. Man, I really wish they portrayed that but in Avengers, like you know? Oh, yeah. like, like, gee, he didn't just, he didn't get shot in the film and then just get up and get ready to keep fighting. There was no endurance shown in Avengers at all. Yeah, and that other yeah. bit where he was blown up by a grenade and flown out of a fucking building and he got straight back up. I hated that part. Also, He's don't use this frame from the Civil War comic to fucking illustrate how noble he is. <laughs> Wait, the the uh, the one, one where he's saying, "I'm uh, no, 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 no." The one where he says, "I'm not going to go down to some pampered punk like you." And that's like the end of his fight with Iron Man. And then I think immediately after, you see that they've done this. What the man has stealed an entire block, basically. Oh. Um, <laughs> you you hate to see it when they man of steel a city. <laughs> you you yeah. hate to see it. what it means to be a true leader. What he lacks in power, he makes up for in resolve and endurance. He's supposed to be the hero that keeps fighting when others go down. I'm seriously baffled at how you, he did that. You played the scene where he did that. I don't. <laughs> I know. He, he he's did supposed it all to be the, the hero that pulls strength out of others. He led them. Mm hmm. Even the strength they didn't know they had. He should be smart and mature, only fighting when he needs to, not arguing like a child when someone says something rude. Well, well literally, literally mind mind enchanted. Is right yeah. there. Well, yeah, but right there. Cap should be immune to any kind of magic. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's my I cap, okay? Isn't... He's immune and to magic. He should hold me and stroke my hair and tell me I've been a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then him and Thor make out. That's what he wants. Him, make out. him and Thor make out. That would be the film I want to see. If all the other Avengers are arguing yeah. amongst themselves, he should stand out as a voice of reason. Yeah, he should be immune to the right. Mind Stone. That's all this is. Unless he doesn't realize the Mind Stone <laughs> is a thing, which I think is more likely. Probably. If he's yeah. in over his head, he should still be cool and collected. He should know how to delegate. He his leadership is, is a weapon he uses just as effectively as his shield. You mean like he does? Yeah, like I when agree. he ordered yeah, all yeah, of the agree. Avengers and helped them uh, keep the Chitauri uh, cordon to a smaller part of the city and saved many lives. Oh, uh, but, but Iron Man ordered him to do that, so therefore that doesn't count at all. We've yeah, so really, all of, of the... All of the specific directions that Steve gave the team were really Tony's, because Tony told him yeah. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He's a super soldier. A fight with an average man should very much be an easy task. He's not fighting average <laughs> men. He's fighting <laughs> aliens. Like, if he's talking about this, the part of the helicarrier, do you remember the situation he's in? He's not just having one-on-one -on -one fights in, an, in like a clear, balanced crowd for him. Oh, but he just got trapped in a bad angle. Where he... <laughs> that you play what the fuck? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, okay, yes, he did. I... Can yeah, there? He did. What, what is Could he you replay that? I was distracted by the <laughs> yellow monkey meme. It's as if um, you have Josh Whedon is like writing it, and he's like, "Hmm, how do I make it so that Cap is gonna have trouble with average soldiers? Considering he should probably fucking dominate them. What if I put him in an environment where he is at a weakness? He's a, he's ranged. He's got no cover, and he's got to take care of this lever so that he can save Iron Man's life. And then they come in through. They have cover. They have the advantage. Like maybe I can make that work. And then this guy's like, "Wow, you made it so that he's losing." <laughs> or you couldn't get close without getting shot. Well, then don't write it that way. Oh, no. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> don't write it that way. <laughs> don't you ever write him where he's in Probably a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Born in 1919, huge racist. <laughs> oh, my God, no. You Can't take a bullet. <laughs> Can't even get respect from cops. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome can fly. We'll kill civilians, base. <laughs> <laughs> Literal god, giant dong. This is so true. I uh, yeah. I feel like this just sums it up, you know. Does he have a a video on like Captain America from Endgame? Like we've got arguments there, especially the end. Oh, I'm sure he thinks of he's him great acting in out of character. I'm sure he thinks he's amazing because he said. Uh, he, remember, he said a... he said Avengers no, Assemble, which is pretty much like saying oh, we can do I this mean, all day. <laughs> What was really great was when he aptly said, get the stones as far away from here as possible, but then Smart Hulk said, no, nah, we gotta get them across the battlefield behind enemy lines to get them back where they came from. And for some reason, Steve foolishly decided that was a good idea. Yeah. To be fair, it, that was all of them decide that's a good idea for some reason. Dude, like, 
it is it is worth emphasizing again get the stones behind enemy lines to get them back in time right now instead of just giving them to doctor strange and portaling to a different planet trapped in a bad angle where you couldn't get close without getting shot well then don't write it that way why do you what? think he wrote it that, that way, way. It's yeah. a Don't challenge. A scenario where my hero could fail. Oh <laughs> my god, do Jesus Don't Christ. create a scenario I... where my hero can struggle. He definitely yeah. wouldn't like our trolling would problem. Be bad, would he? I don't understand, <laughs> like, why, why does he like any of these films? All of the heroes struggle. Why would you write it that way? Why can't they just automatically win everything? Boo. Yeah, what? but this... Captain America. Dude, no, he no, must have guy, hated Infinity War. Games, doesn't he? he must have been What's like, when... What's melting my brain about that is that... By that statement, he is acknowledging that that situation justifies the fact that Captain America struggled in that scene, yeah. where he uses that scene yeah. as the criticism that he shouldn't yeah. struggle against thing, and then he justifies that, and then says, "By he doesn't give a reason at all why right. that's like criticism, he, thinking that well, it's still standing." Surely this, this highlights the actual problem. He doesn't like that Joss Whedon wrote Cap to struggle. That's it. He That's doesn't it. like that he put him in a scenario where he had to struggle when, like Shad said, he criticized Cap for even struggling in the first place in that scene. Exactly, exactly. One. And it's then by the saying that, he's acknowledging that that scene is logically set up to justify Captain America exactly. struggling, undermining his own criticism. Exactly, yeah. So, so this is another one. video by this guy. Why force healing works in The Mandalorian, oh, but God. fails in episode nine. That, oh, that's no. interesting. That's It's only a three and a half minute video. It's only 3.5 minutes. Are you suggesting <laughs> you want me to put that on after this? Is that what you're doing? Well, oh it's it, it, it's only it's only three minutes. It's only three minutes, minutes, which means it would take us four hours to get through it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we can, if we do it quick. It just, so three hours. Just, remember that the word video exists. On this just podcast. keep it in your back pocket for later <laughs> if you need it. That's if you all want a hero I'm to be inspiring saying. or even just likable, don't make him struggle at performing an easy task. It's not a you oh, just said no. you Do you fucking understand? hell, dude. Do you understand? <laughs> what is what with easy what, means? What's with the cursed Joss Whedon PNG, by the way? <laughs> like what is that? It's just like garbled deep fried Joss Whedon in the corner. <laughs> Just because you can't think of anything better for Oh him my to god, do. you're right. I oh, noticed the you background. Can't, oh oh my god. Get you it away! Anymore what than happened than in the background there? Why are there all those weird artifacts? Because he tried He's to. He's in the main. He probably he tried to selected magic... by color. Control he X. Tried to, he tried yeah. to magic erase the background, but it the computer wasn't. It uh, didn't select everything. Yeah. yeah. And if you can't what think you of anything is, better yeah, for him to do, nothing. then you're the wrong person for this job. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Joss. I'm way better than you I are. Just fucking idiot. I, I, you, I, have I hero, kind of, you have your hero. You have your hero struggle. Together. I don't want to see no, Joss no, Whedon's live play. reaction to this video. It'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Hey, Joss, come on, EFAP. Yeah, do it. We'll talk Unironically, soon. please. We can talk <laughs> yeah, about the Avengers very... or fucking anything. We can talk about Nevers. Oh, dude, I talked to him about Age of Ultron instantly. I'd be like, "Hey, so that movie, huh? <laughs> Tell mm. me about it." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he mm. already knows. <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's very easy to distinguish right. his strength when compared to someone like Hawkeye or Black Widow. That's how it should be." But none of that is in this film. Yeah, they just they show him. Are like you going to come oh, up yeah, hang on, hang on. jumping up and kicking yeah. Loki? No, do we see like Hawkeye or Black Widow get knocked out of a building, crashing on a car, or getting shot and just brushing it off like a tank? We uh, don't. Hawkeye but... but... crashes through a window. But the writers the wisely story. didn't write them in that position. So true. Yeah. Consider. Consider. <sighs> Is is he going to cut this off? He is. He cut it off before. Of course Captain he America did. That's like before Thor Dude, hit him a, with a hammer. And he there's a reason it. he keeps the showing this shot in particular. It's. He's. I think he's trying to like imply to the audience that Cap is submitting to Loki. But that's he not what this is. Gets up and says not today, and then kicks him in the oh, face, the which implies tomorrow. What a cut. <laughs> what a yeah. Joss Whedon <laughs> hates Captain America. <laughs> It should be, but none of that is in this film. Instead, we get to see him outwitted, overpowered, sad, and scared. Oh, he's Why sad. Did you oh, he's sad. Oh, sad. Oh, really he's, sad. he's actually critical of the fact that he experiences sadness over a war. <laughs> what, what a, what what a, what a pussy. <laughs> when Captain Cockmerica throws his mic, he inspire confidence. He inspires pity. 
He is not cool and collected. He looks lost and helpless. You inspire pity. Lost and helpless. And he shows the clip of him ordering the... We should be shocked by how much he does with so little. Not shocked by how Uh, easy it is. Is he actually punching Hulk? Like, is that what's happening there? That probably isn't going to end up. Yeah, to be honest with you, I would struggle with believing Cap punching Hulk and it doing anything. I'd be like, uh, all right. In the com in the comics, he would. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. Um, I got the one of the ultimate comics where he like kicks him right in the nuts. Um, oh, that would from memory. Yeah, I feel that like that break uh, your foot. I think it just pisses Hulk off more. But um, he, he fights Thanos toe to toe in Infinity War. I mean, like that. He's tough. That endurance is like um, wa- you know one of his superpowers. Like he's fucking tough. Like he does not back down. He does go for a little uh, bit against Thanos. I'll yeah. give you that. Yeah. But he does get yeah, knocked the it. fuck out by him. Uh, he, no, he'll take on shit where he, he should. But no, uh, I I like that. Yeah. I just mean I wouldn't want I wouldn't want him to win. I guess because it'd be like, oh, that probably shouldn't have happened. Like uh, uh, when it comes to just... someone like Hulk or Thanos. Yeah, but he gets a couple of hits in, even in the comic books. But yes, he does. I, I don't, yeah, I don't remember him ever winning against the Hulk ever. Right, right, yeah. Is to beat him. He's not a wise leader. He's a helpless child. He's not the last one standing. Uh, I, I don't know. What a dick. This guy has very high standards for Peter. <laughs> this child. No, like, very, seriously. Essentially, I'm, How could you say that after watching the film in, in any I'm level of honesty? Loser. Help me <laughs> understand your perspective. Show me your He's brain. He's the first one down. He A lot of these issues. He's the first one That's down. True. I'm pretty he's sure not that down. scene happens after Hawkeye gets taken out of the fight, though. And he's not down. He gets back up. Because <laughs> remember, Hulk gets taken out of the fight too for a while. So he he was he he wasn't the first one down. He definitely wasn't. He and he gets got back, back up. up. I don't know what the fuck. She's but he went down in the child. first place. That was the mistake. He's already done. He got knocked down. And then he shows a clip of him after he got knocked down and gets back up. <laughs> Yeah, they ain't never gonna keep him down. Oh wait, is he saying Civil War did it right or some shit? He's a helpless child. He's not the last man standing. He's the first one down. A lot of these issues that I talked about were ironed out in later films. Oh, it was ironed out. So to speak. It wasn't a continuation of something that was already present. You see, Civil War fixed Cap. He was broken. (laughs) (laughs) When you see it. Wait, are we talking about this or...? (laughs) <laughs> what, what are we? The meme? The meme. There's two memes in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's good because of how subtle it is. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that they needed to do was with all the names at the top, you should put with, yeah, with, yeah. with yeah. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> and it's like Stephen Hawking as himself. <laughs> 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 we could call him Hot Wheels, they, I guess. Either that, or they put him in the Captain America outfit. <laughs> it's just clearly too big, but he wears it anyway. <laughs> oh man, okay. that's great. So hang on, I think I think we need to just quickly do a speed run of all our ideas for Stephen Hawking's superhero name. I went with Hot Wheels. Wheels. Mm-hmm. Hot, Wheels. Hot Wheels. Robot voice. Um. Hawk Wheels. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, mm, the maybe um, the brain, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. brain, Skyhawk. <laughs> He's reading chat. <laughs> does, does he fly? Like, what? I hope he, so. I, I assume think, he uh, just he looks totally like that, but he just has random gadgets that pop out of his wheelchair. Oh, yeah, um, Hawking Bad, <laughs> Captain Cripple. <laughs> <laughs> he chooses well, that name, and they're all like, "You, you want to, you want us to? That's what you want us to call you." That he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like Daredevil. I'm gonna own my disability. <laughs> I'm reading ones in chat. The disabled. Ooh, the, that's Stephen Hawking. Ca- we had uh, strong <laughs> Iron Side. <laughs> 
We had Crip Daddy on uh, FNT last night, and like right towards the end, uh, Gundam asks him if he masturbates, and we get in this whole thing of how Hawking, Stephen Hawking, was able to get off with you know all his mistresses and how much that guy got laid. Uh, it was a dark him. conversation. I was yeah. Say. Oh, we got one, guys. We got one. General relativity. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so what's the chair devil? I also like suboptimal <laughs> prime. Suboptimal <laughs> prime. <laughs> <laughs> the broken avenger <laughs> oh no uh, captain chromosomes oh <laughs> devil wins. he would have appreciated this by the way oh he would yeah <laughs> oh. oh man oh. there's so many in here oh my god oh talking <sighs> bad the steel wheel <laughs> <laughs> The Autobot. Chair Force. All right. Bloods and Crips. <laughs> the, Silent <laughs> the Silent Avenger. <laughs> the Rolling Avenger. <laughs> Professor Vegetable. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. We need to. But that auto doesn't tune. justify the mess okay. that started it all. <laughs> you can't oh, call him fish nope. to talk, guys. Oh, that, that's good. Ending. Man of first... wheel. Man. <laughs> all right. This one down. A lot of these issues that I talked about were ironed out in later films. Was there that blood on that shield? Enough. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Was there? there? Hold on. These issues that I. I need oh, to know. Oh oh oh. oh. We need to see if there was blood on the shield. He's not the last man standing. He's the first one down. Oh. <gasps> Oh wow! Whoa! Oh. So Cap's kind oh. of a murderer. He's a kind of a bad person. Yeah, he really. must be a bad person. There's blood on that it. shield. What a horrible yeah. man! I can't believe he'd do that. A lot of these issues that I talked them. about. Do you see? That's what I'm talking about, by the way, with the media literacy thing. The crowd for that against people like us, when they were like, "You don't understand that Walker was evil because that's what the show is telling you by having blood on his shield." Like they so, treat. No, do, trying to do they would they reverse they engineer it if you understand like like we we see the blood on the shield and we're like oh my god how overt do you want to be that's absurd like we get your point while they're like wow you didn't understand the blood on the shield represents that the shield has been tarnished with the you're just like no i i know i and i don't think it's very good yeah you see that's the thing but like so i just i'm amazed because like it's so overt on the nose it's almost embarrassing and they think they've spotted something the average person doesn't or something in terms of how you translate ideas through visu visuals it's just like wow you know what george think lucas highly was right yourself. when he said that <laughs> george lucas was right when he said uh, most critics are uh, like um cinematically illiterate i uh, i agree <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. ironed out in later films but that doesn't justify the mess that started it all Aww. With all that said, I hope I've made. Imagine my referring to Avengers no, as yeah, a mess. Right <laughs> Wait, he wraps it up with "I hope I made my point clear." Does he really say that? <laughs> no, you raise many questions out in later yeah. films, <laughs> but that doesn't justify the mess that started it all. With all well, that said, I hope I've made my point clear enough for everyone. Thing, Joss Whedon hates Captain America. Oh wait, I suppose Joss Whedon also directed Age of Ultron, but that whole movie sucks. So, it'd be kind of redundant just to single out the Captain America scenes. I'll probably have to do a full breakdown of that one later on. Oh, no. God. <laughs> no. So, first oh, of all, I'm I good. don't know that you have the capacity to do so. But secondly, Joss Whedon doesn't fucking like Age of Ultron. There's a reason. Nobody likes Age Tony of Ultron. Tony Hawking. <laughs> Tony Hawking. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was pretty convincing, <laughs> wouldn't you say? I feel like, I feel like yeah. all of you are thinking now, like, oh shit, we were wrong. Oh my god, the mm, punish totally share. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a stretch. <laughs> that, was a super, that was a super chat that shared, I thought, a good one. Handy Captain America. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Black I want to go, uh, go peek really quickly. You know? It's one of those things you All don't right. have to do. do it you, up. Guys, uh, you, you guys yeah. talk about something. I have to go sleep.
because I'm yeah. dying over here. <laughs> Fair, enough. Must be nice. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. And uh, you're uh, welcome. Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you next Thanks time. Thanks for the song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. You're the best. Thank yeah, amazing. thank you for having me on. No nope, problem. Collapse. Bye. Toodles. Bye. 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 I'm oh, gonna go too. Why you before oh, okay. you pee? Oh, okay. Hey, uh, yeah. see you in what hours? Uh, <laughs> hours, uh, like ten or twelve hours, something, something like, like that. that. See you too, Shad. Yeah, got mm -hmm. white man. Yeah, talk about House of the D. House of the D. <laughs> House of the D. Dude, hey, your chat is gonna be filled with people saying like, "How is Muller awake?" And that's if I am. I will warn you, there is a slim chance I might conk out so hard that I might not make it, okay? I, but that's not intentional. I will put alarms on. I know. I know. Sure. I won't take it personal. I won't take it that personal. No, it's fine. Uh, if you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. But guys, it's uh, been lots of fun. Had a blast. Well, thank uh, you so much for doing that. Congratulations on 200. Yeah. Uh, later. Later, EFAP later, chat. Later. Take it easy. So Bye-bye. All right. So someone in chat posted a valid point, which is uh, Stephen <laughs> Hawkins' nemesis would be John Walker. <laughs> John Walker, yeah. I wonder what like they're going to the do Like the drink, right? Given where they've set him, I guess they're making that Thunderbolts movie that he'll probably be in. But I'm curious what uh what trajectory they're going to send him on. Maybe that video is a troll. End. I nah, I don't think so. I don't know. I think, I well, he's got a she. Stuff, he's yeah. got a She-Hulk video that She-Hulk is a new low for Marvel. Oh, well, I mean, he, well, didn't he say that he doesn't like the new? I mean, he may well hold that perspective. I feel like there's yeah. no multiverse of madness is like pretty remarkable in how flawed it is. So, oh yeah, I'm not terrible. sure that there's any low below that. Like that's a film that just it just breaks in every possible way. Yeah, I don't know what you would even cite in that film, like from a writing standpoint, that's even worth commending. Like, except for one line of dialogue every now and then, by every now and then being like separated by thirty or forty minutes of material. I mean, I, I thought it was so cool. much I mean, it was stupid. I thought it was cool the whole like, uh, you know, when he's like puppeting his own corpse and he's got the souls, and I mean, it, none of that was set up, and it was just like completely ridiculous. But well, wow, neat visual. I mean, he how did he get it? He didn't have a sling ring, that Doctor Strange. There was no sling ring. Oh, does he? Oh, that's a point, yeah. yeah. You're going in for the visual sitch? You're like, I know. Listen, I mean, when it's when it's wait, listen, listen. When it's that movie, you have to go. It's as totally low ridiculous. As that's yeah. all they give you is the visuals. Like, that that's, is there's nothing more. That is a visual that they wanted, and they didn't care how they got it because I don't even. Like, does this logic make sense? Dreamwalking into another alive, sentient, and conscious being is not as bad as dreamwalking into a dead, empty being. Yeah. No, no, not at all. It's better when you have a victim. Like, what kind of, what kind of logic is that? And also, I thought magic didn't work in that, like, sorcerers were forbidden. They couldn't get any closer, but they're casting spells and shit in the castle. Maybe they are using witchcraft and not sorcery. Right, so through a legal technicality, it is it though, is allowed. I thought that witchcraft was like something that was an innate trait of these beings, whereas um, whereas sorcery was something anybody could learn. Right? Is that how I thought we had this conversation, didn't we? I don't know what the rules are in the Marvel universe, though. To be fair, oh, I don't Imagine think they know whatever they want it to be. No, I, I, I don't rules? think. They know I think um, I think that if you were to ask any writer who's written for the magic stuff, what are the rules of magic that you wouldn't even get an answer, like a real answer. I don't think anybody knows what's going on anymore. I I wouldn't be surprised if people couldn't even tell you what year their story is set. Like after finding out that the Hawkeye writers had a continuity error where like they didn't even know how many years their story was set after Endgame. Like that just blows my mind. How can you write stories in this universe when you don't even know where they take place? Because they like, know well, nobody cares. Everyone's just watching the visuals anyway. I guess so. the thing is, is that people, I wonder how it seems like the sentiment is turning. Like, it seems like more and more how long it takes for people to recognize the current MCU thing as bad has, like, diminished. It used to be maybe a year, now, it's, and then it was six months, and then with Doctor Strange, it was only a month and a half, maybe, before people turned on that film. And Thor, like, everybody was against Thor when it came out. Maybe a day or two for some people. Well, I mean, what I was the last good, like, Marvel property? 
Uh, the, well, so I would say that the last good one, probably Matt, fucking hell. Um, cause I don't know if I would call Infinity War a good, I like Infinity War a lot. Uh, yeah. But Infinity it's War's got, got a lot, a lot of, of problems. Yeah, but it's got, it's, but oh. it's good though. If we're, are we talking I, about on the upper scale? Like, so we're talking like six and up. If we're talking uh, six and up, I actually think the last one that you could probably say was a six and up would be home. Cause no way home is like usually slots into five just because of all of the plot problems. Yeah, yeah, we have to we have to pay a heavy price to get our payoffs. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, because I, I mean, I probably say like the last one that I would say is like good or above would be Homecoming, probably. Um, let me look not up. the last one I liked because I like Ragnarok Homecoming? and I like Infinity War and I. I yeah, probably. Um, because you think about what comes after that, Ragnarok has got plot problems for sure. Um, Homecoming, and then yeah. you got Black Panther's got a lot of problems. Then Infinity War, for as much Infinity as I War. like, it's got problems. Ant Man, Ant -Man and, the and, and the Wasp. <laughs> I can't even fucking remember that movie. Quantum. That's all you need to know about that Quantum. film. Quantum. Yeah, but then it gets a Quantum out of ten. Uh, yeah, Captain like Marvel. Definitely not, not very good. In not game, very good at all. Endgame, not. pretty bad. Uh, Far From Home has Far got home. problems. It's got good elements, but it's got yeah, a lot of problems. I really too. like that movie, but it does have issues. So well, yeah, yeah it's probably... Because I was thinking, yeah, it's Spider-Man Homecoming. And right before that was Guardians 2, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I think... um, Because Phase 3 was pretty exciting for a while there. And then it all... Because now we're at the point... What was it? One of the She-Hulk writers said, Oh, yeah, everybody's just kind of moved on from the blip. It's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Everybody's just moved on from the that's worst thing that's ever happened in the history yeah. of your universe. Yeah. That's phase Half three. So one, two, three, four, five. Like for the first five movies. I mean, yeah, Civil War was good. Doctor Strange was Doctor I mean Strange it wasn't good. Problems, but it had it a good it had a good protagonist. I liked him quite a bit, you know. Guardians, Guardians is really two, cool. Yeah. Homecoming's good. Homecoming. Ragnarok. I I'll take it. Absolutely I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And then it was just like, <laughs> kind of well, it, it definitely seems like um, what we thought was the lowest you could go. It just keeps getting that bond just keeps lowering. It's pretty remarkable. Um, because I mean, look at this phase. How many films could you actually say? Like, what 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 is the um the standard rule? Like, Far From Home, not Far From Home. No Way Home is like in a five territory, and everything else, the best yeah, you it's get. Been is no Way Home like five. Yeah. Like a yeah. three out of ten. That's insane. Here we got phase four. We started out with Black Widow. Amazing. And we have Sean <laughs> T. Incredible. Eternals. Yeah. No Way Home. Just like, uh, where? What, what are you doing here? No Way Home. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> what are you like, doing? Out of place. There's, they have Multiverse of Madness and Love and Thunder. The old one-two punch there. And uh, Wakanda Forever is up next. And, I mean... That's that's kind of the thing. It seems like people now have the general view that Phase Four has not been very good. That seems to be common. Built. Um, maybe not like super duper common to the point that every single person I mean, holds that perspective, but like I, it's pretty common. Except for yeah, I mean, Spider Man No Way Home is the best one, and you're giving it a five. Like it is the best. Like one. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's this is not this is. Well, really it's like in the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> But it's a five in the sense that it has really good five. stuff and really bad stuff. It's right. not just it like middling. It's not middling throughout. It just has super good peaks and super low valleys. It has it's bipolar as fuck. What what mm. it has that none of the other films have is that it has strong character work, except for Doctor Strange. Mm. But like everything else, <laughs> it has the same plot problems where nothing really makes sense at all mechanically. Um, but then yeah. the other films have the problem of who are the characters that we're endeared to, yeah. who are the characters that are really strong. <laughs> who are they? And especially when phase four has got to be the phase where you need to have new characters take on the role that the characters you don't have access to anymore filled. You don't have Iron Man anymore. You probably don't have Cap anymore. Thor's basically destroyed anyway. Um, and I guess Hulk as well. Like, I don't know what we're doing with him. Uh, Black Widow was doing pretty well up until Endgame. Like, she had... It was, and then yeah. you retroactively post hoc screwed it all up. And yeah, when the characters died, yeah, you don't departure. expect them to, As she was... to be assassinated from beyond the grave. Yeah, because this pretty, isn't even the same way as Tony was. Like, you know, they, they keep shitting on Tony post death. That's not the same thing. They literally told a story between films about Black Widow that fucks everything up about her arc. 
Well, yeah, because with 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 Tony, it's like it's 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 his grave. It's defecating on his grave <laughs> as opposed to now, where she got pulled out to just be like rake through the coals. Someone it's pulled out remarkable. of that. You oh. had her. You, like, you nailed and then her. She was yeah. And then you ruined As her. She like, leaving, As she was heading out the door, they just, it just all came back. It all caught up to her. You have to yeah. pay the piper. This is the MCU. And, <laughs> and so, this so is the they came as they pulled out of Nat. <laughs> so, um... There's this. There's something that people wanted us to check out back in the day. Oh boy! We, we covered the first uh -oh. half of it, you might say, back in the day, and everyone was like, "You're mm. gonna cover the second one, right?" And then we were like, "Nah, mm. nah." And I thought, well, I'm gonna chop up a couple oh, clips of things, <laughs> put into some stuff, oh, and I was like, I "Oh, maybe I can chop this up. I can chop this up, and we'll get some stuff, and we'll throw it in." And I, I think we got a good selection here. You guys have seen that Star Wars films, haven't you? The ones with the uh, I, I saw yeah, a couple Revenge of, of the Empire, uh, right, the right. Jedi Strikes Back, the, uh, the yeah. Phantom that was of a good one. Attack Luke, of right? the Menace. That's the one with the teddy bears, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was the the, the, the end one. So yeah, the, badass. A, a new Jar Jar. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Are you talking about the one with space wizards that were made for children? The, the ones yeah. that were made for like that one, yeah. yeah, yeah. I the got you. That one where they trek across wizards. the stars. I remember them. Well, bring it up. Let's see it. Let, well, so, so there was this little thing they put out about a character. Mm. It was one of those really boring characters. Oh, oh, by Wan Kenobi. I think it was Obadiah. Like that. It was one of the mm -hmm. lamer ones, and and they were like, let's make a TV show. And turns out it was great. It was pretty awesome. There was this new we character did, called Reva. Oh, it was so oh awesome. I, love, I love the arc that she went on. Oh, yeah, dude. Oof. She learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. Oh, so valuable. Um, But, like, I felt like Kenobi just kept getting in the way. Identity you know? theft. So annoying. Like, they had to have Kenobi in the show. He was like, oh, fans. Fans like him. It's like, no, we don't. But whatever. So he was in it. And, you know, a lot of us here, actually, as well, have done little reviews of it, you know, talking about how great it is. There was another channel that did a review, and they kind of implied it was pretty great. And we covered mm -hmm. uh, their first set of reviews on it. They did episodes one through, I want to say, four? Maybe five? I can't remember, but... Mm -hmm. they, they, they had a little bit of a, an extra video on it, and, you know, we'll, um, we're going to check out the rest of the stuff they said. Now, I might need to... I, we, we, we were fine last time in terms of getting hit with any kind of copyright. I was always worried that that might not be the case. So I might still put up... Um, a protection -y thing for it. Just in case. Do it. Give, put the condom on. Hot. Put the, co put the Is copyright condom on. Is there red in this on. user's letter? You could say that. No. Hmm. How dare you. What's the rat? What's the matter section? Huh? Hmm? I never put on my own. How dare you. Anyway. What? What's that? Dun dun. Well, we're back, everybody. No. We've got some eight episodes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> how dare you attack these cultural icons and heroes? It's funny What's you say that. Why? Um, everybody who like disagreed with them on their Kenobi take that was just in our spheres and stuff. Other people were like, "Wow, you turn on them the second you disagree with them." And it's like, why? Well, I disagreed with him the second no, I disagreed with him. Disagree with him, with him but yeah, yeah. Like, nothing... Yeah, you can disagree with that. Like, you have like, no hey, loyalty. Someone. And then I was thinking, like, Terrible. wait, wouldn't you just criticize the reverse if I did the reverse? He's like, wow, you can't disagree with your heroes, can you? And you're like, yeah. yeah. I got kind of baffled by it. Blue I liquor. always have, to, I feel like I have to do this caveat for some reason. It's like, I like Red Letter Media, and I'm still watching them after having heard the opinions that are shared in this fucking video. Uh, no, 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 no. Once a YouTuber gives an opinion you don't like, you have to unsubscribe and never watch them ever again. Yeah. Well, what is, well, what's the opinion on the movie? Um, what, are they re what are they reviewing? Well, to give you an idea, in the, in the first half, they said that Obi-Wan Kenobi, like, and they're talking about, like, throughout Star Wars is a boring character. Right. Which was interesting. Um, Old Ben? It's it's just it's just not the kind of take you'd expect from big Star Wars fans. You'd be like, oh, you didn't like Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> okay. Oh, strange. How very strange. Well, I mean, everyone in the prequels didn't was do boring, much. So, hey, they well. I mean, what what do you really do? Not kind of nothing. If you all right, fine. You know what? what? Oh my. I mean, he just saw that he like died and stuff, but. 
right? in the prequels. <laughs> That's a, no, oh, the oh, oh, the prequels. Yeah, I'm talking about the original. Oh, he's even cooler in that one. Do they do they like him in the prequels? I don't. These guys no, they, don't like him in the prequels. the prequels. These guys hated the fucking. This prequels. is why. Yeah, exactly. Stitch may be the only one that'll try and go to Fans Force for these guys, but he's gonna struggle. Well, I haven't seen Obi Wan <laughs> to the TV show, so I can't really. Defend Ooh, him. Yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Kenobi either, obviously, because everyone well, said it was garbage. I listened to you guys. I was like, why do I, I waste my time with this? <laughs> You like may be surprised to find out, Sish, that their most controversial opinions aren't even about Kenobi in this video. They're oh, about okay. Return of the Jedi. What are... Ooh, oh. Really? Mm. Oh. Interesting. Is this Ben is in to... Return oh. of the Jedi? Or, I mean, he's like a, a space ghost, right? Yeah, he... <laughs> Yes, space go. <laughs> yes, he comes back as a talk show host, and he, <laughs> he's like a he's like a blue hologram, right? He he talks a little bit and stuff. Yeah. So, What's he say? Like use the force? Probably. I don't remember. Nobody right. Does. Okay. Um, the other tell tell little teddy bears to use the force. Is he in uh, Empire Strikes Back? Who Obi Wan? Really? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, he he, doesn't. He, he sh no, he he's dead on, by uh, then. He doesn't show up. Oh, you're he right. Yeah, he's up, dead. Yeah. He, he is. Change. He dies in the first one, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The fourth one, rather. Sorry, I don't want to mix people up. Eight episodes of the Obi Wan Kenobi show. So I said, let's film four and then four more. But it turns out there's only six. By the time you get to the the sixth episode, I was actually enjoying it more than I had the previous episodes because I was like, what? hey, it actually feels uh, like it's going uh, oh. somewhere. I wonder um, what my brain, my brain, my brain. It's he going. Just totally, <laughs> he just gave you the big this. fuck you right there. I mean, the. <sighs> well, that's that's one way to uh, approach assessments, whether or not stuff There's is happening. Blood coming out my nose going and somewhere. ears. I was liking it because it was going somewhere. So with the train to Auschwitz, just because you're going somewhere doesn't mean it's a good thing. Oh, 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 she went there. I mean, oh boy, there's a lot of movies that don't go anywhere. So that's usually bad in a in a movie or a TV show. I so. wish most of the new MCU things never went anywhere. The problem with a lot of those movies is that they go everywhere so much all the time. Hang on, hang on. I, 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 now going I need somewhere to know. bad is better than not going anywhere, though. What's the definition of going somewhere? Is this like a, a film <laughs> depicting them changing location or it's, going yeah, somewhere? It's literal, Shad. The, the fact pressing. that they move from room to room. Like, <laughs> I, I, like so, the plot moving forward. Yes, that's, that's what I would think he means. Yeah, the goal, the, the, the story. It, yes, you know. there's yeah, Board there's some like conflict. a waiting for Godot kind of um, uh, trying to overcome film where it's basically a just two characters talking. Well, here's the problem: things do move forward in episode one, two, three, four. Um, what is what is the, going somewhere? Yeah. They're very they're what is clearly the challenge? going. Somewhere. Where's where are things going? Let us know for people who haven't watched this. All right, series. so episode one is what you could call the call to adventure, I guess. He's told okay. while being a hermit on Tatooine that Leia is kidnapped and he's the one that's got to get her. And the episode mostly shows you what he's been up to this whole time, then the call to adventure, and then him, him accepting it. And the episode ends with him getting onto a transport to go get it. Episode two. Okay. He uh, infiltrates where she's kept, captures, uh, breaks her out of there. And the episode ends with him relying on someone he barely trusts to, to get out of there, and he narrowly escapes a uh, Sith Inquisitor trying to get him. Episode 3... Is this he's... all before episode 4? The movie? Episode 3 is before episode 4, yeah. Okay. The t but the, this is a TV show, Kenobi, we're talking about, right? Okay. When I say episodes, I'm referring to the TV show episodes. Right, no, I, un I understand that, but the whole series takes place getting late at night. Episode the whole series the movie, takes correct. place between Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, and Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Yes. Okay, gotcha. So it's pre. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just look. I'm just trying to get it straight. Keep going. <laughs> right. I got you. No, I, I can you. hear. It means you care. No. I can hear. Look, I want to know. I remember Star Wars. It's I don't. About I never nine seen this years TV before series. A New Hope. No, no I, look, Adam, I'm offended you I even very, asked. I'm not sure we can be I friends was, anymore. Yeah. I was very, <laughs> I was, look, I saw the prequels. I was very upset. I don't, I like tried to block it out of my memory. So, so I don't, I don't necessarily, no, I just, did, uh, I vaguely remember the third prequel. It was like the, the lava planet one, right? So that's a creation of, uh, Vader. Yeah. So, okay. So this takes place after that. Yeah. Well. Okay. 
I was just going to say, episode Continue. three, they, they're escaping across this new planet they're on, and Vader personally lands and comes after Kenobi, and they have a big fight. Obi-Wan wow. narrowly escapes, and Leia is captured. Episode four. Uh, he's got a... That is episode four, right? you got to break her out of the stupid Inquisitor base? Or is that five? No, episode... hold on here. You're supposed to know this stuff. Yep, yeah, no, episode four is when uh, they, they're in... Yeah, yeah, because he breaks her out of the base because then they get chased to that other base. Yeah, there's there's lots of... They infiltrate a base to break out Leia in episode four, and Wade dies. Not Wade. Oh, yeah. Wade! Oh, Wade. Wade. Oh, that, God. Was, that was rough, man, when Wade uh, died. I was going to say, that was a weird delayed oh, reaction from all of yeah, you. I thought he was, like, your favorite character. <laughs> that, yeah, he was. That's why there was a delayed reaction. It's like it took, my like, heart like, had to catch dealing up. with yeah, my heart it took break. a second. Yeah, I was just sort of, Wade. like, dumbstruck when he brought up his name. I just didn't know what to... I guess I'm oh. sorry for bringing that up. Actually, that's tender. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I, I, you. You need to put a trigger warning whenever you bring up Wade's death. We get to back, and then, well, yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the four episodes they were talking about where nothing happened. Although it's not going anywhere, I guess. Ouch. But this is what Listen. I mean. Like, I think it's bad, but I wouldn't have said it's not going anywhere. He's supposed to get Leia back, and that's over those four episodes. He is. So. Technically, a lot of stuff happened. It was just all crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I guess to Jay, just seeing Obi-Wan and Vader fight each other. We got this in episode three. They fought, and then neither of them died. You With know? their chunky lightsabers. My overall opinion hasn't really changed much. I still like it. Other uh, than the other than the Mandalorian season one, painful. this is the most I've liked Star Wars in the last thirty five years. It's so depressing. Really, it's so fucking Man, depressing. Listen, yeah, yeah. Kenobi's the worst of the shows, and it, I don't even think it's close. Amazing. Listen, listen, the expectations for Star Wars are so low that they're like battered, you nice. know, spouses. Yeah. Okay, they're just like, yeah, please, I'm, anything. It's like unironically, the prequels are just better than Kenobi. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's a bold claim. That would be it's tough like, for I these guys to admit, even if they believe the prequels are better than a lot of things. Let's be honest. I'm gonna have to watch Kenobi now. I know. Put yeah, that dark to the dark. 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 Save yourself. Jeez. It's so bad. Wait, Shad, yeah, do you, what do you like think is better, the prequels or the sequels? Well, prequels, totally. What do you think yeah. about that, Sitch? That is correct. <laughs> oh, why are you asking? <laughs> I said the prequels yeah, are better Sitch. now because of the the meme quality. I said that you've asked me this question. Okay. Like no, no, yeah, times, no, fair, fair really enough. Fair enough. Same Chad, you, which one do you think is better from a storytelling quality? Quit beating him. I know. It's just prequels. Cool. So, Sorry, Sitch, I'm going I'm going to make you fight the sword, He's man. Dead right? already, it's happening. Okay. <laughs> the prequels and the sequels are both dog shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's great. That's not what, yeah, so what's that's the, not what okay, I asked you though. Hey, Shad, which one is better from a storytelling standpoint, the prequels or the sequels? Prequels. Bitch, from same a question. storytelling, storytelling perspective, um, let's well, see. are you basically kind of on cheating because the, or like conflict? Well, it's kind of cheating because the third what? sequel is like completely Sorry, just that? incoherent. That's not cheating. So. Answer the question. <laughs> 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 so I think I think that averages out just the prequels on that alone. Was you saying the prequels are better you? storytelling? Oh uh, yeah, sure. There Andrew, we go, huh? chat. We got him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, Adam and Sitch, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? It's the first time I'm in a, in a stream with Sitch and Adam, and I don't even get into a heated debate. Well, no, no maybe, Chad, right. you won the debate. <laughs> you nailed well, it. Won. It's not really winning a debate if, if you ask me a question and I agree with you. Hey, 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 Sitch, Sitch, don't, yes. don't, don't rob this from me. What's, oh, what? I'm so sorry. No, no, Chad. Oh, my God. What's the argument? Chad, you're fine. Chad, 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 Chad. Let me How tell you, you are fine. Sitch is already on record as having said that the the storytelling the prequels and sequels was either just as bad or the sequel the prequels lost out that, that opinion has changed now so i'm very satisfied is that true did i say you did that? it shad you did it shad no no that just makes me respect you guys more you know you're able to there you go the storytelling yeah, is like you're able to uh, you are, turn from your evil shad. ways and repent what is what do you think is the most important aspect of storytelling oh no Consistency, obviously. <laughs> obviously, obviously, consistency. Obviously, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. <laughs> obviously, that's, okay, a, good, that's yeah. a really good answer. That's that's never right. I'm answer. glad to hear that. When, when yeah, there's a, a lot of when thought, the, I can tell. <laughs> when the character changes at the end of the story, I fucking hate that. Oh my god! <laughs> so is this, no, is this, so is, inconsistent. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the fabled argument? You, you spent. 
Is you this the fable argument the, we've you been spent hearing the about? The entire movie building up a character, <laughs> and then they change in the very end of the movie. I'm curious. It's and that's, wait, wait, wait. and do you think do you think that that you is know, indicative of remember, inconsistency? Yes, it is. Remember when? You remember reckon? when Han Solo came back to help his friends? I do. Oh my god! Yes. I'm so, I'm, wait, was, wait, wait, wait. I just so want to know before, he was a scoundrel all wait, the way before we the stop, movie. I just want to know, Sitch, do you agree with him? And be honest. Wait, no, don't be honest. What are you talking about? We talked about this, Sitch. Don't be honest. What are you, what are you don't be honest. <laughs> don't be honest. You said the quiet part loud. I need to put on a cup of tea or something. Come it's on, take a while. We, are, we're allowed to troll you guys. Come on, That's you guys true. just made us watch a whole troll video. This is a no okay? trolling zone. That was not a troll that was video. Not a troll video. <laughs> no, we just I wish it on a troll video. You can't prove yeah, it. Yeah, I don't believe it. This yeah. is like the Dark Temple. You're I need a signed affidavit from the video maker. <laughs> <laughs> We were told. What we were told by people that you had you had an argument you wanted to give. Was it just a troll? I'm sad now. What do you uh, mean? Probably. Oh. No, we're, oh. we're, I keep telling I keep telling people to tell you false arguments to rile you up. What about the real ones? Wow. You would do that to us? I would. I mean, not to you, Fringy, but to Mahler, I would. <laughs> 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 Come on, hey, we be love offended Fringy. on my on behalf, Fringy. <laughs> well, I, look, all right. I'm just. I want to. I want to use the advantage I have of being. Respected a little bit more to just have this conversation. Whoa! And wow! Forward. Wow! I, I didn't say what? that. I, what the <laughs> I just literally just did. We all heard Wait a minute. Who just say said it, that? That's oh not my God. perspective. That's not my what? opinion. Somebody just did a You're really good friggy it, impression. Like apparently, true. then. <laughs> no, I'm not using it as though it's true. Like as written into the fabric of reality. I'm saying this is a perspective that seems to be being espoused, and I'm just trying to leverage it. By to you. You're, say, you're saying you believe oh, it to you're be true. You're leveraging it. You're using it. Yeah. No, I'm leveraging it for the time being before we can dispel it. So, Listen, uh, Fringy's just being oh, very right. consistent. And right. Right. Exactly. And tuberte. Hey, look, all right. <laughs> Wouldn't it be et tu fringe or something? <laughs> fringe. <laughs> fringe. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, that's so good. I like it. Um. Well, okay. Do, so do, what, do, what do we do? You like character arcs, right, Adam? That's what you like. What? Look at this. <laughs> Someone's trying to. What is this? <laughs> Do you like character arcs? I fucking hate yeah. character arcs. Usually in my Fuck usually in character. movies, yeah, I'm not down with characters changing because of the movie. I mean, they really should. <laughs> to be consistent, they should stay the same. I can't. Throughout I can't the tell entire when you're memeing movie. or not. <laughs> I think, I think I'm, he's I'm memeing. Being serious. I'm being I serious. Think it's serious. serious. He's saying he's serious, but I think him saying he's serious is also a meme. Carrot, he's doing a carrot, bit. Look, I'm telling you, I'm looking consistency at. is king. I don't want, <laughs> yeah. I don't want, I don't want characters that learn from their experience in the movie. Okay, I want, I want characters that. Why stay do you think it's inconsistent consistent. for a character to change over time? It's do you know? Change, of uh, yes. Of Did you know that if really a car, change rags? Okay, look, that's a myth. You understand that yeah, if like a car is. is going down the road at sixty miles an hour, it's not accelerating, right? Han Solo is a scoundrel, okay? <laughs> I don't want the scoundrel with a heart of gold, for heaven's sake. First of all, Rags. Oh, you must okay. have hated The Force Awakens. Of Unless course you have I the little, did. Yeah, yeah, everybody does that. <laughs> you're constantly slightly accelerating and deaccelerating, okay? Because you're not holding your foot perfectly at 60 when you're driving. Your car. You're first oh, well, actually, you're then evolving on a spherical Earth, which means you're changing I your vector, so control. technically you are accelerating. Fuck off. That's right. Yeah, but I mean, apparently you don't understand thing. reversing polarity, so. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you reverse the polarity of the poloscovator inside of the technical manifold device, then inside of the and car, it is which is oh, next that's to a the good catalytic point. converter. Yeah, that's dude. a good point, yeah. Rodinger's yeah. meme. I do, Mahler, I am fascinated by your, your objective way of looking at movies, so. I think it's that's the I nicest that's... thing anyone's ever said to him. <laughs> well, no, I think I think it is it is like totally amazing, and I completely agree that there should be an internal logic and an internal consistency within. But it's movies, not the most obviously. important thing about story. I just though. the whole thing is. I mean, I th I've thought about this a lot more since the last time we talked about it, and I don't also, believe you. No, I, no, I, have. I, I, I believe you. Adam. Well, wow. I, I don't think I came this. up with the character arc thing. Of course, I thought <laughs> exactly. That. That's a new the, argument. Uh, you could have came up with that on the spot. It sounded like you came just, up with that on the I spot. I wonder. I don't know. Do you, 
do you wonder do you wonder if the way the reason that they can get away with all of these inconsistencies in movies like uh you know the multiverse of madness or whatever it is is because just audiences are dumber like they can't really catch all of these inconsistencies because you know they're not really paying attention um i think it's i mean if we're all, excited all yeah. about if we can all concede that there are higher class lower class or higher quality low quality foods and yet the populace like oh. George on McDonald's. Yes, exactly. Maybe there's a lot we can conclude there in, in an allegorical sense, you know. Totally. Um, yes, it mm -hmm. is. It's a McDonald. It is the fast food of movies these days. They're just looking at the pictures, right? They're not really following the story. Yeah, and I don't actually. Yeah, there's there's people. So this is the the big thing. I've, I've offended some people from my new video because of the. I make a comment about window lickers enjoying. Um, Multiverse of Madness. Maybe I didn't do a good enough job of explaining. You, what, you offended the window, window lickers? lickers? The window looking I, crowd? I might Come not on. have been clear enough on what I was talking about. It's, <laughs> I don't mind. I that, like, it's totally fine for people. Model. I'm offended. It's totally fine for people to enjoy this stuff as well as enjoying McDonald's. You it's enjoy licking windows? I'm saying course, they make yeah. this stuff for the people to talk about how great it is when it absolutely well, yeah, is like, shite. And the only people that will do that. A dis like, like, no offense, but I think we, if someone's going to praise Multiverse of Madness for its incredible writing, something's wrong. Oh, it'd be, yeah. It'd yeah. be like, well, oh, let's absolutely. Let's do this way. I doubt Michael Waldron would be happy if you're like, yeah, it's shit, but I mean, I, I enjoyed it. Like, it was tasty shit, you know? Like, but it was shit. I well, doubt yeah, he'd be so, happy yeah. with that if you the, said yeah, that Of course, to it's him. like the McDonald's of movies. It made a lot of money. Exactly. Uh, if, if you caught... You know, uh, one thing I say there in the video is like I don't believe anybody when going through this movie in detail would praise its script. Now someone could be like, "Wow," and I'm just like, I "No, agree. seriously, I just don't." <laughs> like, I just, what do, yeah. if we went through, you know, all the like, they, I'm doing not you a be... favor by saying I don't think you would. That, that's kind of where I'm going with that. It, it, what the comment was, the comment was supposed to reflect the idea that it's made for people that I wish were in in, in the positions of uh, they watch Multiverse Madness and go, "Wow, what great cinema!" I, you know, Martin, I'm with you, man. These are just really shitty roller coasters. If you meant exactly what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna change his words. He dug his own grave with the statements. Okay, look, we've we've been over this a million times. I'm just saying that I didn't mean to say that anybody who enjoys Multiverse of Madness must be retarded or something. No, I, you can enjoy all kinds of things that aren't very good. I yeah, but that's probably this, true, though. Well, I enjoy plenty of things <laughs> that are really maybe, badly I, I written. I have a higher opinion of retards just, than it's, some of you, it's when you so. how you contextualize it, though. Like, if I said The Room was incredibly well written and I was citing my experiences with it, I would be like, oh, there's something wrong with me as to why I'm missing. Because that's not what I'm <laughs> saying. But I am, I am saying if people are going to start arguing that, then... Is something wrong? That's that's Which what I'm. an argument to? I really liked it. Exactly. You know? I'm fine with anybody. I can cite reasons to enjoy Multiverse of Madness. There's there's, there's plenty. Such as uh, cameos. <laughs> I like some of the shots. The cameos. You know, the I shots. like seeing. I like seeing the, Professor the paint, X. Look at him go. Universe. Impressive. Like see him get his head blown. <laughs> yeah, they they exactly. could enjoy some of the action set pieces. You know. Yeah. yeah there's explosions I, in there. It was a big tentacle monster. That was cool. Yeah. Very. My cool. perception. My perception of a lot of normie kind of just movie watchers and stuff is that, and this isn't to insult them, they don't have very high standards for what they will enjoy. Like if it's got, I, and I, I'm reflecting this on me because when I was younger, I didn't need much uh, for me to enjoy a film. If it had a cool action fight in it, I would enjoy it. Um, uh, and just with my, you know, growth, just maturing as well, but learning about writing is on top of that. Yeah, like now I, I and also when I experience something truly good, like, like exceptionally good, and the enjoyment and entertainment I get out of that versus a lot of the other films that I've watched, suddenly that kind of resets my standards, even on a subconscious level, and I want that quality again. And then I'm comparing it to, against something uh, as a standard, and it's revealing all the flaws in the other stuff I watched. But yeah, when I go back to when I was younger. If it just had some cool action fight scenes, I would think that's a great movie. I that was really fun, and I think a lot of people are in that mindset. But for the most people, even with that, it's the analogy like you don't need to be a master pianist to be able to tell if someone can't play the piano well. That they might not be able to pick out the exact reasons, you know, why, yeah. um, or, or even know the flaws of, say, Multiverse of Madness, right? But I don't think nearly anyone is ever going to say Multiverse of Madness, even normies are going to say that it's as good as Lord of the Rings or something truly exceptional. I think even on a subconscious level, most people 
have this perception of quality where it's like they know something that's truly good versus something that was just sludgy McDonald's, you know, um, mm -hmm. popcorn flick. You, you have to have a lot of other ancillary information though to to realize that there's logical inconsistencies in some of these marvel movies unless you're like super mm -hmm. paying attention well i i mean i i watched i'm about halfway through your your video on multiverse of badness mauler and i mm -hmm. mean some of the things you pick out i mean i don't know the marvel universe well enough to know that they're breaking some you know logical rule that's um that's totally fair. The only thing is that a lot of their payoffs and like drawing meaning from, they're basing that on your knowledge of previous events as well. Because what the yeah, writers do is huge they yeah. draw with, from what they want. They don't draw from what they have to draw from as a result of drawing right. from what they want. Um, so you're literally missing the payoff because you don't know the setup. Yeah, I, I would argue as much as you're correct that a lot of people will miss the inconsistencies because they're not familiar enough with all the content this is based on. They will also miss a lot of the points being made that are meaningful because they're not right. familiar enough yeah. with the payoffs. So it's something, something like a character arc. I mean, a lot of people can intuitively pick that up, even if, I mean, it's either there or it's not. They see that the character has changed or, or hasn't. Well, so. the, um, some of the reviews, because I, I did check out a lot of them. Some of the reviews were just saying outright, like, Doc Strange does not have an arc in this film. And um, right. I, I was a little bit baffled by it because I, I felt like they were fucking, they shotgun blasted into my face all these different things at once. So I was just like, what the fuck is <laughs> well, going on with this character? To set it up. I, yeah. I, I don't even mean in terms of overtness. I mean that they did, when you have a line like, are you happy, Steven? It's like, yeah. oh, what are we doing? What are we, what's, what's pretty over? Yeah, I'm never yeah. happy. But the thing is, I don't blame them for thinking there's no arc because you don't know what to connect that to in the film other than right at the end, Wong just goes, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. So yeah, you're like, what, what are we? It's, and then you compare that to. It's the, unearned. I don't think I put this in the video, but in the behind the scenes, uh, Michael Waldron talks about how maybe the next film will address the happy stuff. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, what, what are you, <laughs> that's bullshit. That's the that's main oh. point of your film. Maybe. Uh, yeah, and I did include the quote though where he said, Maybe what makes Doctor Strange happy is not being a hero, which is one of the most bizarre what fucking comments. I don't even. I know. Uh, I think one. I say in the video, like, what am I supposed to do with that? What, <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, it was yeah. weird because they kept trying to compare Steven to Wanda. Like, they're both characters who, yeah. you know, regret past life choices they made. And, you know, and then they compare Steve to, you know, alternate Steve. And I was like, why don't they just make, they should have just made evil Doctor Strange the bad guy if, like, that was what they were going for. Oh, like, yeah. He has to fight this alternate version of himself who, and then maybe this. You know, maybe this uh, Stephen Strange is becoming jaded, is becoming angry. Like that would have been so much more interesting well, if he actually, like, you could see him going on the path of the alternate, you know, Stephen Strange. But he never really gets for, there at all in this movie. That's, you're asking for a much more focused film than what we got. That's for sure. Well, I mean, I know, you know, I'm you're absolutely for, right. Like a movie, um, but <laughs> you could make it about like, you know, this Stephen has gone dark. He took over the. Maybe not the world, but, you know, why not? He could have taken over the world. He decided he took control of a lot of the major well, powers and said, I mean, I it could be just, like, what, in the script, you have, you know, the other Steven regrets his choices, and he's, you know, doing the Rick and Morty, going to alternate universes to hop in, and he's fucking everything up, because he's, you know, he's just selfish. And then you see this Steve, at, you know, he's at the wedding with Christine, and he's, like, going down this path. He's starting to wonder, like, why am I doing all this stuff? Some guy in the streets, you know, people in the street are, like, shitting on him for not saving enough people during you know, the Thanos fight, like... You could really build that up. Well, the point I was trying to make was that he, there's some level of an approach with evil strange where he's gone mad with power or taken things too far, right? So you have our right. character gets to compare himself. But, but exactly. so, even if you, you were to say like, yeah, we can't do that because we've got all this other stuff going on. It's like, well, you still have what they call sinister strange or whatever. He's still in this movie, so we can still do something with it, right? What are you doing? And Michael's like, I want to make him a person who will kill himself if he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> That is, that is, yeah, that's that is so pretty sinister. And, and you're just sort of that's like, so Michael, wrong. what are you, why did you write it that way? Why, why was, yeah. why? Give me your Christine. <laughs> Dude, that, that part, She'll love like, me if you give her to me. When, when you realize yeah. the big fight is literally over him trying to steal his girlfriend, you're like, what the fuck are we doing? Why is the, the whole I multiverse? I will shoot your school, Greg, I swear to God. <laughs> so lame, isn't it? <laughs> Someone in Chaz and I relate to it, that. It yeah, like, fair enough. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it 
If he had the dark hold, then why couldn't he just conjure up a Christine that loves him like Wanda? No, that's Hex powers that do that. The dark hold oh, just yeah. okay. all the dark hold can do is summon She's crazy monster constructs in other universes. Rags. Well, that's all oh, it can okay. do. Well, you can that's all summon, can summon a monster who loves you. That's what's important. It's not what's yeah. on the outside that counts. So, so um, wait. In the Steven that's in like the destroyed universe, is that his original universe? Is that the Steven original universe? Or is that yes. the universe he went to? Oh, it's just one of the universes he went to that are destroyed. It's not the original one now. Well, how would he? How is he going through universe to universe? He got knocked in there by Wanda, who mind control yeah, America sent him Chavez in there for some reason. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the evil Doctor Strange. Evil Doctor Strange destroyed his own universe because he dreamwalked too much. Except there's still oxygen on Earth. This I Earth thought, that's wait, coming apart and all the atoms are spreading. <laughs> Dream, like, wait, I, I thought it's dreamwalking wasn't the problem. Weather. I thought it was actually going into the universe. Dreamwalking also but, is part of it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. It reads yeah. as when you dreamwalk, you risk destroying the universe you're going to and your own. And yet, oh, meanwhile, okay. they didn't give a shit that Wanda was about to come by yeah, they dreamwalk. They overtly everything. say they just don't yeah. give a fuck they can handle her, which is so weird. Yes. Because they do not yeah. handle yeah. her, for anybody who doesn't well, know. Well, that's <laughs> no, right. They, they uh, they, they, one of them gets his head blown up with his own power, and the other one gets turned into spaghetti. Yep. To be fair, Fringy, they both get their heads blown up. <laughs> that's true. His head gets blown up after she disassembles him from his feet up, causing him excruciating pain for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. Of which he's mean, blown his head up. But Wanda has cover. the the Doctor Strange power problem where like one second she can do whatever the fuck she wants and the next second she's like, when, a door! I can't get past this door. I just want <laughs> yeah. to emphasize, when really Sue Storm is burying Reed, she's going to have to bury a bunch of spaghetti in a box. <laughs> That's what he gets. But just no, no, it needs to be spaghetti on a plate. They need but to hey, be at least plate there is a body to bury, unlike that guy who got disintegrated in Kamataj while he was screaming for his life. Yep. Yep. She'll be a oh, hero okay. again, and we're meant to just ignore all of these things. <laughs> Why not? They, of course. We're, we're not going to ignore them. Doctor Strange will say, you did the right thing in the end. She threw it's him off never in you all over again. She threw him off a cliff just because he was, like, yes, putting out how irrational she was. He did the right, th she did the right thing in the her. end. She did the right By thing in the end. By destroying the tool that Doctor Strange used to save the multiverse. Which is the yeah, right they thing. Just, they should have straight up murdered her. Was, she didn't Guys, deserve to have a redemption. The incel. Yeah, hunt. literally a dark hole. Yeah, I know. It's dark, like ridiculous. As in dark, destroy it. It's he's evil. coming back. It changes people. I can't believe that she's coming back. Oh, Wait, she's oh, not dead? Too she's too, so she's too popular. That character is too popular. To who? To a lot they of are, people. To, to window lickers. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> hey, I liked her before this. Yeah, so before well, before WandaVision, she was fine character. Yeah. Well, after but... WandaVision, that was when she got super duper popular. Um, for Why? She became totally evil and raped people's minds. She became very popular. <laughs> hey man, also, there's a lot of audience Marvel. members that like that shit. I don't know. Yeah, they okay. like mind rapists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's her thing now. It's a very specific fetish, but yeah, it's like, well. <laughs> so I'm only saying that because she's it. pretty. If she was an ugly man, they wouldn't have liked the mind rape, okay? If um if Captain Marvel I had intervened at any point during the spaghettification, Reed probably could have made a full recovery no, considering yeah, the nature of his power. Right. They watched yep. as their best friend got well, not their best friend, but you By know, one way, of their acquaintances got disintegrated into little spaghetti. You know, I saw um, a comment that said like I agree with mostly everything. There's a couple of bits you fucked up on, and I was just like, all right, what's what's what we got? And he was like. Keep asking why doesn't Wanda turn, uh, you know, Strange and Wong, for example, into spaghetti when she did it to Reed? But you clearly have missed. She can only turn him into spaghetti because he's stretchy to begin with. How does she? So <laughs> how does she shred him up? I think what they've missed. Yeah, I think they've missed the, the important point. I, I'm not, I don't really give a fuck if she actually turns them into spaghetti or not. It's the killing of him instantly is really well, the, the more... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to visualize that, if that's the case, what would it look like if she tried to do that same spell on a regular person? Yeah, what, It'd be <laughs> like a blender. Just <laughs> bleh! <laughs> it would Why be more effective, use the, really. the, Where she vaporizes the guy on the floor exactly. and the, the fortress. Just use that. That that, right. side, that looks like a pretty powerful ability. I'd, use, I'd be using that one more. Instead, she I'd decided I'm that going one. to cause much pain to this man who said that he has a wife and kids. And, I mean, and by, all, by all accounts, seems to be a hero from what little I understand about him. He's not, obviously, like, given what we know about the Illuminati, but still. 
Yeah, it's uh, the film. The I guess the are evil, real. man. They like killed their own Doctor Strange. Oh, they're very after evil, he yeah. the universe. And I remember well, wait, did, that Doctor Strange did kill like a universe of people, though. So that's he not, didn't know that he's not evil. He, he did that by accident. He had no idea. Yeah, it was but so impossible. he asked to die. I don't know. It's it's. I'm fine with that. What? Okay. Why are you, you fine with that? No. <laughs> he no, felt the overwhelming guilt. Wait, wait, wait. A guy felt the overwhelming guilt of literally killing countless like. That's lives not why he was killed. Didn't die because he felt guilty about it. Why did he want to? Why do you want to die? The potential of evil. They're explicit. Like, they killed him because okay, well, he might dreamwalk again and destroy a universe. They explicitly say that. Even they should have done it for guilt. Yeah. They should have done it for guilt. What are you talking about? You can feel guilty because you did something that you had absolutely no reason to believe was even possible or a thing. And be like, that's not a reason for you to be like, yeah, you guys better kill me. No, I'm saying he could be so, he could feel such guilt and such, like, he's but just so why depressed. Would they agree to this? What do you why mean? Why would they agree to do yeah, it? Yeah, why would him? they be like, yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> Instead of telling him he couldn't have possibly known. Because listen, sometimes, you know, you got to do a homie a solid. I don't know what you're talking about. You got to do a homie a solid. No, you suck him off. You don't fucking annihilate him with your magic powers. <laughs> I was about to say, the main issue is their logic. They don't even tell us why he agreed. Or, well, actually, no, wait. Wasn't, didn't, was his worry he's that a he cuck. would do it again? That he couldn't no, so, stop yeah, himself? Yeah, they think there's a chance it. he might use the, the dark hole to dreamwalk again and destroy a universe. Mm -hmm. When he explicitly tells them the second he found out he did damage... <laughs> He told them, and he felt immense guilt, and he swore off the dark hold. Oh, okay. Then yeah. there's like nothing I mean, I more that he could have possibly done. Yeah, and that's what I said in the video. I was like, "What? What exactly yeah. do you expect from this man? Was... He's done everything possible to rectify his. He's fucked. He didn't know that was going to happen, and it did. How do you undestroy a universe? Yeah, no, you're like, right. The reason he why they discover incursions, the reason why they know that that's a thing that can happen, is because it happened after he dream walked. They didn't know it was a thing before that. I mean, right. when you think about it, it's probably a damn good thing that someone like him discovered that's what happened because if somebody Wait, else discovered that might they might not have never learned that was even a thing or reported it to people that could potentially do something about it wait a minute i thought the danger was like if he dream walked into another unit or went into another universe he would bring the universe he's from crashing into the universe the other universe so shouldn't yeah, their universe what... be fucked up too he, uh, well, Reed, Reed said either true. it destroys them both or destroys one. That's what he said. I don't. Well, how would he so wait? But if it's only happened it's... once, well, how would he? How could he say that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I bring this up in the video. I said, how could he know it destroys your own universe? Has your universe been destroyed by okay, this before? Like that doesn't make any fucking sense. It's the, they do this throughout. Search. So they're like, uh, if you take America's power, she'll die. How Exa do you know yeah. that? Have you done that yeah, before? You know that? Right. And then it's right. like, if he I take knows. your power, I can it's control it. That card. How remember, do you know it's that? A one in, it's a one he just a has a feeling. Power. There is no oh. other person mm -hmm. who has that ability. She is the only person in the known multiverse yeah. who can travel. But apparently it's a power that can be extracted, and it's a power that you know will, if you do that, that it kills them. And you know that Maybe you can control Maybe she's just suicidal somehow. if she loses it's her not power. power the she's Jedi like, would tell you. take my power and I'll kill myself. You don't know. Why was her name America if she's from some weird what's, alternate oh, dimension? Coincidence. Didn't, probably mm -hmm. didn't even have America in it. Coincidence. What's, what's the big because deal with Because she's from America, a universe like... with an America-like country. Because Vespucci Amerigo still discovered... <laughs> he still discovered... The, he still... <laughs> that in all universes, Vespucci America, Amerigo still discovered... Well, that's it was, one, of the it was one of the things that we floated as an uh, alternate... You know, in these alternate universes, what if you did something that was even, like, not related to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Like, a universe where, I don't know, Spain went all the way up, like, the east coast of the United States... And so when they land in New York, it's not New York. It's like New Madrid or mm -hmm. something. And and because she can speak Spanish, she can be the guide through this universe while Doctor Strange, you know, is just not equipped to navigate it. Mm -hmm. But they all you did was flash through all of these interesting alternate universes. So we go and then to we ended up in the boring one. Universe, <laughs> yeah. universe and floating debris universe. And that's I it. really I really thought the movie was going to be like them going to like crazy alternate universes, no. one to chasing them, and but no, no it's like got, we're going to go to this got, one alternate universe. Well, so the problem with, is like, that you pretty thought, trees, and that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah. we thought that the Mandalorian would be a really cool show about an awesome bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know? Damn Little it. did we know it'd be about fucking babies. So wait, was. <laughs> How does this mesh with Lo with the Loki show? Is that the Loki show? How does this mesh with the water? So is the 
Wait, was the Loki show only alternate timelines, or is yeah, this just completely right on right. the entire? It's Michael Waldron. It's alternate timelines is what you can jump between in Loki. Uh, but this is universes. So you <laughs> That's can. Different. Even though you, you, you can only have one timeline, but you can have an infinite number. No, of No, you can have multiple universes. timelines. Well, you can have. Yeah, can there, there, are, there was only one, but now fair, there are people, infinite number. There are people, That's what I meant. There are people who defend this shit, who, as far as they're concerned, it's like baseline is timelines, and then in those timelines there are universes, and then in each of those universes there are dimensions, Even and then though... each of those dimensions there are <laughs> realms. Even okay. though Loki Whatever. explicitly said that the different timelines would lead to a multiversal war, multiverse, showing all of yeah. the disparate timelines clashing with each other. Yeah, the timelines and... are multiverses, that's it. That's it. Yeah, they just and, wrote um, it that. And they say, as a part of the defense, so something you have to accept if you want to believe this is that all of the sorcerers are retarded in Doctor Strange because all their, their dialogue in that film doesn't make any sense anymore. So you have to just agree that they're all idiots and they don't know how any of it works. Um, one of the comments I covered was like, oh yeah, the, the, uh, they don't even know about timelines in Doctor Strange. And it's like, did you see Endgame? She, Ancient One knows about it. <laughs> she's very familiar with yeah. it, in fact. <laughs> well, she's dead, and Doctor Strange didn't tell anyone about it, because, you know, he forgot. So. It's just it's like, the fact that Bruce is trying to explain to her why it is it that she explains to him how timelines will get fucked. And it's just like, yeah. oh yes, the sorcerers <laughs> don't know anything about it. Like, why, why can't you oh, just accept they fucked it? They fucked it. Yeah. They have no idea what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You're I just being nitpicky and biased. Okay. True. Doctor Strange 2 was very fantastic. Hey, we, we've got a job to do, okay? And that is to see Red Letter Media's bad Star Wars takes. That's right? true, yes. Yeah. Because oh. I've only got like 40 minutes left, yeah. so it'd be good to get some of this out of the way. Oh, also, hi, Evan. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, hi, by the way. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like I came in at the right time. What's the most important like element of media itself? I and mean, then Star Wars prequels versus sequels. It's like, all right, awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most important conversation. I don't know. It's like four in the morning. I feel like I should leave. Wow, sick. Yeah, really? Here, man. We have oh this show God. to do tomorrow. We have sick. to stream for 12 yeah. hours tomorrow. Okay? I, no, you we, don't. We, we, have to, we, we don't have to stream for 12 hours. We, we have to stream, stream for like... eight to 10 hours. Surely I'm, hours. I'm banking my Sitchin Adam points. We can do like three I've hours. Been provided by appearing on your show, right? I'm, 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 it's like, it's like yeah, we're trading yeah. hours. So. Really? Oh, oh, I see. For every hour you've been on our stream, we have to be on your stream for an equal time. Yes, you're enslaved, essentially. So you're fair. equivalent exchange to us? Mm-hmm. We okay, want listen, you to I'll come on our show and do, like, for the Fight Club right. video. So, I mean, when do we go, go over into UOS time? That's what I want to know. What um, is the Fight Club video? It's, it's a good question. Yeah. What? We want you I don't even know what the video is. You to come on, too, is a video. Frank, and, about how yeah. Edward Norton character is the fictional character and Brad Pitt character is the real character. Yeah. I, it's uh, Maggie Mae Fish made a crazy Fight Club video that's just insane. Well, see, okay, so yeah. you you disagree with her assessment is what you're saying. No, we, uh, we to we're we like to third We wave totally agree with her theory. feminist yeah, of perspective of the movie Fight I Club. I knew it. <laughs> Our gender <laughs> studies degrees are finally yes. coming uh, to use here. So excited. Well, I mean, yeah, just all you need to do is do that, go on that Twitter thing and then send me a message and be like, this is the date. Can you do it? And then if I say no, you move it. Well, we'll do it. We'll, yes. do it. we'll do it. We'll do it later. You have you've been me, very generous possibly. coming on our show a lot of times. And How about we'll just get free. We'll just ask for you. I saw um, you on. uploaded the, the Dasty conversation. All the covers are just mad at you, Adam. How do you feel? You know, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, to be fair, they mad at like, all of you, that's, actually. That's <laughs> a rag on our channel, okay? Like it's, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. That I want to see, I want to see the one on one though, the Destiny versus Mauler one on one. Which I, I mean, I was trying to facilitate that conversation, but it wasn't really happening. So, well, you see, Sargon had to talk about the monomyth, and Aiden had to talk about the legacy. You were talking about how we don't want to see our heroes drinking milk or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we don't want to see our heroes doing stupid shit. I mean, that's like solid, right? Milk, that's good that advice. Is it stupid drinking milk? Or is it just alien well, milk it, that you have If it's like alien the, titty milk, milk from drinking some, milk. like, crazy... Listen, okay? I don't know. This, this is... It we've we've had conversations about this before. hallucinate. Why are you drinking it? But this is why Destiny can, like, fucking dagger you in the back when you say stuff like that. Because look at, um, look at Unforgiven, right? Wait, mm -hmm. you probably haven't seen it. Have you seen Unforgiven? Destiny, Destiny straw mans all the time. Hey, so that's hey, funny. hey! Like, stay on focus, target, focus, all right? Stay on topic. <laughs> Stop seen, drinking milk. You've seen Unforgiven, Talk. correct or no? What? 
Unforgiven. Look at this poll. Cowboy movie. Unforgiven. Bang bang. Yeah. That's the one with uh, with uh, yeah the good, bad, and the ugly guy. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Good. Correct. Excellent. Yeah. Clint Eastwood. We're, we're, we're yes, forward. that's it. Yeah. So do you remember that film opens with him and pig shit falling over several times? Do you remember uh, this? I believe so, yeah. Sure. And yeah. yet it's regarded as one of the greatest westerns of all time. Well, yeah, because okay. he's like, you... there's a story there. Hi. Okay. okay. So, I'm, story I'm, I'm gonna, wait. Give me. Right. Give me one second. Sitch. It sounds like you don't know what hey. point I'm making. You guys seriously like not picking up. Well, I haven't seen The Unforgiven, so I don't even know what you're talking. What I'm about. saying is, you can contextualize. You're saying that he was looking. I understand. I, you're saying Clint Eastwood looked embarrassing in this movie in the beginning, and people liked it. This is this is why. Yeah, but this is the opportunities you gotta not give Destiny. When you just say in, in isolation, I can't see my hero drinking titty milk. It just, it sounds like he's just going to ignore it, because it's like, in context, it might work. There are examples where it could. You've got to, like, right. reframe it and get to the fundamentals before. And to be honest with you, you want to get every last reference out of Impossible. Seriously, I, I said this on the stream. When he provided you the, um, the assessment of uh, premonitions, he was done. Right. He told you the premonitions were, like, in stone, which was just false. That's not how they work. Yeah, at all. of course it was. That's why he said he was straw manning, because obviously but, that's not true. Well, what I'm, all I'm saying is, like, you just... He, he hung himself, and you just got to throw it all back, and uh, it's the best way to get. But him, I want you to do that. Mom, I tried. Like, <laughs> I, I know. No one would shut up. Like, 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 hey, we can monetize it in a different. We can monetize it. So the do conversation you know how this works? End, as soon as it gets close to resolution, you derail it because it's like we got good content for the next yeah, three. Yeah, exactly. Now I see. I know what's up. You got that content brain. You're very content yeah. brain. It's dead. Which would say, Listen, how does that make gotta, you feel? Did you know how much you guys care about the algorithm? To talk okay. about the pig shit. Is that the only reason you brought up the unforgiven? Well, so my, my point is just that the, that film, it, it's making a lot of points in regards to how that scene is textual. Do you I mean, like that film? I, I mean, I feel like that film's really overrated. It's one of my favorite I mean, films of all time. Oh, Wait, which won an Academy Award. Which film? Award. Un Unforgiven, he's saying, is overrated. Oh, that, that's a masterpiece. That's such a fucking good movie. It's one of the best okay. films ever made. I mean, <laughs> I don't, it's not a bad movie. I mean, I just, it's, I think. Yeah, it's, not only is it not it's a bad movie, it's horribly it's overrated. It's progress of a kind, won, I suppose. It won yes. best picture. I think it won best picture for. I don't care what it won. Against what? What was it up against? I don't, I don't remember, but I was like, geez. Oh, I wow. All right. Movie. Okay. Oh, well, look it up. It's not, not a big deal. I'm looking deal. it up I mean, on Leo Wikipedia. Tell what us. Did it win tell against? us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us. What were, yeah, what were the competitors? I mean, I feel like it was a giant year, too. It was like a lot of really good movies got made and Unforgiven. I was like, oh, no, It was okay. 1993, wasn't it? Ooh, it's about a so oh, it was no, 1992. Right. So it was Unforgiven, the Crying Game, Wash. A Few Good Men, Howard's End, and Sensible Woman. Those were the other ones. Oh, the Sensible Woman, damn. I mean, I've yeah. seen a couple of those. Unforgiven. Or was like caught in the hood, pussy stink. <laughs> did yeah. Crying Game? Did Crying Game beat it? No, because Crying Game won too. But I guess maybe it won like no, best Unforgiven won Best Picture. Maybe it won a different category. Mm -hmm. Overrated, um, huh? Yeah. Okay. Overrated. It's all right. Oh, I mean, unforgiven, you, overrated. Uh, listen, oof. hey, I'll listen, forgive you. Are you saying? Are you saying that the Academy Awards isn't like? Yes, is it's like the be all and end all of selecting you best movie of the year. Well, yeah. no, wait, I said it was up. overrated. I didn't bring. Wait, up you, wait sorry. Are you saying? I, that listen, Award? I'm using I'm using the Academy Awards as the exact reason why I think it is overrated because I don't. Well, you know, you, I, it's a good movie, but I, I don't think it's like best. But picture. you're saying one out over other films. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 To be fair, what, Adam, right? So I'd understand it if you had in stone like it never should have won Best Picture over, and then suggested a film. Do you really think it shouldn't have won over any of those examples? I don't really. Yeah, I don't think so. Which well, one, I mean, which, I, which one, I think one instead of it. all, all of those movies, of all of those movies, I would say are overrated. So. You think a few good I, men is I'm better than? But that doesn't matter. Wait, uh, what? Uh, you say it lost to the other movies. That's wait, a different so, point. If you if you're suggesting that none of them should have won Best Picture because they're all overrated, that one of them has to though. Yeah, one of them yeah. is the best. A few, theoretically, a few good, a few good men, I think, is better than yeah. You reckon? I like a few good men, but Unforgiven is fucking phenomenal. A few good men is better than yeah, Unforgiven. I would say, but all right, fair enough. I mean, it's. Right. I think a few good men is a little overrated too, though. So I mean, it's like. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's no, it's no uh, rubber. So yeah, it's no flubber. Well, no, I Adam. Mean, Adam, 
Yeah, you, you, rubber, you're rubber. Asking for rubber it now. Is... What is your, what is the best film of all time? Uh oh. According to your opinion, best film. Uh oh. I don't see. I don't know that I could pick like a best. Film <laughs> I don't look at the world in that way, Shad. I think it's, fair. I think it's totally <laughs> fair because I don't know what I mean. Maybe I like, I like, line. I like the on. movie Your Highness a lot. Is that, is that, <laughs> that like, that's a good one? How about the other guys? You guys like the movie? The other I like guys? the other guys. Yeah, that's I like that, movie. I like that movie quite I mean, a bit. That could be. My favorite yes. joke in that was when they said aim for the bushes and there were no bushes. Yeah, in the totally. Movie. It's the amazing. The armor ran out. Look, yeah. you, you got to love it. They stayed consistent, right? You look down, you see no bushes, and then they're dead. So <laughs> that's consistent. <laughs> it's consistent. That's Gravity, total consistency. No bushes. See? <laughs> you're like looking down as they're going, and you're like, I remember we had a, a big spiel when, um, when Will Ferrell's character explained very logically that uh, the lion going out of his way to eat the tuna gives the tutor yes. a taste of, of wine and they develop <laughs> apparatus made of kelp yes. to they go on the land and hunt the lions to extinction the tutor yeah exactly they don't have that in a in uh in any of the in a few good men they don't have scenes like that it's not even close that is true mm. <laughs> yeah the Unforgiven doesn't have the. They don't do a desk pop in The Unforgiven. I don't remember <laughs> once. Yeah, they just shoot yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah, which is. Yeah, they weird. have a there's, saloon pop. <laughs> there's no male bonding. Come on. There's no little river band in, in The Unforgiven. I think there's a lot of. I think there is male bonding in Unforgiven. I guess there is some, but it's, it's a little. I don't know. It's a little. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You kind of wonder. You're like, is this movie going to go full Breakback Mountain or. Breakback Mountain. Yeah, broke. Oh, broke back. Past mountain. tense. Yeah. Broke. Breakback yeah. Mountain. <laughs> Is it gonna go? You know, since she's got an approved answer, you'd go with Fight Club. You're allowed to have. It. All right, fine. Breakback Mountain is what Jake Gyllenhaal called, called it. Fight Club is good. The best yeah. movie of all time is The Rocketeer. Oh, I haven't seen The Rocketeer. Why don't we go through everybody's choices for best film of all time? What we got? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Right. We go right to left. So I mean, okay, sure. Oh, oh, god, um, god, like, uh, we're talking best or favorites, um, favorite, whatever you so want. You don't have to. Best is hard. I mean, yeah, to meditate on that for like a week. All right, fine, we'll go with favorite. <laughs> okay, favorite is easier. <laughs> so um, funny. oh, it's a, it's a toss up, like between Highlander and Terminator Two. It, it really is. Um, for Shawshank T2's Redemption great. also sometimes sneaks nice. in there depending on my mood. But yeah, there's there's a lot of good ones out there. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, that's fair enough. Shad, what about you? Well, it's a tough fight. It would be if it's favorite. It's a toss up, really, between A Knight's Tale and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Wow, A Knight's Tale scores wow. that high. Yeah. Yeah, man. I love really? it. Like, like yeah. it's actually like this is the thing. There are inaccuracies, medieval thing that people think I'd get hung up on, but in terms of just the sheer lighthearted joy and fun of the film, I love it. Fair enough. More like there's you... not a lot of like yeah. light, happy medieval movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're they're often, you know, usually, usually pretty miserable. I mean, Robin Hood. I guess the furry well, Disney one. That's pretty lighthearted. I, I rewatched Prince of Thieves just the other day. It was narrated Man, by a it's cock, just though, solidly so. good film. Uh, Rags will be. So this is favorite. Yeah. Uh, F Fellowship of the Ring. The safe choice. Wow. Okay. I would like to give an honorable wow. mention to the Rescuers Down Under, though. Mahler just calls you a fucking pussy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, fucking pussy say... is exactly what I get when I tell him that The Fellowship of the Ring is my favorite movie. Oh, well, that, gets, that makes the panties drop. Um, makes him drop you know like what? a ring in a river. One of my, <laughs> one of my all time favorite, I got to throw this out there as well. Uh, the first How to Train Your Dragon. I love that film. Oh, I recently yeah. watched that film and I thought it was pretty cool. It's, it's top tier. First yeah, How to Train Your Dragon. Loved it. Well, I, it's good. I think the first Kung Fu Panda is better. I think the first Kung Fu Panda is better. Kung Fu Panda is amazing. I I, I yeah, that's a good movie. I, I reckon there's deeper character work in uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, um, so the relationship, know. particularly the relationship between What's Hiccup he... and his dad. So I think I would agree. I think that um, what I would say about How to Train Your Dragon is if we talk about Hiccup and his relationship with his dad and Toothless, I think mm -hmm. that's pretty strong. I don't know how much I would pull from everybody else, though, in terms of character work. 
Whereas I think I could yeah. pull more from Tai Long or uh, Tai, yeah, and Tigris and um, and uh, Shifu, uh, Shifu as well. Oh, yeah, sorry. good point, good point. Well, my counter then to try and give one more point to how to train Dragon. I think the humor in it is uh, more sophisticated and therefore enjoyable because it doesn't rely on some. I mean, look, look humor in in Kung Fu Panda is great, but. Some of the humor, you know, in How to Train Dragon just works really well. And it's, you know, got some... I would say that uh, How to Train Your Dragon is more restrained in terms of the humor that it's it's not it's not trying as hard to be funny, which um, well, is that's kind what, of... Well, that's why it works for me, I think. Right. I, no, I, I, I think it's something that works in the film's favor. I, I like the tone it's going for, where it's trying to take itself a little bit more seriously. But of course, I think Kung Fu Panda is thematically very strong, even if it's a really straightforward <laughs> message. I think it's a strong one. I mean, just that line in How to Train Dragon. Look, it's not what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside that he can't stand about you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for saying yeah. so, yeah, so that. Oh, it's great. I right. Dragon has a great soundtrack, though. When oh, the uh, music oh, kicked in. Oh, and brilliant, brilliant. Fight, I, was, I was actually surprised. I'm like, this is really good. It's I was rocking, not expecting man. this. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool movie. Um, do you have an Did honorable mention, Sitch, outside of Fight Club? Uh... For favorites, yeah. yeah I have American Psycho up there, Shawshank's up there. What do you think of Seven? I, I, I like Seven, but not anywhere near as much as other people do. People yeah. really like Seven. I'm like, it's okay. Hmm. What do you think of the social network if I'm just uh, asking about I really film? liked, oh. I was like obsessed with Snatch when I was younger. That's a good movie. I haven't, I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, I love Snatch as well. Um, my number one is Prestige. Number two is T2. Number three is Aliens. Bringing, Prestige is amazing. Yeah. So. Um, mm -hmm. Not even overrated or anything? <laughs> no, Prestige is <laughs> underrated by a I long agree. shot. Like, I can't believe people don't love that movie. That movie is freaking amazing. And it's so cool that they... I mean, he carries the theme of, you know, I'm just going to tell it like it is all the way through. And he basically does, but you don't want to believe it. So, I mean... The psychology of the movie is even better. So, yeah, way underrated. Um, my it's hard to pick a number one. I usually default to Saving Private Ryan, Hot Fuzz, um, <laughs> Terminator Those, Two, yeah. uh, and and I'd throw in like Wally and The Incredibles would be up there as oh, well. In the mix. Those are all yes, all fucking great, all amazing, all better than The Forgiven. <laughs> well, I enjoy. I the forgiven. Look, I'm, I'm, they're forgiven. <laughs> All better than the unforgiven. See, look, I don't even want. I'm, I'm blocking it out. I hate that movie so much. All right, Evan. <laughs> Uh, my go-to example for years has been Groundhog Day. I would definitely say that that's my favorite I'm movie. Dead, yeah. Honorable mentions <laughs> would probably go to um, Whiplash and Doctor Strangelove. Those. Those tend to be my oh, yeah. three oh, It says oh, Doctor yeah. Strange, and I my butthole was already. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whiplash is a strong contender as well. I adore yeah. that film. Simple, like bare Doctor bones, Strange but Love like is amazing. Ev everything about it, like on a filmmaking, just the cinematography, music, editing, it's just everything is just top notch. That's like that's like one of the best made films I think I've seen. Whiplash is incredibly focused, and I ha yeah, it has a great score. The overture for that. I think I think a lot of focus ends up on the 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 music that is in the film, like diegetically. But I think the overture is awesome. Like the theme for that film, it's really yeah. cool. Not to mention like the subtle musical cues, like when he's just practicing the drums, and you just get those little like it's it's almost Chaotic. like the music in The yeah. Shining. It's like yeah, uses sound very well. Alrighty, well, is that it? My turn. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, as much as you've been talking a shit ton, I guess you can go on a little bit more and tell us about your favorite movie. Let's hear it. <laughs> I was also gonna pick Round Hall Day, just not even as a favorite. I think it's one of the best movies ever just, made. But... Just love rodents. Really? Awesome. Um, wow. It's just it's just brilliant in every way. I can't. I can. I can go on at length about that one. But um, to choose something else. Um, I guess I gotta stick with the. I gotta go to the Wii Move Me. If any of you've heard of Red Line, I really like that movie. I saw that recently. That's that. That's that racing movie, right? Like the yes, animated yes. racing. It's all in two D, right? Like exactly. Yep. 
it's yep. in, like you, you when you watch that movie like if you've not seen red line watch it like you will not believe red that it's line. all in 2d and that there was no like 3d or animation like it it, it looks wow. insane Incredibly impressive looks pretty so, yeah. good well um all right uh we end we don't need to ask adam right <laughs> well i mean yeah, i already threw like some out but I mean, yeah. no one mentioned the Matrix. I think the first Matrix is like pretty flawless, but really cool movie. If I think full, Theo doesn't totally like fell the... apart with second, second, yeah, third. I think it's too so. easy. Theo, Theo's and the, the Matrix fourth is like an abomination. <laughs> so... What do you mean? But the, what else would you pick though? Other the fourth than the Matrix? Matrix? What do you mean? What do I mean? Come on! <laughs> they Mom, took back the red please. pill. It was awesome. Please, please, yeah. Or the favorites you got, Adam? Breck? The Matrix? I mean, if, is it, everyone mentioned like really good movies. I mean, the, the Prestige is, is great. Shrek's movie, pretty so. awesome, just saying. I don't know. Shrek is really good. Nobody mentioned it's Time Bandits. Movie. Movie. Here's a question. Listen, I really like Terry Gilliam. I like the movie Time Bandits. I think it hold, it's one of the few movies that Ooh, holds up. Interesting. What about, um, yeah. what about Interstellar? Interstellar, <laughs> I think. Interstellar is good, but I do think uh, it's overrated. Here's a question. In, inter, uh, interstellar we agree it's overrated. Has, Wait, yeah. is it better or worse? Interstellar, I mean, better, if we want to talk about best robots, better or worse than Unforgiven. is definitely on the map. So, better or worse than Unforgiven. Better than, uh, better than Unforgiven, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, what about Tenet? Is Tenet better than Unforgiven? Tenet, Tenet is garbage. Is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, maybe we know if we hear the dialogue. Tenet, <laughs> so. Tenet, I mean, just Tenet is so cool, but it's just like it's it fails the logically consistent. I mean, I know you guys aren't gonna like it because it's like inconsistent, but still haven't seen it. Well, we can like movies without them being consistent. We just don't think they'll be good. Well, I like, know there are movies I that mean, I really, really love that are very flawed. Tenet just the I just I like the idea of Tenet and Tenet is a movie like I've watched it multiple times and yeah I really like Tenet. You said Tenet is a yeah. movie I've watched it multiple times. <laughs> no, I my, really my I'm just the whole <laughs> idea thing comes down to them not like delivering on that idea. That's like why I've right. got so many problems with that. They set it's up like true. rules about how the inversion stuff works, but when they start breaking all those rules, then you're like I. What am I watching the movie for? You if can't, it wasn't for the yeah. idea? You can't deliver on it though. But the whole idea is, I mean, it really is cool uh, having scenes where some people are moving forward in the scene and some people are moving backward in the scene. So, I mean, that is the, just a filmmaker's dream setup. And I think, you know, obviously Nolan probably came up with that idea long before he started trying to work out a strip, a uh, script where they could actually realize that, that thing but yeah it doesn't work you have to shut your brain off and they even throw a scene in in the beginning where they're basically like don't think about it too much oh, the that, one where there's, there's so many scenes yeah. like Talk that there's so many Hoover. lines where they're like hey don't yeah. think about it feel I it it's, it doesn't so matter much. grandfather paradise like thanks yeah. you, Thank you but Just the car it. <laughs> you don't like well, the... you could hear the dialogue in that film <laughs> you don't like <laughs> the well, car i use subtitles on the blu-ray that was subtitles <laughs> Wait, how did they what's, know what was being said? <laughs> what's it? What's your take they on the car the chase? What if they again? didn't? They did <laughs> I mean, it explained the character choices in the movie. Okay. Okay. Cause, cause like in the cinema, a, I came out going, I don't no. know if that was a good or a bad film or not, because I couldn't fucking hear a single word they were saying, so I can't determine if it's internally consistent or not. Yeah, and it doesn't help the dialogue. movie's so complicated. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't yeah. have any problem with the sound. I I read a lot of people didn't like the sound thing, but I mean, I didn't see it in the movie theater. Maybe they worked the sound out when I saw it. I didn't have an issue with the sound. I mean, it's I definitely Adam easier to hear like on headphones. I like, like you. Said, we yeah. don't want to think. We don't want to think that we're overrated. A lot of unique takes from Adam. I enjoy. Look, them. I look. I said. I love the prestige. Oh, what more do you want from me? <laughs> you also said Interstellar Dude, I, was better than Unforgiven. <laughs> that is a is that man, not? I mean, we're all allowed to have our you know. Oh, so when you say are... stupid shit, suddenly we're all allowed to have opinions. <laughs> so I, 
When do you say that I mean, to Vosh, huh? What is he allowed opinions? <laughs> well, the, it's different with Vosh. Vosh is like promoting it's communism, come. which is obviously I mean, never worked. I mean, that's similar worked. to saying Interstellar is better than Unforgiven. Listen, listen. Look, Mom, no one liking, is going listen, to die like, over Unforgiven. Yeah, liking communism has led to billions of deaths, okay? Liking Interstellar oh, okay, over Unforgiven sure. hasn't killed anybody. In the deaths of many yes, brains. Apparently. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. It hasn't killed anybody mm. yet. Yet. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. And then, and then there was a a dictator that rose up, and what was his favorite movie? The Interstellar. Oh my he really god! Liked the part of Interstellar when that dude oh, was no. going to the okay, ship. Okay, then I would renounce the Interstellar. Waves, and he just stood there, and then let himself get killed by the wave instead of getting in the ship. There was loads of great parts. Like, that was my favorite part. That inspired me to enter into politics. I almost killed you know, Stuart like, like, watching that with him. In the fabric of reality, yeah. It's got a cool soundtrack, that's for sure. I am, Absolutely, oh yeah. very cool soundtrack. soundtrack Look, yeah. he is the guy in the bookcase. Come on. Ah, uh, yes, oh. because you can breathe in a black hole. There is oxygen. It is in a temperate weather that is suitable for human beings. Um, and okay. also, you're just not spaghetti. Well, wait, have you never been to the fifth dimension before? That's Did they now. Call... To be fair, I haven't been to the fifth dimension, so I could just be talking out my ass here. Yeah, that's what I really thought. It's lovely this time of year. I don't think we're still. And that clearly, there. clearly, Christopher Nolan found a way to get there and wrote down everything he observed. Ah, well, yes. Where do you think he shot the scene? What did you think he shot? Oh, it? He shot it in the fifth dimension. True. They flew into space. Talk about dedication to the craft. Going into a black <laughs> hole to film the scene. <laughs> I was impressed. Um, I mean, relatively, it took him hundreds of years to make that out. movie. Also. Yeah. We have Mr. M here. Why don't you tell us what your favorite movie is also hot? Yeah, let's hear. My favorite movie? Yes. yes. My favorite movie is Kung Fu Panda. Unequivocally. Oh, he's really? Wow. I heard about that. Okay. Oh, wow. That's okay. It's okay. How to Train Your Dragons better, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I would put Kung Fu Panda and uh, The Emperor's New Groove Ooh, right nice. up there. Oh, Those yeah. are my favorite. That's an unconventional choice. I, I love, love the Emperor's so New Groove. It, the Emperor's New Groove movie, is yeah. great. I love I'll it. say, yeah, it's kind of an unconventional, but like, does anybody not like that film? It's like, I don't know anybody who... How could like, you not like that film? Yeah. It's hilarious. Dude, it's, it's only good. a matter of time before that gets a live-action remake from Disney. Yeah, it's only oh, it is. Oh, it's Treasure Planet. Planet. Oh, oh, Treasure Planet. Planet. Oh, Treasure Planet oh, is... God. Oh, I love yeah. Treasure Planet. They're gonna come for Treasure Planet. They're gonna come uh, for... Oh, no. They're, they're, leave it they're alone. gonna start taking the ones that, like, are lesser known, but, like, have a yeah, specific okay, audience just... that love live it. Live-action Titan, Titan, Titan A.E. Oh, well, that's... Gonna... Titan A.E. is Warner Brothers, isn't it? Or... Or might wait, Titan A.E. was Titan A.E. was Warner Brothers, wasn't it? Or am I mixing it up? Might be. I you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna do live action versions of all the TV series from the nineties that were based on the film. So you're gonna get like the live action version of the Emperor's New School. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the worst. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Warner, man. Brothers, Warner Brothers has shown a willingness to pillage the Iron Giant. I wouldn't rule that out either as a possibility. Yeah. Live action yep. Iron Giant. Live action Fritz the cat, dude. Uh, fast forward like fifty years where they've pillaged like everything, and eventually we'll be like, "Oh no, they're coming for dude. Where's my car?" Oh. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna dude, where's my, my car? They're not gonna do that. They'd never You'll, touch it. It'll become clear how long this era of pillaging the animated films is when Frozen gets its live action remake, which Dang. will happen eventually. Well, I mean, shit, you're right. They, it really hey, will. Yeah. They already exactly. they already tried to play with that in the live action TV series. Uh, Once uh, upon a time, right? What? Yeah, that one. There's what? There's did, some. They did it, but they. Well, yeah, because that that's ABC, which Disney owns. So you're right. They already dabbled in it, but that that is happening. That'll definitely happen. Mm -hmm. Live action, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> oh well eventually they'll pillage pixar right so we'll get live action oh, toy man. story oh, i've thought about that I, I, I wouldn't put it past oh, the man live action toy live story action story pretty story. sure they're already action doing live action Milan, what about a live action small soldiers do you think they'll ever do that <laughs> <laughs> so anyway I have, ten, what I have 10 minutes left to do this video just so we're clear. Um, well, uh, you can see of some of it. Some of, is everybody in the watch together? I always have to recheck. I'm this. looking for it. I don't know where it is. Oh, There's wow. So here. Useless. Here it is. I have to repost the link for you. No, no, I now, see, what happened was I didn't oh, want you talking ill. 
of Red Letter Media, so I subverted the conversation for an hour. You're going to have to do it again. <laughs> We're getting back into it. Here we go. It's getting late. I should get out of here. It's like 4. <laughs> go to bed. 20. Go to bed, I got to stream. Yeah. Any excuse to just tomorrow. run away. I'll cover. Oh, I'm going to run to my time. I hit that dusty tree. Running away again, Sitch. Again? What does that even mean? I don't know. It just sounds it means good. means you've done it before and now you're doing it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> normally, Maul is the one that runs away okay, from our stream. So I run to well, your stream. Normally. Yeah, he's That's true. You do run in both out. directions to our stream. That was bizarre that I like randomly get into a debate with Amazing Atheist thanks to randomly just being like, hey guys, won't come yeah, to That, that was awesome. What, what are you debating about? about? His video. I missed that line. I debated the amazing atheist on freedom of speech. I was on the pro side. Yes. <laughs> yes. I need to look that one up. Imagine I don't know how the that. fuck it happened. <laughs> like, I don't know what universe we're in a anymore. Surprise authoritarian, but all right, here we are. You and a, it was you and actual justice warrior. Yeah. The weird adventure. Listen, that's why you always got to come up. You always have to come on the sit show. You never know what kind of yeah, weird crossover Mahler's going to have. The sit show, show huh? Wow. Yeah, the sit show. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It's yeah. Sitch and Adam. It used to be oh. Sitch and Adam. Now it's just Sitch. Didn't think this would happen on our show. So, yes, wow. So, being the first, being the is this what an insurrection looks like? The only one. Listen, yeah, it's late. So. I'm tired. I got to get oh, out of here. Is that an excuse to forget? Running away again? It is. The third time. Slippery Sitch. I know. <laughs> Lion Sitch. Oh, that's bad. Lion Sitch doing a bed. slip. Come on, it's like four in the morning there. What time is it where you guys are? Uh, For me, it's half past it's nine a.m. now. Oh, nine a.m. Twenty-three p.m. So Which, by the way, I will be staring at that counter because seven p.m. is the the finish line. It's like we're on our way, Ooh. guys. We're getting there. It's one thirty a.m. here. Will be like every other time when it goes well over. <laughs> Well, I'll be yeah, surprised yeah. if you make it for the stream with uh, Nerdronic tomorrow morning. I, dude, he was he was like talking about how he's totally agreed to come on to Eve. I was like, ah, oh, great. And then he was like, yeah, then we're doing the House of Dragon right after it. I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't do this. Well. Well. That's crazy, man. And, and I was like, I, I, at first I was like, oh, are we going to time it so that I could maybe sleep for a bit? He's like, no, we can do it right after if you want. And I was like, why would I want that? <laughs> 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 yeah. You can be delirious. Let's just, let's just talk about that now. Do you like when they pulled the guy's pants down and cut his balls off and he farted? It was good. <laughs> what? What, what is no. this that you're reviewing? Farting. He farted. Yeah, when they go to cut the guy's balls off, he farts. And I was like, what? what? Is this supposed to be funny? He, like, what's happening? He does in, like, the close-up shots. I hope someone joined the stream <laughs> right make him No way. Why would they do that? I don't know. <laughs> I swear to God. It's I strange, swear yeah. it's the same fart sound effect they used in, like, the play in Game of Thrones season, whatever that was. No way. Like, the comical fart sound effect. I don't know <laughs> if they were trying to make that moment like Wilhelm fart slightly <laughs> comedic or whatever because of that, but it was such a weird choice. I, I, I have no clue. It's I'm like, gonna have to rewatch that. I feel like I've seen it twice. I, I totally didn't know that there was a fart. Like <laughs> he's not making that up. It's no, in there. Dude, you can listen to, to it closely. Oh my god! I was like, what the fuck? This is okay. supposed to be scary. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, farts aren't scary yeah. to you? <laughs> I mean, okay. not compared to a guy getting his balls cut off. No. Wow. Farts are terrifying. All right, Chad Sitch, not scared by farts all of a sudden. There you go. Well, all right. D look, I don't want to I don't want to keep you up late, okay? Mr. Mr. has to run Thank away. You. Thank Let you. Let him go. Don't be, don't happy be so 200th. needy. Come on. Happy 200th, Molly. Thank you, Sitch. And, fra mm. and frags. And rags frags. And frags. <laughs> frags. <laughs> That's me. Rags Pro gamer. <laughs> They just call me Frags. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a good name. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like grenade right, Frags. Frags and Rags are, are a couple now. Duo. They're, they're Shaggin Frags. and Fraggin. Yeah, you guys are the power couple, Frags. <laughs> it's great. Not bad. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Uh, I'm so thanks happy that you guys made 200, even though we beat you to 200. But listen, yeah. it's not a contest. Love of you. course. <laughs> I'm offended now. I'm gonna... As long as we're winning, right. it's not a contest. <laughs> That's right. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Gotcha. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. At least we can agree on the name of our podcast. Oh! No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> Why do you gotta now say the, now, that? It's so mean. Come on, I hear you guys all the time say the Adam and Sis show. It's kind of hilarious. Dude, I, me, so. I was referencing how you guys were coming on and I said it, and then all of chat were like laughing, and I was like, what's the name of the show, okay? <laughs> Adam and Sis. Don't be laughing. <laughs> The truth. God, it was so funny when Destiny was like, "You should call it the Sitch and Adam show." 
Oh, that was I'm fucking like, that great. Is, yeah. That is the, that is the <laughs> name of the show. Dude, He's he like, checked. Really? Oh, he nice. checked. He was legit like, you know, know. no way. Hang on. Like, you lying. Because he set his stream up as, I'm going on the Adam and Sid show. <laughs> you must he enjoy the fuck out of that. That up. happens all the time. Everyone defaults to... Is it because of alphabetical plus the fact that it like, sounds better? I think it's because I think it's because Lilo and Stitch is already in people's brains, so Adam and Stitch is very close to that. I think a no, couple it of, we, we talked about like, better a, and it's alphabetized. A, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of duos that go two syllables, one syllable, right? Like that's a right. thing. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it it feels better. Know. Adam and Sitch. Whatever. Sitch and Starsky everyone. And Hutch. Everyone. Everyone Starsky hates Adam. Everyone what about Hamish loves and Andy, Sitch, though? So, Doesn't I mean, have to fight for all of your rules. Bonnie and Clyde. Then no, it's not a rule. It's, it's, the, it's which it's one's more common. It's a rule. Tends to be Tennessee. True. Laurel yeah, and Hardy is two and two. Probably but, the only person who yeah. knows Hamish and Andy is a meme. That's, a, that's an obscure yes. reference. Well, oh, and Shaq. Hamish and Andy. Yeah, of course, yeah. Well, wait, but so I don't actually know anything about Hamish and Andy, but I recognize it because of Simpsons, I think. Don't they reference them? Yeah. Hamish and Andy is an Australian like comedy radio duo. Well, yeah, but I recognize it, so it must be from something. Oh. Huh. Just... Mm. Because I've never seen Hamish and Andy, but I I remember what about references Tim and Eric? to it. Huh. That's great. Well, see, that's I'm interesting. Sure. Oh, yeah, Adam, and, Simpsons. Adam and Eve people also have in the brain, which is pretty much in everyone's brain. So. Well, one interesting one is Simon and Garfunkel, because that's two and three. <laughs> Adam and They're Eve, not all the Adam rules. and Sitch. Adam and Eve, that's right. Adam and Eve. Like Adam and Sitch. Right. <laughs> not, not Adam and Sitch. Harold and Kumar, yeah, there's that too. Harold and Kumar. Oh, someone yeah, in chat could be right. Am I thinking of Amos and Andy? What's that? Oh, I was about to say, I associate that with Pulp Fiction, the whole milkshakes, Amos and Andy. That, that might have been what you were thinking? Maybe. Maybe. My, yeah, my brain could be playing do tricks on me. Oddly enough, we have, you have Tom and Jerry. That's true. Yeah. But uh, well, there's some magic to it because loads of people default to Adam and Sitch, you know? It might just be your they charisma. They do. I did, yes. yeah. Yeah, oh, Adam nice. just exerts yeah. more, you know, masculine chat energy. And yeah. Just, I can't That's help it. That's great to hear, yeah. Well, you know, I'm not like even doing that. to compliment you, man. That's just, it's just facts, you know? It's just how it works. Yeah. Even though I like Tenet, huh? I can, I can get past that. It's good to know. Good yes. to know people like well, I haven't seen Tenet, so <laughs> You haven't really? No. Oh. It sounds like the kind of movie I would hate because not only is it nonsense, it's hard would, to understand that it's nonsense. What is I, this came would. up? This this we never got to the bottom of your hierarchy of like obviously you're saying consistency is at the top of the hierarchy, but we never got to like number two or three or four. So I am curious about that. Um, so when you say that, you're asking like, what am I? What do I want next in stories? Or what do I want to? Yeah, what is for? what is most important to you? Like, um, I, vis, like visuals versus story is a big, like some people can just have visuals, no story. I'm that's awful to me. I don't know that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to because like the thing is, it, is it, it almost implies like, do I value a character having an arc before I value an action scene before I value an adventure through many places before I value a really good choreographed fight? Like these are all. I don't know how I would order any of this. Like I because I, yeah, the thing is like, you know, do I prefer the father over? Uh, I don't know, Lord of the Rings. It would be like, how, how the fuck? Did, uh, I don't. I am not specifically. Go ahead. To mm -hmm. me, to me, I think the answer is dependent by genre and expectation and what the film is promising. I well, mean, but if, if you, like, but but if, if it's the idea Jackie, of what I Jackie want, Chan movie, like, like, well, what I'm saying, like a Jackie Chan yeah, film that's comedy. specifically marketed yeah. it as an action film, I'm prioritizing good fighting, good choreography as a pretty high expectation for me going in. But if it, yeah, but I point, think yeah. it's more fundamental than that. It's almost like what do I want as a base. Base play. Do I value like an action movie over a comedy, over an adventure, over a sci-fi, over it? Is like, well, I, I'm, I'm okay with like a lot of them. I, I don't necessarily want, you know, one over the other. I, I I'm, I, I just want to see good ones. <laughs> so, well, the the reason why it's interesting that you're you have this consistency thing is because like mostly in storytelling, people put conflict above like as the core of storytelling above 
even above consistency. It's like Hang I on. think maybe how, how do you do, how do you how do you reach most people to find that? What do you mean? You said most people, you know. I mean, uh, in, in well, you're you're a storyteller too, right, Shad? You've written stuff, mm -hmm. don't yeah, you? Isn't yeah. isn't like conflict the root of why people are even interested in watching something? Let me ask you a question. Well, oh mm, wait, so what depends. is it, so what are we? What's the question? Is it what what is like the defining aspect of a story, or what are people most what do people want out of stories? Well, I, I mean, maybe both. I just like well. It, because if we're going to go with defining, here's I, lo I love this story because it's an easy one. Bob wanted a pie. He walked down to the shops. He got a pie. He walked home. He ate the pie at the end. Is that See, not I a wouldn't story? Even, I wouldn't even classify that as a story. I mean, that yeah, doesn't that's, be my, that's my definition shit. of a story. Sh Shad, well, did you say that's shit? Like that story? I would say it's utter crap uh, as a story. <laughs> like It's more like an account of an event. Uh, what is your what is your story is by definition what a story is. no 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 because yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. again it depends on for instance a novel right by definition mm. of say a novel especially if it's um a, a trade pub right that's uh, a piece that's specifically made to be a type of entertainment uh, and so therefore one it's of the categories that you would no no one of the categories that needs to have it is that it needs to achieve being entertaining and uh, yes uh, that's subjective and so, Fuck. It, no but like there are books that are an accounting of events like history books uh, are they a story according to you well they're narrative yeah yeah, yeah they're the, yeah they are a story yeah the events that just happen because, in those stories just are true because a story is a fi f story doesn't need to be fictional or non-fiction a story is a yeah. story it's just an account, account of, of a sequence events. of events yeah. So, for instance, if I said, so I went down to the shop and bought a pie and came home and ate the pie and I was very happy, that's a story. Did Now, of course, this is made up. I didn't go get a pie today. But, like, if I did on a given day, that's still a story. It's just not, you know, not a very entertaining one. That's it. Well, and again, you okay. can break hey, down it. that story in terms of elements because there literally is character motivation there. Like, you wanted a pie and therefore you took an action to get a pie. So but this, like, this is exactly why I brought up conflict because this story has no conflict. I went to the it store does, to get a pie. The store, store was closed, but, so I went to the store but, next door. So, so I guess to, well, to there, the gap, now it's I a story. Would exactly. Rags, you're, you're introducing well, conflict. There well, you go. I, I didn't to, make it. It was bridge, always a story. Bridge, I didn't make it. Yeah, to bridge the gap, Adam, I would agree that conflict is in most stories, and conflict is like what people are there for, generally okay. speaking. But okay. yeah. definitionally, yeah. a story is a sequence of events. There doesn't need to be conflict. I would just well, say can you, I'm well, not can sure you, what kind of story. Uh, what's a story that doesn't good. really... What's a story that doesn't really have conflict? Like the in... story going, uh, Fringy going to get a pie. Well, no, <laughs> like we a movie. How about, pie story. How, how about a movie? Is there a movie that doesn't have movie conflict? recorded himself yeah. going to the yeah. uh, store to get a pie? Try to think of movie. all the worst movies you can think of. Multiverse I think you of could Madness. Find, uh, like perhaps a short story in which it's just um, a light-hearted buddy story where two people are getting along and there's jokes and stuff, and it doesn't necessarily have a a core conflict that can still be very enjoyable. Uh, so I don't think it's an inherent essential part. I think it frames a very large part of lots of stories, maybe even most. Yeah, there's a reason sure it's, it's well, that, practically that, ubiquitous. I guess that's what I'm getting at is I agree that conflict is a major part of stories. Absolutely. Um, ma major to the extent that it is found in virtually like all stories. Virtually, um, yeah. It, is not, it is not a defining aspect of narrative. A narrative is an the sequence of events. That's it. In so, the Captain America film, video th that we were watching, like the reason why, you know, it's it's not interesting if Captain America just destroys everybody is because then there is no conflict in the story. The whole idea no is that you want to, yeah, you, you want to. If he's really good at doing it, it. It, there'd still be a conflict. It's just an easily overcome conflict. It's like Fringy went to go get the pie. The store was closed, so he went next door and got the pie. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. Like again, that's... virtually effortless change that he had to do, but technically it's a conflict. And that's the case no, with a lot of modern superhero movies as well, as they just tear through enemies and they never struggle, and we never right, like see no them conflict. like strain yeah. themselves. So, and it's just it's boring basically. If there's and no, just, yeah. if there's if there's no conflict, there's no stakes. And that's why, like, stakes, I think, is probably one of the essential 
storytelling Could components. Could you say it's like, that in my fake story, the stakes are, is he going to get the pie? Ooh. Yeah. Yes, there are the stakes, stakes are a pie. He doesn't get that are, pie, he'll be hungry. Yeah. Can be I get my steak pie? pie as well? It's a Let's call it a steak pie just to make low sure that stakes. there are stakes. Yeah. It's low stakes, but there are stakes. If I don't get my pie, I'll be very sad. Sure, sure. See, but this uh, is why see, all the know, Marvel movies want to make it the world or the universe or the multiverse. Because <laughs> they want to increase the stakes. They're like, we want... We want a giant wager on the table here. We don't want some piddly little pie on the table. See, I, I think the issue is, is speaking in absolutes. I think in a lot of cases, what you can say could be largely applied. But I think you could write a story that perhaps has no stakes that could be very perhaps, enjoyable. Yeah. A hypothetical, Absolutely. say, say a story in which... Uh, an event is told, this happens, and then it goes back in time, uh, and it's uh, you get to find out how the events and, played yeah, out to reach story. that. And it, you technically has no stakes because you know what happens, but you're interested and you're enjoying the story to see how it got there. Yeah, it's yeah, called I, Slice I of Life anime. I don't disagree with Frenge's <laughs> or Mahler's definition of a, a story being a series of events. I think. What about my definition? You, perfectly. What is your definition, Rags? Well, I, the same I, as yours. I was just left out. <laughs> okay, well, Rags's definition. You I don't, don't get a but, vote. Well, so uh, I think what I would say is I that just I might. don't know. I go for it. Well, I, I just I have a definition that's that's different than that, but your definition fits my definition. So, but I just in order to make it interesting, I think you have to have stakes, conflict, all that kind of um, stuff. So. A conversation about what makes for an interesting story is definitely worth having. It's just that sure, a, yeah. a story versus an interesting story. I think we would all have to agree that the base upon which any claim could be made about what books, like what stories are, is that it is an account of a sequence of events. If we can't yes, agree on I that, then, then there's nothing we can expand upon, you know? Like, that's it. I think a sequence very, of very events, good definitions. I'd argue it's, that a sequence of events is almost all that redundant. is needed for a story. Like, no, other than that, you can you almost extrapolate every... You can almost extrapolate out, like, stakes or conflict or any other thing, but you need things to happen to have a story, basically, at base level. Well, it, it does yeah. need to be an account to distinguish I the story from the actual that, events. That, how could you have an yeah. account if one thing does not lead to another? It's the difference between a map and a place. What is like you account? have to have the the account is the story. The events are just the events. So you're saying if there was a bit of prose that described the uh, physical appearance of a city and not giving any process of events, that could be a story. That's a description of a. a yeah, thing. that's not a series not a of story. events. Okay, but what about the yeah, yeah, wind blue? That's a story. It's a thing doing something. But that's all we would need then, right? All like, all verbs are you know, like it's necessarily temporal for things mm, to but that, happen. That describes something happening in time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, is when, that the, the wind fundamental can't blow for no time? Yes. So the fundamental thing for a story is an event needs to happen that takes place along some type of time frame. Well, that's that's what a sequence of events is necessarily temporal. And it has to be an account to distinguish it from the events themselves. The wind blowing isn't a story you it, it being described in some kind of an account a prose a movie a description a poem anything like that that's the story i would agree like that's the thing that's the thing that changes it from an event to a uh yeah an, by the to way a, to a, a mechanism for telling out of basically pure curiosity i heard a couple of comments that went by uh with the the pie example of the bringing going to buy his pie i think it may have been er that was just like that shit out of curiosity, <laughs> right, if um, alongside the, uh, you know, that's not interesting, blah, 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 blah. If you had, like, just, you know, a hundred different people across the world who found it really compelling because of maybe something that happens in the story regarding, you know, it's just you get a good shot of Fringy's face as he's moving through the world, going to get that pie, and they interpret a lot from it. They draw a lot out of it for what the, I was about to say adventure, but I meant that more in a way of the <laughs> journey of this thing. There's a lot going on. Let's just say that in a more wistful way. And they said they found it way more interesting than that Star Wars crap where it's just a bunch of people flying around doing all kinds of bullshit. Like, how do you Is deal it, with Did you just say, like, you guys must be insane? Is that kind of how you, you go with that? Yeah, you would be insane. It's well, like people, well, like, enjoying, like, a Captain Marvel or something like that. It's, 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 you can't trust them. 
sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, sorry. You, Mola, you did add new context to give an interpretation of that story being possibly better than the account you just gave. Well, like, so if the story I don't think was it's just unreasonable. Flat, like, like if there was no, no additional context given, this is the story. I wake up, I go to the shop, I get a pie, I come back home, I eat it, the end. Well, I, pr I presume from that description that, that we watch all of that happen and there's going to be angles and I assume we're going to learn stuff about oh, well, the environment. Uh, to me, because that, that's adding, that's now a different story to the one that I just shared. Like if, that, if, this is, if the story, if the story was literally what I just said fully, that's a pretty crap story. Oh, so sorry. So I was, I was always envisioning a film every time. My, my bad. Because you're saying uh, like well, you're so almost I, describing like an audio book. Well, literally what I said. If that was yeah, the yeah, yeah, story yeah, yeah. Okay. as I described it, that's a crap story. Yeah. I mean, I want to. Yeah, but like, there are a lot of things you could change about it to make what? people interested in it. For instance, it could be this amazing piece of unbelievable CGI but, but, where the character is doing like, but the most. I it's, it's, seriously, if someone made a film like that and made a CG made a CGI that was truly indistinguishable for the first time, utterly indistinguishable from live action. That would be that would blow people away. It would be amazing because it's achieving something vastly new in terms of technology and what we can do in film. I mean, we, we so got that, a real example of that. Luxo Jr., what is the plot of that? A lamp plays with a ball. A lamp destroys the ball. A lamp gets a new ball and is happy. The end. That's Luxo Jr., but it's way more than that. But yeah, so the way that it is presented can redefine and give an aspect that lots of people could enjoy in it and perhaps even say it has more cultural importance or enjoyment quality than, you know, other films. Well, okay, so then is a story, um, does it require an entertainment value then? Well, I, I don't think well, that's it objective, is it? I would say to me, yes. to me, I think the layman, the layman use of the concept of story is something to at least, at the very least, be interesting, if not entertaining. Yes, I totally agree. I don't think just a series of events is enough to constitute a story. What happens if you don't? Because find I don't a story think that's the definition of a story. Well, well, yeah, what is your definition, I ER? I, guess that, that that is, yeah, um, I know that. That's why I asked why you think that. What's um? Well, we maybe this should be looking up. Maybe well, this should be. I, I, I don't care. It, whatever what? you tell me, a dictionary says I won't care. So don't even bother. I okay. Know well, why. I <laughs> think a story <laughs> is not just a sequence of events. It's got to be a sequence of events that entertain, because that's something that you're telling somebody for a purpose. I, seriously, so what, wait, wait, I don't wait, think I, the Force Awakens is, is interesting. It's not a story anymore. It's yeah, it's a story. Could we, it's could, just a really shit one. Could we at least concede okay, then so that it's, it's going to have to be we based on... Interesting is not a necessity. No, no. Now. So, so, so there, there are many stories that by definition and by their purpose are meant to be entertaining. And you can judge wait, wait, wait. it according so, to how well it you know achieves that. So only one person has to find it interesting and now it's a story. If that person died, it no longer is a say story that. anymore. <laughs> I don't so, know. so wait, I'm, I'm curious, well, what is the answer to that question? When one, because you, all I'm going to do, because Shad, yeah. I assume you yeah. say like one person not enough. I'm just going to keep cranking the number until it is. So what, how does it work? No, no, no. I, I, so what I'm saying here, because this is a different thing to what necessarily EI is saying. So I don't want to distract that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm like... If some, if a work is meant to be entertaining, all right, then that's a metric that you would be judging by. That's part of its purpose. And my context for this is that that's actually the primary thing to judge it by. And this is where I have my own views on the consistency argument, because there are cases in which you sacrifice consistency for the sake of entertaining, for entertainment. And if it makes it more entertaining, it's actually a valid trade. And that's from your own point of view, right? Well, well, perfect example, uh, sound in space. I think uh, sound in space is unrealistic. It's inconsistent according to the laws of physics, but we add it to a lot of sci-fi films because it enhances the experience in some really important uh, ways. Are you okay with soundtracks? Yeah. So why can't we, we treat the uh, sound effects in the same vein? Who's saying I'm not? So, well, so it wouldn't be a flaw then, right? Well, yeah, you aren't. Yeah, yeah, that you're sacrificing something about. Well, no, so it wouldn't be considered a sacrifice. I assume you don't. I assume you sort of you don't say the music is bad because there's no way in the world it could come from, but we accept it because it's cool. I'm assuming you're you're going to say, well, no, that's not what we say about music. Uh, it depends on what it achieves and how it's uh, how it's executed. If it's the words are oh, diegetic, because hang on, because right? you agree that there are sometimes films that have soundtracks that utterly detract from the film and make it worse. Uh, sorry, uh, just to refocus, what I'm trying to get at is that 
why can't we treat uh, we what would you usually say when we go like when Lord of the Rings are playing take for example like Witch King's theme when he's when he's arriving if I said where are the speakers where's this music coming from like you don't you don't understand you I assume you don't treat that as a valid observation no I wouldn't right uh, what I'm suggesting is that in Star Wars until they show us a character reacting to the sound in space there's no reason for us to think there is sound in space in this universe. And even then, like, it would st it would be more if in one scene they were treating it as if there was literally no sound in space, and then the next scene they can totally hear what's going on outside because that's the internal consistency thing, right? Yeah, what I'm suggesting is that we're receiving the sounds from the soundtrack, if you will, rather than the in unit. Like, when people speak, that's coming from them, but when we hear blaster sounds in space, mm, that's coming right. from the, the, the tracking of the... So you're trying to argue. So, so you're trying to argue that the sound and space example might not necessarily be uh, a valid uh, example of where uh, consistency can be sacrificed for uh, uh, another thing that can raise the quality of the film. Is yeah, you know, like it, the music thing doesn't have to be. Uh, like, it, and, and in larger, is your argument that there are no things that you could trade in terms of logical consistency in film um, for um, something else that could enhance? The, well, you uh, know, we've talked about it film. before, right? Like when we, we had that big conversation with uh, Mando, it's like for, for for me, Rags and Fringy, we were like, that just pulled us out of the content. And then you were like, no, it's awesome. I think it's really cool. And it's fine to sacrifice mm -hmm. a bit of consistency for a cool thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously I like what, what I would conclude like from that a lot of, well, is that it comes like down just... to the individual and therefore, you know, the rest, right? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, though, this is where it goes on to the entertainment argument as well. If mm -hmm. uh, one doesn't appeal to a small group of people, but one change would appeal to a larger group of people, and the purpose of the work is to be entertaining to the largest amount of people possible, there's a pretty, you know, objective choice then, isn't there? Um, no. <laughs> well, so Shad, surely, you would, surely you would surely you would agree that uh, if I said I can make uh, a Knight's Tale better if I inject a lot more. Uh, whatever whatever marvel marvel grab it and they're like yeah we need more dinosaurs we need more this we need more that and turns out it's going to make more money if we do that but it's going to be way less critically acclaimed and loved overall like i assume you'd say then oh well it's not being made better like um if you remember blade runner was shat on when it came out if you had concluded well, like they must have made a mistake with that one everyone's hating it but yeah to me though like that's slightly dodging the thing because, yeah, I agree with you, but there are examples, instead of going for an example in which it's, say, one or the other, there are examples in which you can sacrifice logical consistency for something that could appeal to both, uh, that it would achieve more money and be to more entertaining point. and just be, you know, uh, considered better as a result. I like, I think of a lot of, you know, fight scenes, for instance, there's a lot of inconsistency in a lot of, say, uh, martial art fight scenes, Jackie Chan fight scenes. There's a lot of things that are unrealistic as well but for the purpose for an absolute kick-ass fight scene especially to get uh, like a move that totally blows you away you can push it I'm, I'm not saying you can always get away with it no matter what because there's a level where you can push it too far where it will take people out of it but if you can push it a little bit to just get that wow factor i think there's a fair trade that you could argue for I don't, I don't think ever want to hear Mola complain about anything in the in the audio because now it can be part of the soundtrack. As Shad already highlighted, you can good. complain about what's in the soundtrack. I think that's fine. I don't think Shad would complain about the soundtrack playing a sound that seems suitable for a blaster coming from a, a ship if it were in atmosphere just to satisfy us with the sound. It, it's not suit it's if it's not coming from the universe. <laughs> you know, this this applies to the Lord of the Rings trailer that they just released. They had like a horrible fucking choice of music. That doesn't match Horrible. at all, and if uh, and, you know, mm. just because it's not coming from in universe doesn't mean we can't be critical of it. Um, well, I, I think that's totally fine. Yeah, I'm because the problem I have before I can adopt, uh, and I'm not saying you guys have the same position, ER or Shad, is that uh, I find that even if a movie had a very very niche audience, the point of one person liking it, but let's make it a little bit more agreeable to you guys. A thousand people out of everyone in the world loved it, but everyone else thought it was shit. Would you guys be like, well, that's not good enough. It's got to be more than that. You've got to make changes to make it more uh, appealing. As opposed to, I would be like, no, this could be so niche, it could appeal to the very specific experiences those people have, and that we should be more focused on whether or not the thing itself is coherent within itself, as opposed to whether or not it's appealing to the entertainment values of the rest of the world. No, it doesn't have to be a utilitarian, uh, utilitarian thing. It's just, it's like someone just posted the uh, the, the definitions here, and uh... 
in the Discord, and I think I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty right about this. Uh, what? Because it says told for entertainment. Because, yeah, you you know what we're gonna say in response and also, to that, right? An account of yeah. past events in someone's life or an evolution of something. I would say what were the what you were trying to describe before a just a sequence of events would be more like reporting or. Well, when, when, Fringy, like a news when, story. When, when Fringy sits my, my, I don't know, my kids down, and he's like, I'm going to tell you a story about when I went to go for a pie. I went down that street, I got to the shop, I opened that door, I, I got that pie, I came home and I ate that pie. There we are. And if the kids said, that wasn't told for entertainment, and Fringy said, what, what, yeah, I did, I was trying to entertain, I'm sorry if I failed, but it was for entertainment. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Is that going to be the question? What are we to say about a retelling an account of a sequence of yep. events that you don't find entertaining is that yeah, it's content Let's I really find the word entertaining it, like it is, what's is, what do you mean by entertaining i get like, well so i guess to to just focus in on that that particular question you hear an account of a sequence of events and you don't mm -hmm. find it entertaining. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is entertaining, though? What, what is that why, why do you keep well, <laughs> just trying to get specifically an answer to that one well, question? Sorry to interrupt. Okay, I'm on. really... Uh, I'm going to get going. Part of that. Go ahead, like, Fringy, please. You add in By some me. part of the pie sorry, story me. where it was difficult for you to get that pie. I think your children would be much more enthralled by that rather than you... Well, well, sure. oh, I went out, I got a pie, I got a pie, here's your pie. But that's not my question. My Wait, question, is, question is: Is it a, is it a story? That's all, that's my question. Yeah. Is it a story? Uh, I mean, uh... I think the answer is obvious. <laughs> I'll do I'll do one I'll do one easier. No, I, I think there's I think there's two I... answers because by definition, I think the clinical answer is yes. But I, what's your answer to my uh, proposition before, where I said the layman kind of interpretation of what a story is, just the casual use of the term story in mm. language, yeah. more often refers to something that is has a purpose, is entertaining in some way, or at least interesting. I think this right. really comes down to intent, though, right? It's a, if the story is told for there entertainment. There are stories told to not entertain. Um, Ellie Weissel wrote Night, which was about his events in a concentration camp. And oh, no, I agree with you. I'm, I'm trying to Ellie figure out their definition. I 100% actually, I, I agree with you, Regs. I think that is one of the, the story has nothing to do with entertainment um, because you can tell. Well, it sounds like that would have had a lot of conflict involved in that kind of story, which would provide not entertainment per se, but it would be interesting. As a it's interesting. By the way, uh, Meme was saying he had to go. Oh, so. shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I, I, I heard you, yeah, you mate. <laughs> uh. Very well, Mr. Meme. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. Well, uh, I yeah, imagine no we'll worries. be wrapped up before you wake up. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? If not. Yeah. Oh, well, I've, I've got a commitment. Like, if there's by some miracle a space later on, I could theoretically pop back in. But obviously, there's probably not going to be much room as we're rotating through. But uh, yeah, I just got commitment thing so um yeah it's been good to hang out with everyone so yeah I'll, man i'll get going i'll catch you around see you dude yeah see you i, mean, I find that I interesting that, the, um that definition, the hold, definition of holding the yeah. attention of because if fringy was telling that pie story and he promised me like it was going to be really interesting and i held my attention all the way up to the end and i was disappointed would i not have been entertained by that definition well, I was about to say, by that definition, if a story bores you, then it's not a story. So, like, I, that's what I mean. Yeah, this and and if someone I told really you like to our definition, I think it's. I was really going to say, good. I do too. If someone told uh, the Lord of the Rings not because they wanted to entertain you, but because they wanted to inform you of, uh, I don't know, the changes from the original source to the the films in a legal sense, they are showing you these films because you need to know that. Like that doesn't make it not a story because they're showing it for reasons other than entertainment. Of course. So, with sure. your definition, according to your interpretation, what makes a good story? Coherency. Internal consistency. Coherency. The, the yeah. argument that would be appealed to I there is that I just, I'm not sure I, I agree with that. I would say a good story is one that achieves its purpose. Well, so what now the I have a question. To be a bad so story. Would you? Well, then well actually, I it guess. What's a? Would you say <laughs> that you would have, so it's a. You, so it's a bad story. It's a good wait, bad wait, story. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. The Matrix um, Resurrection. Chad, do you think you would? Uh, would you apply this specifically to stories in terms of achieving like their objective or arts broadly? Like, would you apply that to art in general? I think I could. I'd need to think about it a bit. Well, so, but just a surface uh, yeah, analysis. I feel it could. Yeah. 
that, that I guess you would be judging the success of an of a piece of art, whatever it may be, based on how well it achieves the objectives of the creator. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Um, so, the thing is, though, there are cases in which, or well, death of the author comes in. You know that concept where other so, people could find yes. value in it or a purpose in it separate to what the author did, right? Uh, and so. This is why well, so I, this would I, be I would say example. that it's not that it's I, not. There has to obviously be uh, another side to it, in addition to it. But I think I, a good starting point very much is achieving its addition. purpose. I, I don't oh. think the fact that you could say that there are other things that can apply to it discounts that as a very significant part to it. Well, well, just, I guess just, I'd like so, this real quick. Uh, I just want to let know. Like, uh, do you know that Destiny argued against me that the reason the sequels are much better than the prequels is because the prequels failed their purpose while the sequels succeeded their purpose? What the fuck? I know, right? How do you even go about like you know, yeah. starting to quantify that? I've got a question. Let's say that somebody sets out to create an abstract painting. Like mm. they want to specifically create something that would fit into Bring the genre. Me, I've got an example of painting lined up. Well, so, okay. Um, and so they go to make their abstract painting and instead they create a hyper detailed like brilliantly rendered baroque painting and they look at it and go ah oh, shit this isn't what i intended what is that piece of art is it good or is it bad well see this is an interesting point because there are other standards you could appeal to and so yeah. it goes back into my whole spaghetti bolognese it goes into my spaghetti bolognese you know um thing about if the author, sorry, if the creator of that artwork wanted something abstract and then accidentally made something else that was still good by another standard, it fails as an abstract thing. Like according to the standard of what an abstract art is, it's a piece of crap abstract art by that, you know, objective definition placed upon it. Uh, then you could say it's a really good, you know, realism piece of art, different standard you're applying to or sorry, appealing to. So if but and, so, and, and, and you could you could also say that the uh, you could, you can then also fi uh, be able to make a judgment on the talent of the creator of that work based on them able to achieve what they set out to try and make and if they is, can never achieve what they're trying to make they're really bad at achieving that specific type of work if it's abstract mm, art they're re they're but, really bad abstract artists aren't they if we, what if I said, is it a good piece of art? Not is it a good piece of Baroque art or abstract art? Is it a good piece of art? What is the answer? First, let me hear what your answer is. <laughs> oh, is my answer to is it a good piece of art? Yes. If it's like an incredible painting, I don't really care what the guy intended to make. He's made something that's got a lot of merit, even if it's not what he intended. So how do you determine if it's good? Like as in just... The, what standards you're using to determine so maybe art isn't the best example because if i went for a story it's like i wanted to create a mystery or maybe i wanted to create a um fantasy film and then you just make a science fiction story where everything is rooted deeply in technology there's nothing that is beyond uh what we understand about reality and so you've created a great science you've created a great story but it's absolutely not what you intended to make if it's internally consistent it's like well you've succeeded at creating an internally consistent story that's the framework I'd use. I'm Not keen on hearing that. Does consistency hold the presentation on your hands? No matter what you're well, I, I, Before we go too far, I, I want to hear Shad's answer to Fringy's question. No, I agree with that. I don't see how it contradicts what I'm saying. Though. On that abstract uh, art being a good piece of art? What do you mean? Fringy's well, question. a good maybe. piece of art oh, without oh, any oh, genre oh. at all. You know, like yeah, without without just generally, genre. according to all standards, if you can find any standard in which it qualifies or, it, you know, achieves to a level of quality, then of course it's good according to that standard, isn't it? All these words. Well, that's not, not basically tautological. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's of high quality because it meets the standards of having high quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and you can't but appeal if you to can determine what that is. standards are opposite from one another. Why do you guys... Why? Well, I don't want to so how do you, you square that away? Following this somewhere. Mm, I'd want to see all the different examples because this is something I'd want to think about more to determine the exact yeah, different examples of what. No, because there there are like already art, a or... lot of things that exist in terms of things that we gauge things against. So with fiction or stories, for instance, there are lots of different types of stories, and we gauge it according to the standards that already exist. Like, is it a good love story? Is it a good action adventure? Is it a good this or that? And 
sometimes it can be good according to multiple things, but sometimes to achieve quality in one, it would be have to absolutely be terrible in quality of another. That doesn't contradict the fact that it can still be good. Well, so when we say that it becomes terrible in quality to another, let's say I write a science fiction story where all of the relationships are platonic. It's like, have I written a terrible romance story? Does that really follow as like a sort of statement? Sure, why not? Yeah. D do you reckon it does? Like, you've created a terrible romance story. It's like, there is no romance. Yeah. Well, again, it's just not the genre. Like, so it's like the distinct the distinction almost is mood. It just doesn't make much of a difference. Yeah, but all right. Good example. Uh, She-Hulk is a terrible, terrible superhero show. You know why? There's very little superhero elements in it at all. People might say, um, oh, what are they trying to make? Are they trying to make an Ali McBeal um, uh, lore show? Well, it's actually still pretty bad in that regard, even with the you know, intent or purpose that they were trying to make it for. But we can apply standards that exist. And one of the things that She-Hulk was meant to be was to be a type of superhero show, but it's crap according to that you know, standard that exists. Because it's the amount of superheroing done? Yeah, look, if, if the scenes were really good, but there was only one superhero scene per episode... Which is what it stands as right now, I think. Or let's just say one per two episodes. Would you still consider it bad? Maybe not. What? I'd have to look at it. Depends on how. Well, good let, let's answer. use an easy example. Let's take the movie Joker. And instead of the police capturing him in the TV studio, Batman swoops in and grabs him, and he's on screen for three seconds. Is that a good superhero movie? Uh, What's maybe. I, where are you guys going with this? Yeah, yeah I have absolutely. Well, no well, idea. We're, yeah, oh, yeah, I can, I can help you out. Joker is actually cool. considered in the superhero genre by a lot of people just because of the fact that it's from a source that's superhero. But I, I doubt you guys would say it's crap, right? Well, why, why oh, do, you, Mahler, Why do you guys keep going to like the one person thing? Like, what's the because what's you're the logic we're, we're there? using it to ex okay, if you. I can if explain you give that. Us, when okay, you have ahead. the TLJ moment with the knife, right, where they stab Ray in the back, but you, they don't because it disappears, everybody's responses and defenses of that are how it doesn't matter, we shouldn't care about it, it's irrelevant, leave it alone, why you nip it? Nobody says, no, that didn't happen. Because it did happen. Right. Nobody can deny that that is what took place. It is objectively the case. Meanwhile, when someone says, that scene was bad, the throne scene, because I just fucking, it's not entertaining at all, the choreography's terrible. And the guy next to me says, what do you mean? That was the most entertaining Star Wars scene I have ever seen. And then I go, okay, fine. Well, 10 people over here say it's not. And then that guy goes, 100 people over here say it is. Mm -hmm. We're, we right, start so to encounter an issue of, are we just going to wait until we have the most people? Right. Objectivity is the thing that gets you to zero people. And that's your... Point it's, of it's humans it are not rational enough, I don't think, to where that'll probably. It's well, I, just, I think it's important that we can recognize like what is versus how we feel about it. Right, yes, but people the finding object, something interesting is external to the thing itself. I completely agree with the objective measurement tool, which I like, and I mean, I watch your videos like religiously. I, I, what you do is amazing. I just, as far as a story, the goal is to hold human beings attention Agreed. and really if you think about it you could even break that up is it into... necessarily human beings <laughs> actually i, well, I, say, I, I mean, don't agree but i wanted to i, I mean, don't actually because you... i don't agree with that there's some other there's someone well, else i wanted to talk about i'm i'm happy for because i'm assuming your question is going to eventually lead to like if it's entertaining nobody and how could it be considered good right Something well like i mean the more attention it holds the better it is right and and e each person has a certain amount of attention to give and so the way to hold more attention as more people are interested in it. So, sorry, just, just for I mean, that seems like just, a metric that you could look just, at. Just for clarification, you said the more attention it holds, the better it is? Well, the goal so, of the story just, is to entertain and to entertain. Yeah, just yes or no, just for clarification. Attention. What is it? What's the question? Did you say that the more interesting a story is, the better it is? Or well, the more attention else? it holds. The more, the more attention it holds. Mm -hmm. All right, so if the, the prestige yes. was made by one person and you never showed it to anyone else, it would be worse than Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, obviously. No, that's so not NCIS obviously. is the best show ever made, then. Well, I was about to say, surely Transformers <laughs> destroys this idea. Because, like, look, yeah. everyone's paying attention Hang on, hang on, though, though. But really, look, is, that, is that an honest, you know, rebuttal, though? Because if something truly is good... How likely is it that no one's going to like it? Yes, of course. Yes. 
what, so what about the, 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 pres- well, the pres- No, the prestige is brilliant, was, and the, re- no, the, the prestige is brilliant, it, and as a result, yeah. people do like more it people are going to see it. Yeah, exactly. no. In my oh, hypothetical, it was put in a chest and buried yeah. in the ocean, and it never was seen by anyone except the people who made it. It's 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 unknown to the rest of humanity. So, yeah, so is it better than even, multiverse of madness? It's not even. You're not even capable. We're not even capable of rating it then. Oh, that's like that's kind of our point. You can rate it without looking at audience reactions. Yeah. Okay. Let's say let's say that you are one of the people who made it. So, now so you know. Hold on. So for the you, sake of the hypothetical, you, to make the, it clear. The whole point of your your way of looking at movies is to rate it without any audience feedback or intervention. I, I get that, and really the only criteria you can judge it on is logical consistency, because of the getting you down to like the the objective measure where you're talking about you know zero people versus whoever well, I, I get all that, that but like I, I, mean, I just feel like we should be past the like argument either. out of popularity you know no 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 because just, going back on what you're saying uh rags if the prestige was buried you know in the thing and no one ever saw it right how could you determine if it's good or not is your rebuttal because, the answer is is because it's good well, no it's, yeah, yeah, but that's a bad rebuttal it. You could you could determine that it's logically coherent or consistent, but you couldn't tell how much attention it would hold. Yeah, sure, but that would be the point, right? How much attention it hold isn't a part of our criteria for what we're determining. I that understand true. that, yes. <laughs> but also, its capacity to be able to grab attention because it's written so well is going to be a part of it, isn't it? I mean, if if you were if you were a time traveler and you're, it took a movie and you showed ten different groups of people the same movie from different ten, ten, ten different time periods. The movie's quality would never change. It would be the exact same movie. Unless uh, we and were, by the logic, perceived entertainment would be different based uh, on ten different groups. And Chad, with what you I, I just agree. said about how, like, surely how well how written you... it is is indicative of how much attention it'll hold. What that sounds like to make a comparison right. is, you don't like any of the burgers McDonald's is selling, and you check them, and you're like, well, why don't you like them? And you go, don't like tomato sauce. It's like, also, oh, it's got, it's nothing to do really with the, it's specifically the tomato sauce. Because, like, why are we even talking about attention if you've built that assumption on top of how good the writing is, which is built on top of, I assume, how consistent it is? That's that's my problem with the attention or entertainment, like, caveat being added, is it's kind of arbitrary, because, like, entertainment or attention aren't necessarily going to be contingent on the writing or the actual filmmaking, because, yeah, like... Yeah, it could be I, super subjective. I, so many different people can just have their own reactions. Again, Transformers, like, it, th- those movies, like absolutely like vibe with people they watch it it holds their attention because like they make money but like mm-hmm. again it's it's for reasons that are clearly outside of the filmmaking because when you look into the filmmaking it's not particularly good so it's so you're looking the problem yeah. that you're having is there's like a divergent between like a movie that holds a bunch of attention but it's just dog shit is that the difficulty yeah, because there, there's just so many anomalies. There's so many examples you can use. And there's so many examples on the opposite that are well-written but did not get any yeah, attention. Like, we're just um, people I think, um, them didn't even know. So so you... I wouldn't make a coral. Yeah, I just... Like, it, it, see, the it stays the it, same. Like, if, if you showed that movie, to, if, if you took the time traveler, right, and he showed the movie to the 10 ancient Egyptians, and they're just thrilled at it because there's magic moving pictures, the film doesn't become amazing because everyone you show it to is incredibly entertained by it. Right. It just yeah. means that. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Depending on what standard you're using, and I think absolutely, if oh, they'd be mine. looking at a completely different standard. No, 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 no. Well, the ancient Egyptians, like, yeah. For for instance, the Iliad, right? Is that as entertaining for most modern people as Lord of the Rings? Probably no. not. Probably not. Doesn't change how good it is. Well, I mean, good is subjective, Rags. You can't say that. Yeah. Your no, criteria it's, it's, is no, how it's, logically it's, it's, consistent no, 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 it is. All right, I, I, I feel industry, like we're going to have like, to call you, it add to this. We just... Let's go to the other extreme. That was... Good. What Adam just said, that was the signal that we have just yeah. completed yeah. a full circle. There's no need to go around again. Yeah. <laughs> I think genuinely... Like, no, seriously, to try and make some kind of conclusion here is like... I I think all of us typically with using however we've judged our standards, however we've concluded them, we come to very similar results, but we often still disagree. Like, um, mm. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, ER, Shad, and myself probably all have a different opinion on No Way Home, for example. I think. On uh, what now? No Way Home? I don't even know if you've seen it. No Way Home. Uh, 
that's the one spider man the, uh, the oh, spider mans yeah yeah we we would we would probably this is, i think uh and that's totally 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 fine the reason why we get along i think is because we have similar um criteria mm -hmm. the crossover and stuff but like uh right. this is the, the people are often i think baffled by the efab standard because they're just like you've told me how to make it make sense not how to make it fun or interesting and uh my like genuine response to that is like i know that's, even that's though because, we often like, do this, that actually the, i the like is, the efab standard it's like it's cool so well I, I, I and, and the, well it, this is the thing i the the wholly um consistent standard right that uh you know i like you know same with uh, adam i love i think it's really important because for something to be fun you need it to be consistent to right. get the right payoff uh, absolutely but the thing is though i think like for me as a writer my intent when i'm going to write a novel is to write a really entertaining, engaging novel, not to write the right, most consistent yeah. story. Uh, but I know consistency is going to be so damn crucial to achieve that. But I also know in other areas, there's going to be some times where I'm going, might push the consistent, even contradict it, where if I can see yeah, yeah. it to the best of my judgment, that it's going to make it a more enjoyable story. If um, a question you could pose us, for example, would be, uh, what do you, what would you guys do in a universe where every movie made complete sense, but we still had this level of disparity in terms of how much everyone's enjoying all these different things? Like, what is EFAP at that point? Is it just defunct? I'd be like, oh, what we would do then? We would just move on to talking about tendencies, basically. Like, we we take, let's call it, uh, Aliens and T two. Which one is more? Which one's better? Let's pretend for a second that they both make one hundred percent sense, but they they still exist as they are. Be like, so what do you do with that? And then we would probably talk for a while about what they're doing, what it's appealing to, why people get endeared to it. And then if someone were a guest, let's say an aspiring writer, and they're like, yeah, but guys, what what should I write then? Should I write a sci-fi about like kind of like Aliens, or should I write my sci-fi kind of like E2? And we'd be like, well, I, I, I mean, they're, they're different choices. They have similar wider appeals. I think T2 probably has the larger appeal. Actually, would it be Aliens? This is the thing. We would have all these kinds of conversations, and I'd just, I think we'd come up with way less definitive answers. We'd just come up with recommendations. For example, should the villain kill the hero in the end? Should the hero kill the villain in the end? Should they both, like, kill each other? Or should neither of them die, and should the hero spare him? Which is the best ending? I'd be like, oh, okay, well, okay. so I, from that perspective, here's the thing, right? I actually feel there are definitive answers, but they're very hard to find. And the the more talented the writer, the more they'll be able to figure out what so, are the best options in those in those. I, I don't necessarily disagree. Like if, if that aspiring writer said, which one of those will appeal the most? Uh, let's just pretend for the mm -hmm. sake of the argument that we concluded it's the villain being killed by the hero or spared even. Let's just say it's one of those two. If the guy said, oh, I really want to write it so that both of them kill each other. It works with this theme I'm running with, or this, 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 this and, and and if I, if he was to then accept, like I know it'll have lesser appeal, but I think I, it's a choice I really want to make. Like I I wouldn't then tell him he's making the wrong choice. I'd be like, all right, that's, as long as you recognize that. Oh, those could it's be the funny results. you bring that up. That's literally the uh, one of the questions I had with my own novel. Uh, mm. How it ends, I could have gone one of two extremes, and I don't want to give spoilers. Uh, but that was a really fun thing to consider because I did need to try and consider what would be most appealing, what would be most satisfying from an almost poetic sense in terms of the arc of the story, what would satisfy me the most, what would then, and then lastly, this is an interesting one that I did consider, what would give highest chances of financial success in the story as well? Um, because one of those decisions limited that last option quite significantly and those are all ones to consider and it depends on therefore what is my purpose what's my what do i want to achieve out of the story and depending on what i choose i value most then that's how i would gauge it all i would say I, uh, about the uh, purpose of the framework to me personally is i want to have something that i can rely on consistently that I don't run into areas that are incredibly murky for which finding the answer becomes difficult to impossible. And I think that that happens more frequently if the definition of like good in any way, shape or form is tethered to what most people like or what is generally worked. It seems like it's, um, if, if I can build a framework that's a little bit, I guess more all encompassing, perhaps less uh, guiding in terms of what subject matter to explore in a story or what themes would be worthwhile. Like if you can just have something that is, just as long as you make it make sense, 
whatever idea that you arrive upon, whatever idea inspires you or interests you, you can make it work as long as you adhere to this relatively straightforward rule set, which is, you know, how does everything connect together in the story and does it all follow? Yeah, well, see, again, when you say you can make it work if you adhere to that, I don't necessarily agree. Yeah, what do you mean? I neither that do That shouldn't I. be the only guidance guideline to try and make a story work. There's I never said it was the only guideline. Well, it sounded like that that was the final. Sure, but as a really. prime, yeah, coherency is great and all, but uh, and uh, there's got to be a sense of intrigue, entertainment as well. You can't have those things without coherency. It's yes, true. You can. Maybe entertaining. Well, you can. Because, uh, you, you can, can absolutely have coherency. Subjective. Absolutely <laughs> elevates those things. You can have entertainment without it because entertainment's subjective. And it's pulled no, from no, no, out I, of like the material. Like comedy is itself. a great example. There are great comedies that purposely make a mockery of consistency to great effect. That's why I said entertaining doesn't need coherency. Oh, did you change it? Because you oh. said that. Yeah, I said it originally. Maybe. Then I instantly okay, okay. said something else. Maybe we shouldn't say Because entertaining is super that. subjective and it's not part of the material itself. Which is why many no, of the dog shit videos the thing is though, on EFAP are extremely popular and everyone loves them and they're extremely entertaining you, to most of the people who watch them but they're still terrible would you agree that you can classify things into general trends that you know audiences would find entertaining and that you could use those as frameworks well there, I, there can frameworks to what to entertain to entertain the people who like those types of work you can use general trends of what's entertaining to entertain people yes okay good well, yeah, like I said, I mean, hero killing villain, right? Like that's... that's what I'm saying. That's a that's a very those are the types of framework and guidelines that you can work with in a story that's not wholly, you know, appealing to consistency to try and write a successful story that people who, you know, a you're trying to appeal by well, like, what makes a story successful. Like for instance, I like I like epic fantasy. And so I'm going to work with the trends and what this audience of people like most, and also what I like because I'm one of the members of those audiences to make a story that satisfies that, you know, um, those types of people. Do you think that Why does there's that, a um... meaningful difference between trends being prescriptive or descriptive? What do you mean? Elaborate. Do you think that a trend, you should do something because it's a trend or trends emerge from things that tend to be common? Isn't it both? That depends on you. If you're, if you're following a trend, right, because could, it's a trend, but, you're only, you're specifically doing one of those things. But then it could be both depending on which way you're approaching it. The example I gave was yeah, only one of them. Well, before you go off on this random circle here, <laughs> unfortunately my schedule and, and yours did not work out particularly well this year. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run. Gosh, uh, Don. I, tell, I, I told you I told you I had very short amount of time. I'm sorry. Um, but thank you. And hey, 200 man, that's fucking incredible. You guys we'll, are superstars, absolute rock stars. We'll grab you back for something, especially a game. Cool. Yeah, we'll hang on, man. I yeah, just, this year nice it didn't work out, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, it so. it kind of worked in the sense that a lot of people didn't yeah, even have to come just on. You know, weren't here for it. Yeah, you yeah. missed it. It is what it is. I love you guys. You you've done such a wonderful job. I can't wait to be mm -hmm. here for two fifty. Well, yeah, we'll be here. It'll sneak right? up on us in no time. Love you, dude. We'll see you around. All right, man. Have a good bye, night. Bye bye. Good, good talk. Well, well. All right. Oh. Now that we've <laughs> figured out how storytelling works, I think we've talked in enough circles at this point. Can yeah, we? Totally. Can we gaze at the beautiful mug of Rich Evans now? We can. I'm totally on board. With uh, that. If you guys insist, I could talk about this one forever. Anyway, it's maybe one of maybe my favorite should, subjects. We should do that sometime, Shad. We'll have a ten-hour thing, just me and you. All right. You got to keep it to the one, <laughs> so that I just... people can trap each other in their question vortexes. The thing that's frustrating for me is like we're not even really getting into like the meat of what holds people's attention. Okay, you, like, you that, motherfucker, you're trying to drag us me. back in. What <laughs> holds really? that for me is yes. like the most yes. interesting you're part of storytelling. You're playing you here, Adam. Look, you, we watched the other video. You literally Your said... Your words will you know, not stand. Look, just one last thing. You literally said, you're like, this, this, situ this is why this situation is interesting, right? Because, you know... Tony Stark's dad was a friend of Captain America. So there's like this this thing going on here that's that's dynamic and interesting. That holds your attention. Why? Why is that dynamic and interesting? 
So anyway. Yeah, let's move on. Let's watch the video. <laughs> I would love to have that conversation too, Adam. You see, I mean, geez, uh, the like, this is. I feel like we're talking about like the spelling aspect of writing when we could be talking about like the real meat of like how do we? We're we're literally in a business where we're monetizing. I'm so glad attention. you said it's like spelling because you need to be able to like spell in order to write. <laughs> you do, messages. you do. It, it, it's essential. It is totally essential, and I I agree with you. I agree with everything that you're saying. And like, but you're not are... going to drag us back in here. I no, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just question just briefly, but we have back to. RLM. We're gonna we're gonna Great. move on. Shad, we can you you're well Shad, you're welcome to come on our show sometime if you want to talk about this. We can go around. I would around. love that. Yeah. I, I would yeah. love that. So why haven't you invited me? Yeah. Come on. Well, I, I'm inviting wow. you now. I just did. What Gosh. are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. I am I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm honored by 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 the uh, offer. I'll reach yeah. out. Let's let's Dude, DM anytime. one another and work it out. Yeah. Love to. What's going on with this wet slap here? <laughs> People in chat would have an idea why you said that. <laughs> what's why are you? What's this wet slap you're giving? It's us not here? even wet slap. Read it properly. It's wet wet slamp. Yeah. What the, what's a slamp? You don't know what a slamp is. Speaking of spelling, what are you Captain America? Important. Are you ignorant on everything? I don't know what a slamp a tramp is. Together. Oh, so it is. Okay. Shows. I figured that was obvious, man. Intuitive. So uh, that makes sense with the wet. Now I totally get it. Yeah. Okay. There it does go. make sense. Alrighty then. I guess we'll Shall we hit some play? more opinion. Yes. But I'll say, because you guys liked the other episodes more than I did, uh, because you were paid by Disney, clearly. <laughs> that was a real thing people were saying, because people are idiots. Yes, Disney did paid me to say it was say super that? I mean, super old. you'll find I mean, them. They're I, out there. I, well, no, no, wait, wait. I, I think people probably did likely say that, but hyperbolically, as in we're so disappointed with you, you probably paid right, by Disney yeah. just as a... But you know, the... the like people have done that with us. We got that when, um, like, what was it? I think it might have been it was something to do with Disney. Was it no way home. Oh, it could have been no way that's home. A Sony yeah, film that's mainly financed and distributed by well, Sony. I and think the... people see MCU and they assume Disney, which isn't like yeah. crazy. I mean, well, I, I, in all fairness, I thought you guys were paid off by you know Disney as well with that one. Like, just disappointed. Yeah, hard to believe the check bounced. Yeah, cheap bastards. No. All they right. paid us with the CGI budget. There wasn't much left. Damn it. Okay. Yes, yes. That, that was clearly a video sponsored by Disney. These last two episodes were pretty decent Vader. That was a pretty... Uh, it's so shit. It's so... No! It's so much it's you expect so so Vader is Vader. an absolute retard in these episodes. Yeah, but here he's entertaining a lot of people, so he must uh, be a pretty good character. Hey. <laughs> Cheap shot across oh. the bow. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing. Oh, right, right. They absolutely I, I expect better from how, Red how Letter short? Media specifically. Because they should know. People who are really into movies and who talk about them all the time and review them, I'm like, oh, it hurts to hear Red Letter Media talk about how good these episodes were when they're so bad. It's demoralizing a little bit, but you're like, eh, I don't know. Ain't nothing new. They praised, uh, whatever, The, the Force Awakens. Highly. Yeah. I don't know if they still yeah. praise it. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, yeah, probably um, at this point. I think in, in the Rise of Skywalker fit, yeah. review, I think Jay specifically said like the worst thing to happen in cinema in the last decade was the success of The Force Awakens or something like that. Something similar yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. But but that, that, was could, little, that, that, could, that could mean a couple things though, couldn't it? I guess it could, <laughs> yeah. especially from his perspective. Could, yeah, he might is, say it is a good film, anyway. but it created clones or, or or a model that everyone wanted to copy you know i Maybe. don't know exactly what because you, you, uh, you were right thinking about the whole like they would never concede that the sequels are worse than the prequels i don't think because it's i would at this point argue it's like they they staked a lot of their positions on star wars yeah the prequels of course. being the worst content that destroyed everything yeah sorry i missed though, what rag said what uh what? the j quote no no something about entertainment i missed it I guess I found Vader entertaining. Oh, for sure. Jay said that did. it's like the best, like really good Vader content the last two episodes. A lot of people did, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people did. A lot of people yeah. found it entertaining. Yeah. Um, that would make it entertaining for them, definitionally, though, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, tautologically, oh, yes, that is true. If you were to phrase it that way, that would be correct, yes. So do you consider it entertaining then? To No. In, <laughs> I, no, I don't consider it entertaining, no. I mean, so uh, then it, it then it would be impossible for anyone to find it entertaining. To to be That's to be true. people clearly find it entertaining. I was so I, therefore I don't it know must be I, entertaining I, in some way, Shad. I you might say that I'm entertained it by it. it. If it is objectively not entertaining, no one would be able to find it entertaining. If it was objectively we're, not entertaining, that were we be moving true. on from this? What happened? Well, no, no, Rags what mentioned it. Happened? I'm just exploring it further. I like this subject, so I have no objection. Bring well, it just, to, just to clarify, my, my point is: there's obviously a scale. Okay, it is entertaining <laughs> to at least some level. It, it must be. We agree Otherwise, that it is no entertaining find... to some level to many people. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. That was never in doubt. Well, because I was just going to say that okay. I think I might be comfortable in saying I found this part entertaining, but I was more so laughing at it. Um, I found it entertaining watching it with you guys. I, I would, don't know, I don't know how entertaining. entertaining. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's okay, a wait. Word. Entertaining when he is says, such a floomp word. When he says, so you've come here to kill me, I think all of us were entertained by that line. That was, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true, yes. Wrong, in the wrong way, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, not for their intention. Uh, supposed to be laughing at the... It did not fulfill the their purpose with us, I no. think. It held your attention, though, right? It certainly did. <laughs> I'd say so. Also, we got two new folk who have just joined us. That Star Wars girl, Anna, and Gl Gledis. 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 Hello. Hello. You gotta really draw oh, out um, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you... You said you had watched Kenobi? Why? Um, I was told to because it would be funny, and it was. <laughs> I had a lot of fun watching it because it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right. Um, I don't. Dumb by the way, very entertaining. Entertaining. I've done this throughout. I have no idea who's not and who has met anybody. So I'm just sort of like playing and just like go nuts, say hi to each other. I guess. Um, hi rags. Hi Molly. Um, hello. Hi. Hello. hello, everybody. Hello. Hi Glidus. Hi, hi you are. I know you from Twitter. Hi rags. Hi. hi I do too. Hi chat. Hi hi Sitch. Hi chat. Hi neurotic. Oh, he's gone. Hi chat. Uh, here's the the link to the watch together. We're currently listening to Red Letter Media's opinions on Kenobi. It's really okay. Bad. <laughs> oh, tension, I was bro. trying to exaggerate bad. intensely. When, when I said bad, when I said bad, what I really meant was it's awesome. Yes. Completely true. How's the consistency hold up? That's what I. That's what I really. It's consistent know. with our first video so far. I was actually so. going to say, yeah. The, uh, if anything, yeah. they said they enjoyed the next two episodes more than the first four they reviewed. Hmm. That hurts. Well, yeah, Anna. All you've missed so far is they said this is some really great Vader content in episodes five and six. I assume you oh. agree. Hmm. You just got here. You can't be sleeping yet. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sleeping. I'm trying to. I don't know. It's coming through weird for my speakers. No, he's well. She just talks like that. Hey. Well, you sound weird too, so I don't know what's no, going on. Damn. She's going after America I know. too. I know. I'm American. Oh, yeah. Well, you sound weird. I know. I know. No, it's just coming right, weird through my speakers, so I can't right. really hear you settled. very well. Oh, well, fix oh, well, it. Well, don't have us come through your speakers. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Madness. Oh, yeah, switch the headphones, right. mayhaps. Madness. Go on to this little cog on Discord, and then you go into your settings. Discord's like, yeah. what do you want? What do you Those want? Settings. What do you want? I do that. It just sounds Crazy robot. Settings. I always have problems with Discord, so. Oh, sure. Blame Discord. Right. Yeah. It's the only time I have problems streaming. Everything else works fine. Ah, I you see. I'm using Discord. It's the bane of my existence. Uh -huh. Well, maybe Discord feels that way about you, that everything's fine for you everybody except that Anna. <laughs> everything's working out for all these people, but Anna joins and suddenly it all falls apart. Yeah. I know, I know. Bad whammon. Exactly. Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe you have a like a boyfriend that could help you out or oh, like, a father wow. around you. Yeah. It smooth, you. smooth, right? Yeah. Smooth. Miss Sonya. It's 2 30 in the morning, so boyfriend cannot help right now. Damn. It's oh. girl time. At 2.30 a.m., it's girl time. I mean, <laughs> have you looked in the settings? Are you going to look? No, no, I did. I did. It's just, it just always comes through weird from Discord, so I can kind of hear you. Oh. I mean, it sounds good to me. Oh, I guess you no, can she, hear us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Their voice and video, output settings, and then to you hear choose us. the 
thing. Can you hear the watch together? I don't know. I hasn't played the watch together, has he? Well, let's play some. Oh, well, I got it. All right. Pretty exciting fight scene. Well, the the flag. Jesus now we can okay. all hear the watch together. Here we go. What happened? You're so you're the you're, not, you're, you're, you're clearly doing this. No, it's oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? Maybe I'll just here use, try. You no, know, just use now. use your settings and change your output to not be your speakers and have it be whatever like you're wearing on your ears. Yeah. Well, I don't have headphones. She's I like, use I'm those. not wearing any. Well, on my go and ears. go. Come you've on. got some kind of device that inputs sound into your ears. Wait, you're not saying that you always have sound coming through the speakers, right? Mm hmm No, you you have like headphones or earbuds or something. I have an iPhone, and this needs an auxiliary thing. Well, yeah, but it came with. What do you normal? How do you live? How do I live? <laughs> how does your life work yeah, like this? How do you? You, you don't. Know, you do not have a device that puts sound into your ears. You really don't. And not for the computer anymore. Wait. So when when not you're on the computer anymore, when you're on other streams, a lot of people don't. Does I the mean... sound always come through your speakers? That can't be true. From you guys, when a no, no, video no, from like it? like Simcast, for example. Do you where does where's the sound coming into you? Is it from the speakers or is it from someone else? It's from my roadcaster. Can you do that now? Can you, you do that? I, I do. I'd set on that now. Wait, oh. Well, wait, so is it, are we saying, are you suggesting it's fixed? Well, no, it, it's been that way, so I don't know what the problem is. Like, you guys shouldn't be able to hear it when you play it. Well, Last it's coming through your microphone. You... It's coming through my microphone? That's, That's the only way you can get it's sound from you. Could we do a sound check? Play the. Just try again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Before that, when, Before he's, that, fighting, when he's fighting mm, Reva. Reva. Yeah, still yeah, no, yeah. it's a. It's yeah, Grand, Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, I can hear mm. it. That's so weird. I had my microphone muted, so you guys shouldn't be able to hear that. What is what? I mean, go to your input. What's your input device? Go to go to your settings, video, voice, and video. It has your input device and your output device. Okay, my you input have, well, is my microphone, which is my yeah. my roadcaster, and then the output is speakers. All right. Do you have any other output device? Mm. Any other option? Here. I just set it directly to my speakers. But, but do you have any other option? Now well, I can't hear change. you. Had iPhone and headphones, right? You know, I have Bluetooth ones somewhere. I will try to go find them. I will be right back. It might, yeah, it might be necessary. It might be. Well, I, I mean, you know, I don't like to say it, but... I'll stay if she's gonna echo the whole video. Obviously, so <laughs> something has we're to pretty be done. decent oh, Vader. Really? That was a pretty exciting fight scene. The well, the, the the last episode fight, but even before that, when he's fighting Riva and he's putting in like no effort because yeah. he doesn't have to. Yeah, he doesn't have to because she does all those weird Dark Souls rolls for no reason. Hey, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I I know all the fight scenes are garbage. I have a fight scene autopsy I did on my channel breaking all the fight scenes down in the series. Which mm. fight scene specifically did they say was pretty decent though? They're saying both the was final the fight with Vader and Kenobi and the fight with Reaver and Vader. So the final fight doesn't have complete crap. There actually is the occasional complex bit of choreography that's half decent, but most of it's crap. The Reva one was pretty dog crap all over. Hold it, he he disarms her by kicking her in the shin <laughs> at one point. You've never done that? Friggin' retarded. Well, oh my one God. of the things beyond the choreography that's bad is the camera work, dude. Like, all of it is, like, handheld and just shaken oh, around and worst. shaky. It, it looks so... Cuts. It's so uncoordinated and like not purposeful. Like the, the the prequels, like say what you will about the choreography, but at least like they they shot those like so clearly and like on, yeah. It's, it's... The choreography in the prequels is top tier. Oh yeah, your your and... Revenge of the Sith breakdown. Yeah, yeah. Dad, I yeah. I needed your soul when I was in that call, and Destiny was saying the fight was oh, way better. In the oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, oh God. man, I want to come on. <laughs> that was it pain, because yeah, and I think it was, at one point there was like an, a hint of the idea of like, as we don't just judge fights by choreography, it's like entertainment or emotional value. I think was what was said. Because there's no emotional value in the fights in the prequels at all, according to some people. Which, well, I think that's unfair. I'm going to say it. Yeah, You're free to have that perspective, unfair. but I, I think that you should reconsider. Wait, I should reconsider? 
No, like to those people who don't find it All right, yeah. emotionally, you know, in any way, kind of. You got to feel something when Obi Wan screams and runs after Maul. Like you got to feel something, right? Oh, I dude, mean the, the, the fight between Obi Wan, Anakin, and Count Dooku instead of Revenge of the Sith, dude. When like Obi Wan gets taken out of the fight, and then Anakin ends up killing him at the end. Like there's there's a bunch of stuff going on in that fight scene. So Master Kenobi, you disappoint me. Fucking great. <laughs> <sighs> oh, do <Christopher> do. Lee. <laughs> Gone, but not forgotten. And he's just kind of like standing there. He's like, you're not going to do anything to me. It's like, okay, that feels kind of like Vader. This felt just like a sequel. That, that feels like first Vader part only really constituted a very minor part of that fight scene. There was a lot of other fight scenes where they actually exchange blows, which is crap. If he's just gauging art, you know, it's good yeah. because he's... Or stop Fader use force points. in a way that I guess makes sense against a far inferior opponent. I'm like, <sighs> yeah, I, I suppose. Do you remember when Vader got tricked because they got out of the in their little extra spaceship behind the other <laughs> spaceship? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Such a bizarre moment. Like bait and switch just to like temporarily change the stakes to make you go, ah! and then it's like, oh no, they're okay. It's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> to Revenge of the Sith, like the next film. Well, that's that's kind of the problem with it. It's, it's weird. It's sort of a sequel to Revenge of the Sith. It's sort of a prequel to A New Hope, which means no one can really do a whole lot. Hmm. Uh, you could have done a do heck any. of a lot. I mean, yeah, you could what? do a Ooh. hell of a lot. I find your uh, you, have to, you just have to keep it very low-key. Uh, can't have a hell of a well, lot that... Well, yeah, you, that, who you do it with. Like, yeah. you, know, you can have characters we have never met before. Was like doing scaling, right? If you very important stuff. if you're trying to explain this as like if there was a huge political strife and battle in a very very minor part of Tatooine in relation to some Tuscans versus some you know, like, uh, cultural upheavals and block it. If you consider that to be well, no, that's a minor thing that no one cares about. You you require like a planet exploding for it to be considered a big change or whatever. Like okay, I guess you're right, but that's we can have huge, important, and amazing and interesting things happen. But don't fuck with the continuity of episode yeah. three or four. Like that. I mean, in episode four, it's just like one line where they say that they've what dissolved the Imperial Senate. Which I mean, yeah, you got loads to play like, with. Like that's a like that's a seasons worth of content. The takeover of a Senate by an Empire. I mean, that's like who knows what that would entail. That's a whole can of worms that you can open up if you want to. Please don't touch it though. You're gonna <laughs> ruin it. Chad said, "Why are you covering this again, Pain? It's like this is new. I'm not covering it again. This is new." <laughs> Uh, I, I, people look I feel bad to tell them that. Like, this, you, you, chat, you're not ready for what yeah, they're going to be saying. Yeah, this is a new hell you haven't experienced. Yet. I legit when I was when I was collecting these clips, I was in a call with Fringy. I had to play him some of the things they were saying because I couldn't fucking believe it. <laughs> I'd seen this video before this, and I, I was like, I don't remember. I blocked this out of my memory. I couldn't believe it was so fucking bad. But we'll get there. And I kind of like the little. Surreal. It is surreal, yeah. Which means no, Which one, means can no really one can do really do a whole lot. Oh no. Oh, that's going oh, again. Oh, oh. Back. <laughs> and I put headphones in. Have you, have you <laughs> put you the sound, is the sound outputting through the headphones though? I was going to say, it's pretty clean to the well, point where it feels like that, uh, it's direct. Yeah, it seems like a virtual yeah, mixer it's, going through to Discord. Yeah, this is direct. It's not coming through speakers. Okay, try playing it Sorry. again. A lot, a lot. And I kind of like kind of like the yeah. little... Nope. Yeah. What, what, I again? want you to go to your output devices and <laughs> tell me all of the options that you have starting at the top. I or just screenshot should... it. I think Hello? you should leave the watch together. Hi. Sometimes watch together Hi. you can... Hi. Damn it, now I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, this is going great. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when people join the watch together, the watch together has a microphone feature and they try to use it and Discord microphone at the same time. So she leaves the watch together and we can play the watch together and there's no echo, but she's still in the call. We'll be able to see if that's going on. But then we won't be watching together. Yeah, but we'll at least we'll have identified the problem. True. Now she's left. Well, okay. Maybe she's, she's trying to call? log out. Is she still in the watch like, together? Oh, hope, call. which means no one can really do a whole lot. Okay, that she's got to be in the call and out of the watch together. So, um, shall we continue? I, mean, I guess we'll continue. It, I guess. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. That's Good luck, the Anna. Problem with it. It's weird. sort of a sequel to Revenge of the Sith. It's sort of a prequel to A New Hope. Which hey, we means heard no part. one can really do a whole lot. And I kind of like the little drama with Obi Wan at the end of this, where it's like, oh, that final fight with Vader, like, because you know that they're both going to get away. Live. Right. You know that they're both going to get away, <laughs> which goes against everything that it was set up with their their own story. Yeah, like Obi Wan literally says, "If he dies or I do, it ends today." And then he just willingly allows Vader to live, and he leaves. Which, uh, when when they imply the only reason he wouldn't kill him was if he thought Anakin was still in there, but he gets convinced he's not, and then spares him. Like what? <laughs> I'm Obi -Wan very confused. Is really <laughs> kind of ruined. You don't see him all that. It's because he he's grown. He sees that killing him is not the way. Oh, so why does well, he then in a new, new hope? Desperately convince <laughs> Luke to kill his dad. What's that about? No, it's, it's thematic. He, he's gotten over it. Now he's now he sees him as Darth. He doesn't see him as Anakin anymore. He sees him as Darth. Don't kill That's, him. That was what both, he needed though. to get. That's That's why he sees him clear. as Darth, yeah. and, but he's the too. better man. He doesn't kill people. Yeah. Yeah. Remember how he left him burning alive? At yeah. The end of <laughs> I was about yeah. to say it's it's kind of becoming a recurring stuff. pattern now of him just leaving him for dead rather than just. Well, they yeah. Kenobi he didn't even leave him two. for dead in Kenobi. He just left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it would have been funny if he chopped Revenge off all of his Sith, limbs again, though. I think it, I think it was a fair assumption from Obi Wan that Anakin was going to die. Um, Darth Vader is like there are little stumps screaming Obi Wan with no arms or legs. I would just, dude, Have if, it, if the camera again? just is padding up, you know, away, and all of his limbs are off, he's just like fucking again, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I build that Death Star, oh man. You're a twat, Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just sort of like, oh, uh, uh, Darth Vader slash Anakin is kind of absolving Obi Wan of his guilt. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. It's so much better. This is facilitated by yeah. Qui Gon, not. Well, that's a, oh well. it's that exactly what I just that... said. The thematic thing. They're like, they're like, hey, see, he's getting over his trauma. It's like, yeah, I know, but again, the story they, they'd use this story rather than any other story they could have told. And yeah, also, what's yeah, kind yeah. of is all is it's all backloaded. Also, the, the, what Vader does here is not an act of compassion, absolving Obi Wan of his guilt. He's doing it to taunt him, to say, you know, Anakin's dead, and I killed him. Suffer, like. So I feel they're misinterpreting the context. Yeah, I willingly well, and, became someone else. And on that point, yeah. everything is telling us from everything we've understood about Kenobi's intentions and his values, and same for the the. It's like, oh, so you're going to kill him now? You're definitely killing him yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And he just walks off. You're I, like, what? No, no, no. Hello. What are you got? No, I, oh. I I couldn't believe he did that. So so many deaths are now on Obi Wan's hands because he willingly let Darth Vader live. I don't understand it. I don't know what they were thinking in the yeah, show because they didn't provide fine. us anything, other than I guess what <laughs> the interpretation of he's he wouldn't he's better than that question mark. <laughs> but he's leaving well, alive. And, well, and again, you could have developed that because at the end of Revenge of the Sith, he's like you've got that entire exchange between him and Anakin where he's like you were my brother and it's like emotional and in. By the time you get to Return of the Jedi, he's like he's more, more machine now than man. So it's like there, there was clearly a gap. There was clearly some like evolution in his thought process. You just need to explore that, and you could have, but they just, they just don't like well, the, at the moment that it matters the most. He doesn't do anything. So there's basically two conversations in this show where we really get to talk about in any way. Like like he learns to get over his grief, and they're very short and shallow. Yeah. It's 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 a show that has for for six episodes. There are six, right? Yes. Yeah. Six. Yes. Yeah. There's for the six episodes. They, they're really not full of a lot. There's a lot of meandering and wandering around without really accomplishing much. These are not. I mean, like oh, the really? go-to example I use is Chernobyl is five episodes, and it, it it's just full of stuff and so many characters and conversations and events and yeah. causes and effects. But this Kenobi show is six episodes, and so little seems to be accomplished with it. Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's because what he, remember what he said earlier? He's like nothing was happening in the first four, and it's like it's it's not literally things are happening, but no substance is here. We get like Obi Wan's really sad and he can't use the Force. We were all just baffled by that, but we kind of went along with it. And then it's like what pulls him out of it? Fucking Tala telling him about how it's all right, you'll be all right, all right. 
uh, redemption, sacrifice, uh, don't be sad, just shit. And there's all these, like, everyone's review of Obi-Wan Kenobi involves the whole, like, where was, where was Qui-Gon? Why didn't he show up on the ship? Why didn't he show up in the, when he's covered in bricks? Why didn't he, sh or rocks? Why didn't he show up earlier? It's like, why did you just throw at him to say, literally, hello? You literally just jangled him. And you didn't have to, because Liam Neeson's clearly there. He clearly could have delivered any lines you want. Um... Who's the most meaningful fucking person? That's the goal of the story. To Kenobi. And, and you made his biggest inspiration Leia and Tala. Okay. Interesting. Very satisfying. I did. It's like, oh, it's a little character thing. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> I, 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 I guess it is, Jay. Like in what way is that a character thing? Just so we're on the same page. When you say thing. that, I would like to make sure that I'm knowing what you're meaning. I think I, I agree with him. It is a character thing. thing. It is a character <laughs> thing. Yep. It's a thing with a character. It is a thing involving Damn. a character. We do not disagree. It satisfies the definition of being a character and a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, we agree with you to a degree, we I say. agree, say. yes. No, I'm 100% with him. This is a character thing. It's a little character thing. Can we call it? Are we in agreement? This yeah, I think at this point, thing. I paused him as if he'd said something wrong, but really, he said something well, let's, right. Let's make sure, let's yeah. make sure. Adam, um, is this a character thing? What what's uh, a character thing? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Adam agrees. I was exactly very, what it sounds like. <laughs> I like the way that you said nothing was happening. That like things were just meandering along. Like Kenobi's out to what get the fuck a are you pie talking or about? whatever. <laughs> what's happening now? <laughs> like what? 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 <laughs> Adam, so what is what's Kenobi's goal in this thing? Does, he, does Kenobi even have a goal? <laughs> He's Are just having high? a bit of a character moment. He just had a short circuit. Well, no, I, I've <laughs> never, look, I've never seen I've never seen Kenobi. Okay, I never saw the series, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm looking oh. up a plot summary, but wait, you I in, mean, I remember you're Maul in the watch together, aren't you? A, yeah, I'm listening to him, but I mean, he's I understand, yeah, he, you know. Yeah, well, he said it was a character thing, and we're the rest of us are in agreement right. in the conversation we all had. But we were curious right. if you also thought that when Vader said those things, if that was a character thing. I don't know why Vader said the, that shit. I don't know the context, so maybe it's a character God. thing. You're not sure well, if you're it's great. a character thing. Well, no, I feel bad. Rags right just now, tried to do a beat. I agree. I like, I like <laughs> you it. Inter, I was curious what your opinion was. <laughs> I, I feel like I missed out on something really fun. What, what, what did I miss out on? All I want to know, know. I just, I want Adam to know is always so straightforward. I, I really wanted to just get his opinion, just to make sure we're all in agreement that the Va the Va it was a character thing that Vader did. What? But, first of all, that's totally stupid. Like, what? What's the goal of the scene? Like, what's going on in that scene? <laughs> it's trying to have a little character thing. Yeah, like it, it's, it's like it's character there's thing. characters yeah. in it, and they do yeah. things. Like, so. Adam, yeah. surely you agree thing? it's a character thing. Right? It's got that's a, what yeah, makes it very entertaining. Agree. I think that's completely stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness, we can't be doing. This. Okay, look. All I'll say is, Adam J. Bowman, have the debate. Was uh -huh. that a character thing or not? <laughs> I don't even. What do you do that we're trying to describe it as a character thing? I'm, I'm happy well, wait, to have wait, the let's, debate. Let's, let's, yeah, let's explain yes. the context. I want to show Shad the context. All right, Shad, you ready? Okay. okay we'll roll go, it back. Go, go, go. Here we go. I did. It's like, oh, it's a little character thing. I did. I did what? See, what so, the fuck did he do? You, but, he did did a character he, thing. Wait, Shad, do you agree that that was a character thing? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shad. Or am I, am I, just, am I feel I like that cinches just... it, all right? <laughs> okay. What is, can, just, what I is I don't know what's going on either, Adam. <laughs> what, okay, good, Shad. I mean, I don't, what is the character I apologize thing? for including you. I I the character thing anything. is, uh, I think, yeah. a simplistic way of describing that, you know, Darth Vader is taunting Obi-Wan oh. and smiled, and it was a reflection of a character trait. And that okay, makes okay. Think so that it's a wonderful right. scene overall. 10 out of 10, I'd watch it again. Right, he's uh, he's ribbing him. He's like uh, if, fucking with him. Yeah, if yeah. we can remove all text from everything that's just happened and just get the subtext of literally the Discord call, uh, Jay mm -hmm. is claiming that this is a decent moment of characterization for both Anakin right. and Obi Wan because it's and consistent with his character. Yeah, I don't, obviously. I don't know that he was gonna. Uh, basically, the idea is that Jay's pointing out character things are happening. And we're like, right. oh, that's true, but they're nonsense. So, like, 
you know, we we would we wouldn't want to praise it just on the fact that characters. Right. The same yeah. I I now. agree. I completely agree. Yeah. Excellent. The fact that just character right. shit is happening me is meaningless to me. I mean, I want act. That's why I keep asking you, what is his fucking goal? Like, what is he trying? Well, to funnily accomplish? enough, Adam, if we were to tell you what his goal was in that scene, it's only going to make it more confusing. It was to kill Vader. It's, oh, but he, okay. But he spared. So him. why didn't he? Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's, that's a good really question. fucking good question. <laughs> I, I, we we can't Adam, answer I that question. I wish I had the answer for just, you. Just tell me for the whole six episodes, is his goal to kill Vader? Yeah, especially well, considering so Kenobi he, went there to kill Vader. It's uh, So he basically really. just doesn't achieve his goal through the whole thing. It's like completely I mean, he, pointless. He, he doesn't know Vader's alive for the first few episodes, but in this episode, mm -hmm. absolutely. So he doesn't even have Vader. a goal for the few, first few episodes. Well, he's saving oh, what the fuck save, is he doing? Going to the pie save, shop? Save little... little Child Leia is yeah. the first. Well, he wants oh, to cut okay. some meat. He does that. Yes. He does cut some meat. That's oh, true. I wouldn't want to take that away from him. Yeah. He's okay. good. Yeah. He's meat first cutter. episode cut, is like quasi day in the life after some that. Meat. Leia. He gets all Old Testament up in here and then he Perfect. goes to town and he doesn't succeed in his goal to give a toy to Luke. He fails at that goal. Mm. Well, so why, why does he, why does he like not kill him when he has the opportunity? You know, it's such character. a good. Oh moment. God, here we go. <laughs> I really hope that this worked. You're, You're a lot quieter, quieter which is actually sure. good because it's it implies like, something has changed. Yes, so, that's good. How quiet? That's definitely I? good. Quite quiet. It literally yeah, sounds like you're on the other play side the, of the room. Play the thing. Um, let's, let's... Do I need to turn um, it right. up? The Obi Wan show yeah. is about yeah. the character of Obi Wan. I don't hear an echo. I don't hear an echo either. Well, I don't have the thing yes. up. She's Just not in up. it yet. Just turn up your mic. <laughs> I, she's, not, yeah. she's not in the watch together. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> great. Oh, God truth. But her mic's okay, quieter, okay. so something changed. That's exciting. Yeah, well, yeah, jump Ow. back in. Let's find out what's about to happen. Yeah, it's not that okay. it's exciting that it's quiet. It's more that it's like there is it's something. It's just something has changed. changed yes. settings, which means it's yeah. Yeah. hope. Trust yeah. me, I did maneuvers. Okay, let's see. Play it. Oh, God, here we go. Finally, when you get to that final episode, <gasps> we did it. Yes! 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 We did it. Yes! We did it. Yes! Right. Christmas miracle. It's an episode down hundred miracle. All Yay! right, we did it. All righty, everybody. We, let's actually weird. respond to nice. this series of statements. <laughs> Anna did a character, character thing. thing. I did. Yeah. I did. Um, the right. Obi Wan show is about the character of Obi Wan. Finally, when you get to that final episode, yes, and I liked that aspect of it because it. it See what I mean? Like, it, uh, I'm not even going to say he's necessarily wrong about sorry, anything he just said, but it sounds like the pay, the praise, the bar of praise, is that it's doing you're, something. Exactly, you're grasping. It's like and, well, anything. You know, it's about Obi Wan, yes, but the actual what the show achieves in terms of his character progression is to abandon the most important mission that he yeah. came That's to Tatooine so to have. And oh, for the most stupid reason saying he'll be fine on his own when everything in this series establishes that Luke is really in danger for where he is and he needs more protection now than ever. Oh and Obi-Wan decides he'll be fine. I can leave now. It's well, yeah, Obi-Wan so failed. He, he has to go kill Darth Vader. He, yeah. He betrays his mission and just, ah, oh, it's awful on well, so many levels. But that's what they achieve. They butcher and assassinate Obi-Wan's character. It's like, yeah, they achieve something, you're right. Nothing. I mean, it would make sense that he, if he fails, because you got to set up the movie, but... I mean, he does. He like you're saying, he quits. He basically just yeah. He doesn't, doesn't fail. He wins and then walks away. Yeah, that's oh no no no. He, evil. he actually that's does, so he does fail. Luke ends up getting kidnapped and was at the mercy of this He's lady. He's almost killed. And, exactly. and everyone yeah. does nothing Perfect. to actually prevent that. She just decides yeah. not to kill him. He he, he gets absolutely off the hook failed. By complete happenstance. Yeah, exactly. This is horrible. It is horrible. But yeah. so completely Luke separate almost character died having a little character lived. moment. But it's a, it is a character thing, I'd say. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's small, <laughs> but that's all you can really do. Why would you? What? <laughs> what? 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 What is such he even bullshit. talking about? <laughs> it's small, totally but it's all you can really do. That's what she can literally get away. I genuinely said. liked the final like fight with Vader and Obi Wan. Yeah. It's the first thing on this show where I'm not just like, oh, that part was kind of okay. I was like, I actually like this. Yeah, see, a lot of this is like, uh, yeah, very much a normie reaction. Hey, 
it's a it's a lightsaber scene that's um mostly incompetent uh but because it's better than the other fight lightsaber scenes in the series it's great uh and if that's there you know standard so i think it's because the emotional yeah. aspect of it right like it's vader mm. and anakin and obi-wan having that debate on who really killed him yeah, yeah. i feel they like that's why everyone kind of likes it, it that way though that, 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 that doesn't seem to be their reaction they're like we're, we were so in, in, emotionally invested in the characters this just sounds like they're like yeah, yeah, like the fight was, yeah kind of cool well All i've right. missed half this fight. video so i don't no, really just, know just from that's that clip what, alone what it sounded heard. like Talking about how we're only two no, you, we're two minutes into an eighteen minute video. This is eighteen <laughs> minutes. Yeah. You yeah. fucking bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. Six yes. hours later. Not just we'll because be they've they've built up Obi Wan throughout the season, but also it's more like they, tore, him they down. tore him down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean incredible damage to him in almost every way. Dude, when they were just like, he can't use the force anymore, and he's also shit with his lightsaber to the point where he doesn't even use it. Yeah. But then suddenly also he does and is really good with the force. Remember, like, it's episode four where they're just like, by the way, he can hold an ocean with the force. You're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> he's also extremely incompetent on multiple levels. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's, he's fucked. jumping. It sucks. So the way it's executed, how the whole thing is pretty much lit with just their lightsabers. Yeah, that's to save money on, on special yeah, effects. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's all that is. If you look at that scene, you can tell that it's on a green screen with some very primitive 3D models and special effects, which is why it's so freaking dark so you can't see it. Because even when you take it into like Photoshop and you turn up the levels, you can see that it's like one of the most basic sets that they have. Wow. I think it's darks to highlight the brightness of the lightsabers and to really accent that glow because they're they fucking love that lightsaber glow. Uh, yeah, am I, I the only one who thinks both. they go like I'm... above and beyond with that? Like it's just so bloody to hell bright. Like the just the blue just in like yeah, saturating the entire character. Yeah, incredibly distracting like, in the actual fight. The, I saw him. The thing is though, I mean, they do make it darker to hide bad CGI, and this was filmed in the volume. You know that new kind of effect space mm -hmm. that they have, and it gives it a very artificial look. Uh -huh. Like it doesn't feel like they're in an environment. Dude, I remember when that and... got introduced, everyone was like fucking going nuts over it but now everyone hates it pretty much and it's got to be to do with the fact that it's just rushing they relied on it way too hard it's this exact same fate as cgi yeah. just in general there, there, yeah. there are definitely a good uses for it I, like i wouldn't yeah. rush it off just because it's there but this is an example of them just going like, opting for it and as a result it looks very artificial and fake. so i just want to say quickly i've seen some behind the scenes stuff and i remember seeing a shot where um one of them uses the force on the other and they they have a practical like thing where he gets with wires getting pulled back and hits like a set that is set to fall apart with rocks and stuff like there's some stuff in this scene might be real uh but to be honest with you i'm sure it's gone through pro post-processing hell where it's the just floating like, boulders were real but yeah you know what i mean yeah there's plenty of yeah. stuff in this shit that's entirely fake um sometimes i wonder if they just film something physical happening just to be like we did do physical trust us and then the rest is just mainly done in a pc <laughs> Because, yeah. like, I know that they're aware of that. CGI isn't all CGI. When they, like, release a picture of someone on a full green screen, like, Twitter just gets really angry with them, so they should probably just stop doing that. That's how bad movies are made, is what they say. But, you know, it doesn't help things feel more weighted and stuff. Yes and no. I mean, in the... I'm just watching it, it was a good fight. Mm. It, it highlights something that just annoys the fuck out of me. About the, the prequels? inconsistent okay. way, like the force is portrayed and what they can do wow. and when they can do it. That's always and been the case. If they can do no, it hasn't yeah. been oh, oh, the case. Oh, it has not he always the been the case. I it wasn't the case in that though. fucking prequel trilogy that you hate for Wait. the most part. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty decent in the prequels Wait, overall, yeah, except for the fourth speed. Do you have a different take, Eo? Is that what I just heard? I do have. I do think there are plenty of opportunities, even in the prequels, where they could have just used the Force, and uh, they just they just don't, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, I thought I thought when we all agreed, we were talking about the OT. Do you think it's inconsistent in the OT? In the OT, uh in the OT, I don't even think they really. They didn't have the basic uh, like rule set even decided around that so i don't really care I, i'm fine with it there okay I mean, it's pretty limited because in the <laughs> ot it's like what three people that use it 
for the most well, part. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's I mean. true too. There's not that many people using that. I'm willing to, because yeah, I I think that the OT does a pretty good job, though I wouldn't be surprised if there were some maybe examples of some things where it's like, why didn't they use this there sort of thing, but um, the prequels, there's plenty of examples of why didn't they use this there. I'm totally yeah, happy to yeah, see that, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. sequels went crazy. Like they, they and, and oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I think, think it was definitely with the with the prequels. I mean, it, look, it is head canon, but the, it's I, you can more easily explain it with some pretty reasonable head canon as to the areas in which they might not use the force where they could have. Yeah, but in the um the sequels, um uh, yeah, they just go stupid with it. Um, Warren Chazzy, oh. why are Mauler and Gang so obsessed with RLM's faults? Like, if you feel a little bit insecure about it, I think they're great, and I'm still subscribed. Yeah, and I watch the, them all the time. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, Did you ask why we're obsessed with the other people we covered today? Well, I don't know why nobody said why we're <laughs> obsessed with watching them and saying they're good. We do that all the time. I don't know. Where was that? Sorry. Why is uh, it I generally think, is, is it the nerd crew um, thing that they do? <laughs> yeah. That, that is some oh of the God. best YouTube <laughs> I fucking love the nerd crew, yeah. Made. It's just <laughs> top tier. Like, A-grade satire for me. I love it. Yeah, like it's it's, it's I, I don't like when we cover nostalgia critic. Nobody says we're obsessed with him. <laughs> what's what's the dealio, huh? Why are you leaving out poor Doug? They do the kind of shit they do in that fight where they're just throwing mountains everywhere. <laughs> yes. And, and Agreed, pal. That is uh, fucking crazy. Completely agree. It was retarded. And it's also annoying because I think we talked about this before, but just if it doesn't feel right to me that Obi Wan is out force powering Vader, it's like, uh. And specifically yeah. because of the setup, yeah. every single bit beforehand, they have basically just said Obi Wan is weaker with the Force at the moment, yeah. and is only just vaguely getting back onto the horse. And in in this episode, the only reason he has more power than Vader suddenly is because reasons, and he thinks about Leia and the good feels, and now he's stronger. Because I just want to pause and um point out that you just implied the existence of a Force horse. <laughs> uh, fuck oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That, that also, Chad, I don't revelation. appreciate you saying there's all you struggling. He held an ocean up, man. All right, he's the best Jedi of all time. <laughs> that wasn't justified either. Dude, <laughs> Wait, Yoda what? What do you the mean? Very, <laughs> the very previous use of the Force, he barely struggled to pull a little thing. Yeah, yeah it was like a little bolt or something. Pull a nut across yeah. the across the suddenly. God. God, that was so lame. Just like <laughs> I could barely use the Force. Uh, I could. Well, it's the opposite now. We're fine. We're doing fine. And then, yeah, they show us Vader pull a starship out of the sky, but he's struggling with the rocks. I just, like, why? Why? <laughs> like, to me, what's it's even... The starship is the one thing. Works. I actually think it would take greater energy and force, no pun intended, to rip apart the hull of that ship and just rip metal. Oh, uh, uh, oh my goodness. That was just... I actually really but it doesn't look a pretty insane level of power to be like, able to do that. Your reaction rags in your watch together of that episode when he does that, oh, I was just, it was hilarious. The I of being lot. able to to pull apart the hull of a spaceship yeah, that's designed yeah, to yeah. Yeah. like traverse through space and hyper it's fucking nuts. It was the same shit with the Captain Marvel. When you show her smash through every level of a spaceship with ease, it's like, do you know how powerful you've made her? Do you have any idea? <laughs> Vader could literally rip people limb from limb, like rip their skeletons out of their body effortlessly. Yeah, effortlessly. Yeah, like, it's insane. And you can rip apart a ship. You can, yeah. If you can dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. <laughs> and if you could rip apart a spaceship, you can rip apart, rip apart basic, basically anything. Anything, pretty much. Most, most commonly approached things in the world, he can fuck up, yeah. <laughs> He could just walk past people and ha just rip their heads off, head just popping off with the slightest flick of his hand now, just done. Just, uh. Darth Vader is just throwing Reva around with the Force. Why do they even bother with the fucking lightsaber? Other than they That's have to. That's a good question. Because oh, yeah, so yeah. we talked about this, like the unbroken rule. You don't. If you've got two Force users, you're just gonna. They cancel each other out on that one. You can't mm -hmm. just have one of them pick yeah. the other up and then fuck and, with and them. That's the head cannon I was referring to that you could explain with the, um, yeah, yeah. the prequels. And the only reason why, you know, Dooku gets away with it, people say, is because he's vastly more trained in that specific art and Obi-Wan left his... Uh, let, let I don't his even like down. that. No. Me neither, really. But that's the head cannon people uh, ascribe to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just that it makes you wonder about all of the fights that have ever happened. It's it does. Like, it does. Surely but, not everybody is on the same level and therefore... Exactly. 
But then yeah. you have, you know, Kylo Ren uh, throwing Finn whatever. Uh, or No, he first did it to Rey and then he nev never does it again. And, you know, these are untrained people in the Force. And so they, they don't even have that excuse. Um, uh, Kylo Ren should have been just able to throw them into trees and knock them out and not even break a sweat in that first fight scene. The lightsaber is the only reason people like Star Wars in the first fucking because, place. Because Jesus Christ. No, 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 Ew. no, That's no, no. <laughs> How could you say this, Rich Evans? I, I mean, right. is that why you liked it in the first place? Are you lightsabers are cool, but they're not the only need. We need, cool we, thing. We, thing, we need all of the stuff surrounding it for them to be like this, the element yeah. of, you know, because, yeah, what a light lightsaber, there's all kinds of shitty like B movies. Sequels. Yeah, 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 there are plenty of sci-fis with like light sword knockoffs, there's plenty of them. Princess Warrior has lightsabers. <laughs> like, I thought everybody was on board with the whole, it was the characters, everyone loves the characters. It's the characters and the story no, and the journey, and plus there's sports. barely any lightsabers in A New Hope. Yeah, this is true. Used. Because it was introduced in a, a cheap sci-fi movie from the 70s. Yeah, it is. They're stuck with it. <laughs> it what? Mm -hmm. that, wow, it's like I a reductive contest. It, well, I ima imagine it the cheap. baseline for your lore and future stories is Star Wars, and you're like, ha, you're stuck with that. It's like, oh. Oh. Every once in a while we have to show a lightsaber? Oh, okay. That yeah. doesn't really change anything. Or it's not much of a restriction. I didn't realize that like there was any IP that can't get this criticism. I I imagine he's just like, you know, Jurassic Park. That's a way more open IP. Just like, really? <laughs> like, they're, they're cursed I mean, to have a T-Rex like, every the movie. only reason why, yeah, the only reason anyone liked it is because the dinosaurs. There's no, no, no true. other reason why that is. <laughs> true. It's very true. There's no gay Dr robots in Jurassic Park. Yeah, and they'd be making way more billions None? than they were. Yeah. Of course. And they should have put lightsabers in, that would have made it good. Dinosaurs um, and lightsabers! Hell yeah. Yes. And, and give these... them lasers! What about laser sabers? Mounted on oh, the yeah. head. That'd be pretty cool, right? It's not light long... anymore, it's oh, made oh. of laser. Very different. As long as they're ill-tempered. Ooh. Yeah, it is. They're stuck with it. <laughs> it it drives me, and that's this is that's like on the level of like a weird Rich Evans pet peevish kind of thing. Lucas himself broke his own rules. He's the one who did this, not uh, not the new era. No, okay. They, Disney that, took it to the nth degree with the powers they added, the, the the whole force healing and stopping lightsabers mid with the a force Sith all that was added doing that is way different i was about to say the Ray emperor exactly the emperor moving those little platform things like i, I i'm fine with that a sith yeah. lord moves something that is way lighter than in line with them that's completely i don't know why they show Ray the here throwing up a whole bunch of boulders that's not him i'm pretty sure so the emperor is like the most powerful like like force user in, uh, around that time, right? Like he's like yeah. more powerful yeah. than like oh, he defeated Yoda. So it's I mean, like allegedly he's all the Sith. Uh, <laughs> that's that's also true. I am all the Sith. That was so uh, epic moving and cool. Things, no, that moving was. things with the force isn't anything new. Well, I, I mean, we, we've got Yoda picking up the X Empire. wing, right? So yeah. you can expand by into what can a Sith Lord do? It's like. Probably throw some shit that's of similar size. Also, I don't know. he picked up that X-wing and it was not fast, and he had to fully concentrate and this to is, it. This is kind of my point. Like with with when you when you have like a force system, and then you establish this guy over here, he's one of the greatest of all times. Like so, then he should be able to do things that are more so than what we've seen already. Like that's pretty much what you'd expect, right? And he does. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you go, Ray, brand new force user, has no fucking clue what anything means or what's going on. And then she does something that's possibly more difficult than anything we've seen in terms of a single force use. Like accidentally using force lightning. And, and they do it while she's <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And, and, the, and this scene is done with her looking like she's bored. She's like, come on, come on. There to be fair, go. she looks like she's bored throughout the entire... Hey. Yeah. No, Daisy much. Ridley is a fantastic actor. How dare you? This is what I happens when you hire someone Maiden. who played a corpse. They look bored all the time. Well, exactly. all this misogyny on my stream. I can't believe it. Movies. And that is why you fail. Next, you'll say she's a Mary Sue. Oh, <laughs> never. Not me. Hmm. Because Never. Empire was so perfect. When Luke is laying, uh, he's almost frozen to death. That's when he sees Obi-Wan. All right. Oh, 
Yeah. You will see Yoda and Obi Wan. Oh Obi-Wan yeah, distance, he is right? an Empire. Look at that. On Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right the there. Yeah. You guys, Let's keep going. Yeah, you guys Let's are gonna fucking love where this goes. Hate, right? This this point he makes is so bad. I have edited in a clip from the movies to remind him of something. Basically, really? just, oh, just to God. make sure you've got know. context here. This is under the conversation of Lucas ruined everything first, so don't blame the sequels. And oh, one of his God. pieces of evidence oh, is. Oh boy. Force Ghost started out real good, and, and, and that's his example, so let's just listen to him. Let's see where he's going okay, with okay. it. And mm-hmm. so you have that, you have the Force Ghost, which is great because it's, it's, it's ambiguous on whether or not it's in Luke's head, he's delirious, or he's, Obi-Wan's really talking to him. It's done as tastefully as you can do the concept okay. of a let's Force Ghost. Yes. Yeah. It's, no. it's not ambiguous on Dagobah. Mm. That is definitely... That is like, interesting you, you was, say yeah. that, Evan. It's, it's almost as though... <laughs> They don't remember mm. that scene exists. <laughs> oh. did well, you, I, please, wait, did you edit the in thing, the clip though, from Empire Strikes Back, or did they do that? Because if they did, no, then no, they no. have no excuse. I, no, 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 no. But, they, but no, even no, the scene wouldn't. that they're talking about, <laughs> okay. even, though, even the scene they're talking about, Obi-Wan gives you Luke information that he did not have before. That means it can't have been a hallucination. You yeah, unless right? you want to argue he did tell him between scenes randomly at a new hope <laughs> and then oh Luke's only remembering Is that. that. Argue? Yeah. No 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 I don't think they argued that. But the point what this what they've suggested here, I'm I'm not I I've I've <laughs> been on record saying it, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Force Ghosts, right? Because they cause a not lot of issues when you think about them very yeah. much for a long time. You gotta be However, very careful with them or ambiguous. I'm very much a fan of what they were before Disney got their fingers on them. <laughs> like, cause holy shit. <laughs> Certainly you, now. Yeah. You made them horrible. But they're positing that the, you know, George ruined it well before the sequels did. So they yeah, will just let it play. Yes. And Yoda lifting the X Wing out of the out of the ground, the, the the Luke Vader fight, a couple of like little tricks with the force, but mostly still lightsabers. Great. Return of the Jedi, Force Ghost is now sitting on a line. <laughs> Sitting on like a log. Kermit the Frog. Ex- extended Everyone casual always... conversation. <laughs> yeah, extended casual conversation. Oh always... He's an old yes, man. Extended we can all understand it being played by a human. Well, if you, uh, and he was an old man. <laughs> For reference, like, Quentin Reviews brought this up. He was like, the fact that he can sit on that log means he can. they can absolutely use lightning. It's like, bro, you, the fact that they're walking should be evidence enough that they can yeah. sit on a log. What are you talking about? <laughs> and they're not actually manipulating yeah. the log by sitting on it. As no, far as they know, it, this is just a representative apparition of exactly. Them this is how Obi Wan chooses mm-hmm. to represent himself to Luke. They're having a sit down. It's fine. You don't have to judge it further than that. You don't need to think. I, I remember. I think Quentin zoomed in to show that he moved like a straw. It was of, a vine or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. He either. moved that. Would he? Oh my God! Because an old man that was playing <laughs> a fictional character in a movie as a ghost didn't perfectly it, not move sticks. Yeah, it was just like, a give me a break. Thing, yeah. That's yeah, a human thing. thing. Like. This it's isn't absurd. gonna be perfect. But um, <sighs> on top of that, like, they've literally forgotten. This, and it's a great scene in Empire, where Obi-Wan and Yoda are trying to tell Luke not to go save his friends is too dangerous. Absolutely. I don't know how you forget that when you simultaneously claim Empire was, like, well, the best yeah. one. <laughs> like, You're right. Well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the says, clip in now. I so cannot interfere, totally so... I had to watch, yeah, I had to watch <laughs> that yesterday. you will yesterday be tempted for, by the know. dark side of the Force. <laughs> yes, yes! To Obi-Wan, you listen. Yoda literally is... <laughs> he's like, to the Force Ghost guy, you listen. <laughs> that guy over there. Oh, can... yeah, the ghost? Yeah, yeah, the ghost that exists. That real thing that isn't in your head. Yeah. I right. don't know why they listen forgot this. It's so weird. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then prequels, uh, lightsaber fights. Uh, well, now, now it's not just like kind of like awkward stunt guys hitting lightsabers. Now we can do anything. Let's have the lightsaber oh, fights they, be fucking they, crazy. They improved when, the choreography he, in Empire Strikes Back and Re- Revenge of the, er, they did, yeah. the Jedi. They, and um, they and why did they say they've changed everything when while well, showing like are they saying that the lightning from Palpatine is a bad choice now in Return of the Jedi? Well, I was about to say that wasn't invented in yeah, because it was, the clones. Yeah, Dooku wasn't the first one to do that. So uh, unless you're saying that is a result of a bad change being Palpatine's lightning, but as far as I knew, Red Letter Media were on board with that. Yeah, I think people more so have a problem with Dooku using it because it like undermines like it being like an incredibly powerful thing that Palpatine uses. But I, I think most people no, don't have maybe. a problem. I, I was going to say, I thought most people were fine with it. it. I'm fine yeah. with it. Do anything. Same. Let's have the lightsaber fights be fucking crazy. 
but that's still not enough. Let's throw shit around. <laughs> oh, so Let's have bizarre. Darth Sidious they, throwing those. They did those, that in Empire Strikes uh, Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah Darth the Vader. Yeah. Thing, Darth Vader yeah. in the middle of yeah. the. Yeah. Don't, don't they did it like in Jedi. Jedi. Because they upped the ante when they were, like introduced Force Lightning. And I'm sorry, I I really find it hard not to appreciate that the Emperor is throwing the pods that belong to like his entire empire at, at Yoda. Like allegorically, that's pretty fun. Like they're just—it's all puppets to them in this whole room, right? It's like they, these two are fighting over the fate of the. And I know you're gonna be like, "It's the prequels, Mola. Why are you digging in that deep?" And it's like I, that is what it is, okay? There's nothing that goes against that interpretation. I think it's kind of neat. He's literally tearing the Senate apart in that fight. He's throwing what mm -hmm. represents each of the worlds of the universe at Yoda. Like it's kind of neat. Like I said, neat. you don't—you don't have to dig too far. I think that's a relatively okay thing. Odds the, the politician pods. Oh yeah. And he's like spinning him and throwing, and Yoda's like, hey, eh, he's spinning one around, and he throws it back, and it does nothing, and then, then they're throwing. Does nothing. It, I mean, it, hey. It. He jumps to avoid. It. He jumps it's to avoid like... it, and Yoda nearly gets his lightsaber fight back. That's what he wanted. Yeah. The, the throwing shit at him was annoying Yoda, obviously. Throwing rocks, and uh, and so, that's Lucas, and he established that, and. In Empire, when Vader threw a bunch of shit at Luke. <laughs> I don't know. Feels weird. I don't know what he's what he was thinking. And that's that's another thing why those the prequels It's cool! I mean I... Oh. Yeah. It's far more logically justifiable the yep. use of the force in the prequels by what was set up in the original trilogy. And uh, Obi-Wan specifically, yeah, has Vader ripping apart ships and crap. It's just and what's worse, right? chronologically this is based before the original trilogy and showing vader do insane crap with the force yeah and so it just raised the question at breaking continuity why the hell isn't vader using force to that level throughout the original trilogy exactly well, yeah and the the top tier example is the fucking hoth escape he's got the ship right mm -hmm. in front of him and he lets it go you fucked up that scene retroactively why'd you do that Genuinely, if like you showed your kids these movies, I don't see why they wouldn't be like, "Wait, didn't he grab ships before? Why isn't he doing it now?" Like, because eh. he didn't do didn't that before. Like they changed it. <laughs> he had a little character yeah. thing, and now he doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> they, they gave him a character thing, a little injection. Hey, we have to have the the we have to top the last fight. The last fight, the, the fight, the fight of with Vader and Obi Wan in this on that rock planet. When, you know, with the exception of Obi Wan throwing all the rocks. It was neat. Oh, with, with it was much better than Mustafar. Okay, just uh, no. Better than Mustafar. <laughs> no. Do you remember the, the theme of the uh. coverage of episodes one through four was like they just kept saying this was better than the prequels. It was better than the prequels, though. You got to admit, it was better than the prequels. It's just like. <sighs> and also, the, the statement where he says they have to always do something bigger and more spectacular, fancy with the Force. No, they actually haven't done that. This is one of the reasons why I liked um, Rogue One, is Vader's use of the Force mm -hmm. is actually very restrained but perfectly in line with the power levels that he was established in when he goes and attacks that you know um uh, those guys on that ship it, it worked really well they didn't have to make vader bust open the ship and pull you know rip people limb from limb or anything and so they're not always upping the ante because you don't need to you can just use the force as you know within the power levels that's been established to really fun interesting ways Since you've established that Jedi can just do that shit whenever That's they needed. need to now. Yes, I'm, I agree. It was neat. It was a neat fight. <laughs> but I thought when, when Han Solo picks up the lightsaber and turns it on to cut open the belly of the Tauntaun, oh, no. he's like, ugh, ugh. And he's a little awkward with it. And he doesn't quite know what he's doing. And he looks like he's struggling. Yes. So I thought that if a regular person turned on a lightsaber and tried to pick it up, the sheer like power behind it would mm. cause it to be so like heavy and and so awkward and almost impossible time. to use so sort of like a sword in the stone so uh, this has never been shared in in a star wars thing to my knowledge but i've heard like statements that might have been from george lucas that lightsabers themselves the handles themselves are supposed to be really heavy and they are so not you know, true from they can't I know, it, the, the, they can't I, be because of a new hope it's impossible yeah, that's true. That's true. And so, well, so to be fair, I've heard that just, statement. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. There, because there it's is contradictory. a thing. 
if you watch the Clone Wars or if you read the books or the comics, it is a thing where if you don't have any kind of force ability, a lightsaber is going to be difficult to use. That's why General Grievous had to have you. Know, well, he didn't have to, but he, you know, made all those changes to himself and basically made him into a cyborg. So that way he could use lightsabers the way that a Jedi right. could. I want to I want to tell everybody there's some neat ideas that might surround it. It you can't. Luke casually picks one up before he even knows what the force is and he doesn't I know, treat but it Luke as heavy. has the Luke is force sensitive. He's Anakin Skywalker's son, so he already has that ability in him. What is it? Just because he's not trained doesn't mean he can't use it, you know, naturally. Like there's people that are just naturally gifted at things. But like Plus technically as a, as anyone utility, can just... it seems like it would be extremely useful. Yeah, he's got the metachlorians. Well, I, it's, anyone could technically turn on a lightsaber, right? Like, it's not a problem that, like, just Han turns it on No, no, it no, it's about it, using like, it. Yeah. It's like, how yeah, easy yeah. is it for you to use as compared to a normal person? The framing of their point is weird, because it's just like, I, they're like, he was awkward doing it. It's like, he's doing something that's awkward. He's cutting open a tauntaun mm. and just with a weapon he's never used before. Like, so you, he's just you'd like, think oh, Luke okay. would be awkward doing that. Well, so yeah, I was gonna say their point's not gonna work as well because they they so you, you got to focus on it, to use the force to steady the lightsabers. Like Luke's not doing that. Like, you ain't gonna. So the, if you're gonna interpret it as the swords will detect your genetics and allow you to carry it, like man, I I would never make that fucking rule. But you go right ahead if you want to put that. Yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see how it would be harder for someone who doesn't have force sensitivity to use it. It has to explained? do with the crystal. Yeah, it, um, I think there's an episode of the Clone Wars where they talk about it a little bit. Yoda does. And then it's mentioned in the Thrawn duology. And, oh my God, what's the other book? Um, when Luke has his uh, academy. And then I think they also talk about it in KOTOR. Well, um, the sequels have contradicted it because... Oh, heavily. Picks up sequels it. aren't real. Hey, well, Finn's, Finn, <laughs> hey, Finn's full sensitive, Shad. We found that out in Is the, he? Yeah, oh, the, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. He had a feeling many times. He had a feeling. He had, oh, a, feeling. That's... <laughs> he had a little character moment. He had a little character thing. Oh, that was a character thing. Yeah, sorry, character sorry, thing. sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Please, you have to and, get it and right. I think it's people are going to go nuts important. in China unless we admit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the reason Han does that in Empire is he's fucking cold. That's why he's having trouble yeah. with it. It's a yeah. blizzard. <laughs> you, you didn't need to interpret it as the lightsaber is difficult and heavy and like it, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Some kind of situation. Exactly. Where How where it's, it's just like a beam time of time. pure energy that is like it, it's it's out of like physics and Only it's a true Jedi can. Yes, yeah. and in order to to use it like awesomely and and effectively, you you're also using the force to to move it around. Mm. So if a regular person That's had a thing, lightsaber. Yeah. They turn it on, it would like fall to the floor, and they'd be like, "Oh my god, I can't pick this up. I don't did know how to pick this up? up. I don't know how to, what to do with it." And that's just goes. Why did they show she the clip did. of Finn? I guess because they, they're saying Finn is full sensitive. I don't know. I guess, what you're suggesting is almost yeah. like wielding Mjolnir in terms of like you you literally cannot use it unless like you have the Force, which is just like that is, is sort of a thing, but it's not like you literally can't like even hold certainly it. Certainly something I don't like. Well, and it's odd that they use that right after establishing Han used it. You know, like he didn't, it didn't drop to the ground or anything. But there's nothing special about Jedi's, really. No, wait a second. What? In the Return mm. of the Jedi, on, what? when, when, well, okay, before I go, because I, uh, <laughs> in Return of the Jedi, when Luke is cap, when he gives himself up at uh, an Endor, oh, his lightsaber shit. is presented to him by his capturing officer. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. There's an officer that holds the lightsaber. Him. That, that officer must be force sensitive. He must be. <laughs> because. So is Maz well, yeah, Kanata, is she force sensitive? I was going to say. Yeah, Maz Kanata is as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, did he just say Jedi aren't special? It goes with your theory that there's nothing special about Jedi's, really, because These someone guys could don't just know take how a lightsaber. Work. I Hey, what about what about R two? What makes R2 a Jedi has special isn't lightsaber. that they can use a lightsaber. Well, the That's force. Not what makes a Jedi special? <sighs> and also, what like, what's wrong are, with? Do they... That's like saying what makes Cap special is his strength. It's like is his shield. Wait, That's like no. saying what makes him special is his shield. Yeah, any any of the like, obviously going to be the the willingness to defend the innocent and all the shit like that. Like this. Yeah. Makes, it's... 
Or maybe the ability to use the fucking force. Well, I, I guess he, force, does, he discounts that training. for some reason. I don't know. I guess because you can have force yeah. users that aren't Jedi, and you can have force users that are the Sith, and... Yeah. But, I don't know, what a strange thing to say. I don't Ooh. like it! Like, oh, I used to like Jedi, because they were the only ones that had lightsabers. Well, of course, you have Sith, too. Well, of course, you can have Han Solo doing it in Empire, but other than that, <laughs> it's just like, what? Yeah, when what? Finn picks it up, that's, uh, you can't it fucked do it that. Up when, yeah, by the way, I would just help him out and be like, don't worry, Finn's a secret Jedi. There you go. It's nice in your little head cannon. I know you love the sequel. G given, how do you say his name? Kumail Nanjiani. Kumail Nanjiani. He's a very funny guy. Yeah. I really liked his film, The the big I did sick. too. Yeah. I hate everything um, else I've seen. <laughs> oh, Silicon Valley. Yeah, apparently he's good oh, enough. Oh, I haven't I seen. It. Is that a TV show? It's or? great. Yeah. yeah, it's on HBO. <laughs> it was. And said, here, here. I thought he was going to do that. Here, here's your chance to be a Jedi. But now I know what it feels like being a real Jedi. <laughs> it's not Why easy. What the fuck would Obi Wan give him show. his lightsaber? So yeah, first reason so if obi-wan was thinking maybe i should hand out lightsabers i was like dude how fucking dangerous like all of you go nuts hopefully this works you're out you're gonna I, give your lightsaber to this guy no he's talking about the spare lightsabers oh the sp no Ugh. i so well first thing is just like it's incredibly like complicated and dangerous to wield that thing especially when we're working as a big team like i can go very wrong we all assume i i thought the Jedi using lightsabers was kind of a different thing because they have extreme levels of focus and understanding and finesse and they can access the force to make them more accurate. Because, like, you know, lightsabers are, um, they, in certain environments, they can be really shit as a weapon. Uh, in a oh, lot. Like, it, th th this is my own other kind of thing, right? Um, I always assumed they're safe for Jedi because they use the force ability to prevent, you know, accidental injury and stuff because mm. it, I, I've trained with swords, guys, and guess what? I have hit myself with a blade uh, accidentally, and sometimes Cut. you accidentally make contact contact with the blade with your hand and everything. I would be dead if they were lightsabers. And so, yeah, like uh, lightsabers have issues if they exist in the real world. Well, well, well. <laughs> let me, let me show you this meme someone just posted. That would be really interesting as a payoff in a sense. Like, like Luke goes hot potato and throws it at him, and he holds it. And he goes, "Oh no, 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 and no, then no, he no, no, no!" He's like, "Oh, that's sure as heavy." <laughs> oh, jeez, oh fuck! Oh, it's so much heavier than it looks. Oh my goodness! Ah. Oh. I and would pick it up and give it to you if I could, but... What's this know, guy's story, you know? Find out about Frank. Mm. See how he ended up there. There's something about <laughs> Frank, a Star Wars Watch story. Watch a Frank movie. <laughs> it's just probably be Frank. better than what we get now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and then he says, just Frank and Frick. I would watch it. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> what, what? What? Oh shit! <laughs> and then he starts just chopping people up. Why not? Yeah, because they I would, that would be so stupid. Like... Because that would be dumb as fuck. Yeah, why would? That's oh. so incredibly fucking uh, reckless for Obi Wan if he did that. Like, just go out there and slash away, buddy. You could do it. But they're also saying the context that they think if he picked up a lightsaber and suddenly starts kicking butt with it, that would make sense and be fine. It's like no, it yeah, wouldn't. Thought... You're right. I thought the whole point of this conversation was to point out that nobody should be able. I guess they're saying because Disney broke it, slash Lucas broke it, and everyone can use them. So fuck it, give it to everybody. I don't think everyone can use them as well as Jedi can because Jedi are special. Yeah, Jedi have say... uh, telekinesis, which can only help you. Pretty good, yeah. A little rule that would have been neat in the Star Wars universe because it makes Jedi special. I officially do not give a shit about the Star Wars canon. I just don't give a shit. I, I, I can tell. What a great it's person a to do a Star Wars video. You did not even say this like five years ago. I just don't know you why they were reviewing it. it really. <laughs> yeah. They, like, you can he still said, criticize it. up on Star Wars when they were reviewing The Last Jedi. Like, oh. I, can, I can legitimately see how not giving a crap about Star Wars would make you hate Obi-Wan less. But why uh, do you want to talk that. about it, you know, like if you've, because they don't, I, I, I guess it's safe to say that they don't really care that much anymore, which is totally fine, but like, 
I mean, Why seeing this next to their Star Trek coverage, it's like night and day. Oh yeah, the Star Trek coverage is glorious. You get like, fucking, what was the total runtime for every episode of just season two of Picard? It comes to like, it's a ridiculous amount of hours. Like in a yeah, good way. Yeah, they covered, they covered Star, they covered the Star Trek movies. They covered Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard. And they did they did all their TNG episodes. They did Star Trek their own like fan film that they would want to do. Mm. They've made a lot of Star Wars related stuff. And it's clear that they're very passionate and they care about Star uh, Trek. Trek. Yeah, yeah, Star Trek. Uh and that passion and care is just not at all there for Star Wars, which is why dumb why Mike is making these stupid suggestions. Well, that's kind oh, of here, have this lightsaber. Fuck it. They're, they're the, basically the saying are... that Star Wars is crap, so let's just enjoy the crapness the and do more crap it, because stuff it i think yeah. what's lame is that it's, it's yep. turned into it's always been crap it's never been that good or worthwhile which is really lame i just it's really sad to hear um because like i would yeah, have thought yeah, investment in some form of the can is the whole fucking reason you watch it because you want to see what happens next or in addition to not the idea the Force Awakens. <laughs> Ew. Do you still think, ER, that potentially that Ryan did it all on purpose? He nuked the entire franchise because he wanted it to be free. People I don't know if that was sense. expressly his idea, but in practice, in function, it's basically what he did. It was like a one two punch with him and JJ. Yeah. Basically. They did a lot of work in a shortish amount of time. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Damn straight. I can appreciate this series in and of itself in like a bubble in a vacuum. It's like, yeah. I can't even do that. <laughs> it's a I fucking can't. Mess. It, it relies on the other things being a thing. It's, it's hard. Is that too? It's yeah. How do you, but, in, but how do you even, decouple it? But even it, when you do decouple it, right, the, the plot is retarded. Uh, there's so many, so much itself, stupid yeah. things. The characters are inconsistent and they, it's so stupid on so many levels. Poorly done, the fight scenes are awful. Oh my goodness. They know what they're doing, Leia. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't oh, have said it's, it's your like name, Leia. It's like a stupid contest in the back of that truck. Yeah, because you like might think like to out stupid each other. <laughs> yeah, because the stormtroopers are just like, hmm, that's suspicious. Anyway, <laughs> we were, we're anyway we're looking for a Jedi. He kind of looks like that guy, and he kind of he's sort of wearing what that guy is wearing too. And he's with this little girl called Leia. Called Leia, kind of like missing. what her name is. <laughs> if you see anyone <laughs> matching those descriptions, let us know. A dude is Not great. only that, it's like a princess of Alderaan, the only princess of Alderaan. Don't you think people would be familiar with what she looks like? They must like? have one of those little things. Like even Probably if they here. didn't know what she looked like, they'd have those little bounty things where it'd be like this is what yeah. it looks like they told us well, to look for a jedi years, that's all they so said you would expect everyone to know what obi-wan kenobi looks like as well because he was one of the most well, famous uh, jedi and to be fair well, that man has not aged that much he looks great nope, nope, <laughs> like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. you can spot him a mile away tell, and they would just tell you if they want you to look for someone obviously the empire is going to say this is a picture of him we have many of these pictures you can use these pictures He's pretty to famous identify him based on his face <laughs> Gosh, you're bringing back so many memories of just this one episode of how insanely yeah. bad it was. Like he doesn't know how to walk around a laser fence with big gaps oh on the God, side. That one Reva ridiculous. teleports in front of Leia just because of magic. <laughs> Vader decides to just let Obi Wan go because he forgets that he has force powers and is able to not only put out fire that is in a suit that's basically immune to fire as well. There are so many levels of stupidity in just that I mean, episode alone. You need to remember oh. that in 1977, one of the stormtroopers bumped his head on a door by accident. That was one of the so really Star Wars was things. always silly. Yeah, so <sighs> really, everyone's totally kind of a neat character in this. Always... Oh shit! Oh. Appreciate this series in and of itself, in like a bubble in a vacuum. It's like, yeah, Obi-Wan's kind of a neat character in this, and I can enjoy it. Shit! You're, you're, How do you think he's going to be really Genuinely, he's like, such a sad before. sap yeah. in this, and. Yep, he's, he's pathetic. It sucks to see how much they've damaged him. He's he's awful. He's legitimately a stupid loser. Nah, but he says hello there at the end. So, Ooh, um, yeah, but can you cool. really blame him at this point after all that's happened with Disney? Yes. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. <laughs> he still have standards. My spirits have been crushed. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm Hope looking for is like the sun. Yeah. Big and it's burned oh, me too many times, big, but big I can't let go. And... 
couple billion mm. years. That's that's what hope is. Yeah, one day it will swallow the earth. Yeah, and and that again, that is the hollowness of it. That I desperately want filled <laughs> is is you're the you're 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 done with the canon stuff you're done with like well the leia doesn't know who obi-wan kenobi was in a new i don't give a you're, shit you're looking uh, well, uh, it's well, that kind, kind of, of a big deal man so <laughs> this right, makes then. the event validate of the criticisms just possible. because you don't care it's like i don't care if it's crap it's like it doesn't mean it's not crap <laughs> like oh, i'm I, sorry but this is kind of this is your job so it's so fucking weird what is all right, so like, you don't care now. What now? No, so like, when you so yeah, when they highlight inconsistencies at all, then I'm like, so wait, do you care? Do, what's happening? No, they by clearly the way, don't care. I've yeah, chopped out. Really <laughs> I've chopped out a bunch of portions of this video, and uh, several of the conversations in this video are stuff we agree on with them. They they point out just inconsistencies. One of the ones they do is um, you know, the girl who sacrifices herself with a grenade. They're like, didn't really make much sense that she didn't just throw it. Yeah, it's Laura. like. Lord, Why do you yeah, care Lord, about an inconsistency? Why do you care? Didn't care mm. about that. Looking for I don't get it. Explain shit. that in this though, Rich. Uh, he tells her, "Pretend you don't know me." Oh God! You see how, on one end, you, they're fight, they're having two making fun arguments of everything at the same time that contradict each other. I'll explain myself here. So. Rich is trying to comment on how it's annoying and I don't care. Why are we talking about whether or not Luke and Obi-Wan knew each other? Eh. But Jay has just heard him say that and now wants to make fun of how bad the dialogue was. Like, trying to account for it. After Jay, uh, Rich has just said, don't care. Those like aren't going to be cooperating with each other very well, those two perspectives, right? It's almost like you're not listening. I don't give a shit. Is, is what Rich's response should probably be, but you're not going to do that because we've got... Like a chemistry and a continuity you want to maintain here. They clearly do care. They know that the dialogue was really bad. Like, to, to account for it. It's, they're doing the thing that other person did in that other video. It's Jim Sterling <laughs> saying they don't care over and over again. It's like, you definitely do. They didn't need to it's do seamless. that! Just it's fuck it! seamless, Rich. Ugh. And then, and then in this, Obi-Wan's like, where, where's... Oh, little baby Leia's been kidnapped. He, fuck her. <laughs> She's the daughter of a of a monster. No, he has a job to do. A what? daughter of a monster. Oh, you you have to appreciate oh, this. Oh, Darth said. Vader. Oh, I thought he was talking yeah. about not like, like, uh, like genuinely. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure everyone here understands what just happened. Mike saying right. Obi Wan shouldn't give a shit about Leia because she's the daughter of a bad man. Oh my so god. So was Luke. Oh, so he's not criticizing Obi Wan's first reaction that you know. He's not trying to give an exaggerated example when his first told Leia is kidnapped and Obi-Wan's like, can't do it. And is, there, is, the, is he criticizing that Obi-Wan first said no? Or is he criticizing the blanket he's, fact that Obi-Wan shouldn't go after her at all? He's saying that Obi-Wan shouldn't care about Leia because Leia, Leia's father is an evil bastard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Meaning he shouldn't that. care about To Luke be either. fair, doesn't Yoda at some point just say, fucker? What? Don't go and I mean he basically says leave her alone. We we need to practice our, our, our force. No 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 what, what he said he tells Luke that there is another, right? Well he there's says there's another, there is another. and then later her. on Obi Wan says that there is another that, that he that Luke has a sister and Luke says <gasps> Leia but Yoda's saying we have to keep her um like hidden. Well I think right? what you, they, you can't let her that she's clearly first, not hidden according to Well because to at Luke. first he was he telling Luke not danger. to go, but I think oh, wait, it's because they person, knew well, well they were hidden before and their parents knew, but she was always hidden until the well, end no, I, in the I, What I was room. getting at was that Yoda knew that Vader wouldn't kill Leia because she's more valuable alive, so he wasn't worried about her getting killed on Bespin. No, it's because he hadn't. He, he didn't because they, Vader didn't know that Leia existed. Well, I know that, but I'm saying as being Princess Leia, I don't think Yoda was worried that she would die as compared to somebody who's really a nobody to Vader, which would be Han Solo. Sorry. Yeah. I'm I'm, 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 I can't. Yeah. Uh, if, I'm, if, I, if I can just reset for a second here, right? I'm assuming the point being made was when he says there is another, he's saying even if Luke is to die or fall to the dark side, we've still got Leia. We do have another. Yeah, because uh, Ben says there, he's our only hope, and then Yoda says, no, there is another. And yeah. then the scene fades out. It's when yeah, Luke but is I was going, going off of ER's point, that. which was that Yoda basically said, no, F. F them, you need to stay here, finish your training. I don't think he was saying F Leia. I think well, he that, knew that Leia was going to survive. That's different than revealing Leia. Because Luke knew that Leia was going to leave her in the hands of Darth point. Vader. 
Well, Darth Vader didn't know that she had that, you know, that that connection existed. No, I think you well, know, it doesn't matter. Uh, Vader wasn't going to kill her. She's too valuable alive true. as compared to dead. But also leaving her with Darth Vader, I don't know. That's that's not a yeah, great plan. Well, I, mean, I mean, as much as and, I mean, Luke's even trained. then, well, you got, still, yeah, yeah you got to remember. Still want Luke to finish his training. Yoda's POV is that he thinks it's more likely Luke will fail if he goes there, and thus that doesn't mm -hmm. make the situation better, does it? Yeah, suppose. Like, hey, man, you know, if I was if I was sitting there with them, lot talking about it, I might even be like, Luke, maybe it is worth training a bit more, buddy. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Go there, it's Vader. He's pretty. You know, he's got a big, old cape. Yoda says, "You, you gotta be a. If you're not a Jedi Knight, you know, we're, you're gonna, you're, we're gonna lose you. We can lose you to the dark side. And you'll be a force of evil." It's Fuck it. Seamless, Rich. Ah. Oh. And then, and then in this, Obi Wan's like, where, where's, oh, her little baby Leia's been kidnapped. He, Fuck her. <laughs> She's the daughter of a of a monster. <laughs> I mean, like, why, why would he care? I'm crazy. I, I, I need you guys to hear that. Why would he care? Why? Why care? Why, why would he care? care? A monster. Of somebody <laughs> isn't her. I mean, like, why would he care? Mm. Wow. Oh, I, like, I, brother, I just don't. Were my brother Anakin. It's Have you like, guys I... ever heard a take She's like this a from a, someone who loves this like Star insane. Wars? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Why would Obi Wan well, care about Luke or Leia's lives when their dad was evil? It's like they had a mum too, man. <laughs> Why would Obi Wan yeah, want really nice. to protect the future of the Jedi? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you were there at the delivery. You were there. Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, uh, people are pointing out, but, like, it feels so obvious that it, like, what, what, it's like, yeah, them having a bad dad doesn't mean they are bad. Why would, what are you exactly. doing? Why would you do, what are you? <laughs> well, why just, would he I don't even know, be man. on Tatooine if he had that feeling? Because he knows that Luke is Leia's twin, so yeah, it's like, fuck, fuck her, her dad's evil. Why would he even be fuck wasting Luke. his time exactly. on fuck that also, hell of a so, planet? To be fair, he's about to follow up. Just give him a little listen. I mean, like, <laughs> why would he care? Oh, and why does he care so much about Luke? Oh. What? <laughs> Mike! Like, oh yeah, God. just in case anyone maybe he's thought. he's the only thing that can go in against Vader. Yeah, I don't in know. case anyone thought anything different, he is literally asking why in the world does Obi Wan Kenobi care about Leia or Luke? A que oh. I never, ever, ever <laughs> thought a Star Wars fan would ask this question. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, this is back think in these Revenge guys of the Sith. actually Sith Star Wars fans. Well, yeah, so if people needed to actually know the answer, so he's charged with it as like a duty. The are, these are innocent children. He feels vaguely responsible, or even directly responsible, as a result of ha all this happening in relation to Anakin. And then they're going to be the future of the Jedi and the hope for the galaxy. Do I need well, more yeah, reasons feel... than this? <laughs> like, I don't know. You better feel doubly responsible in the OT now that it's been contextualized that he let Darth Vader go again. Again, yeah. So now, when Luke wants to go to Cloud City and fight Vader, Ben's going, Oh, fuck. It's kind of my fault. But, like, it's not just that Mike says this. Rich and Jade don't suggest otherwise. They seem to agree, yeah, I guess. Yeah, this is nuts. I guess they agree. I don't know if they do, but, like, does anyone here remember Star Wars? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Because that's what he's been put on that planet to do until he dies. He's the son of his See, Good but, point, Jay! Yeah, good, good point, Jay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so why did he go leave Leia? Let's, op operating strictly on that logic, why did he go to Leia? Oh, man. Because plot. Because they needed a show. That's what I mean. It feels like mm -hmm. there's a tangential point that we would agree with, which is he never should have left, abandoned, I should say, Luke, Valeia. It was That's Bale's charge, and Bale's in a much better position to help. Like, that's a valid question to ask, but why does he care at all about either of them? It's like, oh, jeez. Best friend. It, it makes sense if they're actually special, and they're the only ones who can save the galaxy from right. Darth Vader uh -huh. and Emperor Palpatine. But they're not. But they don't know that but, yet. Huh? I know. Anakin should I mean, I they, oh, sorry. They even if they were exactly the ones what that, they believe they are though. It doesn't yeah. have to be true, they just have to believe it to be true. But even if they're not, they're also innocent children that deserve well, yeah, to be Well, yeah, there's loads of reasons. Like, 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 it's a real basic one. If you're Obi-Wan, wouldn't you feel kind of guilty for the situation those kids are in? Yeah, Especially with Kenobi, yes. Yeah, this, this is what I mean. I, I laid out like four significant reasons for this. I feel like there's no way you're successfully arguing that Obi-Wan shouldn't give a shit. Ain't happening. What else would they do? 
<laughs> yeah, where else would he go? <laughs> let him, let him protect the innocent children. All right, I think it's fine. The only one I would kill Luke. <laughs> I'd be like, you're fine. So now we're at the point <laughs> where what? Obi Wan would kill oh Luke. What? Because your dad was evil. So your dad Holy was evil. Christ. So Re remember how I said <laughs> this video goes off the fucking deep end. I legit was like, wait, what? <laughs> Just stop talking about Star <laughs> Wars. You're what the fuck is happening? So I don't watch these guys very often. Is he just trying to be funny? I don't know anymore. They, like people claim their spirits and brains were broken by Picard season two. That's the that's the <laughs> arc we're on. They don't know how to say or do anything anymore. <laughs> surely watching a, a season of bad TV doesn't like surely that doesn't seep into everything else to the like point where you're advocating for child murder. I, I can't believe they said that. Yeah, I'm gonna play. It. <laughs> let me play it again. Just you know, let's be fair. Let's get that full quote. But they're not. But they don't know that yet. I know. Anakin should uh, if. What do you mean they don't know that yet? It, <sighs> they believe it to be true, and that is enough of a mm. reason. That sounded like a defense almost there. So, from them, I mean, like, they drop in that point immediately. We're, we're moving on to Kenobi killing the children, right? Come on, keep up. Oh, okay, <laughs> I got, you're right. I, let me catch up. I'm living in the past. If I were Obi-Wan, I would kill Luke. <laughs> I'd be like, your father is 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 the worst piece oh of God. shit ever. <laughs> your, your father is the worst piece Holy of crap. shit ever. And I'm then Luke would you. look at Owen, and he's like, well, he's not that bad. Oh my God. Children deserve to pay for the sins of their father. I, it's a fucking unreal. I read that in the Old chat. Testament and by the way, right here. God damn. I swear to God, like, like I said, huge fan of Red Letter Media. Same, I imagine, for several people in this call right now, possibly. I don't know. I'm not, it, just, mm -hmm. the community, that everyone listening to this, they're just gonna ignore that. They're just gonna be like, "You didn't say that. That's fine. Moving on." Because <laughs> like how do you how do you square that away at all? Like, you know what Obi Wan well, should have done? Execute Luke. If you claim that they're Star Trek fans, so there's a whole like thing with the Klingons where Worf is basically responsible for his father, and so it's like by this whole scenario that he's putting forth it's like how can you call yourself a star trek fan when you're literally calling for something that Worf literally fucking fought for in star trek this blows my mind i like i said i couldn't this believe this was being said by him well if you remember because like a lot when we covered the first four episodes i think i said like okay probably not gonna do the next two it's probably similar stuff whatever but a lot of people when it came out were like please cover it it's worse than part one it's like it is. This is worse than part one. They just argued Obi-Wan Kenobi should have executed Luke. <sighs> Gotta admit, that's, that's even further along than what Ryan Johnson would advocate for, I think. And, <laughs> and he's awful, and you're probably gonna turn into him. You're probably oh gonna uh... turn into him. <laughs> Uh, I guess shit. we're retroactively approving of Luke in TLJ. I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Is this funny, is though, right? humor? Like, I mean... is he being sarcastic? No. He's I mean... gotta be. He's gotta be. There's, there's no way he actually is advocating for Obi Wan <laughs> killing a kid. The moment like, Luke starts having some bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's plenty of Star Trek episodes where they like fight this exact thing that he's making a declaration on as his point in this video, so... Uh. Funny, though. Uh, should the child of the worst tyrant known in the universe, uh, how would they be judged or how would they be perceived by the people of the world that was tormented by that evil guy? It's literally a plot point in my book. <laughs> so, anyway, I can well, relate dude, to the concept. I, I, I... A certain someone, a certain historical figure who is a tyrant that is very infamous, like their their children are like have like written books about this type of a thing. This is like actually a thing in real life that happens. I Yeah, the does, question is Obi Wan would never do that, and most reasonable, even not, not even unreasonable people wouldn't do it. They would they could judge people with bias and resent and, uh, and uh, distrust and stuff. If it's a child of a terrible person, I could see people being bigoted in that way, but just flat out killing him. It's like, mm. that's, uh, that's, that's next. Well, then he would, yeah, be, as a lot he of would be just as bad as Vader. Murder. I'll, um, I'll roll it back. And if we can let it play for a decent chunk, just see, try and gather a vibe of, is he joking? It, it makes sense if they're actually special and they're the only ones who can save the galaxy from right. Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine, but they're not. But they don't know that yet. I know. Anakin should, uh, if I were Obi-Wan, I, I would is. kill Luke. <laughs> I'd be like, your father is, is, is the worst piece of shit ever. <laughs> and, 
and he's awful, and you're probably going to turn into him. See, this is why no, people like hate the last. Like, like did, did Mike seem like he was joking? It doesn't seem like it. I, I did. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's drunk. Because Jay's having the normal person reaction to it. Yeah. Like, what the like, fuck what are you, you suggesting? What the fuck? When Jay is the voice of reason in a Star Wars discussion. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I think it's at least a partial joke. I'm shocked that you guys know all of them by name. Oh, these guys are great. Three three people. People. I love them. <laughs> three 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 any them. video I try to watch them, I just, I have to turn it off. I can't stand them. Oh, my. Oh, or even like, best look, of the look, at the, look at his current like expression. Charisma. He's like... <laughs> He's like, uh, he's, he's pleading. He's like, do you, it's, it's like, is there, is there someone behind you with a gun? <laughs> like, do you need help? I'm Blink curious. SOS. He's still, like, what? There is still a fucking nuclear take coming up, and I'm curious if chat will think that's a joke as well. Because I'm starting to wonder, is, is it just the bad takes of jokes? Is that what we'll do? We'll just, we'll just, we'll just can survive this. Well, Our the sad. delivery yeah. is so flat that I have no idea. Like they, they seem yeah. just so like uninspired and just apathetic that I'm just like, I if they're telling jokes, I wouldn't. I'm none the wiser. That's generally their delivery. Well, because Luke almost kills Kylo Ren. What? Oh, remember? Yes, I, that, oh shit! Like, I forgot oh, about oh, this one. God, hang on, that. hang on. Oh, Let me, oh no! I gotta roll this oh, back. Yeah, yeah, you guys, <sighs> chat, fucking brace yourselves. You had this before. You had it last time. He's he's about to say the similar thing. And he's awful, and you're probably gonna turn into him. See, this is why people hate the Last Jedi, though, because Luke almost kills Kylo Ren. What? Oh. oh what? He has that that uh, brief moment where he thinks about killing Kylo Ren. And everybody hates that movie because of that. Oh, sure, sure, yes, because he, he senses badness in Kylo Ren. Right? Yeah, so he has a brief moment where he thinks about killing him. <laughs> He's like, oh, he doesn't shit, kill him, I'm but Kylo just the Ren. fact that he thought about it is enough. No, he didn't. No, he attempted to do it. Mm. Well, so if we're supposed to believe one of the three flashbacks is probably the final one, and then the final one he ignites the lightsaber, he doesn't swing. It doesn't do it, yeah. So you, you Again, definitely, you, like, you can, the problem everyone takes with this is the full consideration of executing Kylo. That's just completely out of the realm of Luke's yeah, characterization. Yeah, it's like the one step short of actually doing it is going yeah. there, bringing your lightsaber, igniting the lightsaber. This is like, it's, it's like some, going to someone's bedside, taking a gun, loading the gun, putting around in the chamber, uh, pointing it at someone's face. Yeah, and I want to... Well, you don't know that. Try like and... He could have just dropped something and needed the light. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, I mean, come on. Some people say, Give like, it's totally fine that he considered it. And it's, it's hard to translate, but it's just like you wake up and you, you're kind of hungry. You go downstairs, and let's, let's say your, your, your mum or dad is just sort of standing there and they're making a cereal, and you see the cereal box, and you're like, could I have cereal? I could eat my mum. Uh, what? Cereal. Oh. That's what I'm oh. saying. You, 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 it's the wait. Well, how do you guys? It's cannibalism. I'm talking about. You better not be fucking. Yeah, it's, about anything it's like else. a like a random, totally evil thing that just pops into it's, your the, head. The, the idea is like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like somebody like, suggesting, you know, yeah, that's perfectly in character for Bola to consider it. He didn't do it. It's like, no, it's not. Why the fuck would I consider <laughs> that? Like, what? No. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, tasty mom be looking. Cannibalism is so lovely, weird. Delicious bowl of mummos to start the day. Nice. <laughs> moment where he thinks about killing him but he doesn't kill him but just the fact that he thought about it is enough <laughs> like to send he doesn't even uh, he did more than I, think I, about I, it I, i'm gonna keep like, I just... pausing him before he says it. if you, you guys gotta let him finish the sentence okay you're gonna love it for sure yes because he he senses badness in kylo ren right? yeah so he has a brief moment where he thinks about totally killing recalling. him but he doesn't kill him but just the fact that he thought about it is enough to send a bunch of man babies into a, I, a fit. Oh, the man babies. Uh, man babies. Oh, no. Jay loves that. Why would he say that? <laughs> because you can just dismiss the things that people have to say in their criticisms if you call them a man if, baby. If it's a really yeah, yeah, better yeah. way to really use a funny voice. What they're doing, doesn't that qualify them as man babies? Oh, absolutely. Yep. They, oh yeah, dude. They're, sure. they're practically cited as the origin of Star Wars man babiness because of the prequel videos. Right. So. Don't know why they would use that cudgel. Uh, it's a bit, a bit odd. But hey, chat, is it a joke? Mm. I don't think so. Also, I'm gonna be, mm. be... maybe um, I still can't. Tell. Doomer's having problems getting the watch together to work, so I it's working for us. 
Is there so, too many people yeah, in it? I don't know. I'm not the only one with technical difficulties. Yeah, I just I don't hear any sound for some reason. I don't know why. Is yours muted? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, nope. Hmm. Who's the king? Sitch is no longer here. You can kick Sitch out. If it's I would, like I would asking, love that. Are you asking who the king is? Yeah. Um, the user JJ uh, CVS. Oh, he's the. Oh, I see. The, I, I. That's probably Mahler. He he made the. He was the one who made the channel. You would guess. Yeah. Together. Seems like it would be Mahler. Yeah. Look, he's the you're, king. I'm, I'm he guessing you're the one that says Adam friended, and it has the picture of you. That's me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes PSA sense. PSA Sitch is the other is the one who isn't us. here that but is still in the watch together. Like he fell asleep and just left his computer on. <laughs> How does everybody but, feel about this video so far? <laughs> it's really this bad. Is, it's bizarre. It's I'm just bizarre it. that it's coming from Red Letter Media, you know. Wasn't you like this to think that they're pretty idea, good though? at just avoiding this? I mean, unfortunately it comes uh. off as very hypocritical. Like the, well, you yeah. know, the, especially yes. that man baby comment. I was just like, whoa. Yeah, yeah that's and bad. I don't know. Their Star Wars content has been, been iffy for a, a good long while. Yeah, especially I mean, I feel Disney. like any of their stuff that I watch, it's pretty much like this. I certainly, the stuff that I enjoy from them the most is their best of the worst, which is not oh, yeah. that I, it's, it's not super big into like the criticism aspect. It's mostly for entertainment and they have really excellent chemistry together in those videos and they're very, very fun and rewatchable. I don't really watch their half of the bags or most of the other stuff they do. Yeah, Best of the Worst is great. But I love Best of the Worst immensely. That's why I watch them, essentially. The impression that you get with this video is that the indifference has led to a, uh, a very unfocused conversation where a lot of weird arguments sort of get thrown at the wall without being examined. And so you have yeah. this weird. It seems like they just are trying topics. to make content, you know, and they're like, we'll have a conversation about this. Here's the bullet points that we all have to talk on. And then we'll edit it to make it a 17 minute video. Like, that's really what it feels oh, well, like. It's 17 minutes because Moller has <laughs> cut it down. Oh, well, yeah, however long is it is. Cut. Like, they, they just need content originally? and to talk about really it. Really that's what it really seems to me. Yeah. It's probably 45 minutes or so, an hour maybe. Way. Yeah that they are talking about, uh, about it out of obligation because Red Letter Media made the big popular Star Wars, influential Star Wars video. And, um, but it seems like they don't care anymore, which is fine. I'm but then it, it's a video that's sort of laden with a lot of weird claims that seem to stem heavily oh. from just indifference. Yeah, it's worth mentioning, because I was, I was listening as well, that um, I, it's, it's a supercut and they say a lot of stuff you guys would totally agree with and stuff about that contradicts the idea of like what they care about. They talk a lot about how it doesn't match law or its own continuity. I chopped out all the stuff we agree with because I figured it was just like kind of pointless. Uh, we did it with the first half, and this is what I mean. I'm telling people, trust me, they have good takes, they have normal takes, but they also say shit like this, and it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Who knows? You got sometimes know. you just gotta take the good with the bad. That's just well, the way it rolls. Our Ar Arlem just says really some weird like stuff that. sometimes. Like that, I've always found them very entertaining. But like, the there was a half in the bag where they were they were doing some Hercules movie, and they just shit on the movie the entire time, and then recommended it. And I was just, like, <laughs> yeah. I was so I've confused. I mean, yeah, yeah. I say, I've probably done that before. Sure, <laughs> there's movies that I've I would absolutely oh, I've shit definitely all done over that, yeah. and recommend. That was fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> if, you ca if you cared about Star Wars I, canon, I, I really enjoy them, but I I don't take like their analysis a hundred percent seriously. I guess is a good way to put it. Mm. You take the good stuff seriously, is what you're saying. The the entertainment, yeah. I just Isn't that just saying that you watch. I take their entertainment seriously, indeed. When they have a character, what thing, is that's entertainment? When you're yeah, or not. The fact certain. that you thought about it is enough to send. <laughs> A bunch of man babies into a, I, a fit. That was fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> that awkward laugh too. Just just like, ah. Ha 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 ha. You care, if you cared about Star Wars canon, it would be impossible to enjoy Star Wars. What? So is Look that my that. fault or is it the yeah, writer's no, fault? Why is that my fucking me. fault? I mean, like, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I care well, about well, the canon say, of yeah. stories I used to enjoy. I guess That's I agree with them, but like, doesn't this apply to 
you know, all of the franchises and are you know getting that, fucked. Yeah. Like, you know you literally can't control what you care about, right? That That's literally something you cannot control. It's, it's it's a result of things, right? You you can't just, oh, let me just literally stop caring. It's like, no, you realize you stopped caring because of something. Like, I can't just hit the switch mm. and I care about Star Wars again, and then the next day hit the switch again and I no longer care about yeah, it. Yeah, you stopped caring because Disney stopped caring. Yeah, yeah exactly. I stopped caring as a result of what was done with the franchise. I care. Oh, well, I care been... about the original trilogy. Yeah, yeah. I care about. It's the been a while since all of this degradation good. started, but like, it's so crazy still that so many writers care about their properties, like it's insignificantly compared to the fans. It's like, how can you write without caring about that? I oh, don't get it. Disney have made a whole production line for everything. I know. <laughs> they they, they I figured understand. it out, man. They, they care built about an money. evil empire out of doing it. Yeah. Just well, you know, even by this point that he's making, it's like, well, what about movies that take place in the real world where they just have to do like the special effects so that way it, well, it makes a cool shot and it doesn't work within the canon of reality, but we don't care because we're watching it and it's a cool movie. You know, it's like, what? I don't even think that they care about what they're saying or if they even realize the ramifications of what they're saying. Which, yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying that's why they're saying this bizarre shit. Because <laughs> they don't yeah, know they, what they're else literally to say. just making content, I think. And they like, Obi Wan's the hot new Star Wars show. We just need to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. When you watch, yeah, when you they're watch. Really, watch... They're really just tired. <laughs> you just have to forget that the prequels exist. When you watch this, you have to forget everything else existing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can enjoy this shit. I really like the moment when Tala used. No! Both. No! <laughs> it's no. Oh, I what? Get it. what are those fucking spikes on her hands for? What? It's oh, cool. What, why are, so I do. Why are they on there? What is the purpose? Cool. Why, are they little, why do you have little butt plugs on yeah. your hands? Spooky. Are you going to like uh, backhand someone? Like maybe. A Brass knuckles, and maybe? Oh, oh, you. But it's, you'd have to it's like intimidating, slap someone with the back Rags. of your hand. It'll let other bounty hunters know you don't fuck with this one. They got yeah. hand spikes. She's got spikes on her the back of her hand. I didn't what? even notice before. I should have. Maybe I was just oh, I, I was overcome with grief when I was watching this episode. It's like watching the death of a friend over and over and over again well, on a holocron. Isn't, uh, isn't that wait, from yeah, yeah, Return, yeah, Return yeah, of the uh, Jedi? Rags, that's, that's... Not, that's not from Kenobi. That's Return of the Jedi. I, I still have a problem with it. No, I know, but <laughs> I <think it's... laughs> just making sure you know what it's from. I, I, I don't even care. I, just, like, I, I see spikes on the back of someone's hand and I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can enjoy this shit. I really like the moment when Tala used the Boba Fett thermal nuclear detonator. That wasn't mm. Boba Okay, I... <laughs> it's not Boba Fett. <laughs> that was... That was so they, it, well. It looks like Boba Fett. I do like, but like, isn't that yeah. a dick? I don't even blame him. That's he, Luke, right? It, it's like dragging out some dude <laughs> no, to talk about Leia. this as if he cares about it, but he doesn't. Like, it, it's clear <laughs> at this point. <laughs> the fucking, I, I don't know. Remember when Boba like, Fett, when Fett like, had the thing? He just lives there in like the shed or something, and they they poke him and wake him up from his alcohol fueled slumber so that he can talk about some Star Wars movie. Oh, again. someone asked. Is the man baby thing the nuclear take? No. We haven't no. gotten there yet. <laughs> oh no. Um, to blow no, herself we haven't up. Gotten there yet. Her yeah. and uh, the loader. I really liked, I felt a, mo a more emotion for the loader yep. exploding than sure. Chalia. But <laughs> the loader <laughs> only cared because it was programmed to. <laughs> But he she should care, though. That's all that matters. Well, and that's in a sense, you could e feel even more yeah. tragedy for that—that that this creature was programmed into becoming a, a meat shield in a sense, like it couldn't escape that fate. Yeah. The, the droids <laughs> have some level of sentience in Star Wars. It's a bit disturbing if you think of it that way. But if you think of it the normal way, right. that he's a friend of hers and he chose to take the, but you know, everyone likes the loader more than any character in Kenobi, <laughs> just because he's a droid trying to help. That's it. Have thrown that grenade. <laughs> she was injured, though, wasn't she? She was, but like she was injured. Why? Hey, so she could be yeah. throwing what about the grenade. Before you she was injured. What, what about care? before? If you're she shot in the belly, you can move fine. your arbs still. <laughs> like, throw the grenade. Rolled it a yeah. little bit. 
You could have tried. Fuck. You could have tried. That's just you could. This whole the way, show, you could have tried. I wouldn't be surprised if they would even categorize this like this is such a nitpick. Meanwhile, we're like this is such a blatant fuck up. Like because anybody yeah, yeah, would huge. throw the grenade. Reva and all the stormtroopers were like coming down the hallway, and just... that's so many experience points clustered oh, together yes. right yeah. there. Oh, <laughs> you'll, you'll level up with that one grenade. You, you know the the kill <laughs> feed <laughs> combo points. It would just be this huge mass of names. Yeah. I would have thrown it, you know. But that's not uh, as emotional, Mike. It, it it was like a that was a cheap emotional moment. It would have had more impact had Obi Wan smooched on her. <laughs> it would have, yes. I mean, it would have had a more emotional a impact Jedi. if she wasn't but stupid. Come on, about her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What were you saying? I was like, it would have had more emotional impact if it wasn't stupid and we cared about her. Well, it is weird, right? To be like, oh man, I really liked that part, but it was cheap. Like, oh. Oh, so you recognize <laughs> that, like, you've been f fool um... Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, if that, yeah, if he's saying, like, I enjoyed it, but it's poorly made, it's like, all right. All right, enough. sure. All right. It would have had more impact had Obi-Wan smooched on her. <laughs> it would have, yes. He can't do that because he's a Jedi. But come on, but they bend the rules with everything else. Because it's because in Jedi, uh... Luke gets the cult personality. He becomes a Jedi and he instantly... Oh, shit. Here we are. Oh, wow. This, it? Books. Here we this is a Get ready. take. Here we oh, are. Oh, I can't wait. Uh -oh. I don't know that you guys are ready for... Oh, oh geez. Okay. My body is With everything ready. else. It's because in Jedi, Luke gets the cult personality. He becomes a Jedi and he instantly becomes boring. Yeah. yeah. Does he? he? Goes from the, 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 the farm boy he looking for adventure to... Yes, father. I sense the good in you. <laughs> I have drained all emotion from my personality. He's speaking You've got to solemnly to his father. So I watched this, the scene just like the other day for yeah, a video. This, this, it was like yesterday. Oh, like, yeah. Like, like, I, I, Cat, I, what are we I, thinking? Joke or real? <laughs> like, I think, like, he tries I, to emotionally appeal but, to a fatherhood. I don't know remembering. About. Well, so I've Hasn't actually... Hasn't watched the movie in too I, long, I, maybe? I, I, just, I've actually thrown the clip in there for you guys, so let's have a little look-see. I'm creepy now. <laughs> No, Emperor, I won't. Oh, yes, sorry. To... Not talking to the Dude, he, Mark Hamill is so on point in yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. then when he turns on the lightsaber and you just, like, get that reaction where he's clearly on edge, but, like, trying to keep his cool. Like, he's so good. Yeah, oh, so yeah, my interpretation know, I... of him in the movie is that he is trying to come across as more than he has yet, like, become necessarily. He wants to uh, project himself as a very confident... In control, yeah, Jedi Master. Calm. He's trying, he's trying everything he can. <laughs> the whole movie is about <laughs> testing his metal. Will he? He's so, he's so emotionless, even though he snaps at Vader and screams no when he, Vader's taunting him about Leia. It's totally emotionless. So well, not that's only what is makes Obi Wan Kenobi act. boring, but so is Luke Skywalker in Jedi. Well, okay. All yeah. Right. Th so this is why this is one of the most baffling Star Wars takes ever, because most people pick the scenes relating to Vader and Luke as their favorite in all of Star Wars in in Return of the Jedi. And it's because of the emotion. So it's just like, what is happening? Be now. <laughs> coming. At, no. They're saying he became boring. I remember what, as a kid, Jedi was easily my favorite because Luke became a badass. He absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. It was very but exciting Jedi, of a movie. Yeah. It's like, for a, for a kid, and I, I, it's hard for me to judge objectively now because I've got all that nostalgia mixed in with it. But Luke became so cool in Jedi compared to the other ones. Uh, it was easily my favorite. Oh, yeah. Emperor, I will never join you. I am a Jedi like my father. You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi like my father before me. Oh, I am a Jedi like my father. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, oh, that, that's, that's one for one. So, such a yeah, yeah. convincing. He knows the quote. He's just like, I like this. This has to be put on. This yeah, has to be a voice. Nah, I, think, I, I think he's serious. I think and I would go as far as saying Mark Hamill's performance for delivering this is pretty damn great. I yeah, get a, like, I get a full yeah, sense yeah. that he's like he's he's, he's emboldened by his full on belief that, mm. yeah, I'm going to stay strong to this, but he's still stressed out as fuck. And you get those little Absolutely. breaths. And he's like, and, yeah. and the music reflecting, like, so what happens next? And then obviously we cut to the Emperor, and he's like, so be it. Which is like, oh shit, what's gonna happen now? It's like eyes. the best part of the movie. I am a Jedi. How can he know the quote like so intimately, but just fail in the delivery? Like, th this has to be, like, put up. There's just, like, 
I don't know how he could accidentally do this, just accidentally remember it being emotionless. Because it's well, like, and people do that all the time on EFAP. Yeah, people just totally. flat out do not remember the material that they're referencing. Well, like, there's the guy I'm covering right now, just as a just as an example. The guy I'm covering right now for a response literally says that it's fucking insane that I think Obi Wan wants Luke to kill Vader. People just flat out do not remember the shit that they talk about. It's it's um it's odd, but I mean it's it's pretty hard when you literally put his impression of Luke next to Luke delivering it. You're just like, okay, so even if you were going to be critical of his acting in this scene, it ain't that, right? It's great. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So I am a Jedi. Like my oh father, my I have been programmed into the Jedi cult now. He becomes a creepy priest man. Yeah, he programmed does. That's the Luke's arc. He becomes what? a crazy priest Even man. though he disobeys so many of the rules, like, frequently throughout that entire movie. It's just yeah, like, he... <laughs> one of the reasons that Obi-Wan didn't tell Luke that Vader was his father was because he thinks that that would make Luke hesitate in killing Vader. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so <sighs> when Luke goes to meet Vader, he tries to appeal to that relationship in order to save Vader and not kill him. So out of I all just, the lines... You just, you just have to watch the movie again. You clearly don't remember it. So he's complaining about Luke's delivery in Return of the Jedi, like that scene, but not when Luke's in front of Jabba. Like, if you're going to complain about his delivery, I'd complain about those ones, not where he's like literally panting from fighting and refusing to kill his father. Like, what the fuck? I, this is what I mean. It's one of the most iconic lines. Like, it's one of the things that everyone fucking loves about it. Like, people don't typically remember it as being really robotic from my memory, but okay. I mean, the dude just got finished fighting. Like, what, what do you want? <laughs> There's nothing to see. I used to live here, you know. You're gonna die here, you know. Convenient. Just stick close to Chewie and Lando. I'm taking care of everything. What is it? Ask me again sometime. By the way, this is what this is the first time that he sees Leia after learning that Leia is his sister. Yeah, I and quite, so he just tells mm -hmm. her, ask me I, about it another time. I quite love that delivery. It's such a Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Ask me about it another time. No, he's time. a creepy priest man, apparently. Mahler, did you put these in or is it them yeah, that put these they in? They definitely didn't put these in because they don't help their point very much. Yeah. <laughs> They're ready to be completely different. Power too. In time, you'll learn to use it as I have. Look at that. Han, dude, before when he says, "I don't remember my mother," it's like yeah, yeah. It's I, was, I was, I was, gonna put a lot more. But I was like, I fucking, I want to just play the movie. <laughs> why not? That was why you couldn't destroy me. That's why you won't bring me to your emperor now. So what are we? What what happens to the Star Wars now? Don't give a shit. Star Wars to me at this point, I'm like Tim Robinson in that sketch where he's like, I don't want to be around. Then anymore. why are you talking? About I don't want to be around. Then give up, man. <laughs> just just don't yeah, like, just uh, watch talk other about things. Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to talk about Star Trek either. <laughs> they don't want to talk about anything anymore. <laughs> don't forget, Darth Vader snaps a little kid's neck in the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Oh, oh yeah, be the first yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. That was pretty, I mean, uh, an adult. pretty upsetting. See, no, Dude, I just want to pause it. dozens of children in Revenge <laughs> of the Sith. Hey, I'm... <laughs> what are you talking about? Someone. I'm actually on board with the criticism. I, um, with him killing a child? No, I'm on, I'm on board with the criticism of that very moment. We, we've talked about this a couple of times on our coverage, but it's very specific. I think that Vader, especially post Revenge of the Sith Vader, especially a decade on, He's a very pragmatic killer. I don't believe yeah. that he just kills out of like right. malice or boredom or whatever. And so the argument is, why did he kill that kid there pragmatically? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, that's it's not to... what Mike's saying though. Well, he, we'll get that, do we? So like, the my okay. argument would be that he's like, he's he, when he's picking people up and making them scream. It's like, right, it's perfect. That's gonna tempt a Jedi Obi Wan to try and help. When he just yanks someone and breaks their neck and then sort of moves on, I was like, oh. Oh well, I'm not yeah. saving him, so I can't. I can't do anything about that. So that's yeah, that's, like that's bad. You know? Like yeah, I, mean, I I would I would go as far as saying like, oh, the, Vader wouldn't have done that. He he's gonna want every last scream out of all of these people as much as possible. The the and the, you know the big thing that fucks up in that scene is Kenobi just runs off. Like if, Kenobi if, just if, sort of yeah, the way that Kenobi is looking through the window or the door at this, he has this like sort of blank expression on his face. Like he doesn't look really concerned he's just sort of observing vader 
and he's not he, and he's not fucking off with Leia. He tells it's a it's a really bad scene. All problem, all bad. Um, and and so him simply saying that was like brutal or whatever. Just like um, oh yeah, I wouldn't that wouldn't be my criticism. In terms, like Vader's perfectly capable of doing brutal things or whatever, but I. It's, it's, it's very specific in context for I don't believe he would do that. Like, he drags someone across the floor while they're screaming. I was like, yep, that's, I believe he'd probably do that too. He's trying to tempt Obi-Wan out. Um, also, some, someone said, uh, where's the nuclear take? I, that was it. The, the one where they said Luke in the movie where he, like, fucking climaxes his hero's journey is where he's a boring priest man who can't act. This, uh, that was the nuclear take, yeah. <laughs> Have they said that before? I feel like I've I heard that before. I really don't think I've heard these takes from them before. So. Okay. Maybe they have, but Maybe, I, I don't uh, think so. I really uh, I feel like that's something I'd remember if I've heard it before. Maybe I just haven't heard it before from them. Because I don't I definitely don't watch other content, so. He was a little too mean in this, don't you think? No, it was the appropriate it was amount the of the appropriate amount of Darth Vader. It wasn't like the end of Rogue One, that hallway scene that everybody just their pants over. No, so that is the appropriate amount of Vader. Rogue One is out of character for him, but he was in character. So, <sighs> Ro when so when did, Darth Vader didn't they tell you allowed when he, the... when he put him in the fire, like when he dragged everyone I'm, to dude, the fire. I'm pretty sure they liked that. that. Yeah, they liked when yeah. when Darth Vader allowed the rebellion to live. By not sending a TIE fighter or a Star Destroyer after them, that's in character. But when he's killing rebels to stop them from delivering Death Star plans to the rest of the rebellion, that's what is out of character. That's out of scene? character. What ought he be doing? Well, so listen to the reasoning. Let's do it. It's the appropriate amount of Darth Vader. It wasn't like the end of Rogue One, that hallway scene that everybody jizz their pants over, where he's just slashing everybody, and he's like a like a horror villain. I have. That's, what? That's, is that, that is, it? That is it, yeah. I wouldn't what? I wouldn't have oh, cut any it? more arguments. That was it. Oh no. I don't give a shit. I love that that's scene. Not an why is it out of character? <laughs> you didn't say why it was out of character. You well, just described the scene. It's so like um defensive too in terms of or like maybe an insecurity is what I would aim for, because like he's like the people who jizzed over that scene, it's like, can I just say that's what you're doing with this one? Yeah, when he dragged him through the fire, like people jizzed over that. Yeah, like uh, First of all, just over what you want. Just don't hurt Are anyone. You... <laughs> like, but... Is he just <laughs> desperate to have a to not have a popular opinion? Well, they they've always said they hate this scene. Um, oh, I've yeah. always liked it. I've always I, liked I it. Take since up, the first time I saw it. Yeah. I want to take up the wording he has there because what's wrong with Darth Vader being a horror villain? I don't know. I legit have Isn't no that idea. Isn't exactly what he should be in that scene? Well, that's what I love about this. Uh, this is what it would be like trying to face Vader as a regular soldier. Yes. And it would be horror. Like, just yeah, holy crap. Yeah, it would be horrifying. You, are you can't do anything. You have nothing. Yeah, and I love that they actually have all it's of them God. shoot at him at once. And that doesn't stop him. Imagine telling people about this. There's a guy out there that a barrage of lasers don't do shit to him. Wait, why do, why do they hate the scene? Because he's made into a slasher villain. Yeah, he looks uh, like a horror villain. I think they think it's like okay. fan fiction. I have no idea. Um, I, I got nothing. Always seen that everybody jizz their pants over, where he's just slashing everybody, and he's like a like a horror villain. I have no he idea. Isn't that terrible? Oh. Right, that's it. Actually, that's that's the end of the because the rest oh. I've got a cut of some other things. You guys see, that's kind of funny. We this, made it. Yeah, this first one. Let me go back to. Um, someone linked this video, and I just thought it was funny, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you guys' take on it first, alright? So it's, it's pretty much the full thing, but just see what you think. This is apparently, it's a clip from a, a guy's bigger video, and it's, um, and he makes, like, bigger videos, but it, this is a, some kind of announcement about a poster, right? I just, just want to see what you think. Like a, like a horror villain. I have no idea what the marketing team over at Disney and Lucasfilm were thinking when they posted this. Today on Twitter, Star Wars announced a new Obi-Wan Kenobi, A Jedi Returns. Now, many fans, and myself included, thought this was an announcement for a second season. The poster is framed to look like a promotion for a new season, and the logo but just makes says, me think this the is the title that? for the second So let's actually, before let it continue, look at the poster. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it says a behind the scenes documentary. Look, can you see yeah. the fucking boom mic and the. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crew yeah. behind him. 
There is are a, the, the making that's of the Obi Wan Kenobi text J above. Jabba his the Hutt's head. minions oh. are trying to film illegally on the moisture farm. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> wants to get them off of his. Is he stay away from Luke? Right, like the a, damn press. He's fucking paparazzi. I think. Like, I mean, still... to to throw him a bone, I could see someone like looking at this and going like, "Oh, wait, season two and then being like, "Oh, no, documentary." Like, I mean, it's it'd be pretty easy to pick up on the clues. I'd say. No, man. I don't. This is misleading marketing. This it, Disney's <laughs> trying to pull you up. <laughs> How dare they? I How just like it says us? on it a new behind the scenes documentary you about think the that'd give it away. Obi Wan Kenobi. A little bit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just I'll let it. Fans. Now, many fans, and myself included, thought this was an announcement for a second season. The poster wow. is framed to look like a promotion for a new season, and oh. the logo just makes me think this is the title for the second season. He's clearly reading what's on the poster to yeah. judge whether or not this is correct marketing. <laughs> in That's why I'm going to read from. Normally, read from the top down. Yeah. But in fact, it's not a new season at all. It's actually. But then he on a shows second the poster viewing to of explain the poster. what it is. <laughs> he <laughs> zoomed in the on the poster. Secretly at of the, the top of the poster. <laughs> There's an Easter <laughs> egg if you can find on, it. On, on my fifth viewing of the poster, I discovered uh, some things you didn't notice the about this promotional poster. Thing is, though, thing is, though, I've done things this stupid before. I think we all have at <laughs> hey, one time. I'm not saying he's no, a bad no, person. Yeah, this is funny. This that, video. Like. No, no, no. It's not that we didn't notice it the first thing that you saw on the poster. It's that you said that, like, the poster deceived you or that you were tricked or yeah. that you were led to believe it was a new season. That's yeah, the usually. I, yeah, usually yeah, when you true, do something like this, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm just a fucking idiot. Exactly. Did he notice when he was I, editing this video? Well, so that like, yeah. So yeah, but, 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 he's suggesting it. that it's like a common occurrence that no one's going to be reading that part and doesn't see that that season. Like, but in fact, it's not a new season at all. It's actually a behind-the-scenes documentary of the first season. Now, you wouldn't be in the wrong in not realizing this. It's in small what? text at the top what? of the post. <laughs> <laughs> and you no, you missed it. Uh, that, that's the difference right there. Oh, yeah, I think we've all done stuff like this before, but when we realize, it's like... We, we don't. We don't make the video up. share, do we? We, I don't, yeah, we, we do. We, we don't justify it's like. <laughs> and the original tweet mentions nothing about it being a documentary at all. So many fans. Uh, I mean, like the poster. It says so right there. <laughs> it's literally on the poster. <laughs> oh it's my right. god! And also hey, it's um, when you see an image in a tweet, do you yes. do you look at the image first or do you read the text? But the text I guess I look at the image it. first because it's just first, I, know, I guess so it's prominent. In in his defense, that looks like you know filler, nothing text that you know is usually just like it, no, that's not a defense because blah, blah, blah. you read it before you talk about it. Like you read oh, the post. I, I usually ignore small text like that. If at I'm the gonna, top of the poster. well, that's that's kind of foolish. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Right, my well, eyes went to Obi Wan himself. Right, so first thing my eyes mm -hmm. go to is Obi Wan himself. Then I read Obi Wan Kenobi: A Jedi's Return. Then my eyes, yeah. for some reason, I don't know if this is for everyone else, immediately go to the crew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yep. And as soon as I see them, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And then I'll look around and yeah. I'll be like, a new behind the scenes exactly. document. Uh, that, oh, okay. It's interesting because that's exactly what my order was Obi Wan, the text, the crew. The crew is like, question mark, take a closer <laughs> look. And then then I'll, that would trigger me to read a bit further and then I'll yeah. read the top. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Like, that seems all. Like the way so many fans in the comments believe they're going to get more Anakin Skywalker, and very few are realizing Whoa, that on, this just like... is just. I mean, <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> okay. A documentary. Well, I mean, like, like, poster. I don't know what like... to say. Yeah, yeah but I just read, under all of those examples, the people are like, "Oh, I just realized. Sorry, that was dumb of me." <laughs> they didn't blame I Disney for misleading them. I should have read the poster before I commented. They should have called it Obi Wan yeah. Kenobi, a docu series. Then no one will be confused, <laughs> so it's all good. I thought I was getting Kenobi season two. You thought that for four seconds, and then you read the top of the poster. Yeah, to me, it comes across more so as you thought that for a few seconds and were really happy, and then it got taken away, and you were like, oh, I'm, and I'm, now I'm annoyed. Like, I'm annoyed you took that away This from is me. your fault. You did this to me, yeah. fucking poster. This is your fault. <laughs> we are yet to correct this, but we'll have to wait and see. For more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.
So, yeah. Oh, this is a funny clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a really good clip. But, uh, but yeah, um, if you go to his comment section, almost everyone is like, it's not misleading, dude. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it's strange that, yeah, if they were trying to mislead you, I feel like they wouldn't have written that this is, you know, what it was. It's a bold strategy, otherwise. Maybe um, it's like a fun. like a, one of those social experiments, you know? The four like how many people won't read the poster? I just gotta say. All right, you ready? I'm gonna hit play. Here we go. You know, you're not racist, right? Uh -huh. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> Dude, his expression when he first off him, him is I'm like a like, deer in he headlights. To, like, uh oh. Exactly. He has to think about it, and his eyes are wandering. Can we watch that again? That was we can watch like, you know, just you're not racist, Chad right? Yes, that shit. No, He's no. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you, it's like it's terrifying. It's like, oh no, I'd be caught out. What do I do? <laughs> I, well, I guess in the lefty you know. club that he wants to be a part of, just like that's the most horrifying thing anyone could just like ask you. I, I, I mean, it's just, it just it really comes across as like, wait, let me think. No, <laughs> which is so weird. Just no, funny. no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, I bet according to most of his current audience and you know the extreme left and everything like that, he would have he's done heaps of things in the past that he would easily construe as racist, but he's not getting attacked for it because I love currently idea. he's an ally. And so It'd be funny as fuck if he has to get like problematic you know, things all the time and he, he says if he has to get like opinion updates to know what his current opinions are like because he just follows the crowd or whatever he like looks behind he's like are Wait, we racist? racist now we're not racist right <laughs> yeah, racist. are we no, racist yeah. no he was on screen holding up a sight she's just violently shaking her head no <laughs> no 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 we're not racist <laughs> you're not racist right no, no. The dark yeah. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. The eyes darting left and right. We got Great. two no's and a yes. Uh... Now, I found oh, okay. I, I was on my phone. I was I was looking at some YouTube shorts. I don't recommend it. And uh I ended up seeing this video and I thought it was fucking hilarious. So many of these go viral and they're like mm. I think they start I wouldn't be surprised if these were made by literal fucking robots. It's like, did you know facts about movies? Some of them are so fucking weird, so uh, let, let, let's check so, this one out. Can we pause just for a sec, just because yeah. you bring up shorts, right? Because yeah. I've I've been forced, my hand has been forced to actually dabble in shorts, and it is it is Your insane how much... Yeah, well, What's to get user that? and growth. No, oh, this is the thing, right? It is insane how much YouTube is pushing shorts over regular content. So they're trying to make like, like TikTok, I, I, I've made three yeah, shorts yeah, sure. and the views they've gotten is pretty insane. One in particular has been getting 14,000 views per hour for the last, Gee, you know, 12 dang, hours. I don't believe they forced moment. you to do that. Dang. Really? No, that's oh, the well. thing. Shame. Like, I, I don't, wait, I hey, don't like uh, shorts. Sorry, right? if I can clarify. I think, I think there's a purpose for them. I think I've implied something I didn't why... mean to. I don't think shorts are inherently bad. I'm, I'm saying the ones I keep getting fucking fed as shit. Mm. No, no, this is the thing, right? I don't necessarily like shorts. I think there's a purpose for them, right? But at the moment, YouTube is not preferencing traditional content nearly as much, especially to newer viewers. And that's what I mean about my hand being forced. It's like if I want to, you know, ensure growth on my channel, I really need to do them. And I think I found a way that, you know, is incorporating them in know. a decent enough way. But the, the amount after doing these shorts, the amount that I'm seeing YouTube push them and preference them over regular content it's crazy which is really odd to me because like you, i'm pretty sure i watched your um your short on sword oils or whatever and i yeah um, that's the one that's going crazy at the moment well because i um, so, getting... i saw that thanks to the feed though like the regular feed no uh, what i'm like i don't think you should feel anything wrong about making something like that oh so fine <laughs> well yeah I, 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 uh... I think i found a way to integrate and to support the uh my mainstream content uh, like like uh, it's you, you, weird you, though do you understand how fucking hilarious really sure. it is to me? Like, if someone was like, what short would you make, Muller? It's like, you tell it a, a format in which I have about five <laughs> seconds. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> shorts, yeah. And they're like, what would I even long. put in there? Half a point? I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> it's, it seems odd knows. as well, because, like, YouTube has always facilitated short-form content, so why does there need to be a special category 
of content uh, it, on short. I don't, I don't really know, know what they're doing. Oh, oh my god, they should make another one yeah, just for uh, long boys. Make a tab think, on the YouTube homepage just for long. For long boys. When are we gonna get the <laughs> multi YouTube long video in short form? Just a bunch of shorts. <laughs> part one of thirteen thousand. Yeah. Part part one of three hundred and thirty six. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, you get a lot of they, they they are. I'm almost certain there's like farms that are trying to get access to any sort of sort of like benefits with this, and you see some weird ones. Here's an example. Did you notice this about Scarlet Witch's red outfit in Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness? In the MCU, villains tend to wear in green. The... Oh, yeah. God. In movies, That's green not represents the envy and jealousy. Oh, is so that it is right? true in movies. So we're off to a really right? weird start. Like, holy oh, shit. Enemies no, tend hope. to wear green because it represents <laughs> envy and jealousy. Oh, right. That grass <laughs> is so jealous right now. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. so what, is, what is vulture envy and jealous of? What is green goblin envious and jealous of? I, I suppose you could make what arguments. I would rather focus on the fact that he said, like, that's just like, he's implying it's a commonality in the MCU, which is like, mm. that's not true. Just run down the list. It, it's I a commonality in Disney. Green. Yeah, I'm on goes gray. Hulk is, Hulk is uh, green. Flash is gray. Yeah. And then the red skull is red. Uh, yeah, I guess Loki wears <laughs> no green. And then what's next? Iron Man. Green, yeah. Killian is orange, I guess. Like I guess, he's got yeah. Some well, I mean, the Hulk is Alec green. Alec is, is like gray and red. And then what, who we got next? Um, Winter Soldier. Nobody's green in that. <laughs> and then you go to the next one. Guardians of the Galaxy. Gamora is the good guy and she's green. The bad guy's purple. And then Age of Ultron, he's like gray and red. Ant Man, he's yellow jacket. I don't think you're not making a very good point. <laughs> I don't think you're besmirching the color green. I think you are. Yeah. Point. I want to oh, wait, Bringy, Bringy, you're you're green. Yeah, what do you? I am about green, and I take offense yeah. to this. Yeah. This is this. <laughs> what are you envious slash jealous of? I think that that is just a weird sort of thing to lump on green. Oh, people. Bringy, this video yeah. gets even better. It sounds pretty I jealous. Know. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe he's yeah. right. All of you, just wait. This the fucking logic is flawless. You might have heard of the phrase green with envy. Mordo wears and the green. heroes green tend to wear envy. red. Scarlet Witch wears red. Uh, she is a hero. What? Red what is Doctor this? No, you, guys, you guys have got to no, wait for it to finish, no, I swear no, to God. No, just just no, save no, all okay, of your reactions, okay? okay, 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 okay wait, you got to wait. Got right. Wait, wait okay, for the static best. to go pfft. That's when it's over. In jealousy. Okay. You might have heard of the phrase green with envy. And the heroes tend to wear red. Scarlet Witch wears red. She is a hero. But in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, Scarlet Witch is a villain, even though she still wears red. However, if you recalled, when Strange in America came to Earth 838, Go on, me. I'm, I'm You've got to be king. I'm uh, waiting no. for this. No, I <laughs> no, I get. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, was that it? That, that is the traffic that is, light no. switching no. is no. foreshadowing for is this the not one of the of most fucking the stupidest things you've ever oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. What is the traffic light jealous of? I don't get it. Um, so retarded. It's that it's almost as if these characters yeah. are colored based on the comics that were drawn and colored decades ago. No, it's based on whether or not they're green with envy. <laughs> <laughs> is the red traffic light a it's hero? So well, most of them, what is red oh, supposed green. to represent? And you you brought up what green means. Red. Why did you not bring up what red, red represents? Red means hero. America, red they means have no actual red point skull is a make. hero, Rex. <laughs> Except I think tons America. of times red is often a villainous color, like it, the red course. lightsabers in Star Wars, red eyes. Red skull. You know, yeah, the devil. <laughs> Fucking Satan. <laughs> Satan. He's one of those famous <laughs> bad guys. <laughs> Satan's you know, a hero. From Disney. Satan's a hero. <laughs> remember the remember in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the evil version of Mr. Hyde was red? Yeah. That, so they fucked spooky. that up. He was um, red and spooky. Yeah. Just to clarify, he brings up Blues, Mordo. They're red. Mordo wears green, they're full villain. And you could classify him as antagonist in this movie, but villain is a I don't know about that. Regardless, he's clearly classifying as like he's a bad guy. He's wearing green. What world is Mordo in again? The one with the light switch? Oh Beating. no. He must so red is green, green is red, according to that's why red means bad guy now, and green means good guy. Also, do you wanna remind me what the most prominent color on Doctor Strange is in his full gear? Hmm. 
I'd probably go with red. I guess, especially the cape, yeah. And the cape oh, yeah. isn't evil. That's a it's a loyal boy. <laughs> exactly. You know, I think you're right, Maul. I think that was made up by a content farm. It, it feels, feels like it was, was made by a new Um but there was another what was one. Your that... Hint that, that, he, that he said Doctor Strange multiverse of madness rather than into the in the multiverse Which, of madness. Yeah, it's, it's multiverse entirely of broken English. It's just really weird. But I don't even know where they got this point from. Did someone write this in a tweet or something? <laughs> It's it must just be an algorithmic <laughs> thing that just is made Feels to get like clicks. It. Amazing, but yeah, there's another one that I watched straight after. Oh, we oh go on God. red. Throw these both in here. It's red. Did you know that Scarlet Witch in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? Her outfit is very similar to that of Magneto. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, maybe some what? parts of the color, maybe. What? Um, the fake what? color pattern is like all you can cling on to. I, I know Somewhat, that they're connected in the comics, but you're, you're reaching. You're Which reaching one is Scarlet right? Witch? <laughs> the <Yeah>. top one. I'll <laughs> tell. Oh, the helmet. And he's I'm got a helmet. Double yeah, yeah oh, they kind of, they both were in headgear of a sword. Sword. No, the closest is connection is that in the comic books, they make her like, you know, circlet thing, somewhat similarly shaped to the pattern on Magneto's helmet. That's like the most connection you can really draw. It's just funny that he's, he's like clearly put these two costumes on to be like, isn't it crazy? They're so similar. And you're like, what? Not really. <laughs> yeah. The small cutout on her neckline is her way of keeping vision close to her heart. Isn't what? that, isn't that great? When she completely <laughs> forgot about him in the whole movie? <laughs> oh my god. The small cutout on her neckline is her way of keeping vision close to her heart. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, it is similar to Vision is Mind Stones. Really close to the heart. There you go. Uh, yeah. I just, like I said, I, I find it hilarious that she very prominently forgets him in the movie. Like,. Yeah, he's never mentioned at all in any way, or well, even referenced in any way. There are mentions of him, if you remember when she says, I blew the hole out of the, the head of my whatever. Oh, but, but like, yeah, I yeah. mean, no reference in relation to the dream stuff, or the dream worlds. Not, he's, he's not in the ideal worlds, which makes you wonder. Which is weird. Socket. When she was fighting the Illuminati, this is not blood on her face. An oh. earlier scene when she breached the, the compound, from... she fought against the Ultron oh. bots. In this bot cam, one of the bot that was blown to bits splashed oil on her face. One in of the bot? This... What, which it's, of the bot? It's just like, uh, oh. Okay. okay. This An statue that looks like Scarlet Witch is modeled after the Hindu goddess Kali. Kali is the goddess of time, destruction, and she is also considered a strong mother figure. The acronym for Multiverse of Madness is oh MLM, which spells mom, uh, in reference to Scarlet Witch as a mom. Be in reference me. to Scarlet Witch as a mom. Oh, oh, <laughs> looking for her two sons. Wow. That is the, the same yeah. time, yeah. America is a daughter looking for her two moms. The movie was released Friday, May 6th, the week before Mother's Day. Oh, they knew. Oh, my God. They knew. Oh, okay. So it wasn't released on Mother's Day. It wasn't released on Mother's Day. So it wasn't released on Mother's Day. Okay. This is what I mean. I see stuff like this on the YouTube shows. like, what the fuck do you make this for? What is the point of this? And it gets more upset than the people who just, like, eat this shit up. It gets hundreds of thousands of upvotes. I was just like, why? That's because people are stupid nowadays. <gasps> nowadays? Yeah. I know. Well, I feel like with the internet, we're, we become much more aware of them. Just, yeah. I'm, oh, by the way, yeah, sorry for blowing your minds there, chat. I know you, you're like, whoa, I didn't realize. It's like, yeah, Magneto. Got, I like he didn't even make a point from that. He just said, they look similar. Yeah, exactly. We <laughs> no just way, man. <laughs> a lot of people. Oh, you ready for Oh, the... boy. Here we are. Gonna get some, oh. uh, get some She-Hulk opinions. He's he's already made another I video. Jonathan. People were a little upset at him for what he says in here. I, I threw just a couple quotes. Or Mother's there. Day. A lot of people's annoyances on this series is going to be on a few things. Whether or not they buy that she is as powerful or as good without training as, as Hulk, right? So you're going to get a lot of people complaining about that. And like Alex said, it wasn't as bad as I thought. The trailer kind of tricks you into thinking that, you know, she's always kicking what? his ass. She's on par with him, you know. She's better uh, than him. Oh, that's no, okay. She's better than him. Better than Not him just... on some very key points. Better most... like... Well, is there anything he beats her on, quote unquote? 
throwing no, the rock into doesn't orbit. even beat her. She's got the better reason, blood than him. I was going to say, she doesn't try to throw it into orbit, though, Shad. She almost looks embarrassed for him that he got insecure about it, you know? This is true. Um, but then you got the clapping. She essentially beat him on that. She, uh, that. she beat him on the balance. She beat him on the stomping. To the she point where he got really upset. Beat him on self control, changing oh, into absolutely. She and back at will, like smashed him. In she had a to very that. big speech about how she's much better than him at that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's a bit awkward. It's just like, oh man, she's perfect. Ain't um, that great? Even if he was right, like if they were on par, wouldn't that still be dumb? Wouldn't well, that still suck? For the very reasons he just highlighted, he said, like, she's got no understanding or, or perspective on anything that's even happening. But, um, you know, even from a perspective of, like, a logistic, he just, he's, like, fucking three times the size of her. Like, doesn't, doesn't all that mass equal some level of... Yeah, he's, boom, boom. he's way bigger than no. she is. Um, no. That's what she said. No. No, no doubt. They at least make is. it look like that. At least in a... What? Unpissed off form. This is not Hulk, a, you know pissed off fighting Thanos, right? This is Hulk trying Thanos. to teach his fucking cousin how to control her powers, and she's being a little fucking butthead, and she's fighting him, and he's not, you know, so I buy that she can hang with him in this particular way. And then I thought to myself, oh. like, why do I care? Who the fuck cares whether She-Hulk <laughs> is as powerful as Hulk? Right, a lot of fans. Wait for hey, it. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. They're okay, fictional okay. characters. I don't give a shit. Oh, no, George, oh. Hey, no. hey, Joey, angry Joey. What about Superman? That's different. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> that's different what because it's not a story where Superman's evil. It's fictional. Different. He loves Superman. He would go nuts if people tried to use that excuse to play off inconsistent power. Did you get Superman. really mad? Like when Batman beats Superman in fights, he always says, I'm pretty it's sure, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, because it's Batman and nobody cares about Superman. Who cares? The fictional characters. Who cares if one beats the other? This is like a. But you don't care about Hulk or She Hulk, I guess. Like, that's all that this is. That's such character. an inconsistent standard. But look, I like Joe generally. Uh, he has some really bad takes, and this is one of them. Yeah. Um, I find that his uh, video game takes are much better. But when it comes to media stuff, he usually has a very normy kind of perspective. Um, it's dog shit. Yeah, this one, like, oh my goodness, just disregarding, you know. <sighs> Hey man, People as someone in the chat just highlighted, hopefully Joe didn't give a shit that uh, Joel got beaten the fuck out in uh, Last of Us 2, because <laughs> really, fictional. he's fictional, who cares? It's a fictional <laughs> character, don't worry about it, it's all good in the hood. Said like it's even a revelation, they're not real, it's like, really? <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> Why did you say it, Joe? Why? Cares whether She-Hulk <laughs> is as powerful as Hulk. Right? They're fictional characters. I don't give a shit. And then people are, well, okay, you know, he was, went through Avengers and all this other training. It's like, bro, she, he wasn't using his full power. And why does it bother you so much? I thought you just said you didn't care. <laughs> Clearly, you yeah, give so a shit to think about this. You know what I mean? If like, you don't it's, care, that's it. Is that the theme of this you anniversary? Don't. People telling us mm, they I don't, don't care. care. Yeah. Mike doesn't care about Star had, Wars. Yeah, we've well, had three people that don't care right now. So I just. If you're gonna tell me like I don't, I don't care, care, that they don't care, but Hulk wasn't at his full rage power. Was she? Was she at her full rage power too? Or is that how this balance is? I thought you said you didn't care. Why are you trying to argue it? If in fact they want to make her as powerful, and I said, I really analyzed. I said, you know what? I don't care if they if Marvel wants to be like, oh yes, she's as powerful. Okay, here is the power rating: eight out of eight on Hulk, <laughs> and she is and seven point. Eight out of eight on more like nine out of That's eight. That's not right, how right. it works. Um, also, I need to call bullcrap on this because they could have made her uh, as strong as Hulk. That's not necessarily the issue. The issue is how quickly she learns and picks up stuff that I is established issue. because of the backstory that it took ages for Hulk to do. They could have justified it. They don't. And then there's this, all this other stuff that undermines so much about it that makes it feel very cheap and Mary Sue on top of it. And so it's not just the power level, it's how much control she gets, how easily it is for adapt to so many of the problematic things that should be in regards to this power. It's also, ah, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm actually... And then she's a woman. Of course she would pick this to solve immediately. 
which uh, the, the 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 I guess the 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 struggle I have with it all is just that we kind of figured it would happen and it just did like exactly what you would really want to see at all. And it sucks because, you, like you said, uh, if she obliterates him entirely on the physical side, it's like, okay, well, at least he's got the mental one, right? And it's like, no. <laughs> okay. But I do understand why people would have an issue with it because, the, the, look, this is the other inconsistency. She's as strong as Hulk, what appears to be, okay? She's not as big as him. She doesn't have as much muscle mass and other things like that. And so she just, just visually, she doesn't look like she should be strong, as strong as the Hulk anyway. And if you go back to the comic book lore, she's no in, like, isn't she even barely half the strength of Hulk, canonically, uh, according to the comic books? But in Yeah, this, no, they... she can't do everything that he can do. But Hulk's power, like, he's got his base level power, but then... He's stronger the angrier he is. So that's why, like, Abomination is technically stronger than Hulk when Hulk's just, like, at base level Hulk. And that's what Abomination doesn't, like, know. Like, that's the big, like, thing when he first fights him is that Hulk beats him because Abomination knows he's stronger than him, but he doesn't know that his power depends on his anger. So the angrier Bruce gets, the stronger he becomes as Hulk. So if he was super pissed off fighting Jen, he could kill her. Mm-hmm. On Hulk, I don't give a fuck, you know? So once you kind of let go of that, then, you know, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. When you let once go you of it, it doesn't caring, bother you. It doesn't bother you. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Just yeah. let go. Is that, that fucking so? If you don't care, you don't care. Oh. Like, he's, oh. having, he's having a character thing. Like, it's... It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not as subtle and it's not as polished. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely rushed. But, I mean, I just think that they just like, well, our audience are But idiots. does that happen? Of course it happens. Yeah. What do you want? And They're referring to what? female um, female problems like catcalling and stuff. I should have put more of it in. My what? Bad. Basically, uh, sorry. I think that guy's name is Alex, right? The one on the, in the middle. Um, I think so. Yeah. He. he, he I, I, I. I should have included more context. He's. He basically says they're way too overt with the points they're making in regards to that. No, he looks like a Stan. And then uh, that's Joe's response. So the, that's the context. They're talking about the sort of misogyny elements of She-Hulk and representing it. <laughs> but I mean, I just think that they just like, well, our audience are But idiots. does that happen? Of course it happens. Yeah. And so do they have a right to depict it? Over and over again? And then have another scene where it's like she, oh, she goes through infinitely more anger than you on a daily basis because she's a woman and you're not? It's like, come on. It's like, it's not that there's any... You ever had a period, Alex? <laughs> Oh my god. Have you what ever had have you ever had the fucking like are you like, fucking oh have, you, have, have you Joe? Uh, hey, hey Joe. You ever tried Joe, have to you kill been yourself? Women? Have you ever <laughs> Jesus had a Hang on, let him speak. He's about to tell us about his experiences on the rags. Oh, oh. No 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 it, on the rag. Sorry. Do not lump me into the, the uh, me in. leading uteri of women. Oh my god. People say, look at Alex's face. <laughs> Like, what do you say? Oh, if like, I was him, I was you. like, are you fuck? Well, for, first off, like, you haven't either, so you have no clue. But I have a strange feel. I'd rather have a period than go through what Bruce Banner has gone through. I'm going to take uh, the risk. <laughs> I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble on the idea that having a period might not be as bad as the kind of suffering that Bruce Banner has personally gone through in his life. Well, Half of the human is... population somehow is able to carry through each day, even though they might have a period. But the context <laughs> somehow... isn't Alex. Is, is, wasn't Alex saying that you know it's annoying that she's trying to say that she uh, deals with more anger all the time than Bruce and Joe is responding to that? Ah, oh, but do you have a period? Almost like it's a defense that he's saying periods make women angrier on average than I men. I guess so. I guess that's but... what he's saying, and and that you know as much is as yeah, Bruce. Anna? Is yeah, that that's correct? it. That's it. And you know, just because Bruce has been shot at many times in his life, that only happens what, like seven times in a year or something, or maybe even spaced out more yeah. than that. So really, over it. you know, is, he yeah, he's like over it. Times. He's moved on. He doesn't well, get to no, move no, on. Okay, so, so Bruce was experimented on as a child by his father. He watched yeah, his one father time beat his beat, yeah, no, 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 beat his time. mother. Yeah, she has to a period every month. Yeah. yeah, that's like reoccurring. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You told, you told about like, oh, oh, like a couple times a, a month. Like, he, you just, which, oh, yeah, he had to witness his it. dad beating his mom. Like, how many times? Like, once or twice? Once. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not as bad. So, M yeah, much more than leave. once or twice. But oh, okay, a hundred times. That's still less. With you. Even if it was still, a thousand still times, it's still less. 
Oh and, my and god, you have to this respect. guy's fucking she's, retarded. He's gone through so much more, okay? And Anna, I, I, I know from experience with my wife, but, you know, just to get also your, your thing, do periods just inherently make you angry when you get them? It's just, it's, it's an anger triggering mechanism. Anna, smash! <laughs> watching <laughs> watching this she used makes to have a headset me angrier than when I'm on my period. <laughs> menstrual rage. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah. She goes through infinitely more anger than you on a daily basis because she's a woman and you're not. It's like, come on. It's like, it's not that there's any. You ever had a period, Alex? <laughs> you know, you know oh. what's weird about this is that does she even bring up periods in the episode? I don't think so. No, she no, doesn't. No, she doesn't. Oh, and they, wow. She brings they up being catcalled. They should have put that in there. And though. like that men talking down to her it, about what they're doing. Oh my god! Imagine that's exactly what she's doing to Hulk. But no, I mean I some know. women don't even like get phased by their period. So him just automatically saying it's because of our periods that make us that way. It implies Go you're fuck weak. yourself, Joe. Yeah, yeah it implies you can't <laughs> handle your periods. Like of you, course you, you're, you're angry not to deal with your own body. No, it, oh my god. It, well, fuck this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to EFAT where we check out other people's opinions and get every. every and then, you know, I watched EFAT for, for years, but it's one, it's a different thing actually being on and having the headache of dealing with retarded people like this. It's uh, it's something else, yeah. Uh, no, but she, yeah. we didn't bring up periods at all, but it's like, I've been true. <laughs> it wasn't brought up at I've all. I've been but... there. What's he. We... Been yeah, but I think that's I've been part of... I've, I've you like... been... Ah, damn, yeah. Alex, people grabbing on your booty. And honestly, what? I don't give a fuck if, grabbing if on your booty. Oh. Your oh. Oh. No, Sorry. that's not... No one's touching you if you're being tapped. Oh. Yeah, I know. Alex, people oh, grabbing on your booty. And honestly, I don't give a fuck if, if Marvel wants to make her as powerful as the Hulk. I don't think th she deserves that yet, you know, I think. But at the same time... You don't care, like of course, but she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> sounds like you <sighs> care. And you're trying to deflect possible criticism from the ultra-progressive crowd. Uh, I don't think... Well, have you ever had a period, Chad? Yeah. Oh my Maybe God. you should sit down. <laughs> <laughs> just listen. And why don't you man spread? Go ahead. We know you love yes. to do it. <laughs> that Funny. She's displayed that. Uh, yes, she has better balance. They they do one particular thing, and I'm like, do I buy that, uh, that a female would have better balance than a man? No, it's not. No, why Why is that what came to your <laughs> why, mind? Why that, is that like, the way you figure this balance out? needs to be a male-female dichotomy thing. No, no, no irradiated that, monsters. It's like, well, balance? she is a girl. Has she practiced <laughs> balancing? Is she an acrobat? Is she like like a balance-based athlete of some sort? Doesn't she balance her, she like, a her whole body on a finger? <laughs> Like, I think even if you had the strength to do that, I feel like you'd have to really practice. Absolutely. Dude, fuck it. Exactly, yeah. The, the whole point is how you, how can you know how to do that immediately? You've never done it before. It's like, well, she's a woman. Like, wh what the yeah. fuck does that have to do with what? Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess because I'm just going to say this, hips? and it might be a hot take, but typically men are better at, at athletic things than women. So well, in terms of balance, I don't think it's pretty sexist. probably not I a... I have no I idea. Think, I don't think there's a statistically if one right, gender is well, superior. Think, I, women might be better at balance. If, if, if we want to, not, really. hang on. If we want to break it down, I, I know it maintain... plenty of women, and they're not very good at balance yeah. as compared uh, to plenty of men. They're oh, not yeah. good at balance. Yeah. I'm not good. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Let, let's break this down, okay? Balance right. usually like having greater endurance and strength to be able to maintain position will help balancing out, and men usually have an advantage in those regards. Right. So, we'll all right. And so endurance? because I because no I have women access have to the better internet. endurance normally. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Rags not, the not like, only like, only like, is run, swimming. The same, yeah. Rags right. the internet. On what we it got is. it. Is. The, I found a study from 2019, age Dang. and sex differences in human balance performance from age 6 to 18 years of age, a systematic review and meta-analysis. Now, Please. the abstract states that the results are that 21 studies, blah, 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 blah. Um, conclusions. Uh, our systematic review and meta-analysis revealed better balance performance in adolescents compared to children, irrespective of the measured measure considered same sex differences sex related differences were inconsistent these findings may have implications for uh, example in terms of trainability of balance in youth that should be investigated in future studies that's this in other thing, so inconclusive yes, is that, 
Well, this other thing says research appears that men score higher on balance tests than women. Huh. However, this says that being a girl was favorable for measures of static steady state balance, whereas boys performed better in terms of proactive balance. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Wow. She Hulk better. <laughs> Of course. Man, yeah, if you're completely untrained. She's I mean, been doing much yoga her whole life. Sure, says, so, so. I, that doesn't bother me. I buy that. If you <laughs> ignore that <laughs> the Hulk has been doing some serious battle training for the past 15 years. Uh oh. If you I, feel like, oh, oh, I, I feel like it's I feel like it's slightly of concern that thing that you added. Yeah, why would end. you say you have to ignore everything? <laughs> I mean. Like, they're. Like, do, would you think it would be meaningful for her when she tries to balance to be like, wow, just, it feels like I have so much more control over my body now. It's, it's like I'm like a, and then he's like a superhero. Like, no, not that. Or something like, like he's trying to lead her a certain way. But she's, she's discovering how much her body's capable of and balance is among those things. I'm just like maybe say, instead of instead point, of getting a lot of strength, she gets a lot of like c precision control over her body. She becomes very acrobatic in a sense. Which is not the case. I don't yeah, know. and they, they, what they're trying to justify it because she did yoga. It's like doing yoga is one thing, then balancing the way that she was doing is a completely separate thing. I feel thing. like Those if your entire body changes, it's going to alter your ability to balance. Yeah, probably. Yeah, some serious battle training Maybe, for the past yeah. 15 years and, I don't know, essentially f fought in many, many battles. I'm actually looking forward to the next episode. My final verdict is also a 7 out of 10. Wow. What? Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what a 3 is. Firmly insane. above average. That's I want to know wow. what his 2 or 3 is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's something that he All just right. doesn't like, whatever that may be. Um, what his writing would be. But he liked She-Hulk. How long will it take before he turns on it? I couldn't even Maybe, begin yeah. to answer that Ooh, question. No. Well, I mean, the show will get worse. It always gets worse, right? So Seems to be that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, mm. Fuck, I meant to put this in, the, in that compilation, but I forgot. So sorry. So now the way we'll have to sync this is everyone loads this up, and then we all have to sync being pressing play. Okay. Mm. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Through Reddit. And unfortunately, that's 40 seconds of Hassan you're just going to have to let play. You can't, you can react to it. Oh, uh, no. 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 That's Tom Scott, I see. Oh, I Did I not apologize? Scott. I'm sorry, but it's necessary. Um, yeah, this, this popped Three. up on the subreddit. I thought it was funny. So, is everyone on zero? Three, yep. two, one, go. Uh, wait, let me make sure it plays when I click. Okay, so I'm, I'm ready. Three, sweet. Oh, sweet. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah, people should get paid when they use other people's content with other permission. Dude, hold on. Here. Oh my god. You use someone else's content what? without their permission. You use someone else's content without their permission. You use someone else's Holy content shit. without their permission. God, damn, um, you are stupid. Again, <laughs> so you, you have already used people, someone else's content without their it. permission. That's actually completely unacceptable. That is really, really fucked up. Doesn't he do that? That's unacceptable. That's oh. really fucked up. Uh, why would Public you? Game modes? Thank God I'd ban Burkas. Well, well, you're getting banned now. It's not the same. And it is Burkas? exactly the same. It, uh, uh, so wow, <laughs> he is actually wow. like I That's think Hassan normal. is one of those I'm, literal oh, yeah. stupid people. Like normally we call people stupid, but it's just a, an insult. <laughs> he, it's a description of him is that he's stupid. He's an actual stupid person. He's one of those people on the bottom side of 100 that drags the average down. He's one of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's just kind of amazing, because he was re for anyone who doesn't know, he was referring to emotes as mm. stolen when his, the criticism people are making of him is that he's taking people's content and using it to entertain his audience while he makes money. If anybody, any differences and there is that exactly the same? Isn't that emote a public Twitch one that's just, like, instantly available? Um, so this is actually the funny thing. If it is a publicly available Twitch emote, then yeah, you get that by being a part of their platform through Terms of Service, you're not stealing anything. If it belongs to a streamer and you've paid subscription, you get access to the emotes, yeah, that's fine. Them. If, oh, you're paying it if it's, yeah, that. If it's a Frank of Facey or BTTV where you're getting emotes because you personally upload them and then have access to them via the, this channel extensions, I can let you do that. People can steal emotes that way, and I don't think that's 
good. I, I, um, oh, if someone like makes their own channel emotes, even with their own artwork, and then they're like, if you support me, you get access to them. That's a fun little back and forth. And then someone just goes, I'm just going to upload, I'll, I'll download the images, upload them myself, and then I'll have access to those emotes and you can't stop me because I have an extension. That's lame. Yeah, I think that would be. So if that's what that guy was doing, then yeah, that is lame. Um, it's still not as that's bad, however, but, uh, compared to. Heck. It's still not as bad as stealing someone's stuff and making money off it. Playing Ducking someone's this video fight with in Sam Hyde. Yeah. Where is skin Sam? It's just nice to know he's he's still getting criticism for stealing people's shit, but he ain't stopping. Well, of course not. That's how he makes money. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say, why the fuck would he stop? Yeah. What what was his response yeah, to that? Can you imagine? Making ten hours of high quality content a day or something like that. It's like, no, you can't. That's why you steal it. Um well where how are we doing? Oh we're at we, we could call I think that makes a lot of sense actually to, to do uh, the, the gap here, the next break. Oh wow, really? I think I suppose yeah, time flies let's when you have fun. It. Well well, I mean we will have to talk for another like ten minutes while I set up Oh thing, you know. <laughs> What will we talk about? What can't we talk about? I don't know. How are you guys? What can't we talk about? <laughs> how, how, well, how about how know. about um, what makes a good story? Oh God! What, what about that? No, 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 that's no, like, no, 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 that's like no. Oh, I think no. we probably we probably we probably very broadly line up on that. I'm sure we do. Yeah, hundred percent. I doubt we. I doubt we have much of a. Why can't we talk about what makes a good rat? You know. Really talk oh, about a big old, a big old tail, and he's friendly and fluffy, and he does <laughs> tricks, and he knows his name, Aww. and he's just cute, and he's curious, and he wants to, he, and he just wants to be your friend, and he wants to be everyone's friend, you know. Big. You know, he's just yeah, really approachable. Yeah. Oh, someone suggested politics. Everyone like oh, to discuss politics. politics. Oh, oh. <laughs> should ban that person from chat. But what am politics are? Yeah. All right, I think we what did it. There politics? we go. We saw I am, politics. I'm against politics. I'm I'm for politics. Oh, so, so, politics uh, is uh, boring. Are, are, are you going to be talking about House of the Dragon at all? Is that already been talked about? Ooh. Oh, well, you, uh, you and I will well, be with I Gary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's a whole... Oh, I, I decided to yeah. insulate EFAP away from it. Fringy and Rags have no fucking clue what's going on. It's dragons. Yeah. It's, you know, it's all this crazy shit. They got yeah, to was... focus on Shulk. They got to focus on Rings of Power when that falls out. Oh, yes. And, of course, they got <laughs> Andor on the way as well, so... Hmm... You might even and say we're we spoiled. Three shows. Mahler is doing four. We're our Fringy and I. We called it at three. We're like three shows. That's all you're getting out of us. Our contract says three <laughs> shows at a time only. No more. That's the limit. You got to start paying us and overtime if you want us to watch four. Oh, and there's not the dude from Rogue One, one, is it? Yes, he is. That is the guy he's, from. He's Rogue really one. getting his own fucking show. Oh my! He's, not only God. is he getting his own show, another Batman. It's already planned out to have, I think, five seasons or at I, least I three. Oh. Oh, yeah. Five? How? Oh, cool. At least three. Yeah. I think, so right? I remember someone laying it out in, from from Disney. It was like the season one and two will cover year like five years out from Rogue One, then three years out, and then. It'll be like year two, and then a few months. He's gonna the series is going to end, and it'll link right up with uh with the beginning well, of Rogue One are. apparently. Crazy that's something they want to do. I don't know why. The, the crazy oh, thing here boy. is that this show legitimately looks like the one with the most potential out of all of the ones. So yeah, oh, that'd it's be really funny. funny. Also, hey, it and, looks what? Uh, than, uh, Boba Fett too. Yeah, the uh. He gave six episodes for the show about Obi Wan Kenobi. Do you want to know how many episodes that are already confirmed for season one for Andor? Like, what, what are they doing over there? It's Twelve. <laughs> no. Oh, I guessed it. Oh and when God. is the next Star Wars movie coming out? Nobody you knows. Half of Nobody people knows. in the Disney Star Wars know the name Andor. I, I actually <laughs> will. forgot that. Star Wars was a movie franchise for a bit there. Yeah, it's been a long <laughs> well, time. Well, forgot that they made movies. Yeah. Jaylee, well, Ryan, uh, no offense to Ron Howard, really, because it's more than just his fault, but also you know Solo and and JJ's both of JJ's attempt. Like they genuinely fucking destroyed a major franchise, like the, by making such shitty films. It has scared them from making movies. They like well. Until they decided Rogue Squadron with Patty Jenkins at the helm, and now that's not happening. No, it's the fans who ruined Star Wars. 
Isn't it so funny? It's the gamers. How many, um, like, it's, it's such a common thing now where people get to work on a huge franchise and then, like, destroy it and bail out to move on to the next project. Because D&D... And they get hired to do more Thrones. stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, because didn't D&D, the reason why they, they yeah. wrapped up Game of Thrones so quickly, which seems everybody agrees that that show needed more seasons, yes. was because they wanted to do a Star Wars show. And yeah, they, HBO they, agreed, George R. R. Martin agreed, everyone on board agreed that that show needed, like, ten seasons, and they were like, no, we gotta go. And now they're not even doing that Star Wars show. Now they're sitting back. in their apartment with a bottle, like just. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> one's heard from them. J. J. They've just been Abrams. radio silent. JJ Abrams did the Star Wars films and then bailed out to have like a massive hundred million, more than that, like five hundred million dollar deal with Warner Brothers to make DC films, none of which have even been made or like past development yet. Dude, I can picture I the, the two of them sitting in that room, and the camera just slowly pans for like a good five minutes until one of them just finally goes. It didn't need 10 seasons. No, it didn't need 10 seasons. No, no, not 10. No, definitely not. It did not 10 seasons. No, that's ridiculous. Doesn't make what are any they sense. working on now, though? What, what's their next project? Um. Nothing? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> a bowl? I, have they been blacklisted because of how bad season 8 was? Like, I'm sure... Well, they no, probably like they have, Aren't they doing um, the three-body problem? I don't know, are they? Next show will be 20 seasons in about Dio. Oh my god, fuck yeah. Dio is my favorite character. Dio and Babu. Babu's pretty cool. That's <sighs> it? Hey, have you guys heard of MMT? Oh no. no. no what's MMT? <laughs> Stream is dead. Is that the drug? Here go the take? analytics. Wait a second, I'm going to help you guys fall asleep. <laughs> Let me okay. teach you about MMT. That's we need to do the on. opposite. Let's, Me let's and Ryan this, bring you guys still a while up. left. Yeah, yeah you, we're you at the two thirds mark. We still got another third shot to go. Actually, it'll make the rest of the stream eight, terrible. We got six hours left. Oh. Well, yeah. um, yeah, I'll have to check out the time. Yeah. What was the full time on the, uh, the first one? Was it eight hours and something? I think the first one was eight hours. This one's been eight nine hours. hours. Yeah, this is nine eighteen nine right now. So. hours. Wow. Don't worry, Fringy. I will, for the sake of you and Rags and me, find out exactly to the minute how many we have to do. <laughs> so that we nail the 24. Who's the new crew coming He's just going to say, 24 Who's... hours, bye! bye. And he's going to log yeah, off, and that'll be it. Quite Can you introduce? In the stream like mid-sentence. A secret. What? Who's Who do you got lined up? Who's the next crew for the next... Oh, this is the, so I've, I've actually said before that the third stream. This is the one where most people aren't even around anymore. Everyone's either asleep or ran off to their respective areas of Earth to do life things. Yeah, I'm so. going to bed. So, but you guys, yeah, are I need to head to bed. We're probably going to be in the same. It's like five a.m. Look at me, I can sleep in a bed. It'll literally just be me and <laughs> drags. And that's it. Just three. That's what time okay. do you guys? You guys are ending at eleven, though, right? Eleven. Well, well depending in time. one place of the world, eleven yes, watts. That's the case, but it's well, eleven yeah. o'clock somewhere. <laughs> eleven a.m. in California is where you're, I think, ending, and we start Sitch and Adam at uh, one. So ah, you guys will end well, two hours before us. It is seven a.m. for me. Right Mahler, why don't you come on? Why don't you just like? <laughs> You know what? That's um, right. Mahler, if you never go to bed, you don't done, have to wake up. I'm after pretty you're sure. you're done with your Gary stream, you can jump on Gay stream. I'm pretty sure away. Drinker is going to text me about a catch up for the open bar super chats that are happening today as well. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Really? So I might just be able to just surf streams for another 24 hours. Oh my Ooh. God. That's insane. I don't want to. <laughs> you're going to be loopy. <laughs> This would be cruel and unusual, okay? Yeah, I think it would. You gotta no, get some sleep, man. Oh, I mean, don't tell me that yet. I got a whole bunch of time left to do. Just like, take a little. <laughs> look, they a got a nap between the. EFAP chat have got to hear me bringing rags at least for another six, seven hours, whatever. Talk about media and how it's real great. They got to, they got to get it. <laughs> they fix. Yep. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to sleep. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I will say, <laughs> I like sleep enough as it is, but when you're like hyper tired, sleep is pretty amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. Don't talk about needing sleep. You're like Joe talking about periods. I'm yeah. Sleep what? Have you, have you ever slept, Joe? <laughs> yeah, Joe. Have what you do you know tired? about it, Joseph? What do you know about? What do you know about sacrifice? Or what do you know about sleep? How much I've sacrificed? 
I'm just like that. Nacrificed, more like. <laughs> more like gay. Damn, dude. Yeah. For me, it will yeah, begin yeah. shortly. Oh, no. I guess that kind of does mean we're going to have to be saying goodbye in a sec. What's we that? Will oh, be we back. got 60 seconds, huh? This is like gone in 60 seconds right here. I think it's already done with the 60s. For me, it will begin shortly. Oh, mm -hmm. it does? Oh, can we that. trust that? YouTube often lies. It does, yeah. Don't dead open inside. Right. All right. I, it's the first I episode of The it. Walking Dead. Oh. It's the first issue of The Walking Dead comic. Oh, is it the same in the comic? Look at that. I'm pretty, I got the comic. No, I, I think it... I'm pretty sure it I is. I think it's yeah. straight it's the one in the episode comics, of the right? That, the whole door thing, it looks goofy because that's literally how it reads, don't dead open inside, and it's like, okay. Say. Okay, sure. I got the comic here. I love uh... don't dead open inside. It's great. <laughs> that's going to have, like, Negan and what maggie as the stars right even though like oh, spoiler right. alert is there a show called don't along? dead open inside <laughs> well i don't know what it's called people call it don't dead open inside because of that. <laughs> adam <laughs> who is They're playing the harmonica oh my god <laughs> who do you who do you think is playing the harmonica adam's fucking why, evil why, why are people saying it like <laughs> i didn't know this glide is going in with the keyboard <laughs> I, oh, so, uh, <laughs> it started. So goodbye, guys. I'm hallucinating harmonica noises. And we'll so be back bye -bye. after some Batwoman. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bip. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my goodness.